Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And as you can see there, we just got done with an epic horde fight. There must have been at least 50% ferals in there, and it was really, really rough. <laughs> I went through basically all of my bandages just to stay alive. We have one loot bag for our efforts, so we'll pop on the lucky goggles. Why don't we just uh, have some breakfast while I was <laughs> while we're at it? I had brought some coffee with me, but in my haste, I was trying to, to drink it, and I ended up scrapping it. Uh, steel chest armor, nah, okay, we can drink that though, and take the rest. Man, I take so much flack for scrapping stuff. You guys have to understand that we're, we're so strapped for research data. That is the precious resource in this game. Not friggin' like getting honey from trees or creating mineral water or friggin' yucca smoothies. We wouldn't have half of the research stations and half of the good stuff that we really need if we weren't scrapping all of the kind of accessory stuff that we don't need. So I have burned through all of the gas, uh, unfortunately, and I had brought a fuel can. I picked some gas up on the way over, but I also used that too. So we're resorting to the steel, or is that steel? Yeah, steel pickaxe, I guess, uh, to get a little bit more oil shale here. I'm not sure how much do I have now. I have quite a bit. I just don't know how much we need. I kind of wanted to make this like a one-time deal. But anyway, I think we're probably done. Uh, if I can't do it, if I can't maximize my efficiency, there's really no sense in being here. And I think... My rock buster has worn off by now, and I don't have the coffee, so we have no buffs at all. And let's see how much we got, actually. So 900, yeah, okay, so that that's a lot. I think that's gonna be enough for a long while. So anyway, I'm of a mind to, whoops, head back home and see if we can get some fuel crafting, and then we can kind of decide what to do with our day after that. Tonight, I would like to head to the Restore Power Quest at the movie theater and just get that knocked out. And then uh, probably worth checking and seeing how many more quests do we have to do for Captain Ellen before we get into the tier fives. And that'll be interesting because I don't think we have many, oop, there's some uh, oil shale right there. I should keep that in mind because that's a little bit closer for our next expedition. All right, so I'll meet you back home. I'm having a bit of a hard time hauling all this stuff over, but we are finally here. Oh yeah, so turn that on and let's start getting the fuel crafted. Wait, get the right set of goggles on so I can benefit from the time reduction. I should probably make some more fuel barrels and, and get rid of some of the fuel cans, I think, right? Empty fuel barrel, ooh, 12 steel plates. Yikes, that's expensive. Do I have any steel plates? Well, I can make some steel plates, so we can start on that. Okay, so we should be able to just get at least one more of those. I think that'll probably do it for now. And also, just like that, I'm basically out of 10 mil, so we're forced to put away the UMP. That's a bummer. What can we take instead? So I've been rolling with the Badger 44. It's not bad, it does a ton of damage. The five shots in the chamber, though, uh, not great, honestly. I should probably just take Molotovs with me from now on. What's the ammo situation here? Really good on 5.56 five, and good on 762 as well. Well, in that case, uh, let's take the AUC with us for a little bit. And it's, uh, it's 1800, so not quite time to head over and do the quest. Refuel, that is 100% fueled up now. Oh, geez, I have a raging infection. Hang on a second. Get that fixed up with an antibiotic and start filling up those fuel barrels again. There we go, we got all kinds of fuel now. I think while we're waiting for nightfall, let's go do some raiding over here in the wasteland. There's a whole bunch of houses, residential areas, and I think we could probably find a couple of good spots to raid, even if it's just a, like a tier one job, really. Uh, it doesn't matter, you're still gonna get really good loot out of it. So we've cleared that one out. I don't know if I've cleared that one out, but that's a really fast one. We could just try this place right here real fast. This doesn't look too involved. Oh, oh boy. Woken some people up already. Yeah, a whole bunch of them, in fact. Come over here. All right, they're about to rip this door open. We'll just give them a hand, I guess. Couple spiders, it looks like. Oh, nice bunny hop there. All right, who's back here? Ooh, what is this? Gas. Ooh, look at the gas back there. I didn't bring any freaking fuel jars with me, but that's okay. These don't blow up, do they? I don't think they do anymore. Jeez. Um, 
Man, if I'm wrong, we are toast right now. Here, just uh, take this one. Are Those aren't the ones you can use. No, 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 they're not. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. <laughs> just trying to chop her out. Well, let's, let's see what's going on upstairs. I don't know if this is like some kind of an apartment or what it is, but I guess we'll soon find out. Okay, just uh, get my stealth on a little bit here. Yeah, ooh. One sleepy zombie. Got a couple more sleepy zombies over there, including a big mama. Barrel big mama, too. Uh-oh. Whoa, she's fast. That's it for that. Are these giving me mechanical parts? They are, yes, okay. Okay, there appears to be a balcony here, although I keep just running into the wall. It's like a house of mirrors here. Uh, ooh, to the rooftop? Indeed, aha. Oh, my aim's bad. Ow. Okay. Up we go. Oh, there's a rat up here. Oh, boy. Well, I've got the rat remover on the sword now. Just go careful on the stamina. We should be fine here. Yep, yep, yep. Just easy on the stamina. It's not so bad when we're fighting regular zombies because we get the stamina return per kill. But when we're going up against ferals and rads, not easy to keep the stamina up. And there we go. Oh, is there something sneaky in there? Hmm. Uh, ooh, a generator, but there's some uh, boxes behind it. Interesting. Oh, just gears and a spear book and a bandana. Dang, that's uh, not too great. Anything else hidden back there? I don't think so. So we're probably heading back downstairs now. I would imagine there's a main loot here somewhere. Uh, businessman, I hate to do this to you, bro, but I can't see your face, so I'll go for the next best target. Aha, bookshelves. Nice. Nothing there, though, and just an old book in there. Ooh, some more, though. Nice. Lock picking. So, um, I'm gonna just scrap that. Again, I, I've said it a hundred times now. Ooh, a treasure map. Where the hell did I get that? I must have pulled that out of some garbage, because I usually, like, lightning loot the garbage as fast as I can. Anyway, so scrap, scrap, and lockpicking, yeah, scrap. Because I always just blow my locks up. I don't see the point in, um, wasting the research data there. That's 50 research data. I know you guys kind of hate that stuff, but that's the, the way we've got to do things here. Okay, I think all the action was on the roof. This place seems pretty sparsely populated now. Let him burn. Yeah, I suppose we're, we're down to the last two little apartment places, and this is just like a, what, a public restroom or like a public laundry room or something? Uh-oh. Yep, yeah, I've woken up the zombies that are, I presumably, in the main loot room over here. Right? Yeah? No? Maybe? Critical hit. Bunch of lockers. The feral. I think I'm gonna get surrounded here. Yes. Ooh, two for one there. Okay, was there a main loot here, or is this kind of like a, you know, more of like a remnant POI kind of thing? Yeah, we got nighttime zombies downstairs. Yeah, I think we're we're done here, aren't we? Here, open this up. Yep, no main loot. It would appear. All right. Well, whatever. I think we could just stash the van with our stuff and then head directly to the movie theater. Or maybe head directly to the movie theater and then stash our stuff. Either way works. Alright, here we go. Lone Wolf 2. That uh, kind of describes me, I suppose. Alright, let's hit this quest. And see what we can do here. I've done this several times, so I pretty much know exactly what's going on, I would say. Whoops. Here we go. Still collecting mechanical parts, though. Alright, should be pretty well fed and hydrated. There is a pizza fighting a wolf, I would say, somewhere out there. And there's a bear in the ditch over there, I think. So, yeah, you should be wary of animals. Ooh, yes, working vending machine. Nice. Not much that I want, though. Whoops. Whoa. My bad. Oh, nice, buddy. Hello? Whole bunch of zombies out here. 
Let's have a peek. Oh, no. We're, they're just going to make a little peephole for me. Thank you. There we go. Oh, yeah. We have it real good. You know we have it good when we can one-shot ferals. Aha, these things. Don't these uh, dismantle for um, research data and all that stuff? I'm going to find out. Oh, my God. Taking down the ferals left and right. Aha, here's one of the generators here. One down, two to go. We got a button to push now that unlocks something. Is this takeable? <laughs> Can I take that with me? Can I dismantle it or something? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, broken vending machine here. Uh oh. There we go. Dogs. Oh boy. Close that door. Can't close that door. Damn it. Oh crap. I think we're pretty good here now. Six glue. That ain't bad. All right, so that was the crowd of zombies that hangs out in here, typically. Got a biker and a crawler over there, Arlene and Bo. It's a busy parking lot today. Oh! Oh, I shot his leg off. I thought I'd killed him. Oh, crap. Getting distracted now. You guys in there? Nah, they're sleeping. What about in here? Oh, that's where the dogs came from, is this place over here. Yeah, that's right. They run all the way across. Okay, so we're clear here for now. Top off on health a little bit. Just take a painkiller. We're low on bandages right now. Save those in case we're bleeding. Oh, we got a rat in here and a cop. Luckily, he's a clumsy one. And I'm one-shotting the cops as well now. Hmm, look at that. I, I hope these things do salvage, because I have, like, ten commercial distribution boxes now. Alright, who's in there? Nobody? Um... Oh, there's one. Okay, zombie outside, it would appear. Another distribution box, and we'll turn the generator on. Good. Activate the button. That, uh, did a rolling door somewhere. I don't quite know where. Uh, this one right here, so we're out again, and from here I think we just continue heading this way. Oh, yep, yep, you got dogs. Oh, boy. Can't wait until I can one-shot the dogs. They are super annoying. Trying to keep as much space as I can. Big Mama's got a whole bunch of hit points and Biker can kick my ass. Come on, Big Mama. There we go. Look out. Got him. Damn it, why are, all these things are locked. Locks are annoying. Let me in there. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Any food in here? I need food. That's not, not exactly what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Don't we have a vending machine over here. Anything good in this vending machine? Nope, that's broken. Good, blow this up. Is anything good in there? $342? Nice. Okay, main loot. Right. We gotta go through here, though. Crawler, it's been working on that door for ages. Oh! Where did- where- where did he go? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there he is! Jeez, I totally missed you! You must have gone flying out there! <laughs> wow, my situational awareness is terrible. Acid. Nice. A whole bunch of mineral water. Sweet. Couple upstairs, not exactly sure what they're up to, but I don't think they're a threat. Zombies have a real hard time when it comes to those the spiral staircases, so yeah, we're good. Okay, don't let me forget that uh, wall safe there, because I'm not going to get it right this minute. In fact, do I even have eye candy? Because otherwise I might as well just take it. Whoa, hello! Yeah, really no sense in waiting, I don't think. Hey, you made it down the stairs! Impressive. Yeah, we'll just take this now. Meat cleaver. Nice. And it's morning. Make sure we take all the electronics with us. Good football helmet there. Ooh, 388 dukes. Not bad. That's going to be real fun when we get to the disassembly station and have to, like, push all this stuff through. Another beaker. That is good. And this would be the last of the generators, I believe. We'll fire this up. Yep, whenever it, like chokes out like that, it uh, wakes up all the zombies in the area. It's super loud. Although I think we're good. That might have been the main loot zombies as well. So, okay, grab that. Activate that switch. That should be unlocking the remainder of the zombies that we have to kill. Uh, many of which are down there somewhere. Yep, yeah, see that? Open that door over there and Bo came trundling out and a spider. 
Oh, and a whole bunch of zombies over here from that trailer. I see, yes. Well, let's just get on the ground level and take them out. Look out. Wait a minute, Arlene, why exactly are you running right now? She was not a feral. I think she forgot it was daylight. All right, Bo, I'm gonna need you to die. You're a POI zombie. There we go. And the remaining zombie right here. Nope, still more. Crap. Well, I'll get him on the way out. <gasps> oh no, I'm out of time charges again, so we'll probably have to do a jailbreaker then. Easy peasy. And let's see what we get here. Do we have the right glasses on? We do. Okay, nothing great in there. Ammo, rocket launcher parts, fuel can. Chili dog recipe. I'll read that. Give me a use for all the chili we have. Crawler, did you finally make it in here? He did. Oh, there he is. Moving right along. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Recog, not too bad. And some iron chest armor, some dukes, not too bad. Just gonna go grab that last zombie. Can I open this door now? No, that's still gonna be locked. Okay, who's left in here anyway? Who did not wake up or spawn? Oh, here we go. Okay, just uh, eat that. And I think we're done, yes. Good morning, Ellen. How's it going? Job. How are you today? Ooh, a steel greatsword. Yes, please. Oh, and we're done. We've completed the, the the tier. We're on to the next one. So we've got sniper rifle. Ooh, sniper rifle bundle. And we already have pretty good military armor, and I don't believe that the military armor bundle is actually going to give you good, like, military armor. It's all going to be, like, G-class, F-class, whatever. So, okay, I'm going to take the sniper rifle bundle. Hopefully I don't regret that. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's just open that. I want to see what's inside. What level is it going to be? Yes, a G-class. So, not ideal, but the magazine capacity is double what the ranger rifle has. And I feel like we're doing good. We've been reading the sniper books. We've been using the sniper rifles occasionally. So uh, that'll be fun to try out. I guess we can get... Uh, no, we cannot. We cannot get a uh, a good job to restore powers. We're, we're restoring power to the whole friggin' village. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw that uh, Maxton had some books that I wanted, though. He's got a Shock the Messiah and a Batter Up book. Give me those books, because I'm going to scrap all three of them. Ah, and the drone medic mod. I'm gonna need to buy that because it's really the only utility for the drone, in my opinion, is that no mod problem. right there. Right, let's take care of that right now. We'll read that and scrap those three books for the extra 150 research data. And otherwise, oh yeah, let's check out the, the steel greatsword and actually compare also. Um, whoa, it's doing way more damage and there's a horde here. So, okay, um, I think I closed the door behind me. At least I hope I did. Modify, give me the ergonomic grip. Probably gonna be the best one for the fight here. Yep, okay, pop the diamond tip on. Oh my God, we're a freaking William Wallace now. Um, not doing good on hit points. Take that, take this. Take another one for good measure. Take a skull crusher, eat it. And uh, I'm gonna just go upstairs and we'll take them from out here somewhere. Yep, up and over and oh my God, they're all down in the tunnel. Frame rate not good right now. Okay, come on over here guys. Ooh, it's a slow swing, but I like it. All right, motherfuckers, suck on that. Oh, jeez. The swing is so slow. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Yes, they're fucking fast. This is bad. Cop. Okay, he tried to spit, but he couldn't do it. Ow, whoa. Okay. <laughs> In the van. Whoa. All right, put it in gear. Charge. Oh, I'm dying. Get out and get a bandage on me. There we go. Okay, set them on fire as they come through to come and get to me. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is super bad. Bandages. Can't say that I really like this weapon. Loot bag there. Look out. Whoa. Fist me, motherfucker. Okay, check that loot before we move on. Nice. Another loot bag. 
I think I strung them out. There's still a bunch of them. That or they all caught on fire. I'm not sure. No, I don't see any more. Hello? Anybody left over? That's it. Oh, my poor van took a little bit of a beating there. That's okay. I'm gonna go get the Humvee here pretty soon. Okay, welcome back to Camp Fubar and everything's put away and organized. Let's just go over the couple things that I forgot about. Vehicle supercharger mod, I believe I got that yesterday. I just don't quite remember. Let's see if we can maybe upgrade that because it is one of those upgradable kind of things. Uh, of course, using a bunch of steel, rubber, stuff like that, oil, adhesive. Yeah. Let's see what we got. It's going to be an extra 5% speed. Just bring this down. I'm not too concerned about, you know, incrementally increasing my speed. It's not like we have very far to go. So anyway, pop that on there and we'll check the treasure map. Where is that going to send me? Way out to the west. There is the edge of this big city out there. So there might be a trader in that vicinity. How are we looking on research data now? We are at... Ooh, wait, 58 mechanical parts. That's pretty good. And 806 research data. And I should be rolling on iron down here. Yep, that's all done. Turn this off and uh, what do we need? Iron or steel? Well, in order to upgrade the Galloway blade to B, we're gonna need, well, number one, more leather, unless maybe I'm just not in range. Oh, just not in range. So we'll just need more iron plates. But really what I want to look into... Oh my goodness, I've been wearing the steel armor all day. Wow. Well, it might have saved my life, all the fighting I've been doing today. But, jeez, give me my good armor back. Or maybe that's why I've taken so much damage today is because I'm used to wearing light armor and my mobility's been all messed up. Although I have read the book where if I'm in combat, um, I don't suffer the effects of encumbrance or, or decreased mobility from my armor. So, I don't know. I don't know. Probably the, the most efficient thing for me to do would be to just wear... Um, steel armor you know what i mean and and when i'm in combat it won't even weigh me down but yeah what i wanted to do was see if i can just get the the gloves and the legs um upgraded just a little bit because they're they're honestly terrible and i think when something is like a g class it's worse than it would have been in vanilla but when it's like an s class it's better than it would have been in vanilla so really you want to get your stuff upgraded in fact oh my god Goodness, cotton. I gotta go pick cotton. Oh, and that's gonna burn through our adhesive and military fiber very quickly. And animal fat. I seriously don't have enough animal fat? Is that possible? Wow. Okay, what about the gloves? Presumably the same thing. Wow. Okay. Well, that's um, that's that's not what I was expecting there. Could just go ahead and upgrade my triple pocket mods a little bit. In fact, let's just do that a couple times. It gives me a little bit back. Well, geez, maybe we're not going to do this. I feel like looting is just so much easier in terms of getting better equipment. So maybe instead of spending my time picking cotton and harvesting resources, we should just be out looting and getting this stuff in loot. I think that's a great plan. Here, give me all that stuff. Put that stuff away. Put my armor back on. Put the resources away. We are hungry and thirsty. So eat some pumpkin bread. And let's do just that. Let's do some looting. What better place to loot than in the wasteland? And there's all kinds of wasteland POIs actually in between us and that treasure map over there. So let's swing through here and do some exploration. Yeah, look at all these buildings out here. Now they're all pretty much residential. Oh, geez, we got birds on us. However, down at the end of the street here, I've had my sights set on this place for quite a while. There's a ooh, little passing gas, and we know that there's that little weapons bag there, so let's grab that. Look. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a dead zombie up there. Uh-oh. With a loot bag. Okay. Now, you can tell I've done this trick here before. Okay. Yes. Right in here. Here. You die. Watch that bear. Yeah, definitely don't want anything to do with that guy. Here, close that. Let's just grab this little bit of loot that's here. Um, correct pair of lucky goggles on. Okay, not not terrible. Kind of terrible, but I'll live. Kill these couple guys. Ooh, loot bag. Getting lucky today. Okay, check this. No military armor. It's kind of like what I'm looking for, right? That's okay. We're gonna... Ooh, another supercharger and the jackhammer schematic. Don't need that anymore. Okay, out we go. Oh my god, the bird's just swooping out of nowhere. 
Okay, what's in this? This is a, one of the good blue ones, too. Chicker plate, we can scrap that. Take the rest. Good amount of 9 mil there. Too bad I couldn't get some uh, 10 mil. That was the issue in the in the beginning of the series, right? I couldn't find any 10 mil. Yeah, it continues to be an issue. All right, this POI is basically garbage, and except for the main loot. So that's what we're going to go get. And it's pretty much the easiest way to get in is right through here, in my opinion, anyway. Oh, I just noticed I have a deep laceration, too. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, any... Nope, no rads. I would have expected to see a rad, given our least recent luck. But I'm not complaining. Couple of ferals, though. Okay, so far so good. Looks like there's only one left anyway. And he's down. Dog outside, it would seem. I'll leave him to it. Oh, I didn't grab the timed charges, did I? Okay, bummer. But, uh, I can probably pick this once I take a Jailbreaker. There we go. Anything good here? Ooh, a really good steel machete. Wow, how's that gonna compare? Wow, not, not a whole lot worse, actually. Attack speed is the same. I could get maybe one or two more extra mods and submachine guns. Ah, I'll think about it. Oh, here we go. Bubbles, you need to stay away from the loot, buddy. Come over here. He could wreck that ammo pile in one little spray. Ooh, he's strong, isn't he? I feel like he's got a little bit of a buff recently. What's in here? Grandpa's Moonshine and Electric Timer Relays. Don't need either of those. And, uh, yeah, because we've got... We're, we're pretty good on research data today, so I'll, I'll read that submachine gun one. And lots of ammo, okay. What's in this one? Titanium Nux and cooling mesh. Don't need either of those. All right, I'd say we're doing pretty good so far. So let's uh, continue our little looting excursion and uh, run away from all the zombies. Ooh, I have to remember that's a little good note of titanium there. Really not a good idea to drive cross country to try to get through to the next village, but um, I don't know, I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's go. Oh yes, immediate regrets. Ah! Oh, what's over here for good stuff? Ooh, that's a cool looking house right there. Yeah, I really like the looks of this place here, so I want to do this. We'll do this, hopefully it won't take all day, and then we'll push a little bit further to the west to go get the treasure map and maybe see if there's a traitor here somewhere. First try. Too easy. Uh-oh. Ooh, loot bags. Oh, crap! But we are really good on bandages, so might as well start taking them. I just want to see the steel machete. See, the attack speed is not that great on it, because I think the the Galloway blade there is basically a machete. Noticeably way worse. Yep, get rid of that. I think in terms of, like, upgrading, basically I just want to focus on the sword, because... Everything else, ooh, junk drone. I think I'll just be hanging on to that for a little bit. Gotta think that over. Again, I'd much rather just, uh, oh, here we go. Dog out back. I think I'll just kind of leave him alone, though. Oh, man, clumsy motherfucker. Yeah, I think, like, um, you know, with the drone, I'd rather just find it somewhere because, ah, uh, it's just... If I make one, it's going to be such a low level, and then again, we're going to find out that it's going to require an inordinate amount of resources to upgrade it. So yeah, I'm really not keen on crafting one. We do have the healing mod thing, so we could just use it for healing exclusively. I don't know, we'll think it over. Oh, good morning, Big Mama. Oh, feral one, too. Ow, whoa, she hits hard. Just take a painkiller. And rehydrate into the garage. Ooh, there's a uh, landmine there. And stairs going down. I don't really recognize where I am right now. Going down. I wonder if this is a custom POI or if this is a vanilla POI. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Oh, I guess it's just like a wine cellar. Beer. They drank all the beer, though, unfortunately. Okay, surely we must be coming up toward the end. Yes, that would be like a, a door to the exterior, it would seem. Oh, here we go. Main boss fight. Ah, main loot here as well. Aha. Uh, HP 10 millimeter rounds. I 
guess. Sure. Steel boots and a wasteland treasures. Um, to purifying the water. Again, mineral water, don't need that. I find it all over the place. Wow, doing really good on research data today, though. Ah, oh, there we go. A-class military legs. Good thing I didn't spend all those resources. Ow! Eat that. How did you even get in here, you asshole? You glitched through the door, you glitching son of a bitch. Yep, uh, this worked exactly as intended. The whole reason we came here was to get military armor, and we're halfway there. We just need a good set of gloves now. Hey, look, all of these houses are wasteland houses, so anyone that tickles my fancy, we could run through and see if we get something good out of. What about this one right here? This looks like a wealthy looking house, so... And that one looks really small. Let's try the small one. We're kind of strapped for time right now. We gotta hopefully find a trader before nightfall. If not, you know, maybe we'll just uh, have to come back to it an another time. It's like easy access in the back. Oh, I just found a sewing kit, and thank goodness, probably not the first one I found today, but I can get that deep laceration sutured up. Okay, that door's locked. We're just gonna pick this, or is there another way, or what? What's going on here? We're in. Oh, geez, what's going on here? Definitely not supposed to go that way. What way am I supposed to go, then? Uh, oh, I see. I missed this part. Would appear this is what you're supposed to do, is go down here. Yeah, a little tier one POI. Uh-oh. Close quarters here. Yikes. Yeah, we're good. Anything good in here? Leather leg armor. Not quite what I was looking for. Should sell for a little bit, though. Well, I suppose we're out of here then. Moving right along, I think we'll now go explore, see if we can find the trader, and then I think after that we'll get the buried treasure. We can do that at night anyway. And we'll call it a day after that. Oh look, a Mo Power truck crashed into a working stiff tool truck. It's a miracle. Okay. Oh, nothing good though. Come on, man. Really? Oh, we've got this place again. This is just the easiest loot in the whole game right here. You just walk in, you kill like three zombies, you get a weapons bag, an ammo pile. That's a heavy barrel on that too. Close that door, open this, kill that freaking dog. You got me a little bit. Oh, I'm in such a hurry here. Whoa! I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, I'm bleeding out. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> yes, the easiest POI in the game. Don't you love it? Right, let's try that again. I gotta stop doing that, man. I'm blaming it on my armor, okay? It's because I have weak ass armor. <laughs> No, it's because I'm an idiot. There's some steel leg armor. There's that really cool Eiffel Tower here. I've never been in that before, so I'm not sure if that's, um... I mean, certainly there must be some loot in there somewhere. I don't know. We'll have to check it out someday, I think. Must be a hell of a view from up top. Always check these mailboxes as you're rolling through. Ooh, I'm super thirsty. Check the mail. Nothing there. Ooh, look. Five in one. I should get something out of here, right? Right? Come on! Tell me there's something in here! Oh, you son of a bitch! Get out of here! Knives and swords! I- I'm gonna just scrap that. <laughs> I don't need to level up in that anymore. Oh wow, this is like right in the middle of town, it seems. Oh jeez, right in the ditch there. I have not seen the traitor yet. Let's just maybe push through to the back edge of town. Oh, that is the- uh, one of the- custom libraries up here. Uh, is that the trader down there? What is over here? Now we're back into the wasteland. I thought this was like the entry point to the city over here. I think I'm wrong though. Oh boy, there's dogs everywhere. Here, put it in reverse. Oh my god, freaking bubbles over there walked over a landmine and there's a bear here. This is just not a fun part of town over here. I'm leaving. Come on, just like they do in the movies. We did it! So this is technically Wasteland over here where I am right now, and that's a Mo Power place, which is like Research Data Central. Oh, and that right there, that big, big building, I believe that's the Eden Mall? Uh, which is a huge, huge POI. I don't know if we've, we'd be able to clear that out. It'd take several days. I think it took me, uh, what, th 
two or three days the last time I did it. Yeah, that's like a, that's like a dedicated whole episode to take that place out. Anyway, I'm done with the wasteland. I'm gonna roll back to the treasure. We'll dig that up and we'll head back home. Aha, look what I found. Yucca juice smoothie. Ah, uh, you know what guys? I'll throw you a bone. I'll read that one. Oh, ooh, I found it. Nice. And we're in. No, not really what I was looking for. Good about a cash though, that's valuable. Okay. Aha, some cotton. We, we are gonna need some cotton apparently if we're ever gonna do some upgrades. Right, well, it is a long, long slog back to base, so I'm gonna head back, I'll get everything organized, and we'll start getting a plan together for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. And look what we have here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And this morning we've just been working on getting lots and lots of iron. We're gonna need that for steel, iron plates, and things like that. I wanna get a vehicle or a car repair kit crafted at some point today, and then we'll head over into the desert and hopefully get that Humvee repaired, and then we'll drive that back home. I just wanna try it out. I don't think we particularly need it for anything, but anyway, there was a suggestion in the comments that we put some sort of a storage down here, put all of our stuff in there. Oh, hang on. The trick is you got to get on the ladder because when you're on the ladder, you're not affected by encumbrance. So I can take all of this. I'm encumbered by like 800. So we can just zip our way up the ladder. And I also put some like ladders up here. We'll see it in just a second. And you can kind of, I'll be able to move laterally over to the vehicle. So we don't have to make multiple trips up and down out of the mine, basically. Maybe you guys would like to do something like that. So that's why I wanted to do it. So yeah, just drop everything in there. We're suddenly not encumbered. And check for screamers real quick. Also, I switched over the main loadout. We're going to be rolling with the pistol, the Golconda pistol. Hey, loot bag over there I missed. Yeah, so Golconda pistol. And I'll show you why. So I did some testing in my own time this week. And... What I found out was that if you go to the action skills, every bullet that connects from a gun increases your EXP by one, roughly. It, it doesn't exactly equal one, but anyway. Uh, but a kill with a weapon gives you like five XP. So basically, I feel like doing less damage, but having a higher fire rate and a higher capacity is going to help us level up faster than would say, you know, a revolver or the desert vulture thing. So until I find a really good 44 Magnum handgun, I'm going to be rolling with the nine mil. I also put a full auto mod onto it. So we'll be able to like hold down the trigger and just wipe out lots of zombies. And if we can get it upgraded at some point, I would like to then put an extended magazine on it. All right, park it in here and bring her up. Hopefully that's not gonna smash the front of the vehicle. Yep, that's good. Also pulled out the A-Class M60 that we got yesterday. And uh, that's just because it's freaking cool. <laughs> Basically my only reasoning behind that. So usually if I just get this just right, I can reach the resource box and I can reach the vehicle. So there's no need for any sort of fanciness there. And then, oh, I'm like infected and fatigued. We'll take one of my incredibly rare vitamins that I have. Little bit hungry, eat the last hobo stew. Probably should look into some cooking here. What do we got for recipes anyway now? Ah, uh, we got chili dogs, we've got sham chowder. That's the one you want. That's my favorite meal to cook. So cook that. Can I just make some more cornbread? How do I make corn? I gotta research cornbread, are you kidding me? Well, in that case, just get the fish tacos. Okay, time to run the forges. Oh yeah, someone did comment and said, uh, a couple people did in fact, thank you. 
that uh, I have a bellows up here. Also, I don't want to lose those, so put those down here with the other couple hundred shapes we have ready to go. So we can just drop this in here for just, I think it's what, 10%, 25% better crafting speed out of there, and some extra clay bricks, okay. A few extra Molotovs in here. Are these heavy by any chance? Ooh, seven pounds. Uh, I think 10 is good then. We're starting to get very heavy. I also decided that we're gonna switch over to wearing at least 50% heavy armor, because I read that book where armor doesn't slow me down in combat, so all I have to do is hit a zombie, get hit by a zombie or shoot a zombie, whatever the case may be, and all of a sudden I have no mobility penalty from my armor. So I sort of brainstormed on that and sort of came to the conclusion that uh, it is definitely worth it to start wearing heavy armor now. Right, what are we working on here? We have, oh, gold, gold ingot. I think that's used to make like, to, to upgrade to like S-class basically, like you'll need some precious resources to get up there, maybe some diamonds, maybe some testosterone as extract, and maybe some gold, I'm not sure, but we'll get there eventually. We're gonna need steel though, we need steel so that we can make the car repair kit. Oh, there's the drone medic kit. Speaking of the drone medic kit, I did have the drone schematic, and I, I was getting organized this morning and accidentally put it away, so let's read that and see if we can make it. Drone, junk drone, okay, titanium, nuts and bolts, gears, and robotics parts. Otherwise, we have everything. Ooh, motion sensors, yikes. Yeah, robotics parts. We don't have any of those because I've been selling them, so we'll have to start stockpiling them a little bit. While we're waiting for some of that stuff, someone did comment and said and reminded me that, my goodness, we have a backpack on here, which is one of the best ways to increase your carrying capacity. Currently only getting plus 10 to the backpack space, so... Let's uh, stand in the middle here so we can reach all of our storages and see if we can get this upgraded a little bit. Requiring leather adhesive cloth. Okay, not too bad. Now getting into the research data. Upgrade again and really getting into the leather now. So one more perhaps. Yes, okay, we're up to E on that. We'll have to stockpile some more leather. Uh, how do we get leather? We could do, <laughs> we could do the snake house, I know that. Uh, what else can we do? We could get some bear. I don't know, we'll just have to keep an eye out for animals from now on. So that suddenly brought us up from 10 to 40, so that was plus 30 on the back backspace, which is nice because, you know, the M60 is a little bit heavier, the ammo that we're carrying is a little bit heavier, and the steel armor is a little bit heavier, so that'll help offset all that stuff. Oh, and speaking of armor, we have some damaged armor that we need to repair then. Plenty of military fiber, thank goodness. There we go, all set. Okay, 28 steel plates, we'll wait 50 seconds on that and we'll get the car repair kit. What about further upgrading the sword here? Okay, repair first and then up. oh, oil. Oil, I made oil though this morning, I made a whole bunch of it. Chemistry station, 131 oil there. And with that gas, can we just refuel this so I don't forget to do that later? So the oil is important. Uh, Mainly for Molotovs, I would say, but also, I guess, for upgrades, we could get up to B-class. And I- oh, leather as well. Crap. And only a 75% chance. Okay. Mods off. And by the way, is this, uh, done yet? Yes, let's get that car repair kit, because I think that took, like, five or ten minutes. Four and a half minutes with the nerdy glasses on, so craft that. Okay, the question is now, can we get this? Oh, not in the right position. There we go. Oh, come on. Upgrade. It worked. Yes, we're up to B class. Purple. Nice. Oh, and does that mean I can get another mod on there? We, we're up to four mod slots. Oh, we can get another mod on here. Er, unfortunately, I, I don't think you can put the fortifying grip on with the ergonomic grip. In fact, I know you can't. We can put the tempered blade on, I think, though. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. That's pretty good because we're up to like plus 10% damage on top of its base. Not 10%, plus 10 base damage on top of the base 42.4 or 67.4, so that's good to see. Are we good now, though? We could repair the... Ooh, 24 machine gun parts to get it to S-Class. That is a lot. Also, acid, just all kinds of stuff here. Oh, even just to repair it, two titanium plates. Although, I think I have those. I'm just gonna stand in the right spot. Yep, just uh, go ahead and repair that. And otherwise, are we good here? Do we need some more ammo? Nah, we got like two full belts on the M60. And we got all, I don't know, what is that is? Like 10 mags or so here on this. Oh boy, I just opened up the disassembly station and it pushed out a whole bunch of crap onto my inventory. You know, I think the solution to the disassembly station would be to increase the queue size and increase the output size to 12 each. 
So that way you can just kind of set it and forget it because it is super annoying to have to micro this. Right, getting a little bit late into the afternoon. How are we looking on this? Five seconds. Okay, grab the car repair kit. Grab a bunch of gas. I'm not sure how much. Let's just take a barrel and like, I don't know, a tank after that. Maybe, maybe two. And then we go to the van here. We open this up. We take out all of the fuel saver stuff. Let's just take everything and we'll put it all into the Humvee when we get to it. And we're gonna have to take the bike out there because the bike can then go into the Humvee, hopefully. Oh, let's bring this down. Yeah, it's it's definitely ill-advised to leave a vehicle on the elevator. You always wanna take it off when you're leaving or when you're like loading out of the game or else it glitches through the floor. I think the reason why the durability on this is like 50% is because it keeps getting freaking glitched in here. But okay, you know, you gotta like, Adapt, adapt and overcome, right? All right, I'll meet you over at the Humvee then. All righty, rolling up on the spot here. Birds swarming as usual. Oh, I love that military truck right there. Would you please? Yeah, the thing that's holding us back on getting this bad boy here is the truck tires. I don't have any of them and I haven't really been saving them. So perhaps we won't get this in this playthrough. I don't even know if we really need it in terms of like, the, I don't know, the 10,000 cargo capacity or whatever it has. But um, let's see, are we good here? We got everything we need. Yeah, it looks like it. Landmine's going off. Repair this. Did you see that zombie just come flying out of nowhere? There we go. Whoa, look out. Whoa, nice landing. Get all of my new stuff on there and refuel. Just pick this up and we'll just drop all that stuff in here. We'll take it for a little bit of a test drive. Looks like max speed is uh, something on the order of 35 miles an hour, which is not too bad. I think that's about the same as the van, I would say. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna head into this town here. There might be a trader there. Let's go check and see if we can find one. No trader yet, but there's El Chapo's right there. I love that POI. I still, I don't, I don't think I've done that POI in a series yet. So we'll have to maybe think about doing that at some point. Something big right here with zombies on the rooftop. Massive traffic jam here. What is this place anyway? Building materials? Araxco building materials? Oh my birds, Jesus Christ. Here, let's work on the pistol skill. Ooh, sudden lag spike. I'm not sure if I've spawned zombies in in that POI or if there's a horde. Not sure, to be determined, I guess. Oh wow, look at that scrap pistol there. Not too bad. Sell value? Yeah, okay, T that's bad. All right, anyway, let's see what's going on in this place. Okay, ooh, bear. Bear and dog. Oh, and zombies, of course. Uh, we got dogs awake now. Wonder if we can just close this door as well. Oh, nope, whoop, ah, I <laughs> closed it right in his face. Oh boy, this is a very active POI. Might just see if I can get a ladder up there. Hello? Holy cow, what a mess in there. Look at all the construction workers, dogs everywhere. Oh, look at the barrels over there, all the fuel barrels. Should be able to refuel some of uh, the barrels that we brought with us. Bunch over there, holy cow. Okay, we just have to kill everything, which is probably easier said than done. Here, let's start with this. Bears are awake. Zombies are awake. Oh, man. This is gonna be crazy. Holy birds! And a freaking zombie bear! Uh-oh! Open fire! Okay, bird threat down. How did you get up here? They're on the rooftop of this, and this guy, oh my god, get away from me. Okay, they're, they're clustering pretty well right down there. I wish cars blew up. I don't think cars blow up anymore in Undead Legacy. Ah, uh, they're coming from the ceiling. All right, perfect. Good little horde base here. Yeah, oh, it's about to get real friggin' busy here. Start with this then. Wow, it's going really good here. Arlene, holy bears. Yeah, oh geez, so many dogs and bears here. Can you just 
Come into the fire, please. Ow! I hear some dogs dying, but I don't hear the bears dying. They're definitely not really affected by the fire. Ooh, two for one. Yikes! Okay, time to heal up. Okay, there's only one way to go about the bear situation here, and that's probably headshots with the machine gun. Yeah, ooh, critical hit, got him killed. Oh, they just melt under the M60 fire. M60 actually doing a lot of damage. There we go. Okay, can we risk ground level? Oh, we got snakes and everything. Okay, dead, dead, give me the leather. Getting close-ish to nightfall, keep an eye on that. Ow! Okay, I think we're probably good now. I already checked the trash here. No leather in those things. Whoa! Oh, lots of dogs though. Should get plenty of leather here. What'd that then be? 68, nice. That might be enough to like upgrade the sword again. Working vending machine. Oh, finally an eye candy. Yep, put that up there. Lock that inventory slot. Thank you very much. Ooh, skull crushers take those coffee. Yep. Jailbreakers. Yeah, we're out of those too. Put that up there and lock that inventory slot. Health bar. Why not? We'll get some drinks while we're at it. And uh, that's good. So let's just get a bird's eye view here. Let's head up here actually. See what's going on here. Oh, bubbles! Oh, geez, a lot of them too. Yikes. Oh, boy. Bird. Oh, my God, they're feral. Most, if not all, of them are. Uh oh. More dogs as well. Yep, yeah, we got the full auto mode. It's coming in handy now, isn't it? Yeah! Get back! Okay, time for the M60. Oh, they're just melting under this as well. This thing is powerful. Whoa! Mutated to everywhere! This place is dangerous! Yikes! Holy crap! There's so many of them! Yes, okay. They're they're calculating that they can come onto the rooftop now. That's good. You guys need to reset. I think they fell down and then they were like, nope, can't do this anymore. Gotta go into destroy everything mode. And Molotov, you... Kill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think that, uh... The sword is the best weapon! Ah! Yep, definitely M60 is. And good opportunity there. Nice. Okay, we're running low on ammo. We do have the option to just retreat if we have to. Yep, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Last mag here. Gotta be good about the headshots now since we're really running low here. I don't really know what classifies as his head though. Ooh, that's nice. In fact, just leave that there for just a minute because we might be able to find a main loot here. I would imagine this is a tier five by the looks of things. Give me some food, water, stamina bonus. Go ahead and just take a skull crusher as well. Yep, again with the ladder. Oh geez, any more guys up here? No, no loot up here either, bummer. Yeah, we've been short on mechanical parts for a little while. Someone suggested uh, shopping carts as a good source of those, so we'll have to keep an eye open for a shopping center. Ooh, A-class frying pan. Yes, okay, we got more zombies over here. Might be able to do this nice and quietly. Gotta try to avoid those situations where we're getting ganged up on. Oh, there's a ladder, okay. Go! Oh, look out. Alright. Back to the safety of our little corridor over here. Oh, got a rad. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got the rad remover, and it's just one. Yep, got him. Nice. Jeez, this place is just full of zombies. We're gonna be here all friggin' night. If we don't die. Alright, do you think just kinda like <laughs> running it is as a good strategy here? Here, let's jump down. Relatively safe here, it seems. Okay, get some healing into me. We're not encumbered, so we're good there. If I just get a pop shot into a zombie, my armor penalty goes away, so I can run faster. Let's just sprint across here. Okay, no zombies spawning in here, although very, very laggy all of a sudden. Bunch of rads down there. Like, like, by a bunch, I mean like a dozen. Holy shit. Keep going, keep going. I hear sleepy zombies. Oh my god, the moes. Ow. The lag is bad right now. This is not good. Yeah, it looks like I woke a lot up and then they 
kind of have stopped chasing me. Not sure where they all went. Here they all are here. Okay, can you hear me? If you can hear me, wake up and come over here. Just take care of the birds and oh my God, what a good opportunity for Molotovs. It's a friggin' miracle. Here, come straight over here. Light them up. Just get big, big clusters of them. These guys are not feral. Oh crap, bird. There we go, more fire. I should soften them up really well for some melee. Ow, they're coming from everywhere. I wish I could get them into um, a better cluster. They don't seem to be clustering very well. Oh, we're down to our last couple Molotovs here too. Okay, we'll wait for these guys to burn out and then we'll do the last Molotov. Here we go, one more. Oh, look at the XP, I'm at like 6,000 right now. Leveled up, ooh, three skill points too. Keep forgetting to spend those as usual. Okay, what I'm gonna try and do is pull them over to that area over there. They seem to be more capable of getting to me from over there. Look at the sleeping rads. Oh my freaking goodness. This place is just killer. This is a killer place right here. Just meant to destroy and demoralize. I definitely feel a distinct lack of safety right now. I suppose we could run over and get in the vehicle and, and retreat if we had to. All right, here we go. Go oh, shit, yep, I'm running. Good fucking bye, man. There's nothing in there that's worth me dying over. Ah, crap. We'll have to come back when we're better equipped and see if we can figure out what they're all hiding in there. For now, though, I think it is time to head home. So I think I'll just meet you there. Oh, there's a drop there. So let's hit that drop and then we'll head home. Yep, here we go, right here. And this is the drop from when we were doing the oil shale montage. Go ahead and pop the lucky goggles on and check it. Mm, ranged mods bundle three. What is it with the ranged mods bundle? Oh God, gonna die here. Whatever. Okay, let's go home. All right, home sweet home. Close that damn door, bring me up and get a first aid kit into me. Now I did see that there was a loot bag down here. We must've missed on Horde Night right there. Proper goggles are already on. Let's check it out. Nail gun schematic. I already have a nail gun, so I don't need to be able to make more. Man, just like that, we are like already running out of ammo again. Probably need to just start crafting some actually. So yes, repair the Golconda. Yes. Galloway blade, repair that as well. Just, you know, whatever. Everything else pretty much good, I guess. Repair that. Okay, ranged mods bundle number three, giving me Scope, full auto, composite string, nothing special there. Just drop those into the mods box. Looks like we have a lot of stuff to sell, so it might be a good day to do a quick trader sell-off. Also, we have a ton of money, and trader restock day has happened since we've been there last, so we'll have to make a trip over. So yeah, grab up all this, and we'll see if we can get some of it repaired. All right, that's everything all repaired up. Put a couple mods on some of these things, like the steel machete there, just to get rid of the fortifying grip. And uh, do we have sugar butts? Sugar butts right there. And also bring the pumpkin cheesecake with me in case there's something special we wanna buy. Otherwise, we should be good. Let's head over to Trader Ellen. Man, this thing is a gas guzzler. Maybe we should just stick to the van, guys. I don't know. Nah, we got plenty of fuel anyway, but yeah, if we start running out of fuel, that's gonna be the first cut we have to make. So check the vending machine. Ah, of course there's no eye candy. We're really short on eye candy these days, but I suppose, you know, salmon we can cook with that, and coffee's good to have, and since we're out today, might as well just load up on some drinks and stuff like that. And okay, let's see what Ellen has here. Am I turning in a quest right now? No, I'm not. Yes, of course. We were waiting for the tier fives to come through, and here they are. Apartments, house, old tutor. I'm gonna take a look at that one. Oh, that's the snake house, no thanks. No pressure. Glad you feel that way, Ellen. What's this? Retail Park Mute. Go for what is it. that? Oh, that's uh, something interesting. Mm, <laughs> this will be a rough mission for you, but I'm sure you can handle it. I don't know about that. That one's kind of far away, so... No problem. Let's check. Okay. Ooh, Strip Club. I've heard this place is fun, so let's go ahead and do this. This is by Shima. As you wish. We just drove by that on the way here too. So let's first just check and see if we even need to use the pumpkin cheesecake. Is there enough here that we would like to buy? A nice titanium axe, however, only modestly better than the steel axe. So yeah, probably not worth the money there. Healing book, yeah, nothing great here. 
Right, really? so I guess we'll save the pumpkin cheesecake. I will just do the sugar butt, because yeah, this is going to be... Well, it says 5% discount when bartering, but I, I, I thought that was when buying. At least it is buying in, def uh, in default 7 days to die. Well, I don't know. I guess... I guess we're gonna do an experiment. So may I see your inventory? So for this A-class frying pan, she's gonna give me 145. Eat the pumpkin cheesecake. And now she's gonna give me 145. So yeah, it's just for selling. That or they're not stacking. All right, let's sell. Good. And last one to you. Unfortunately, I'm just realizing I did forget to bring all of the rest of the sellables with us because that was just the... Right the upgradable, the repairable sellables, and I'm still in the mindset that these schematics are a little bit too expensive to justify buying them no for just the research data. So we'll read that one and scrap the other two, sort the inventory a little bit, and we'll head over and do the strip club. So this is the place here. I did stop by back home to grab the Molotovs because we might need those. And I hit up the vending machines that were on the way home and picked up some skull crushers and a couple more eye candy. So yeah, we got the nerdy glasses on. Let's hit this and see what this place has to offer. The Titty Twister. New dancing girls, girls, girls. Oh, it sounds like fun. What is going on in here? That's locked. Oh boy, this is uh, already creeping me out. Yep, barrel strippers. What a surprise. <laughs> Here, bring them into the parking lot. I can't see a damn thing. Whoa. Wonder if I can... No, I was hoping I could take the drawbridge, but I cannot. ATM here with $411. Not too bad. Going nice and slow. Although this is leather. We do need leather. Oh, of course. Just zombies everywhere. Luckily, they're not all ferals. That's nice, unlike the, the whatever that resource area was with all the bears and birds and stuff earlier. Okay, just gonna loot as I go here. Okay, so that should be more clear back here. Ooh, weapons bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the lucky goggles for that. Ergonomic grip, not too bad. I believe the ergonomic grip would be good for something like the fire axe, I guess. Are we all locked and loaded here? Yeah, I think we're good on weapons and ammo. That is also locked. I want to just unlock that and see what's going on in there. I like it. It's all like businessmen and strippers. A true gentleman's club. Oh, oil shale. Are you kidding me? Wow. Interesting decoration. I do like it. I'm going to just go ahead and pretend that that's a not real oil shale and I'm not going to mine it. All right, as we move along, yes, just more and more zombies. Okay, some hot tub areas. Is this water? Yeah, a little bit of water here. Hunting rifle sitting in there. Nice. Oh, these are like massage tables. I see. That's where you like put your head. That's pretty cool. Ah, some recog. Have to remember that I have that. Okay, back on with the nerdy glasses. Heading down. This gives us a bit of a safety net, because zombies have a really hard time chasing you up these things. Okay, let's go lights out. Although people tell me that lights out doesn't matter, but if you look at my sneak bar there in the lower left corner, uh, you know, sneak definitely is affected by your light. So when I say lights out, I mean, I think it's working, you know? I'm no expert here, but, you know, it makes sense, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. They're hiding in the walls. Oh, my God, like a million of them. Here, run up here. See if they can follow me. Yeah, a little bit. They're, they're having a little bit of a hard time. Yikes! Get back! Get some freaking disease from you. There we go. Fight fire with fire here. Nice. Okay, doing good so far. Whoop, forgot the glasses on this one. Can I cancel, cancel? I canceled, I think. There we go. Yeah, they were hiding in the walls here somewhere. It's difficult to see because it's like total blackout conditions with this uh, TV screen paint everywhere. I'm unclear on where to go now. Is it this way? Aha, exit. There we go. Oh boy. Vault door locked. However, there's a switch there and just loading my gun. Woke all the freaking zombies up. Great. Here, open it up. 
Okay, just a couple of regular Joes here. For now, at least. Okay. Can we have some space in here to run? Ooh, what's going on over here? I see zombies over there. Take them if you can. Got a couple at least. Oh, look at the compass. All lit up. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yep, time for a gun here. Oh boy, they are all coming up the escalator here. Yikes! Okay, yes, well, fighting position here, I guess. Wow, man. Yeah, we're still doing fine on ammo, though, so that's good. Hopefully we can just find some more ammo here at some point. Oh, airdrop. Yeah, we'll just mark it, because I think when you log out, that little yellow indicator goes away. Right, back to the task at hand here. Loot this. A little bit of 9 mil, that helps. Okay, moving right along. And if I think about it later, I might... No, this is not going to be worth it, is it, to harvest all those for leather? I only got one leather there. Aha, uh -huh. ooh, free spotlights, actually. Yes, give me those. Just a couple. I mean, I don't think I really need that many. Take that acid. Staff only, and the door's locked. Can I open it? I can. Easy. All right, bit of an opportunity here to juice up. So let's take a skull crusher. Go ahead and take that smoothie. Eat some food. We'll save the recog, and let's continue rolling through here. Here we go. Oh, skull crusher helps so much. Night and day difference. A lot of people ask me, the skull crusher, does it work on... Uh, sword weapons, because I guess Skull Crusher, the, the indication is that it would be like blunt only, but yeah, it's melee damage. Melee damage that's, you know, all weapons, basically. Got more here somewhere. I feel like we're doing so far so good. I wonder if all the rads that we just killed there, what, if that was like the main loot area and the main boss fight, and from here on it should be all smooth sailing. Arlene, what the fuck are you doing here? Nasty, it's not that kind of strip club. Whoa, big mama coming out of nowhere. Definitely not this kind of a strip club. Ooh, spike traps over there and everything. These look like, like, little private rooms. Looks like I could just get up here, though. All right, get a little bird's eye view of what's going on. Here, I got something for you guys. You can eat that. Whoa, ow. Oh, there's dogs in that last room down there. Yikes. Oh, a lot of them. Yikes. Okay, up we go. Oh, man, that was unexpected. It's a freaking trap, as usual. Here. Work on them with some fire. They figured out a way to get up here. Crap. It's hurting. We're good. A little bit of leather here, too. Working vending machine here, nice. Just stock up on everything while I'm here and heal up even though I think this was the boss fight. So we'll just, you know, carefully poke our way through here. Oh boy, that's, <laughs> they knew you were gonna do that and they made it a freaking trap. Yeah, all is quiet here. Although, okay, landmines in the water. So careful, watch your step here. Yeah, nothing going on. This is uh, all empty. Okay, that one. Oh, crap. Okay, not all empty. Hello? Okay, we just got regulars, it seems like. Skull Crushers has definitely worn off. Get another one going. Compass doesn't look too crazy right now. I think we can handle this. More waking up, though. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh... I don't know, half dozen zombies in here, so I think- Whoa, snake! I think that's the door that we saw when we first came in. Dogs, somewhere. Okay, guns. Dogs are on the other side of that door, which is locked. All clear here, except for snakes. I suppose we're just gonna have to try to pick this. It's very easy, you should be able to do it. There we go, open it up. There we go. Holy shit, bear! Running, running, running! 
I don't think I woke him up. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a plan for that. Do we just go in like guns a blazing or is there a smarter play here? There's also a wolf I saw briefly. Yep, there we go. Okay. I think we can do it though. Here, we got the recog just for this purpose. Let's just do sneak attack on him and uh, sneak attack on you. Oh, four dogs. And he's down. We're good. Might just go easy on the ammo. We might have more bears to deal with here. Get out of the way, please. Ooh, is this the main loot? Getting main loot vibes here. That's very, very sleepy zombies, it seems. Bo, you son of a bitch. Go back to bed. Ah! Oh boy, yikes. Reload. Perfect. All right, what you got for me here? I hear lots of beating upstairs. I feel like that's probably a horde shit. All right, let's press on. Yeah, definitely a horde, definitely a horde. Crap, crap, oh geez. Here, seal me in here. Open this crap up. Anything good? We're just gonna loot as we move now. We're not going back for anything. And hopefully there's a, an alternate exit to get out of here. Like maybe the rooftop or something. Oh geez, the lag is kind of bad here now. Uh, locked door there. What's going on here? Just some stupid bathrooms. Oh, I don't want to go through all this stuff. Also getting a little bit later into the afternoon. Frying pan. We got here bunnies? Do I have to kill these things? Oh, that would be the horde right there. This is the exit. Get. Um, yes. Catch them on fire. They're just gonna break through naturally, so I don't think I need to really help them. Probably that key box goes to that door. Yep, yep, yep. They're ripping through. Okay, reload. Cop's gonna blow, I think. Wait for it. There he goes. All right. Light the rest of them up. Another one's gonna blow. There we go. Holy shit. Here we go. Okay, get the bigger, better guns out. Yikes. Oh my god, this gun is a lifesaver. Okay, real quick before we get into any of a bigger fight, get a first aid kit onto me. Couple more out here. Cop. What you got there, buddy? Bicycle handlebars, what the hell? A little bit of leather off those guys and increased our animal harvesting skill. So, wait, was this it? No, we still gotta clear the area. There's more zombies in here somewhere. Hard to believe, but are these the ones? Do these guys count? What is going on here? Got a screamer. There she is. Okay, I don't think she screamed. Okay, anyway, <laughs> close the drawbridge this time. Unclear to me now where to go. Okay, probably in here, right? I can't blow that open and I can't pick it. We will have to do a jailbreaker then. Okay, here we go. Is that a hatch going down? We've got to continue into this POI? Come on, man, I just want the loot. Uh, yep, I guess there's like a sub-basement level. Jeez. Bunch of snakes, that looks like, um, is that an ammo pile down there? Oh boy. We're gonna test out my theory that this is a viable horde base option. <laughs> Just stand on top of their heads, they can't hit you. They can push you though, and then things get glitchy when they start pushing, but... That works okay. Oh, there's the loot right there. Okay, we are good. I can hear a few more zombies. We'll find them in just a minute. Not a very impressive loot stash here. I will take an eye candy though and pop on the lucky goggles. Just blow this up. I'm sick of picking locks today. What do you got? Assassin skill. Sure, I'll take that and I will... Yeah, it's just ammo basically. More ammo. Recog, that's nice to have. Some gunpowder and a freaking saw. And a mortician's drawer. What the hell? Okay, I guess we gotta find the zombies. I'm suddenly a little bit encumbered too. Oh, is there a backstage area here that I didn't see? It appears that way. Look at this. Ah, key box right there. That'll probably help. Aha. Okay. 
Okay, this has me going down into like the sub-level as well. Man, there's a lot to this place and I'm encumbered, so we have to be kind of careful here. Uh, lots of zombies on the compass. I'm just kind of following the compass trail. So we'll light them all on fire. Here we go. The biker club down here. Oh, so nice. What were you all defending in here? Basically nothing. Junk turret schematic, don't need that. Oh, that was a weightlifting book. That's the first one of those I found. Holy crap, look at all the loot we have. Weightlifting action skill by one. Sure, we'll take it. Holy crap! No, close that door! Oh, I'm telling you, the full auto mod on that pistol is the best thing I ever did. Oh, here we go. Damn it. Okay, that opens something. Okay, I'm too encumbered for this, uh, snake. So take a steroid. Uh, we've got the compass indicator now. The, the last of the zombies are... Oh boy. In here, can't close that door. Run upstairs then. Just spiders? Oh, gun's broken! Yes, that was it. We have cleared the area. Any more good loot in this area, though? Anything good? Just a really creepy shrine. Can I have that? Ooh, I can have that. Haha, <laughs> nice! This might be a sneaky exit, though. Empty boxes. Does that mean I've been here? Oh, it does mean I've been here, and that was like a secret exit. I see. Right, this is the, the main loot area. Okay. And just like that, that is a wicked cool POI, because it dumps you right out basically at the front entrance, so you can just get out of here. Very, very cool place. Well, I suppose before uh, the trader closes, let's run and get the uh, quest reward. And then on the way back, I think we'll swing by and get the airdrop. Hello? Welcome. Okay. Ooh, they got the FAR there. Another titanium axe. This time it would be for free, but also definitely not as good as the steel axe that I have. So I think I'll take the FAR, if only just for the selling value. Grab another job for tomorrow, I guess. I'm very much curious what this retail park okay. mute is. So let's take that. Good. I think that's gonna put us up around Camp Raw Gage, Northeast. No, that'll put us up uh, in uh, Camp Ethan territory. Oh, look, there's a tier one fetch for camp for Trader Wrecked up there as well. Right. Oh, well, I guess we're done here. While we're pulling through here, we'll check this. Okay, got the right goggles on already. Tuna fish gravy toast. Sure. I'll go ahead and read that and take those plates. And home sweet home. Just kind of playing around with the chandelier here. <laughs> Can I put it there? Is that is that is that okay? Can I take this out now? Oh my god, it, it says it sticks there. <laughs> nice. I wonder though, can I actually connect that to power? Aha, you can turn it on. <laughs> I love it. It's a little bit cramped, I wonder. Can I, oh, I can edit it too, wow. So turn the shadows on to, oh, I don't know. I guess soft shadows looks better probably. And for color, let's go with, oh, I don't I don't even know. Like, like a nice golden yellow color maybe? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Very, very homey down here now. I like it. So I think really the only last thing I wanted to do today is grab up some of the shapes and I think we're ready to just head out here and do some minor repairs like this. I think overall things held up really well during the horde last night. I think there was, yeah, there's just one pole here that got knocked out. Plug that back in. Yeah, we're going to need to make some more concrete mix and get that, uh, get this area down here upgraded because they, they keep, somehow, they keep beating in here. I think what may have happened before is there may have been like uh, like an empty spot down here and they glitched into it and got stuck. But either way, we just definitely need to make sure this is all sealed up from here on out and fully upgraded as much as we can. Yep, so hopefully that, that seals that up. Also, we're gonna have to get some more electric fences. Maybe I'll just see if I can get those right now. And one there, and one there. Yes, perfect. Not exactly sure what resulted in their destruction. I would imagine it was a cop blowing up, but yeah, it is what it is. You can't prevent that. Oh crap, wrong block. Yeah, the real fun thing is when we start getting demos and demos are blowing up down here. That'll be a real mess. 
Okay, everything's all hooked back up and ready to go. And I think that'll just about do it. We're gonna have to come up with a plan for tomorrow. I'll do a little bit more crafting and organizing tonight. And uh, yeah, I think we'll probably head to the Northeast and do that interesting tier five. And maybe, maybe we'll head back to the desert over there and finish up whatever kind of a weird POI that was completely overfilled with rad zombies and see if there's anything interesting for us to find over there. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. We're back here at Araxco Building Supplies, or Building Materials, or whatever this place is. And there are rads here somewhere. They're, they just haven't spawned in yet. There are some other zombies that have spawned in, including dogs and Karen there. So I think what I'll do is I'll circle around what I brought with me today. I brought the new sniper rifle that we got from Captain Ellen. I got grenades, molotovs, I even brought the freaking dynamite. I am armed to the teeth today, you could say. So I think I'll just head down here. Oh, we'll wait for her, I think. I don't want to wake too many zombies up at once. But yeah, the last time what happened, I circled around and they seemed to spawn in when I got into the back end area. So I think we'll just kind of work our way back and see if we can get, yes, yes, the rads to spawn in just like that. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna go up and down. Here we go. <laughs> nice, buddy. Good job. Now, I don't think that the sniper rifle is gonna do a great job here because number one, they're rads. And number two, they are armored and I don't have any armor piercing bullets. I checked. However, we do have the 7.92. I put a silencer on it so that we can uh, have a, a less of a chance to wake them all up. Whoa, it's just already turning into an ordeal. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Oh, I woke one up already, damn it. Which means I don't get the sneak attack on him. Uh-oh, this is, I don't know if this is silenced, but it, it does sound like it's silenced. I put the rad remover on this as well. Oh, I woke them all up. Oh my goodness, my plan is a ruined. <laughs> Ow. Guess we're just doing guns, guns and explosives. Here, we'll get one going for them down there. How about some fire as well? I don't think that worked like at all. Here, into the swimming pool. <laughs> is that gonna work? Probably not, no. I feel like nothing is working. Whoa, what can I, what can I cluster them all into? I don't know. Maybe just get the guns out. Use this because it's got the rad remover. Whoa! This is not the best gun to be using here. The good news is I think my heavy armor is working pretty well now. Come on, there we go. Yeah, they're all awake. Okay, here we go. This is what we're looking for right here. Big clusters. I've woken up a whole bunch of Moes. Yeah, let's try and bring them back over here where we were last night or the night before, whenever that was. Holy cow, man. Just heave a Molotov over there. That kind of worked, I guess. Holy cow, look at the pallets over here. That is nice. Yeah, we need to find a system where we can cluster them up and use the grenades. Maybe if we can get them all into that like little arena thing. Oh, there's a weapons bag there too. Or maybe the trick is now, is now we just get our sneak on. Oh crap, oh, it didn't work, ow. Damn, there's just so many zombies here and the rads found me on that side. No, 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 run away. I think if I just sit here long enough sniping, maybe they'll, uh, they'll all have taken enough damage at some point. Yeah, this is gonna just take forever if I do it this way. So, okay, let's do something a little crazy here. Well, first of all, catch all these guys on fire before they destroy all my stuff. Oh, like that. Guys, come on now. Well, if you're all just gonna sit there, why don't you just get a grenade on them? That helps. 
Helps the frame rate at least. Okay, let's get down here and see what we can do. Yes, um, just grab this stuff, whatever's in here. I don't want this to get destroyed. Uh, yep, 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 grab that. Ooh, that was an iron crossbow, I think. I feel like we're making progress here. I don't see nearly as many rads as I thought there were here. Although I'm running very slow. Let's um, get a hit in. And there's a screamer here. There we go, we can run a little bit faster now. Okay, get the dynamite. Oh, can I, can I somehow just cluster them in somewhere? Like maybe right here? Oh, this would be perfect. Can you guys just jump in here, stack on top of each other and I'll throw a grenade down for you. Oh God, screamer's over here somewhere. Maybe just take a moment to focus on her. She's down. All right, aim for that sink right there. There we go, that helps. That should help too. Okay, what do we got over here? Here, how about some dynamite for these guys? Nice. All right, they should all be getting pretty softened up by now, I would think. They are just like a very little bit. Okay, get this out. I'm more willing to waste or not waste, but just use the uh, 556 right now. They're looking good here. Leveling up with machine guns. Ow. Is this the last guy? Oh my God, this does nothing. There we go. Oh my goodness, I think the area is clear. Oh my God, look at the cement. Wow. Okay, okay, so there must be some good loot in here somewhere. Like, I'm talking about tier five loot. So yeah, let's poke around and see what we can find. Aha, uh -huh, okay, wall safe. Uh, do you think probably, yeah, let's hold off on that for a minute. Did I bring eye candy? I do have eye candy, so if I can find, oh, there's another two of them, wow. Yeah, we'll find the main loot chest and then we'll come back for all this stuff here. Night Stalker book here. Carrying capacity increased by 50 at night. Nice. Geez, if I'd known there were so many materials here, I might have uh, repaired up my tools. I might need to come back someday with a, a better shovel. Okay, grab the electronics and harvest these up just because they have some iron. Sometimes they give you back a little bit of military fiber. Mechanical parts out of these. Yeah, okay, not in there. Well, must be, uh, oh, probably in that room right there, I would imagine. What do we got over here? Hidden stash, maybe? Yeah, okay, we'll save that. Uh, these are, are these, these are not the acid barrels. Are there acid barrels here somewhere? Yes, there's acid barrels here. They have fuel in them though, so let's just, I brought a whole bunch of fuel cans with me because I refueled on the way. Oh, look at the green barrels over there. Those are acid barrels. So if you've read the Wasteland Treasures book, you're able to harvest acid out of those. Yeah, so give me all of the barrels that I have. So yeah, let's see, these are usually 25% chance to get acid out of them. Oh boy. We definitely have a horde coming. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, you gotta go outside. Lock and load. Skull Crusher in. Chase it with a coffee. And why not a sham chowder after that? And let's do this. All right, anybody else? One more, it looks like. I don't feel like there were many ferals in that little horde there, unless they ran by, you know, because sometimes the ferals, they run so much faster, they just kind of go blazing right through. All right, let's get back to work here. This is definitely one of those places where it's like, it's kind of cheating because this is more meant for like a vanilla seven days to die even though it would just be ridiculous in vanilla as well. But imagine like these would all be explosive in vanilla. So you could just like have these humongous explosions. All right, what are we getting into here? Not sure if this area is clear or not. This is just a bathroom. So I wouldn't really suspect that there would be any loot back here. What about in here? Anything up here on the uh, trailer? Aha, yes, there is. That is where the loot is. Is that all the loot? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Yep, that's it. Okay, blow this up. All right, at this point, I think we can put the lucky goggles on, take the eye candy, and we'll kind of 
backtrack and then oh my god look at all this stuff here well what do we get good pair of steel legs don't really need those but they'll be good for selling check this hidden stash here Ooh, s oh my god the triple star s triple pocket mod that's plus 30 to the backpack space wow <laughs> i can't wait to put that on got a good ranger rifle here that actually might be better i put the other sniper rifle away but we'll have to compare that could be better Kind of a bummer too because i used uh three out of the four rifle parts that we had to upgrade the sniper rifle this morning because i wanted to get two mods onto it okay okay steel chest scrap that okay there must be more stuff here i mean we could spend all day just going through all this garbage here on the ground and harvesting up these things look at the paper here why do i get the sense that there's probably loot stashed away in the middle of this somewhere well, there's only one way to find out. We gotta carve our way in. Oh, I see something. Just a... It could be... Oh, Savage Country. <laughs> Not exactly what I was hoping for back here. One little sweatshirt. Oh, there's another one, though. Poppin' pills. Not much better, honestly. Yeah, that's potentially it. I'm gonna take some of this paper with me because, you know, it's good to have. I don't want to overdo it. I know it's a little bit, you know exploitative to kind of you know take everything that's available here i do feel like we earned it though it's not like we're just rolling into this place and getting all this stuff for free i mean i've burned through probably a couple thousand rounds of ammunition here plus the explosives and the first aid and the time investment just to kill all the zombies as well oh look at that a class steel pickaxe nice Oh, it would have been so fun in vanilla because we could have just like kited the zombies around all these barrels and then blowed them all up at once. It would have been great. All right, I think I'm going to take a peek and see if there's anything like in the back here like there was in that other little bay back there. I see something back there. Another popping pills box looks like. I think we're probably good here. Again, I'll take a little bit here and there, but I'm not going to go through all of this stuff. Wow, look at the clay bricks. This is crazy. I might just, um, this is what I really want here. We're taking all this with us for sure. Yeah, there might be like stuff hidden back here. So I'll, I'll take a look in the back. Yes, we got several things back here. Holy cow. Wow, look at this. Also gonna run out of eye candy. So let's be quick about this. Ooh, got a really good Golconda. Nice. Oh, that was a scrap uh, sledgehammer. And that's it. Whoops, I'm super encumbered. Here, just take a steroid. Is that it back here? Does appear as though that was probably it. Okay, just stashing things up real quick. And can I just, you know, put everything away? Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, there's only two of these, unfortunately. These give you a, I think, a 50% chance in vanilla to harvest acid out of them. I'm not sure, that might not be a thing anymore. No, there's my acid right there. That's still a thing. And like I said, this is what I really want. So, gimme. There's a sneaky weapons bag up here. We'll check that. The crossbow parts. That's it. My shovel's broken. This should probably be a hidden stash. I have the lucky goggles on already. Tack assault rifle schematic. Nah, no, I already have good assault rifles. And, uh, and a rad remover, which is nice to have. Everything needs to have a rad remover these days. Just some building materials there, crack a book box, and uh, books we've already read, so scrap and scrap. And I suppose, uh, since no one's looking, uh, might as well harvest up all this stuff as well. Alright, and we'll see what we get here out of the passing gas box. Vehicle reserve fuel tank schematic and a chainsaw schematic. You know, I think I already have the reserve fuel tank, don't I? Or do I? I don't know. So I'll hang on to that just for a minute. And the chainsaw is something I will look into crafting. And a sham chowder. Well, I think I've pretty much gone through this place to my liking at least. Still a lot to go through. But um, like I said before, I don't want to take too much advantage of a POI like this, which is kind of clearly imbalanced. But, uh, you know, then again, sometimes you gotta take what you can get. 
Looks like I can get a little bit more ammo out of these ammo piles here. Right, so with that, I'm not sure what to do from here. Maybe we'll just explore some into the desert and certainly there must be a trader out here. So let's make the lap around and see if we can find it. And here we are, rolling up on Camp Bard. I've heard rumors about this place. So yeah, this is like a field hospital. Field Hospital Bard. This must be where Dr. Jen lives, and there probably is uh, her assistant here as well. Figure that out in just a minute. Probably don't need to search the compound. It is getting late. I'll just poke through. Fancy doors here. Dr. Jen, pleasure to meet you. Just check her inventory real quick before we head on. Ooh, Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. You know, we're gonna need that in order to craft the recipe for Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, so that'll be what I use that for. Take the potatoes. Secret stash here. We got a gyrocopter frame. Mm, not too interested in that. Art of Binding book, I will take that for sure. Oh, look at that, a Morning Star Mace? And Fireman's Blade. Otherwise, yeah, I think we're probably good. How much you want for those grenades? A couple hundred dukes? Yeah, we'll take that. Well, you just All right, my where's your buddy? Hello? Yeah, I know there's someone else here somewhere. <laughs> I don't exactly know where. Quiet day in the wasteland, because there's no patients here. Ah, I got a CAT scan. Kind of not the most cleanly place to be getting your CAT scan or MRI or whatever. Aha, Lieutenant Hagen. Nice to meet you, sir. Can I see your inventory? Ooh, handgun parts. Yeah, we're gonna definitely be needing those. No you know pressure. what? Just take that sugar butt that I just bought. Yeah, we'll need that to upgrade the, I think we got a B class. It was a purple. So yeah, B class, we got a B class Golconda. So we're gonna have to work on getting that upgraded. And you know what? Rifle parts? I'm attempting to take that so that we can further upgrade our rifles. Yeah, I probably should never have been selling parts. That was a, a mistake on my part for sure. Yeah, bullet manufacturing materials, why not? Just take it. Rocket launcher parts, not so not so interested in that. The Raven though, that I am interested in. That would be nice to have a helicopter. But otherwise, there's nothing really here for me. So, okay. all right. It was nice to pay these guys a visit, but I think it's time to head home. And by the way, this place was named after Patreon supporter Just Call Me Bard. So <laughs> we're gonna do just that. We're just gonna call this place Bard. So thank you to Bard. He's been a Patreon supporter for a long time and he makes some really awesome bases on the community server. <laughs> Ooh, zombie bear right there in the ditch. Look out for that. All right, my friends, I'll meet you back at the base. Well, here we are. We are not at home, but I figured while we're out, we might as well head over to this tier five that's way, way out here in the northeastern city. Oh boy. Probably not a great idea, was it? Well, on second thought, not too bad. Just clear out the riffraff here in the streets. There we go. Oh geez, anything but spiders. Anything but spiders, except for bears. Oh, this is off to a great start. Fucking spider. Yeah, more crap. Just, just running in circles here, trying to kill freaking zombies. Oh boy. Looks like Bo burned out. All right, are we good here or what? One more rolling up on me. Right, let's go ahead and get a... Oh, it's my last first aid kit. That would not be wise, would it? My first aid bandages. We need to get this stuff organized here before we get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so while I was on my way over here, I was going through just regular mailboxes and stuff, and I pulled out a couple of good books here. So we did get the awesome sauce. So that's a good find. We'll definitely read that one. And uh, Fireman's Almanac here, 25% more damage to blocks, but... Oh, that's crafting the Fireman's Axe mod. Nah, I don't need that. And the Night Stalker book here, 5% more XP from kills at night. Nice. 
We'll also open this up and refuel. We've used quite a bit of fuel coming out here, which is kind of among the reasons I wanted to kind of stay out because uh, this thing uses so much gas that um, you want to <laughs> make good use of your time when you're out. So let's switch over the Golconda. It's very unnatural for me to not say Glockonda. <laughs> I guess that's, um, someone had commented that that's a reference to something. Is it Fallout, maybe, or something? I, I can't remember. All right, I've got pretty much everything put away into the vehicle. The kit is all organized. We are fed, hydrated, and healed up as much as we can be. Look, we're doing really good on ammo right now. So we've got plenty of ammo on us. Let's make sure we're all locked and loaded. Got the new Golconda down. We've got the new pickaxe down. I put that new triple pocket mod on. Let's get the lucky goggles going for these couple of loot bags. And it's morning, just like that. Unfortunately, that bear is still alive though, so we're gonna have to deal with him. Let's go with this rifle here. Yikes, ow. Give me that leather. Good, and all that meat, wow, it just, <laughs> that weighs so much. I mean, you would kind of expect like, skinning a bear to uh, weigh you down a little bit, but yeah, heavy. Ooh, and my arm is still sprained, so we're gonna have to probably just roll with uh, weapons, or uh, firearms, I should say, for a little while until that's all healed up. And look at that, a cracker book right there. Oh, and then the pebcac down there as well. Ooh, so if we need more research data, I feel like we're probably getting towards the end of our desperation for research data, so... Yeah, I'll probably just start reading most of the material that we find. Oh, look at the zombies spawning in around here. Soldier over there. Step away from the vehicle, sir. Well, I guess let's hit it. Tier 5 clear. So I did put the crossbow away. More for space than anything. I think this will be a good substitute. Or maybe not, actually. Much as I love this thing, it's really not that strong, is it? Drawing in the whole neighborhood as well. Ow. But we're off to an interesting start, I'd say. I don't think we need to really pick through all the garbage. The light is shining, I guess, up? What do you think, up or down here? Ooh, bird. I'm not sure what the noise is on this. Like, is this silenced? Because it sounds like it's silenced. It's got a little zoom on the scope, too. Oh, chicken. Not incredibly accurate, I'm finding. Oh, that was a zombie there. I thought you were a pile of garbage. Ooh. Got some loot right off the bat in here. Oh, zombies as well. Oh, well, we gotta clear them all out eventually. Okay, I think I'm gonna follow the intended route here, and we'll go up this way first. Do I have any bottles on me? I have one. I wanna just take the mineral water, because we're gonna be thirsty later. I kinda wish I had the crossbow. I suppose this works pretty good, though. Okay, gotta go easy on the bullets, though. As much fun as it is to use them, they are in short supply. Okay, things just got really jittery and laggy. I'm not sure if I just probably spawned in a whole bunch of zombies. Oh, this place is big. What is this place, anyway? Pills for- it's just like a little shopping complex, it looks like. Aha, look at the birds here. Whoa! Oh my god, more than I expected, too. Whoa! Yikes! Oh wow, that was lucky. Kill the birds. Are we good here? I, a whole bunch of things I think fell down because of that trap there. So they'll be coming right around here in a minute. Oh, this sprained arm really slowing me down right now. Should I? Oh, I should probably just take a steroid, right? I think that's probably the best idea. Let's do that. Steroid. Oh, also get my nerdy glasses back on. Hello! Ah, oh, I can swing freely now. Nice. Much better. Oh, level up five skill points. I keep trying this thing, get in the habit of like, every morning when I start the episode, you know, like Glock does, he spends all his skill points. Oh man, I gotta start doing that. 
Okay, we are in relative safety now, so I can probably take a minute here and spend these five skill points. Not that I really have any inclination of what I should be spending them on. Right, how about Flurry of Blows? That's a good start there, and we'll do one into run and gun. We're doing a lot of work with assault rifles, so maybe a couple points into machine gunner would be good. There's also Sexy T-Rex. Wow, I, I didn't realize that I could max that out, so we'll do one there, and let's do... Two, I would say, into Machine Gunner. We'll try to get at least like two into Machine Gunner, two into Boomstick, two into Submachine Guns, you know, Deadeye, so that we can benefit from using all of those weapons on Horde Knight and then just like at random intervals when we decide to bring sniper rifles out with us for the day and things like that. Okay, lots of flashlights kind of, I guess, pointing you in the right direction. I do like that. I guess you could go down there if you really wanted to. I don't really want to. It was a dog. I will take right care of him. Oh, I woke a whole bunch more up as well. Oh, well, that's a definite trap down there. No, thank you. I'll go with the, where the flashlight points me to go. Wait, what am I getting into over here? Oh, there's all those zombies that we just woke up. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. Oh, hello, friends. Suck on this. Let them cook for a minute. Oh, look at them. Oh, no, 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 no. I was hoping you guys would stay all clustered up there. Damn it. Ah, they found a way up here. I see. Clever bastards. Well, not, not too clever, I guess, if you can't figure out how to get around that railing. Whoa, okay, he's just, like, too freaking strong for the sword. Him too. Lucky goggles on. Check this up real quick. Good. And look out for this guy. Oh, look, Deshong Tower. I just noticed that. <laughs> Locking the freaking sun. Oh boy, I'm like really hurt right now. Here, quickly, take a painkiller and swish it down with a uh, red tea or something. Yeah, just continuing to follow the lights. Oh boy. Just spray. Ah, it almost worked. What do we got going on here anyway? What is this? Whoa, ow, that hurt. Just a garage storage here and nothing there. Munitions box, a blue one, interesting. Okay, good cl uh, B class, uh, Grave Digger and some nine mil. Good, good, good. Speaking of nine mil, let's just make sure we're locked and loaded here. All right, I'm ready. Let's head down. Debating whether we should maybe go down here first. I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, save this part here for last and see what we can get accomplished down here. Oh my god! Dogs! Wolves! I don't know what these are. Uh, there's at least one dire wolf over there, I think. Regular dog. Dire wolf. Ow. I think there was another wolf, but it's fighting one of the zombies that woke up down there. Yep, there he goes. Okay, don't run too far because I need to kill you for the quest. Oh, look at him chase him down! Get him! I'll help you! <laughs> nice! Okay, give me that leather. Leather pretty important for upgrades. Also mechanical parts. Alright, where are we going down here? Very, very tight quarters. I like tight quarters because I can line up the enemy though. Okay, I don't think this goes anywhere. Oh, it does go somewhere. Not sure what's going on there, though. Suppose it just dumps you out over here. Oh, hello. Oh, this guy's just too damn strong. Yikes. Okay, first aid. So I guess we're going in here? We're just doing the buildings now? Yeah, I, I would be very happy if that was it for the basement portion. Because, like, what's the worst that could happen in this kind of area here? You know, so oh, ah! Okay, well, that answers that question. Okay, the floor is lava. Okay, so we're just going from couch to couch. Okay, this is the room where we saw the dogs and stuff. I think this whole building room here is pretty much cleared out. Just double checking though. Yeah, everything is good in here. So we'll just head across the way into the comic book store, I guess. Get my- Oh, I slammed the trash can lid too hard. Ooh, this is actually like a, a bookstore, not really just comic books. Right on, give me some good books here. Blueberry seeds, ooh, a good steel sledgehammer. Let's 
Sliding iron doors. Don't need those. That's a horde! That's a horde! Get outside! Yikes! Holy crap, that was close. Didn't want to get trapped in there. I don't know if there's an exit or what. Okay, while we're at it, Skull Crusher. Nerdy glasses. Okay, let's do this! Hold your ground! Wow, look at the mess of bodies here. That was not it though. There are more that are kind of wandering off. You can see him running that way. I can't really leave the area to go grab them, so we'll just leave him to it. Oh, two decapitations in one. I'm such a badass. Okay, we're good in the bookstore. So I guess you're supposed to kind of go this way maybe? Oh, it's showing me where the last remaining zombies are. Yes, this is not too bad for a tier 5, I would say. It's like we're just in like a grocery store right now. Ah, look at that AK, an A-class AK. Basically just in and out, in and out in this place. Okay, so we're going in here. Have we cleared this out already? It kind of looks like we have. I am kind of keen on getting garments though, because they, um, I think they'll help us increase our, like, bartering ability. Got a good weapons bag there. I think maybe I'll try to remember that one and we'll come back for it once we eat the eye candy. Moving right along, we've got one more wing here and three things on the compass. Looks like I can just get a pop shot on that soldier there. Buddy, you didn't have to do that. Whoa, soldier cafe here. Well, at least I assumed it was a cafe because... There's, um, all this stuff. This is actually an appliance store, though. Oh, this is gonna mean we can probably get some really good research data out of these things. Oh, what was that? That was just an SMG sitting in a backpack C-Class. Not too bad. Well, honestly, not much great stuff in here. I was expecting a little bit more, but I'm not complaining. All right, who's left in here anyway? Let's get this over with. Do we have zombies in here or have you all wandered out from in here? I think everyone that was in here wandered their way out. So what, are we looking at main loot here or what? Come on out. Whoop, pistol broke. Really hoping one of these has the main loot because this has been a very non-linear POI and I... It might be one of those places that just doesn't have one. We do have to continue... Oh, in the back, maybe? Back here? Is this the main loot? Dogs. Just don't even fuck around with those guys. Alright, open it up. Aha, there's the main loot right there. And that should be the last zombie. It was. Return to Trader. Right, I suppose it's time. We can go through all this loot. Okay, got the, we got the looting goggles on already. We'll take an eye candy and search this place up. I think I did just find an antibiotic, which would be nice. My infection's getting really bad right now. Take that. Okay, what do you got for me in here? Just this. This is it right here. Well, what do you got here? More steel leg armor, leather gloves, and ammo. Some stuff to sell. I guess this is just one of those places where the loot's kind of uh, evenly distributed throughout the entire place. It's not all sort of stacked up in one room. Okay, we'll grab that weapons bag that I passed up back here. And then there's one more room to search after that. Hey, hey good stun baton and a laser sight. Cool. Yeah, there's just this place here. I'm not sure if there's anything good here or not. It doesn't look like it. Cowboy hat mod. Why not? I'm ready for a switch. Aha, I missed this. Oh, right. King size bed. We need to take that for the base. Good. Glad I finally remembered that. I think we need a bathtub for the base. Couldn't hurt, I suppose. Do we need a couch for the base? Why not? All right. I think we're finally done here. So wait, wait one minute. Let's go check that Mo power truck right there. And then we'll head back to Trader Ellen's and turn in the quest, see if we get a reward. I've already been here, in fact, so that has been searched. All right. Let's go back to Ellen's. All right.
right, guys, what do you got for me today? Ooh, titanium sledgehammer. Definitely got to take that, right? Ooh, 1100 sell price, but I just got to see the look of it. Let's get another job then. Let's go ahead and take the tier five at the asylum by Not a Gamer Gaming. Yep, let's do it. As you wish. We'll do that maybe not tomorrow because tomorrow's horde day, but probably the day after that. As you wish. Yep, and that's pretty much it. Let's go home. All right, here we are back home. Oh, excuse me. Ah, see what I mean with this stupid elevator? It's okay, this has happened before. Give me storage, grab all, and uh, take. Bring the elevator down. It's gonna squish me. Yee, there we go. Put you back down like that. Sort by heaviest and put everything I can back in here. Now, hopefully that will not happen again. Level four, please. There we go. Open, grab all, and then quickly move over <laughs> before the encumbrance kicks in. Uh, whatever works, right? All right, I'm just gonna finish putting all this stuff away and then I'll catch up with you on the back end. All right, just continuing to get things organized here. We'll put the king-sized bed in. Too bad it's not made. Kind of would look better that way. And how about over here? <laughs> just slap in a little bathtub, you know? So we can uh, clean ourselves off at the end of the day and enjoy the sunset. <laughs> this place is a mess. I suppose we'll have a look here. Mm, don't need the motor tool large tank mod, really. Don't need the powered garage door. The vehicle reserve fuel tank, though, I wouldn't mind having that. However, I'm not sure if I already have it or not. Let's just double check before we proceed. I have the supercharger. I do not have the vehicle reserve fuel tank. So we can read that and see if I can even craft it. Nuts and bolts, that's all we need. I feel like I always need nuts and bolts. So what I'm gonna do is just craft like 600 of them. I did make myself up a new cell chest, the large iron storage, so I can just Pop that up there, and that will be the new cell chest because it's starting to overflow really, really badly. Okay, this is the new cell chest over here, and look, it's almost full already. Jeez. Let's actually see. I, I did get the awesome sauce recipe. Would I make that probably in a campfire? Requiring... Oh my god, super corn. Crap. I think it's just Grace's. Grace's has super corn, but I haven't seen Grace's. So that's a super bummer, or else I would start growing it. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. So with all that cement mix, we're a little bit limited by stone powder. So get 504 mixed up, and that'll be good because tomorrow we're gonna have to do a big concrete mix upgrading montage down there at the horde base area, particularly in the pit. Oh, my little uh, squirrel things. I forgot to put these out somewhere. How about like that? Nice. Kind of makes me wonder, what else have I lost in my storages that I've just forgotten to put up here? Put up my Mega Crush posters. It's uh, hard to squish these in somewhere. Eh, that'll do. It does not look like the commercial distribution boxes actually disassemble in the disassembly station, so I suppose we'll scrap those for scrap iron. Definitely time to get the gear upgraded a little bit. It's been a long couple days out on the road, so we'll just get everything repaired. So to get this from the Golconda from B to A, it'll take more handgun parts. Okay, good to know on that. We definitely don't have the machine gun parts for this, but we're about halfway there. To upgrade, ooh, ooh, we could do that. Let's get some duct tape then. We'll have a look at the backpack while we're at it. We definitely could do the backpack a little bit. Let's uh, start with that. Try to get that up a little bit more. Okay, that worked. We're down to 80% chance though to get it to C class. That worked as well. Now we're low on leather and I don't want to spend all the leather. I think this is requiring... No, that was requiring leather in the past. Now I think it's switched over to military fiber. Okay, only 70% chance here. So we're rolling the dice big time. Ooh, and I believe that failed. That was a failed upgrade there. Although we can try it again, we just have to wait for the duct tape to come through. Okay, there we go, we got the duct tape. One more try here. Yes, we got it that time. Now we're low on military fiber and duct tape, and this will be the remainder of the testosterone extract as well. Okay, how, how much can we get on the... Ooh, that's requiring duct tape for the military fiber. Well, get it rolling. We're also going to need murky water to make more glue. Murky water in the plastic bottle. I have quite a bit of murky water here in the the glass bottle so to switch that over I have the barrel here so I put it in there and then I take it out with the plastic bottle and that should enable me yeah now we got 26 so we can just mix all the rest of the glue all right inferno blade we're going for s class let's give it a try yes we got it oh we are up to s class and we are almost ready to go up to s three star 
just basically all we would need is some more oil, some more testosterone extract. We can craft the military fiber and iron plates pretty easy to make. Wow, that is a big upgrade there. And I think that's pretty much all I'm willing to sink resources in. Let's check the backpack again, though. Oh, yeah, we need way more leather, military fiber. Okay, we still got to be collecting all that leather. That should hopefully, yeah, that gets us another mod slot on this. So we'll have to look into the mod chest and see if we can find one for it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's probably going to require something stupid. I could try the serrated blade, but I don't think the tempered blade and the serrated blade go together. Uh, potentially put a freaking grave digger on it. I'm like, I'm not opposed to doing that. Yep, serrated blade not going on, fortifying grip not going on. Uh, of course, crippler not going on. Oh, and someone told me that the crippler, I always thought that um, this 20% chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target was like an increased chance to blow their leg off and therefore they have to start crawling. But someone actually pasted the code from the game files into a comment and it's basically, it's a 20% chance to slow them down. And I think it was like 30% less speed. So all it does is like make, make has a 20% chance to make a zombie go slower. And I'm not sure if that wears off or it's a permanent debuff, but I, I like it a lot less knowing that now. So, you know, thank you very much for pointing that out, whoever that was. So yeah, our sword is good at digging now. <laughs> really, that's just for that extra 2.5%. Uh, base damage. Well, I feel really good having a good Inferno Blade. The kit is looking great these days. Armor not looking too shabby either. In fact, we look like a boss now with a cowboy hat. So I think what I'll do for the remainder of the night is just continue poking around and crafting. Probably try to get some ammo crafted. And we'll have to get a plan going for tomorrow. So, to well, today. Today is the Day 49 Horde. So we'll basically make base preparations all day tomorrow we'll fight the horde and then if there's enough time left over at the end of that i think we'll do the nag insane asylum which i can just barely see from here but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night all right start cooking on some more grenades 16 grenades oh look at you you're so cute oh are you jealous oh you're cute too stupid stone powder taking forever what's new all right can i get some damn concrete mix or what not standing in the right position. You gotta stand in the middle. Jeez. 680, mix that up. Okay, we've almost made all of that. Up, down, up, down. Try this. And that. Couple over here. Yeah, I think that'll work nice. All right, time to take a nap. Lights out. Good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And this morning, we're up here in the Northwest. I've gathered all of these sellables, and I've repaired them to my liking. I didn't use any forged iron in the repairs because we're saving that right now, so I didn't want to kind of burn through it all. Pretty much everything else is repaired, and we're going to try and sell off a lot of these tank tops and stuff. I have the awesome sauce and a sugar butt with me, and I stopped by Captain Allen's this morning to see if they had anything special to sell but uh, they did not. So I figured let's push on, let's head up here and see if there's anything that these guys have for us. So right off the bat, they're robotics parts, five of them in fact, and that'll help us get the drone crafted. That is all five that we need there. Pistol Pete book, sniper book, sniper rifle book. Oh my God, the dude runner. Oh man, and it's totally affordable. Okay, um, real quick here. Do I have any skill points? Crap, no I don't. So I was gonna put something into better barter. I couldn't do it anyway without another point into intellect. How much money do I have here? 39,000. It was like 60 something. I think we can afford that after All the right. sell off. Yes. Okay. Let's see. No, <laughs> I don't give a shit what he has. Let's uh, take the sugar butt, take the awesome sauce and start selling. Right, that's it, and uh, oh my god, we have plenty of money. I'm gonna sell the rest of the t-shirts and crap to Hugh, and yeah, we got two minutes left on the awesome sauce, so that'll be an even bigger discount. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have any pumpkin cheesecake. He, he got the pumpkin cheesecake. He seemed like the pumpkin cheesecake kind of guy. He does not, and in fact, he really doesn't have anything that uh, is enticing to me. So just sell him these hoodies and some money, paintbrush, tank tops, sweatshirts, and t-shirts. And that's all he'll take. And oh my god, we're sitting on so much money right now. Okay, gotta get the Dune Runner. I can see where this is going to be an issue inventory-wise. Okay, robotics parts. I do want those, but where's that damn Dune Runner? Right there, only 40... 8,000. Oh my god, why is it so cheap compared to everything else? Oh my god, it's so fast. Wait, that's not, that's kilometers per hour. Anyway, purchase, how, how heavy is this? Oh, it's only 75 pounds. Well, I guess we're not going to be super encumbered. Okay, pistol peat, sniper book, uh, needle and thread book. No, I'm not going to do that. I feel like we're, we're not desperate for um, research data anymore, so I'll pretty much just be reading things from here on out. Okay, some uh, bullet tips and things like that. That's fun. Yep, robotics parts. Take those. Still looking for a good 44, but he's just selling the desert mantis there. Okay, and my, my tunnel vision is starting to subside. I do have only 10 seconds left on the awesome sauce, but I'll see if there's just like a book or something here that I needed to grab real quick that I might have missed. Nah, nah, no, we're good. Really want super corn seeds. Um, I don't know if that's like a sellable item, but super corn would be really key for us right now because we need to get super corn to make the awesome sauce. Some extra eye candy. I have picked up a couple of those today, just kind of blowing through all the, the known vending machines in town. All right, well, that was fun. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any gas and I don't think they were selling any, so we'll have to wait before we can see what it looks like. Yeah, I didn't put anything in here. All right, well, let's head home. We gotta do some base construction before the horde today. We'll check out the Dune Runner, and now that we have so many vehicles, we need to start planning on like a garage, and I have just the idea for that, although today, probably not the best day to start construction on it. All right, made it back home. We'll just park it here and uh, we'll just drop down the, um, dune buggy anywhere here whoa <laughs> that is nice wow okay new favorite ride well as excited as i am it's not a good time for a test drive right now we have uh, a horde bearing down on us so let's gather up materials for that and start doing construction one of the things i want to set up today is this powered spikes trap we're going to be needing some darts and some iron plates got the plates right here some more tips all kinds of ingots, all kinds of concrete mix. In fact, enough to super encumber me. Improve my weightlifting skill though. How about this titanium sledge here? I think that's what we're gonna roll with tonight during the horde to give that extra knockdown power at the fighting position. Now that we have maxed out sexy T-Rex, I feel like that's a really good option for us. I've been rolling on these HP 10 millimeter rounds because they do 25% additional damage compared to regular rounds. And lead is really not something that's in short supply. So I feel like we can just spare the extra lead there for the tips. Right, can I get two of these now? I certainly can. So powered spikes trap, do that up. Give me a few shapes. Don't need too many, I don't think. We're not really doing any major construction bits today. We're just doing upgrading bits. So out here, what are we working on here? We just need to get some things upgraded. That's in kind of rough shape. Probably should get some steel. There we go. Oh yes, the uh, blade trap. Blade trap always breaks like immediately. That's the thing about blade traps. Uh, people always ask me why I don't put blade traps down there in the pit. And it's just because they just would get destroyed and it would, it would be a kind of a waste of resources. Yeah, but I'm ready to get this entire thing here upgraded to concrete. And I'm a little bit low on clay bricks, just ran out in fact. So one thing I wanted to do here is just to make this look a little bit better, we'll on face a little ramp like that. So kind of like pants down a little bit. I don't think anyone's gonna get stuck on that. That should be fine. We have one block here to f patch in. Maybe two, there we go. Oh, there's a skill point right there. Uh oh, yikes, that was close. I think what I'll do is uh, submachine guns. Like I said before, I want to do a couple points into all of the main primary weapons so that uh, we can benefit a little bit more on Horde Knight or whenever we have to use other weapons due to ammo restriction. Okay, that's the ladder and probably what, like, the, the floor probably is the most important, right? Because they keep blowing through the floor and then tunneling down. Oh, geez, I broke my nail gun. I don't think I've ever done that before. Yeah, I feel like that'll probably do it down here for now. I mean, it's not 
critical that all of this stuff is fully upgraded just yet. Famous last words, probably. Yeah, I'd probably do some work around here because cops blowing up seems to do a little bit of a number here on the lip. Okay, I think that'll probably do it. Oh, let's do... Ah, oh, yes, actually, before I forget, we need to put a block here. We need something that looks good. How about that one? Put it like that there. That there. I suppose I probably could have cho chosen a more mm, visually, aesthetically pleasing block selection here, but it'll do for now. But yeah, that's going to be where those uh, spike traps go. We want to upgrade this because it's important. Let's grab up these spikes traps and it, it's weird. Spikes. Spikes traps. Yes. Or spikes trap. <laughs> Whatever, okay, anyway, grab those and wire tool. And don't forget the scrap wire, and we'll get these set up. So these things are like motion activated. Might need to move that temporarily. What's the condition on that? Not too bad, actually. So these are like, they look like a dart trap, but they, they stick out like a spike to whatever is in front of it. You can see the empty cube space in front. That's where the spikes will go. And so I'm thinking as the zombies or dogs come up here, we'll give them a little bit of a poke <laughs> in the nut when they come right up. There we go. And probably these will get destroyed immediately, but uh, I think that'll be okay. Also, I'm not sure if uh, the punch turret here might be having a hard time if I if I do it like this. I, I, don't, I don't really know the answer here. I think I'm just gonna put them there because I, I'm really only worried about the dogs that are gonna come this way. I think zombies in general will come up still and then just take an immediate left or right to get off of that ramp. Although it's it's looking like really exposed here on the top. What if I just put like a pole plate on top? Well, that doesn't work apparently. <laughs> okay, let's just give this a test run, test run today, tonight, and see if it even works at all. And then we'll kind of... Um, will further develop the concept in the future. Well, it helps if they're powered, actually. <laughs> Let's give them a, a power line off of something. I think directly off the generator is gonna be fine. Just snap that in. I've been thinking that this is looking awfully weak up here in the front, so I was thinking maybe... Oh, now we're out of concrete mix. There is more, though. So uh, there's a special, if you type in arc, and you go into all your shapes. Uh, which one is it? This one right here? the brick arch three meter top or whatever it was called. And uh, this just, to me, gives a, a pretty aesthetically pleasing kind of shape to kind of break up the, um, I don't know, the, the uniformity, I guess you could say. So you just get this like kind of checkerboard pattern. I know this is like in a vanilla, I think it's in Dashong Tower actually. This is um, something that I just copied that I saw in vanilla. So then we just kind of like switch it the other way and break it up a little bit. And of course I'm freaking out. Fill in the rest with wood. All right, just fully upgrading this. I don't think it's particularly important. It's just something that I've, I've been wanting to do to kind of break up that frontal appearance there. So I think probably we can just put another set of bars here like so. And I guess just upgrade those to brick for now. And I think with that, it's time to get the loadout ready. Let's uh, just turn that on, I guess. Probably grab some fuel for it now that we have plenty. All right, I think the loadout is pretty much set. I've got all my power-ups, food, some concrete mix in case we need it. Nail gun, explosives, Molotovs, Enforcer, AUC, UMP, Sniper Rifle, Desert Manus, Inferno Blade, and Titanium Sledge. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Let's get into position. Close that door. Close that door. That door down there is closed. The lights are on. The blade trap is spinning. The sledge is probably going to pound the crap out of the spikes trap. Oh, I didn't upgrade those two things right there. And I don't have any more bricks. That is something that should definitely be done. All right, just jump right down. Up. Oh, ow, 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 whoa. That works on me too, apparently. Yikes. Good to know. So freaking watch your step around here now. I just finish up upgrading this as much as I can. How many more bricks do I have? 45 should be good. Oh yes, the stairs on this side. These are kind of important. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna have to do it. Eventually we gotta, we gotta sort out whatever's going on over here. Probably just, you know, replace all that with something different. All right, back into position. Seal that up, close these up, and close the door behind me. The day 49 horde approaches our seventh horde. It is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us.
All right, it is finally starting to get a little bit crazy here. We'll get three Skull Crushers in, and I want to start things off today with the Titanium Sledgehammer and see how that goes. Not too bad, really. Here, let's get some coffee into us so that we don't run out of stamina. Check on the pit and get a grenade down there for him and probably do some fire to chase it. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at the spikes. Are they working? They do appear to be working, and the punch turret is also working. It's punching right through the trap. All right, we've got all this HP ammo. Let's put it to good use. Yeah, I feel like the HP ammo was a good idea. There are lots and lots of ferals here tonight. All right, let's get a look and see what's going on downstairs here. We got, not the nail gun, Molotovs. Okay, work on them and uh, work on them there. Big Mama's beating on the door. Nope, nope, nope. Cops are spitting up at me. Yeah, we don't really get a good opportunity to use melee at this base here. Mostly because they can never stick the landing. No matter how hard they try, they just ping off of that pipe right there. Oh man, look at all the electricity going on down there. I love it. Oh man, direct hit there, ow. You gotta pay attention here, they're starting to beat through that platform, they, the, the plate right in front of us there. Oh man, I'm getting spit on bad. Oh man, they broke through that door there. Hmm, I don't like that. Here, put some shapes in there, just to seal it off so they can't see me at least. That way they won't shoot at me. All right, things getting real crazy here. No, no, too many ferals, I can't knock them down, even with the titanium sledge. Okay, feral cop spit is becoming a bit of an issue here. We're gonna have to upgrade these doors to steel next week. Cop, no, 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 don't let him spit at me, just hide over here. Oh, jeez, and that's immediately broken, great. Open the door, run, 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 run. Back here, pop this into the repair station. Take a couple steps back, repair, put that back down, and we're back, close that door. Die! Oh man, cops are blowing up everywhere here. Let's get a look downstairs and see what's going on. Oh, cops everywhere blowing up. Making a mess of things. Whoa, spit just came right up, right toward my face. That was a little bit close. Okay, there goes that block there. That's really not good. Get back. Whoa, <laughs> did you see that explosion? That was epic. Oh man, things are just blowing up and making a mess here wow oh god the cops cops are really messing things up here there's just too many of them i can't keep them all on fire and dead this is a good time for the shotgun or what whoa direct hit there ow here give me some first aid i actually kind of like this i can get a, a better viewpoint maybe this is not the best shape to have in front of me for the fighting position here maybe we'll do what we did at the first horde base there and um just kind of have like two bars in front of me and that's it. Oh geez, the cops. Oh my God, cops are the number one threat here tonight. My new goal is to just keep the fire on them. Keep the fire going. Maybe try to get some grenades going as well. They've knocked out one of the spikes traps already. Not a surprise. I didn't really think they would last very long. Got our first skill point of the night. All right, I'm gonna lean into the shotgun here. We've got plenty of recog left. Fuck you! Oh my god! Whoa! Getting my bell rung here. Uh, I'm getting wrecked here. Yikes! Okay, before I get spit on, get a first aid kit into me. Get me a painkiller. Dehydrating. Uh, that's gonna have to do. <laughs> I didn't bring any drinks with me. Whoa! Mid-air explosion. Oh, geez, a bird came in here and I'm bleeding. Quickly, first aid bandage. All right, it seems like things have calmed down just a little bit here. I have some breathing room at least. 
We're down to one railing here in front of us. Okay, slowly but surely we're thinning them out, I think. We've got about an hour left. I'm leveling up really well in handguns, although it's just painful to have to reload this after every six shots. I really need to get a better 44 Magnum gun. All right, get some more fire down there for him. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to think of a bird solution before the next horde. Look, they're in the freaking garden area. All right, let's keep the heat on them down there in the pit. And on the ladder here, we've got plenty of Molotovs. Whoops, I fell. Yikes. Oh, boy. How do I get back in? Yes, up the ladder. Oh, it's going to be a competition here. I think I just jump on the roof here and... Yes, just like that. Oh, that's not even closed. There we go. Let me back in. Oh! Freaking Feral White just dove in after me. No, sir! More birds. Yeah, I really neglected the whole bird situation for this horde. And it's morning. We've made it. I think the base is, has barely made it as well. I think the base is really messed up right now. Couple more Molotovs and I think we'll have it. All right, let's get on the ground level and see if we can finish these guys off in quick order. Oh, I'm critically dehydrated actually. Maybe that's not a good idea. Well, the pit held up a lot better than normal. At least um, I thought so. I think they've officially glitched underneath the building again. Oh, is this a regular horde? Are you kidding me? Yes, yes, it's a regular horde. I can't even walk right now. I'm so dehydrated. Here, up the ladder. Grenade. Down for you. What luck, huh? To freaking get a wandering horde immediately after the regular horde. Okay, get a couple mineral waters in. In fact, just give me a mega crush. I'll have to give that a minute to sink in before we head out. Get out. Get away from there. No, 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 no. And I'm not sure how to kill the zombies that are in the floor. Probably, I would imagine, fire would be the best option. Turret is down, officially. Broken. Whoa, I'm moving fast now, aren't I? Okay, what is going on here? Spider? Where is the spider? Should I just try another Molotov? Yeah, he's on fire. I can see him. There he goes. He burned out. He was a feral one, too. Right. I think we're finally ready here. Lucky goggles, eye candy, and see if they left anything good for us. And I think that is it. Nothing life-changing there, although I think I did get the steel katana recipe. Really, I want the titanium katana, though, I think. Uh, people tell me that the katana is, like, one of the best items in the game. A-class machine gun. I think that's an upgrade at the steel axe. Another steel pickaxe. I think that's the same as the one we have, though. Tactical assault rifle. Another pair of boots. Yeah, overall kind of underwhelming, if you ask me. So let me get this stuff organized. Uh, quickly survey the damage here. What happened last night? I don't know. I don't know why they... Well, I actually, I do know why they keep glitching into the wall. It's because when there's a big stack of zombies and they start piling on top of each other, some of them get smushed around through blocks. It's just an unfortunate vanilla bug. But, um, you know, we'll just have to make do with it. In terms of the tower here, the tower's in really good shape. Uh, we need to get steel doors out front. I don't think that's a great spot for spike traps, <laughs> honestly. I don't know, we'll have to review the footage and see if um, they really were making any difference at all. Get this guy fixed up, and other than that, uh, I'd say this was a good success. All right then, everything is picked up and put away here. I didn't really, well, I made the switch over here at the Steel Axe, but otherwise nothing to improve our kit at all. Treasure map, let's read this. I have actually heard that there are Undead Legacy specific treasure maps, but I don't think this is one of them. Let me look around and find this. Ah, uh, just up there in the north. There was also a drop there from earlier today, so we'll just have to make a trip out of that at some point. Maybe next time we're heading up north to the traders. So we have to do that Not A Gamer Gaming Asylum POI quest, the tier five right over there in town. And we can take the buggy over to get there. So let's head down here and grab up all of the mods that are on this. 
grab those. I think I actually did get the expanded fuel tank crafted, but you know, not too important for this trip right here. So open up, pop those on, refuel a little bit, put the excess fuel into there, and uh, that it wasn't even a full tank, but all right, let's take this for a test drive. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is way better than any vehicle that we have right now. And max speed appears to be about 41 miles per hour, so going maybe 10 or 20% faster. Handling, not the best, but not the worst either. Anything's better than the motorcycle handling. All right, is this the quest here? No, this is a big empty area. Ooh, there's the loot bag over there. I guess the one bonus that you get from the Undead Legacy loot bags is you can see him from a mile away. Not much good in there though. So yeah, why not park right here? Actually, there's probably going to be some fighting going on here, so let's get ready to run if we have to. Clear out the riffraff. Okay, and where is my quest marker? All right, I found the quest marker. It took me logging out of the game and logging back in, and um, did you see it there? It's, it's in the dirt. Man, this fucking game sometimes. Okay, if I get sealed in here, I swear to God, I quit. Oh, great. Oh, okay, right. Where do we start off here anyway? I suppose we follow the lights. The lights are pointing to the scaffolding. So up we go here. Waking zombies up in the attic, I think. How about this little, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This little tower right here, a little clock tower kind of thing. Yeah, we do have a ladder going down to here, but there's no way up unless I could make that jump. I'm not sure if I could or not. Also, I only have one crossbow bolt. Well, let's just do this. From what I know about Genosis and Daphne, they have a pretty sick mind, so I'm expecting some massive traps in here somewhere. Okay, probably not gonna have enough time in the day to loot every little nook and cranny here. Oh, got my crossbow bolt back. Especially since all of these boxes are searchable and it just <laughs> adds to the time. You move like a snail going through here trying to loot everything. Okay, that's enough of this stuff. Oh, I can't stop, it's addictive. Right. What are we on to next? I'll check these boxes. Cardboard boxes, they might have something better in them. Ooh, feral biker. Yikes. Jeez, I put 20 rounds into him and he barely even flinched. Okay, we don't need all these pallets of clay. I think we're all set there. Okay, we're on to a rooftop area with ferals down there. Well, if I can cluster them up, I do have Molotovs. Yeah, mm, they're all spread out. Oh, they, they found a way to get up here. You clever bastards. Look at that. Whoa. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ride the freaking zombie. Here, I'll ride this guy too. Eat that. I see. There's just like a little ladder there for them to climb up. Okay, we're all good here. Let's move on. Cop! Whoa! Look out! Freaking feral cop! No, sir! Okay, we'll take care of that feral first. Okay, we're good. Luckily, I brought plenty of bullets, although I'm not sure that the durability is gonna last the day here. Oh, the feral bikers. Yikes! Whoa! Someone came up behind me! Whoa! Look out! Not even sure where half of these zombies are coming from. Okay, we got a, ooh, a working workbench here, which you can't take with you. I don't even think they're really worth breaking down. I already have a table saw at home too. And we only need the one to upgrade the carpenter's table to max level. And then I think that's pretty much it for workstations. So I'll just take the mechanical parts and stuff off of that. And uh, don't mind if I do, oh, hello. Take some of this stuff as well. Uh, just lightning looting, and I pulled out a gumbo stew recipe, so we'll read that. Semi-group, uh, don't need that. Okay, so, uh, drop down. Okay, I can do that. And woke somebody up. Woke several people up, I think. Uh-oh. Ow. 
Get a cop down there. Look out. No. He's gonna blow. Nope, nope, nope. Taking a beating already. Okay, use the guns a little bit more, maybe. Soften them up. Eat that. Okay, lucky goggles on. We'll just loot as we go here. This place is too big to kind of like loot all with one eye candy. Okay, moving right along. Of course, we have zombies outside. I don't think that's a horde though. I think it's just people wandered in. It's like these are all just like little tiny rooms, not necessarily populated with zombies. Ooh, ammo pile with some crossbow bolts. That's good. Might just load those in there. Just iron, but better than nothing. Like for her. Oh, here we go. Can you fit through there? Of course you can. Jeez, I thought the S-Class sword would be a lot better at killing ferals, but whoa! What are you doing, man? Okay. Okay, what are these? These are like padded rooms, like for uh, people that are insane, right? So they can't hurt themselves too bad. Ah, shotgun messiah box. Take that. Ooh, good muzzle break. Cool. I don't think there's anything... Oh, I could slap that onto the Golconda, I think. Very good. Reload. Oh, a noose. Oh, jeez. You're not supposed to give them ropes and stuff. You know, confiscate their shoelaces, all that stuff. Okay, I'll take a little first aid break here. Luckily, I brought plenty of stuff with me. I hear bird flapping. Because we're heading outside here. Okay. And the indication is to go around this way. Okay. Then back inside at some point, I would imagine. Looks like we're maybe going all the way to the end here. Oh, oh yeah, wrapping around. Nice. Inside here, we got a bookshelf. We got a feral there. We can eat that iron crossbow bolt. Hey, level up. And we got two skill points now. Right, I was going to spend those, wasn't I? Let's just uh, pump that into agility. I'd like to get gunslinger and deep cuts maxed out at some point. Aha, feral cop there. I'll get the drop on him. I missed. Crap. Close that door. Oh, jeez. That's not going to hold him for long, is it? There we go. Ooh, look at that Bunker Buster mod. Nice. I imagine I already have a Bunker Buster mod, but what level is it? Oh, it's B class. Okay. Although Bunker Buster could probably go on to this for a little bit of increased block damage. Every little bit helps. Whoa, big ambush there. Oh, got our first rad there. And a biker coming out. A feral one. Yeah, this is the M60 territory here. I like getting the kills with the pistol, though, because it helps us level up in it. Shotgun skills. We'll take that. Heading downstairs now. I don't even think we're, like, a third of the way through this place right now. This place is huge. Knives and swords up to 87, almost maxed out. Whoa! Scared the shit out of me. Who's in here? Oh, feral bikers. Feral bikers for days in this place. I mean, it makes sense that you'd find feral bikers in an insane asylum, right? Hello? Oh, crap. Ah, there we go. Nurses and lab workers. I would have expected to see more of these guys in here. Whoa! Okay, gonna start skipping over things like laundry loot. Just ends up weighing you down more than anything. Uh-oh. Let me out. Close that door. Holy crap. Oh, crouching down. What the hell? Oh, look at the bookshelves here. Nice. And a safe. You know, people keep telling me that um, if you use bobby pins... Okay, not high enough level. So if I took a jailbreaker then, and I you try to use the bobby pins, now if I just do the auto pick, that should be increasing my lock picking skill, right? Okay, watch my back here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that worked or not, but presumably it did. Urban combat. Craft military stealth boots. Okay, I'll take those. Oh, and that was the whole series. I've got a sniper book here for high power 7.62. Or, you know, HP hollow point, I guess. And cotton seeds, no thanks. So, that's our first series completion. Urban combat. Silencers have no damage penalty. Well, that's nice. 
If I could just get this upgraded a little bit more, maybe I'll put a silencer. Actually, I think I have one extra mod slot. We'll have to take the muzzle brake off, put a silencer on. Silencers are always good because it doesn't wake up as many zombies around you. Okay, getting real late here. I'd rather not be here into nightfall, especially for the boss fight at the end, but it is what it is. I'm not going to leave halfway through, that's for sure. Whoa, sleepy zombies here. Hello. Herbal antibiotics. I don't think that I need that for anything. I always just use honey. Ooh, what did I jump in here for? Lots of bookshelves in this place. I love it. Scrap knuckles, though. I don't need those. Ooh, advanced repair kit schematic. That saves me from having to research it myself, so I'll read it. Although I haven't used one yet, and I haven't really needed to use one yet. I guess it's mostly used to repair vehicles, I think? Crippler and shotgun duckbill. Now, we already talked about the crippler. Don't need those. Oh, hello. Eat that. And give me that. Ooh, off with their leg. See, that's what the crippler should do. It should knock their leg off, I think. It's way more useful than just slowing them down. Ah, uh, crickets are chirping outside. That means it's getting towards the end of the day. And we've got a rad, couple rads in there, including a rad spider. Great. Get my stealth on a little bit. See if I can... Oh, jeez. What should I do? Take out this one first, maybe? Yeah, I think this is going to work. Just try not to wake him up and do as much damage as I can to the rad. Oh, almost half of his health got taken out there. Oh, and he's going around this way. Okay, well, I'll leave him to it for just a second and try to take out that big mama down there. Oh, God, he's right here. Oh, there's another one back there. Yikes! Got him. Grab her, close the door, run. Just like ring around the podium here. Ow! Oh, I'm waking more up in the process of doing this. Just eat this. Got him. Two reds here. Oh, I can't see. Ah. Oh, okay, we're good. Wow, <laughs> that was close. Okay, moving right along. I have no idea where those extra rads came from. Iron Machete. Now I'm looking for the Titanium Katana. Anybody seen the Titanium Katana schematic around here? I think there's like a whole basement portion here somewhere as well. And I think that's where we're going now. Cop, look out! Yikes! Whoa, that was painful. Jeez, the feral cops are everywhere. They're all over us at Horde Night. They're all through this POI. Oh, jeez. Close that door. Oh, and I just realized I've missed the supplies somewhere upstairs. Great. What do we got here? Are we getting towards the end or what? There's an awful lot of zombies around this area. You got a vault door there. Close that immediately. I still have the jailbreaker active, so we can do the bobby pin thing again. Just auto pick until it opens. Try to increase the lock picking skill, I guess. I mean, that's what I've heard anyway. All right, open her up and see what's going on in here. Mm, looks like nothing's going on in here, actually. Okay, this door is unlocked, so we can close it if we have to. <laughs> Working cement mixer. I wish you could pick those up. We got a rad coming in over here, too. Oh, hello, Cole. Oh, he fell down. I hear more footsteps, though. Okay, we got a... Oh, jeez. That's something you don't see every, every day. A radiated coal. Okay, we got the indicator. We're at the end. Ooh, sneaky weapons bag. Nice. I think the chances are there's something sneaky hiding in the furnace. I don't know. I don't really want to bother to find out either. Oh, trying to help him out. Okay, we got mortician's drawers, but honestly... Don't care about that. I want to get to the end here. Though I have a feeling that we're going to have to do the boss fight under nighttime conditions, which probably all the same because they're just going to be ferals and rads anyway, I would imagine. Snakes, are you kidding me? No thanks. 
Ah, the acid barrels that give you acid if you uh, harvest them. No luck today, though. A couple more, actually. There's my acid right there. There we go. There's the dogs. Yeah, luckily, it's like I'm pretty much untouchable if I have this M60 out. I mean, I don't want to sound cocky. I'm just saying it's a really, really strong weapon. Really good to have. All right. Yes, the main loot. But where did the zombies come from? I forgot. Okay. I know they're coming from somewhere. Aha! Here they are. Suck on that. I'm on fire. Oh, jeez. Run. Run, run, run. Hide behind that door and drink water. Oh, boy. Here they come. Yeah. Hold. Okay. We're doing good. Kill the rat. Nice. Line them up. And I think we're good. Except there's a lot of zombies outside that could definitely be a horde. Great. We might have to fight our way out of here. In fact, I'm pretty sure we will. We've cleared the area, but we do still have to get the supplies. Not sure where the supplies are, though. Anything hidden up here does not appear that way. Okay. Grab this. Bengal 9. Blow this up. Eye candy in. Just blow these up while we're at it. Okay, what do you got for me? Ooh, that's a really high quality scrap sledge. Pistol peat book, rapid fire, 9mm guns more a uh, accurately, which is great for me. Ooh, A class UMP, that's a good find. Yucca smoothie, drink that now. What's in here? A steel combat knife, some handgun parts, that's actually much better. Open this. Probably swarming with zombies up here. All right, let's get topside and see what's going on. Oh boy. Get out of here, man. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Let me out. Okay, I'm free. I think we got to head. Where is it? It's, uh, oh, way over there. Okay. How do you like that trick? Just carve through the floor. Grab those and quest is over. Ooh, what's this? Oh, sneaky spot. Nice. Still have the looting candy active as well. There we go. Finally increased my locking picking skill, like, incrementally up to 11. Okay, I'm pretty sure that does it. I'm just gonna go out the window here. Yep, found some zombies. Oh, jeez, I just made way too much noise. You know what? I think I'm just gonna run it. Just run it. Turn the corner here, and here we go. We're in the buggy, and we're out of here. Holy crap, definitely a horde here. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, I was just going to loop around the building and see if that was a horde on the other side there. And I don't think it was. I think it was just normal zombies out here. Yeah, a couple here and there. But then a horde came out of nowhere. Yeah, okay, that was just a wolf and like two or three zombies. He's increasing my blood pressure over nothing. What am I gonna do with all you guys anyway? Just gonna have some fun for a minute, I think. Oh, if only this did more damage. Oh, it's so fun. Yes. Yeah, they need to come up with like a vehicle mod that does damage to zombies. That would be awesome. Die! Whoa! Okay, careful, I'm gonna flip this thing over. All right, one more run for good measure. There we go. Whoa, all right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, we're all good back here at the base. All that we really got for good stuff was that A-class UMP machine gun, which is pretty big upgrade over the E-class here. So if we're comparing the A-class UMP to the SMG here. Wow, actually, it looks like the UMP is only doing modestly less damage. Of course, significantly lower magazine size, lower effective range, but increased fire rate and using an alternative ammo type. So that UMP there is way better than this one here. And that one would maybe be worth trying to check and see if we could get that fully upgraded to S-Class. Let's just take a look and see what that's going to require. Okay, one titanium plate to repair it. A lot more titanium. Okay, oil. Whoa, way more SMG parts. We're only at 11 there in military fiber. Look how much research data we have, though. We have 3,000. Definitely more than I've ever had before. So, yeah, at this point, we can just basically uh, read everything. We can start collecting. So, okay, yeah, we'll just uh, switch this, these mods over so that they're ready to go. Silencers have no damage penalty anymore, so might as well put that on. 
So yeah, we'll go drum magazine, full auto, silencer, and a four grip. And I think we're doing so good on 10 mil that I think I'll just bring that and we'll put the M60 away for just a little bit. It's fun to change things up, in my opinion. I also got a silencer onto this, seeing how it's not doing a, uh, having, giving us a damage penalty anymore. And finally get some extra crossbow bolts in. Well, it's almost morning, so I think I'll just uh, continue getting organized and start thinking about a plan for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. All right, what are we thinking here? First post right there, then another pillar right here. Nice. Just need to bring this over just far enough to park like that. And then we'll just be able to pull in just like this. Oh, everyone's gonna love this. Oh, but for now, I just need to get some rest. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And just had a little bit of a construction project this morning to get the new garage crafted. It's not going to be like a real garage. I'm thinking more of like a parking pier so that we can extend this out over the water and put all of our vehicles on it for safe storage. We'll get another 7x4 door and we'll slap it on here at some point. And otherwise, I just kind of want it to mirror the aesthetic that we're going for here. I don't know. We'll play around with the shapes and see if we can kind of um, mirror this brutalism type of aesthetic overlooking the water or something like that. We'll get to that eventually. But for today, I have um, two. Ooh, I, <laughs> I used like 200 shapes doing that. Holy cow. Well, anyway, I want to work on this face here. There's more that I want to do. It looks very flat and boring to me. There's a certain sort of design look that I'm going for here, kind of like what we're doing right here, like a little armor cladding type of thing. But um, yeah, I just want to kind of break up this face, so let me um, do some testing and see what looks best. Alright, I'm thinking something like that. We'll have to move that relay. In fact, probably just do that now. We don't really need these spotlights out here. Uh, in fact, not giving me the option to pick it up. I wonder... It's, uh, are these things permanent? They just need to be broken once they're put down. I mean, that's what it appears to be, so, oh well. we'll plug that in there, and how are we looking here? Pretty good. Okay, so we now have to work on... There's some more that I want to do with the windows. In fact, let's just go ahead and place down these shapes here so this looks a little bit better. Like that will do for now. And I also want to do some trim work here on uh, the protrusion on the... What is this? The west face. All right, that's what I got for you right there. Uh, it came out pretty good. Maybe not as good as I was expecting. I think it'll look better when it's painted. Although there's some weird kind of angles here that I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, I'm gonna stick with this for now. There's one more little thing I wanted to try in here though. All right, well, that's looking better already. I like that a lot. So we'll continue working on stuff like this in the future, although I am running kind of dangerously low on shapes. So I think we're just going to table further construction projects until we can get around to doing some more clay mining, which by the way, we need to do lots of mining today. We need stuff for gunpowder, stuff for bullet tips and lots more iron. So I'm gonna get some stuff put away. Actually, there is one more thing that we wanted to do over here, so Yes, this right here. Zombies glitching into the floor continues to be an issue on this base design, so we're gonna have to continue trying to work around that by just filling the holes in. And there was another zombie that was trapped kind of back here, like either, I don't know if he was like under the floor or behind this wall, but presumably, yeah, there's uh, some damage going on back here that we need to fill in. Wow, a lot of it. 
So I'm not sure if eventually, once we get all of these holes plugged up, if this will kind of stop happening. Because what happens when a zombie glitches through the floor, it's the same thing that we saw last episode when we were at the asylum and I had to dig up the quest marker and then I teleported to the to bedrock and then it teleported me back to ground level. That is what is supposed to happen to zombies, but if there is a cavity below them, like, um, you know, there's an underground portion or some blown out portion like this. They will instantly teleport into that portion and then they'll be stuck there. So I think that's what's happening. Uh, I don't know if it's cops blowing up or if these holes have been here for a long time and we just never knew that they were there and never plugged them up. But I don't know. We'll just continue trying to do this and see if it kind of shakes out in the end. So one thing I wanted to do today, before we start getting organized and getting a plan going, is see if I can upgrade this and I can. And I think this is the last... I think maybe the artisan table needs to be upgraded as well. But, oh, we could also almost do that with some iron rebar. I don't know if we need to do this though. Okay, it's those only 30 iron plates. This one requiring 50. Okay, so we'll need some more iron plates to get the artisan table done. Although I don't know what that allows us to do. It might allow us to make concrete shapes. Does that make sense? No, nope, we can all... Oh, oh, here we go. Yes, crafted in the artisan table tier two. Also concrete barriers. Not sure if there's any utility to those. Right, some small stone. Oh, and I made cans. Where did I make cans? I made cans here. And I think that's all we need is small stone and cans to make some robotic turret ammo. Craft that because I have this junk turret and people have been sort of saying in the comments that they would like to see me use that, that it, that it would be helpful. And so we'll give it a whirl. The reason I haven't done it so far is, as you just saw, it is a bit of a resource sink. So here's sort of the sequence to make that stuff. So you have to have iron ore or scrap iron to make iron ingots and then iron ingots to make iron plates iron plates to make uh metal cans or empty cans and then you need large stone to make small stone and then both small stone and cans to make the robotic turret ammo so it's like such a chore and sometimes you know i get feedback that uh, i'm not playing the way that people think that i should be playing but you know at the end of the day this is a youtube series and i do have to play this game differently like, yes, if I was playing by myself, I probably would, you know, take a day or two and just go mining, which is what we're going to do right now. But anyway, <laughs> you know, but we have to kind of condense all of the action down into a smaller time frame, right? And so stuff uh, inevitably has to be done a little bit differently. But I will find a space for this. I'm kind of thinking that now that we're rolling with silencers, do we really need the crossbow? I don't really know the answer to that. I'm going to think about it for a little bit, though. Uh, maybe we'll just uh, put the painkillers away for a minute and just leave them up there, I guess, lock them in. And then we're going to have to start carting this stuff around. And I, <laughs> yes, presumably it is heavy. It certainly is heavy. Do I have any mods, though, that I can slap on it? Crippler, heavy barrel, that'll probably help. And a burst mod. Or we could do muzzle break. I think the burst mod, act it doesn't turn it into burst, but I do believe that it, it increases the rate of fire. Ranged attack speed, yeah, that went plus 0 0.2 when I put that on. And we'll do... Let's do Crippler, because that slows down the zombies, we know that now. And then it's, it's a toss-up here. We'll just do that muzzle break there. Right, how many bullets can we get in here? Well, more than 60, it looks like. Maybe more than 90? Wow, if I can just put all of the bullets into this and kind of not worry about it, that would be nice. And can I make turret ammo in the inventory? No, we need the ballistics table for that. So, man, this... It's not... It's certainly not as easy to use this as it is in vanilla. So, you know, I'm already <laughs> kind of not liking it. Okay, more than... I should probably just check here. What's the magazine capacity? 127. So if I could get, like, a full 127 in here and then another... 100 or so in the inventory, that's fine. Okay, we'll roll on that for a little bit, and um, I forgot what else I was doing. Ah, yes, we're gonna do some mining. So, let's grab fuel. We have so much fuel. I love having this much fuel. It's just great. And we'll need the Valkyrie drill, which is in the toolbox here, and it needs to be repaired, unfortunately, and probably also should be upgraded if possible. Which is a tall ask right now because we have been burning through a lot of resources and I don't know... Oh, we need the hammer so we can do the carpenter's table. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have very much left over after this. Workstation not empty. Oh yeah, I put that burning barrel in there. 
Uh, yeah, I don't really want that anymore because it calls in screamers really, really quickly. Okay, anyway, we can upgrade this using the table saw that we've been saving for ages and just a little bit of the research data that we have. And that puts the table saw kind of over here. Doesn't look particularly fancy, but uh, that's okay. Oh, people also ask me why I don't put fuel into the rusty barrel. And that's because I don't think it broadcasts when it's in the rusty barrel. Uh, I think I tried that at the old base and it didn't work. And I, I'd rather have it so that I can just come over here and say uh, something like Molotovs. And it's just, it's going to pull the fuel out of like the inventory somewhere. So why don't we just get like 30 of these for now and just have them ready for us if we need them. So how about that Valkyrie drill? I think wasn't that requiring titanium? Scrap titanium. Shoot, that's not what I was hoping for. Don't I have some titanium plates? I usually, when I when that happens, I just grab a titanium plate and I just do a quick scrap on that. And we'll we'll try to go get some more titanium. Someone informed me that if you find a titanium mine, it's it's titanium mixed with iron. So I thought I had depleted the mine over here that we were using for titanium, the one that's squared off there. But there might be some more down in there and there's some more iron as well. So we'll give that a try. So repair and for upgrades, we need military fiber and gears. You know what? I'm not going to freaking waste my time on this crap because look, if we'd run out of titanium rebar. We'd be cutting into the acid. It's just not, no, no, not worth it. I'll just wait until I hopefully find a better one and um, I'll just suck it up until then. And that reminds me of another thing. So a lot of people want me to... I guess like upgrade everything, like upgrade every piece of armor and people are telling me to save everything and go get this and go get that. Like I just don't have time, I guess, to to harvest everything, to collect everything. We're not going to upgrade all of the armor to S-Class. We're not going to upgrade all of the mods to S-Class, like crossbow and pack driver. I'm content just like dealing with some of the things. I don't think that's the intent of Undead Legacy. I don't think you're supposed to be min-maxing. You're supposed to like have some stuff min-max, like... Maybe your primary weapon and a couple other items. And if you get lucky and find a couple other S-Class items, more power to you. But it would take like hundreds of in-game days to get the materials needed to upgrade everything in the maintenance station to S-Class. It would be crazy. But I think anyway that we're ready here with the Valkyrie drill. We'll bring the van over in case we get over encumbered. Which, by the way, that reminds me. Do I have any skill points? Because people were... Um, Reminding me that Pack Mule actually might be a good perk to take here. Although, last night, at nighttime, my encumbrance increases because I read that Night Stalker book. And 327, yeah, I kind of would like it to be more and more than that. But, yeah, it's, I'll think about that. Anyway, let's grab up a Rock Buster. And the coffee is not going to work because um, that only works with like melee mining tools. I did get a whole bunch of gumbo stew crafted too. Look at the food on that, 112. Wow, <laughs> nice. And I think with that, we're good to go. We've got the turret for defense. We've got the Valkyrie drill. We've got fuel. We've got the rock busters. And let's go get some resources. Well, that's it. So what we do now is we get to the trash can. We get on the ladder actually first. Hopefully there's no screamers or mobs up there. We can grab everything out of the trash can now and our encumbrance. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm actually putting stuff in the trash can. We got to take stuff out of the trash can and our encumbrance again is like a thousand. So now we can still go up the ladder. Encumbrance not affecting me right now. I've been shooting up the mine shaft. So Hopefully none of the ladder pieces got knocked out. And despite the fact that we're super encumbered, we can actually move laterally. <laughs> Some people made that joke the last time. It was fun. 
So yes, we can just move right over here, go to the van, stash all of our heavy ore and metals and stuff right here. And uh, we're not encumbered anymore. And now we can drive home. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is going to shape up. So we'll be able to like take a left into here. Or we could take a right if we don't have stuff to haul up and uh, just park it over here. And I'm thinking we have like, you know, multiple parking spots, kind of like that. Maybe I'll even play around with like the parking line block shapes that we have now. So anyway, pull this up. Beam me up. Looks like today I'm going to have to do this little trick here where I just park it just right. Open up the storage and then go right immediately into the resource storage. And now all we have to do really is get everything crafting. Get all of this stuff turned into usable resources. But pretty much all of that stuff is done here in the furnace. However, can I upgrade this other furnace? Almost. Cooking grill and duct tape. Cooking grill, duct tape in the inventory. Just get all of it. Ah, and that means that we're out of glue again. And I'm also out of murky water in plastic bottles. So... Give me the plastic bottles. Plastic bottles, huge bottleneck, it feels like. Oh, I got a whole bunch more here, though. That's a lot of plastic bottles. Let's go uh, back to the POI where we started things off at and grab the well and bring that back over here. Probably have to clear that POI out again. I would imagine there have been respawns, but shouldn't be too big of a deal at this stage. And why not while we're out here, we'll get the reward from Captain Ellen. Hello Welcome. everyone, good That's evening. What do you got here? Some spaghetti recipe and an Enforcer D-Class, which has 12 magazine capacity. And I feel like that's gonna be a pretty good one. So we'll take that and take a new job. Ooh, the hospital. Yeah. Okay, there's the retail park that we did the last time. House old tutor number six. That's the snake house. Lost arms apartments or outback shack to the south. What is that? Oh. Outback shack by Mana Gobarg, I guess you would say. Uh, that looks like a big underground crypty looking thing, and I like the sounds of it. Let's check our inventory. Restock day is 53. Does that mean this is a new stash that I haven't seen before? I feel like it is, and we have one skill point to spend. SMG, that would be nice. Oh, 44 damage compared to the 68 base damage on the UMP. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be making the switch there. Otherwise, we're good. In case you are not familiar, I get comments sometimes on why I scrapped certain books. Well, if they're grayed out, that means you've read it before. So just FYI there. Maxton also doesn't have very much, but he does have some bullet casings. No okay, problem. I think there was... A, was there a sugar butt over here? Because I might as well get it and eat it. There was. Grab it and eat it. And I'll just take these basically wherever I can get them. Just saves me a little bit on crafting time and, and brass, which is not exactly the easiest resource to get. Spear Hunter books don't need those. And Fireman's Almanac books uh, do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. Uh, coal, sure, yeah. I mean, that helps with mining, right? A couple extra robotics parts. I think I will take those. And some electric fences saves me from just having to craft them. Oh, chandeliers. Nice. My man here has some good taste. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, it seems like. Certainly. Right, give me that reflex sight and we're out of here. Okay, here we are. We're back at the old home. Of course, there are zombies in here. Why don't y'all wake up? Close that up for them. Nothing special in there, looks like. We'll take the lucky goggles, put those on, grab this. Nothing good in there either. Take care of him. There should be a couple more back here. At least there were when I first cleared this place out. And there's not this time, so... Grab up all of the empty plastic bottles and fill them up here with 50 murky water and then take. And with that, I think we're out of here. All right, we're back and we are organized and I'm going to get as much glue as I can get going using a lot of resin and bone powder, which reminds me, I should be rolling on all kinds of that kind of stuff in here. Lots and lots of powder. So yes, give me all the 10 millimeter HP ammo that we can craft and that's going to be limited by bullet tips. So we'll need to make more of that. In fact... Uh, wait a minute. Let's get back on track here. What we were trying to do before was upgrade the furnace, requiring the cooking grill and a hammer. Upgrade that. Yes, nice. And then we'll need another ingot mold to put into there. Oh, I hear zombies kicking stuff around. Is this a freaking horde? Oh boy, oh boy, please come over here. Don't beat on the base or the vehicles or the well. Oh, guys, come back here. Okay, a couple are just con continuing to run right on through. Um... Hello, everyone. Can you please come upstairs? For what it's worth, I'll just turn that on. I'm not, not going to do a whole lot, I don't think. All right, guys. 
Right, I did have a skill point to spend today. I'm going to go... Wait, we just put one into agility for some reason, and I forgot why. But I'm going to take one into su submachine guns. There we go. Submachine gun skill just improved on its own. Really loving this pistol. It's so nice. Just the reload on it is so fast that you can really lay down like a consistent field of fire. Okay, we do need to focus tonight a little bit on getting... Oh, this place all fixed up. It's kind of really beat up right now. Okay, I think that was the last one. The rest of them just wandered off that way. They're beating on trees and stuff out there. Okay. Well, we'll leave them to it. Turn that off to save fuel. Ingot mold. Done. So that one's going to work on iron ingots. And this one over here is going to work on... Oh, wait. That's not fuel. That needs to go over there. Put the bellows in. Turn that on. Reset. And uh, still have the brick mold. I'm having issues today. There we go. Ingot mold in. Reset. And now we can get going on the steel ingots, I think. Or, or just like the accessory stuff like... Okay, gold, brass, copper, lead. Yes, we need lots of lead. Ooh, 431, nice. All right, that'll hold us over for a while. Oh crap, now we got a Screamer here. Okay, I hit her, but I don't think I killed her. Get her, there we go. Whoop, I let Thomas in. Right, so I got that knocked out because I have decided that I don't really like this shape anymore, at least not for this build that we have here so I'm going to make something that's a little bit perhaps just skinnier I'm not really sure what's gonna work best you know it's gonna be probably something on the order of this but not as like obstructive on the frontal portion but I want to be able to like get up closer to the zombies because I want to have more visibility up and down because if I'm stuck back here it just narrows my field of vision vertically and I'm not a big fan of that right now Okay, here's what I've settled on. I'm going to use this door frame block, and I've never done this before, so I don't even know if this is going to work. Where it is a door frame, I would imagine zombies can, like, squeeze between it with relative ease, but I do just want to give it a try. There should be another, like, door trim block that I can put on the bottom here. Okay, wood frames, door trim, one meter. Yes, that's the one. And put that in there, and that's like a really nice, clean-looking fighting window. And I'm hoping that they can't squeeze through there, but if they can, I mean, we'll just have to uh, suck it up for one horde and <laughs> hope that we don't die. Okay, so everything seems to- Oh! Screamer! Oh, no, screaming. Well, we can test it out, I guess. Just whatever you do, do not start an infinite screamer cycle, please. Okay, we're just copy shape, copy rotation, replace, copy shape, copy rotation, replace, same thing over here. Bringing rads with him now. He stuck the landing, kinda, no, he kinda teleported down. As long as he didn't teleport into the ground, we're good. And I think that's it. Oh crap, I caught myself on fire. Yeah. All right, so back out here to make some final renovations. I think probably instead of just repairing that and upgrading it, we'll just replace it entirely with the steel door that I made. Just pop that in. That should be good. Yep, that's good. Not sure on what the hit points are for this, but presumably a lot more than the, I think it was 2,500 that the iron had. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, 7,000, so that should have a lot more durability for cop spit and stuff like that. Let's go replace the fences that we lost on the last horde night. So just do copy rotation, and they should slide right in there. Too easy. Uh, another screamer. Jeez. Oh god, that item needs repairs. Crap. There we go. Jeez, okay, we'll just take the power line directly off of the uh, spotlight there. That'll do just fine. And nope, don't close that yet. We got to string these over to the fences. My goal for the next horde is to be ready the day before. So that the day of the horde, we don't have to like scramble because I get into like this sort of panic mode and this sort of time crunch that uh, makes me liable to make mistakes. Right, last couple things on the agenda for today. One is, oh boy, get that blade trap connected. All right, number two was going to be to get the chainsaw crafted, but uh, that is requiring more steel plates, and we are all clogged up downstairs working on that kind of stuff, so I'm just going to put that off until later on. And three was going to be the drone, which I'm not even sure if we're any closer to getting that. Yes, with titanium plates and more gears. Gears requiring steel. We're working on the steel. We got the robotics parts, and we are working on titanium as well. So, yeah, we're all messed up down here. Let's grab the titanium. 
work on titanium plates next. Ooh, only 30 of those after all that mining. Also working on steel plates, so we're also working on gears. So we'll be able to do that when we come back later on today. For now though, I'm itching to get outside and see what's out there in the world for us to explore. So I think we will call it quits here for today. And get the damn van out of here. The van teleported through the floor while I was away and of course took a bunch of damage. So we're gonna need to probably repair that at some point or perhaps just put it away because I feel like we don't even really need it at this point. It'll just be a decoration for us in the garage. But uh, yes, let's head over to the the quest. Have a look at the map real quick and see where that is. Oh, right on the edge of town over there. Yeah, let's go check that out and see what that has in store for us. Well, this is a very inconspicuous looking place here, isn't it? Looks like a little cabin. In fact, I think I've driven by here before and like killed some zombies but uh yeah let's go ahead and hit the quest first reset those dogs and vultures and sort of wishing that i had oh that's these repairs crap damn damn crap i oh geez i can't leave the freaking quest now okay i guess we're rolling with the smg then today And, whoa, what happened to you, buddy? Oh, we're having some uh, glitching vehicle action helping me out a little bit. Okay, we just can't roll with the pistol today. That's it. Fine with me, I hope, anyway. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get into a bad situation down here. Uh, how are the... Yeah, we have the turret anyway, so that should help. Right, anyway, we need to harvest that dog because we're low on leather. And we're not getting leather out of birds, so we don't need to worry about that so much. We're really good on bone powder and everything else. Aha, yes. Going downstairs, I figured it must be a big underground catacomb type of thing. Ooh, hobo stew for the road. Yeah, otherwise, really nothing going on here. Ooh, an attic, actually. I take that back. Let's see what's up here first. Uh, really nothing, it seems like. Oh, hello. Probably should just check the outside here and see if there's anybody over here. Doesn't seem like it, but yeah, cotton. Anybody in the outhouse? No, there is a little hole going, ooh! Down to a weapons bag. Right, yes, lucky goggles for this. Check the bag, ooh, scrap machete, weapon flashlight. Not terrible. And we're out of there. So I guess we're uh, going straight down here to see what this place is all about. Ooh, futuristic looking, actually. I was kind of expecting it to be like a mine or something like that. Oh, jeez! Whoa! Yo, okay, rad. Okay, this might be one of those places where we have to run from immediately. Here we go, we got a rad coming up. Gonna try and save the turret for, you know, dire circumstances, at least if I can. Don't wanna burn through all the ammo because you know that stuff goes quick. Okay, yeah, look at this. Okay, definitely wishing I had the crossbow. Okay, so someone did inform me that Sleeping zombies do not detect light. They only detect sound, which I guess is, uh, makes sense because their eyes are closed, but all right, let's let it rip. Oh God, there's more. Here, come on up here and suck on that. Oh boy, ow. Close that door. Zombies wandering in from outside. Damn it, Thomas, it's not your fight. Okay, a couple burned out here, looks like. There we go. Good good stuff. Okay, we're good. But there are zombies down here behind that door. Otherwise, I think I woke everyone up, so let's lock and load here. Oh my god, I have the crossbow. Have I completely lost my mind today or what? Jeez, man. You guys can go delete your comments that I'm an idiot, please. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Holy crap, that's a lot. Yeah, like, the, like I was saying, one of the, those situations where we want the turret, this is probably one of them. All right, open her up, let him in. Okay, maybe not. Oh, jeez, this thing sucks. Ow! Get back! Yeah, that thing's not worth taking around with me. <laughs> maybe if I put some points into it, it would be better. Okay, um, more sneaky stuff here, or are we good? Yes, okay, way down. I think we're clear in here. Oh, except for that. Well, what do you think? Should we just like open things up? And um, this might be a pretty compact POI, so we could just loot it all at once. Shamway food box, guess I'm not too concerned about that. In fact, water, we need that. 
very poorly prepared for this today. Is that going to be a hidden stash? No construction box and a cardboard box. Ooh, another door here. Jeez. Okay, this place is uh, a little bit more elaborate than initially I thought. Oh, that's just going straight down though. Okay. So seal that up. Open this. I like that these are all unlocked. That's definitely... Oh! Helpful for me. Yes, get the crossbow out. Apparently I'm having trouble with seeing today. Yeah! Oh no, 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 cop. You do not blow up here. Ah, shit. Ow. Oh, jeez. Okay. Disaster already. Yikes. Okay, first aid. Got plenty of that. Plenty of food as well. So I think I'll maybe take that hobo stew. Oh, yeah, put the nerdy glasses back on. Oh, I do have a Cobra Cats for extra sneak damage. I forgot that I bought that. So, uh, how much is that? Five minutes. Jeez, that's not very good. We'll save that maybe for like, um, you know, a bigger fight. This place is right full of loot too. I love it. Okay, we'll save all that for the eye candy if we can. We'll save that for the eye candy. We'll take a peek down here. That's locked. So that makes me think that that's going to be the way out, that the main loot is maybe down there. So I'll leave that locked, even though we could pick it. And I think this would probably be the intended pathway. Oh, just don't have them hiding in the doors, please. I don't mind being ambushed, but if they're just hiding behind fake walls, that's kind of scary. Yeah. You guys hear that? That's bad. What do we got here? Yes, we've got sneaky walls here. We've got about a billion zombies down there. Here, just set them all. Oh, jeez, that didn't work. Okay, I'm on fire, and I don't think I have any drinks. I have some murky water. Drink it. Oh, jeez, give me one of those friggin' days. Yeah, there's like so many friggin' zombies in there. It's really lagging. Okay, we're gonna set them on fire. We're gonna... Oh, I don't know. I think set this up here, right? That's the trick. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna set them on fire again. And we're gonna run over here and close that door. Oh, they're blowing up. My loot! Okay, try not to set myself on fire this time. There we go. Lock and load! Cops blowing up. I hope this is the end. I hope this is the main zombie fight right here because I don't know how much longer I can do this. Ah! Outside, outside. We got a screamer over there. That gun's not gonna work. Take her out. Got her. Here they are. Whoa! They should be quite soft right now, I would hope, right? Okay, just run! Oh my god, so many rads. Ah, screamer! Oh shit! Ow! Oh jeez, I didn't know what I was getting myself into today. Not prepared for this. Okay, let's heal up. Okay, run a little bit to get the sword. Should be able to take that guy, yep. Right, is that it? One more. Still a lot of zombies on the compass though. Did they maybe break the ladder and they're like, still here somewhere? I don't know, I can't really hear it. Yeah, they're just kind of beating stuff downstairs. Only have 38 bullets left, one Molotov and my sword, and that's pretty much it. I do hear dogs beating on something. We might just have to take the loot that we can, fail the quest, and come back when we're a little bit more prepared for stuff like this. Yeah, they did a lot of damage back here, but it seems like the, the loot portion is pretty well maintained. Ah, dogs. Oh, they're coming up the ladder. That's terrifying. Ah! And a snake. I'll take that. Got more zombies on the compass, and they appear to probably be snakes, it seems. Why? Why with the snakes? Oh my god. Helps with the leather, though. We have not cleared the area. There is one zombie on the compass, and I'm not sure if this, like, continues going down, or did we wake everyone up? Looks like the ceiling here was full of zombies. The walls were probably full as well. There may be even more in the walls, but also that might have been it. I'm hoping that that was it. That was crazy. Here, drink that. Here's a snake. Um, it's giving me the indicator that they're down on an another level. At least um, some zombies are. I would imagine it's the main boss fight. 
which doesn't bode well for me because I really don't have any bullets left. We'll have to probably try to kite them and use the sword as much as we can. Otherwise, nothing particularly exciting here. I'll check the shamways and stuff just to see if maybe there's like a recog or something good in here. Awesome sauce. That's good. Any walls? Ooh, ammo. Nice. Aha, recog right there. That is good to have. Let's put that down here somewhere. We'll put the shovel away, I guess. Take the rest. Let's top off on help. And I, I don't think I saw where we have to go from here. Uh, there was the, you know, the hatch that we kind of bypassed upstairs. That might be going down somewhere. But you'd think there might be another way. Could go through the floor, that wouldn't be too much of an issue, except we'd be stuck, right? So, ah, ammo pile. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of, like, proper way to go down, except for, what is that? Sneaky ammo pile, grab that for some shotgun parts. What's in that one? Another ammo pile, grab it. Okay, 762. Right, well, I think we have to head back upstairs and pick open the other hatch that was over there. I don't know if there's another way to get there or not, but, uh, I'm done looking, so let's just pick this. My lockpicking skill is not high enough, so I'll take a jailbreaker, and I'll use the bobby pin trick where we just try to get some levels. That didn't take long, so that's open now. And, ooh, that is... Very ominous. This is just like a little stone area. Oh geez, I don't I don't like this. Here, open this stuff up so I can not get stuck on ladders and stuff. Okay. Oh geez. Um, I'm gonna do a trick where I kind of make mini walls just to buy myself that half second if I have to. Okay, sneaking. My sneaking skill imp improved. I don't know if that means I'm in, like, detection range of zombies, or if I just get that by crouching. Anyway, this is going really, really deep down, and... I don't know what to expect here. Very, very tight quarters. I see some green over there. Is that a zombie? No, that's a button. And here's the main loot. Okay, we definitely don't want to fight anyone here, though. Oh, it's just a snake. And a bear! Oh shit! Run! Okay, a bear can't get me up here, that's for sure. Here, give me that recog. Oh geez, okay, snakes. The Molotov can be for the snakes, I think. So open this up and set them all on fire. That should kill them very quickly. Working on my animal harvesting, I guess. That gave me a lot of XP, that was kind of nice. Okay, where's that bear, though? I can hear it. I don't know if it's a regular, probably zombie bear, I would imagine. Got an airdrop coming. I'm not sure if I can take that bear or not with 38 rounds. Oh, jeez. Uh, I wish I had some fort bites or something right now. Uh, I suppose I've got the recog. I could just try to focus on headshots. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got some more snakes here. Ah, snake fight. Ah, we got it! We are done, baby! Nice! Bear cave down here. Very cool. Give me that testosterone extract and that button there. I don't know what that did. Probably, I don't know, did that... Is there another way that we were supp- Oh! Ooh, a death trap. I just happened to not walk over that. Are you kidding me? Wow, so that button would have gone to the hatch that we picked open there. Excellent! Good job. So, eye candy in. And we'll see what we get here. Powered sliding blast gate. Don't think I need that, but I'll read it anyway. Why not? Good rusty cleaver. Electric speakers. Sure, why not? Urban combat, we can scrap that. Tech Junkie book. 25% uh, chance for regular and 50% chance for power attacks to instantly charge the stun baton. I am going to start looking for a good stun baton that we can start using on Horde. 
Ooh, Ice Breaker Pickaxe. 100% damage to ore and asphalt. Normally this tool is used to break ice, but supposedly it could also be used to mine some rocks or ore as well. Probably just something for us to sell. I will take a little peek there. I just want to see what it looks like. Icebreaker pickaxe. Aha! Ooh, one-handed. That's cool. So probably something along the lines of like an iron pick, right? Okay, well that's it for this place. Oh, look at that, I learned an elixir recipe right on the exterior here. That's pretty cool. We can uh, grab that and... Oh, you know what? I need to make a trip back out to Araxco to see if those corn stalks that we kind of bypassed, I just figured it was regular corn, but it might be super corn. There was a couple comments that said that it could be. No one seemed to know for sure, but I'm gonna fly out there and find out. I'm taking Steve with me too. All right, here we are, we made it. And yes, these are the corn stalks right here. It's just regular corn. Shit. Well, I suppose that'll do. I'm gonna actually go through, at least drive through, and then, uh, so yeah, usually Bob's Bob's boars would be on the exterior, the outskirts, I should say, of town. So I'll make, maybe just like make a loop around and see if I can, uh, just pick it up on the map at least so I can maybe just study the map a little bit later and see if I saw it anywhere. Yeah, we really, really need super corn to make now learning elixir and the awesome sauce. And yeah, there must be super corn just like out in the compo pack somewhere, I would I would imagine, right? Yahoo, oh, look what I found. That place we were just at way out here in the desert. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This place back here, this place is more than meets the eye. And there just might be some super corn in there. By the way, I'm super thirsty. Can I do anything about that? Mineral water, nice. Yes, I know this place. I also know that there's boars and uh, there should be a wolf here somewhere too. Ooh, and dogs. Oh no, 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 don't wander off. Just stay right there. Also, still really low on ammo. Ah! All right, look out. Whoa, got birds. Dogs and wolf coming after me here. There we go. Yes, this is some kind of like a secret lab because back here, let's get the shovel out. Shovel's the best tool for war hay bales. Yeah, back here, whoops, yep, I guess that happens. And down here, there should be a secret lab of sorts. Just kind of try to clear it out best I can here. Definitely eager to see if this has changed at all since the last time I was here. I think we raided this place uh, on episode three, the third video I ever made in the Vanguard series. I raided this place and it used to be that there was a grace down here, although it doesn't, uh, they haven't spawned in yet at least. Hello? No, no grace anymore. Main loot though, so I'll check that up. Ooh, pretty good junk turret there. Better than the one I have. Some chickens, I'll just leave them alone. But yeah, I was thinking because there might be a grace down here that there might also be super corn down here. Ooh, machine gunner book. Fully automatic mode does 1% more damage per hit until you miss. And empty fuel can, artisan table, vehicle off-road headlights, I already have those, so don't really need another one. Gonna just take what I can for fuel here because we are running just a little bit low. And yeah, bummer. So bust on this one. However, the search shall continue. Oh, this is that um, lumber mill where there is a grace that's uh, down underneath that platform there. And I saw some corn over here, although I would, I've already harvested this corn at the other place that we raided this place at. So yeah, I don't think this is uh, any super corn here. However, there could be maybe some super corn inside somewhere. I don't really know. I think probably time is better spent uh, searching for bobs. That way we know what we're looking for. Apple orchard, that's kind of cool. No, at this point I've made the full trip around town and I have not found a bobs boars. So I think the search will have to continue later on. And for now, we'll just head back to the base. Suppose we can just grab this on the way through here, make sure I got the right set of goggles on. I do. Do we get here? Oh no, not the corn seed recipe. And another ranged mods bundle. Holy cow. Well, what am I gonna get this time? Ooh, drum mag. Trigger full auto. I already have a bunch of those in the composite string. 
All right, just going to swing in here and grab our quest reward before we move on. Oh, titanium machete or four recog. Uh, I'm going to roll with the machete, though. Unfortunately, not the titanium katana. I also heard that there's an inferno katana, which uh, would be awesome to have. So anyway, a uh, new job. Ooh, Deshong Tower. No, thank you. Hospital. The hospital is mm. right in town. I'm curious to see what that's all about. So let's all grab right. that. All right, welcome back everyone. Everything is put away and organized as per the usual. We have this titanium machete to compare to the Inferno Blade. Of course, the Inferno Blade doing dramatically more damage, although I will take a look at it because it probably looks really cool. And in fact, it does. Wow. Okay, so I would say probably a similar attack rate, it feels like. Yeah, the attack speed is the same, although it's doing like half as much damage. Uh, pro probably once you upgraded the titanium machete up to S class, it would be doing better. So grab up those titanium plates and everything else that we crafted today. First things first though, I do want to get a couple of things. Uh, we talked about this earlier. I want to get the junk drone. So craft that. The other thing was the chainsaw, so we can craft that just using all kinds of little things and odds and ends that we pick up along the way. So that's fair enough. Right, so titanium machete, you can be sold. Inferno blade, you're probably gonna remain the primary weapon throughout the entire playthrough, unless I could find the yeah, inferno katana, but inferno katana, not searchable. But I think for tonight, I'll probably just kind of wait for this stuff to craft. Oh, there's our junk drone right there. We'll have to come up with a name for that so we can just pop this down. There we go. Oh, I wanted to see what is Startup the... No, please don't do that. And what is the storage capacity on it? 100 pounds. That's not too bad. That's the equivalent of like four points into... What was it? Pack mule. Five points in packed, because that's going to increase my cargo capacity up by 100 pounds or 100 units. Okay, interesting. So that's a pretty big advancement right there. And we could also get the... Ah, yes, the vehicle reserve fuel tank, the drone medic mod, and put that on. And then we'll put some of our bandages in there as well to help keep us topped off on health. Right, so for the remainder of the night, I think I'm going to just continue crafting. Oh yes, harvesting some corn. I'll try to get some things upgraded. I think I'll get some of the concrete mix that we've collected so far and uh, see if I can maybe make some more and then start getting some of the fighting position things upgraded a little bit further. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Oh yes, 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 cement mix, lots of that. Nail gun, good. Right, head down to the fighting position, open this up, refuel, nope, just turn that on, get some lights going at least, and just start upgrading. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And today here on day 53, since we have a few days left before the Horde, we're about halfway through the week, I figured instead of doing that tier 5 over there, which is the hospital, uh, and, you know, basically that's in, like, the temperate biome, I figured I wanted to do some more wasteland raiding. So here we are. We're right close to the base. You could probably almost see it from here. And we've already cleared out these two POIs, but I'm thinking if we take a look at the map... Uh, oh, in fact... Uh, this here does not appear to be a Wasteland POI. Uh, my mistake there, this is a Burned Biome POI. What about that one over there? That would also be Burned Biome. Yeah, and this is the Quiet Pines, which is a tier five, so we'll wait until we perhaps get that during a quest. Okay, so we need to push down to this block here and start uh, doing some Wasteland raids. It's all residential, and then maybe cut over here into the next door city and uh, see if we can find anything that uh, tickles my fancy a little bit. Here we go. Okay, we're in the wasteland now, and uh, I suppose probably this house here on the left is a good one to start off with. Just park right here on the cul-de-sac. Oh, bird, look out. Ah! Oh, we got a level up too. Nice. And dog. So far, so good. 
Oh, by the way, I forgot to put some bandages in your storage here. In fact, I think I I forgot to put the uh, the drone medic mod on, so <laughs> scratch that idea for now. Oh, and by the way, I did hop on over to Patreon and I selected a name for the drone at random from the naming rights tier or above. And the name we got was Kev James. So thank you so much to Kev James. We're going to be calling this robot here James. Check the mail, of course. Chili dog recipe. Already read it. Big mama here looking for some chili dogs. Okay, we're locked on the front, which kind of leads me to believe we're probably supposed to head in through the side here. Yep, here we go. Well, I don't want to spend all day kind of poking through these places. Are you going to wake up? Oh, goodness. Got a good sneak attack on her. Yeah, and I'm not going to like, uh, you know, pick through everything. I'm just going to kind of wander through here and just, you know, get whatever I can really fast. The intent of today is to just get main loots. Whoa! Main loots, passing gas boxes, construction site boxes, things like that. Yep, glue, that's nice. Good morning, Thomas. Eat that. Freaking wood cutting axe right to the spinal cord. Oh, got a rads in the roof. Look out. Maybe knock out these accessory zombies. We can face this guy one on one. Ow. You know, they really don't hit too hard if you look at my health there with the heavy armor that we have and stuff. So, uh, it's just when they get you pinned, that's when they become a big problem. Oh, good morning. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. I'm about to fall off the roof here. Would you come down here? Oh, man. Clumsy zombies today. We're almost to the main loot, I think. It should be right up here in the attic. At least I hope. I think we're on the right track here, aren't we? Uh, this place looks familiar. Ah, uh, right, this place. Yeah, you head in here, or you could have, whoops, head out the other way. Oh boy, speaking of getting stuck, where am I? <laughs> here we go. Yes, run over here. Oh crap, ooh, I fell almost all the way down the stairs. I should know better by now than to rush things like this, but uh, I can't help it. <laughs> just my style sometimes. Right, and the loot is up on this little loft here. Here we go. Can I pick this yet? No, I suck at lock picking so bad that I'm just gonna continue using time charges. And let's go ahead and get the, an eye candy down, the lucky goggles on, and we'll see if we can rush and gank the loot somewhere else. Oh, look at that, S-class pair of gloves. Bar brawling book here, might as well read it. Uh, after getting hit, brawling attacks are 20% faster and increase movement speed by 10%. That is a good one for the brawler build. Ooh, scrap knife. And we are reading the tech junkie books now, but we didn't get lucky on that one. And with that, we're out of here. Right, where can we go next? Actually, I think I know where the loot is on this place here. I think the loot's like right up here somewhere. There, uh, let me in here. Yes, here we go. Oh, <laughs> not loaded. Loot should be right in here, right? Ah, damn it. Yes, right here. Oh, good military vest there, not too bad. And a treasure map, good stuff. You know, we have another treasure map that we could dig up here in the near future, but I think we're all set here. Let's check that for drinks, fresh water. Yep, up and out, up and out, up and out. <laughs> Come on, there we go. We still have time left. Let's go that way. Is that where we came from? No, that's a little place too. We can hit that up real fast. All right, what's going on here? Zombies waking up inside. The light is over here and we go in this way, I think. Yes, oh, I know this place. Yes, upstairs. Okay, <laughs> just get a gun out here. About to get in some trouble, I think. Whoa, yes, oh, rad. Loot's in one of these places here, yikes. I believe I have recollection that there's also like a weapons bag up here somewhere, or maybe it's that sports bag there, or I don't really know. What's in here? Yes, main loot, got it. Ah, zombie behind me, ah! Okay, dying! Yeah, I told you I was gonna get myself killed doing this. I didn't expect there to be Friggin' nine zombies in a tier one. Whoa! Ow! Okay. Junk turret, you protect me and heal up. Anyway, uh, time's running out on the looting kit. Time, in fact, oh no, we have a minute left. 
Yes, check the wood crate. I already got the wood crate. Check this. Cover me. Oh my goodness. Truck wheel and motorcycle wheel recipes. Go ahead and read them both just for the fun of it. And an impact bracing mod schematic. I do not need that. I already have a pair on, I believe. All right. We are almost good as new here. Aha, zombie bear. We do need the testosterone extract and also we need um, with, uh, leather. So we're gonna take this guy out. Can you get me up here? Ah, okay, I guess we're riding the bear. Ow, we're gonna ride the bear, but we're gonna do it with an SMG. Ah, come on, bitch. I got him. That's like my signature move now, riding the bear. Okay, I guess we're moving right along here. No sense in stopping now. Let's hit up that house there. That looks different. And yeah, we can do this place here, and then we can do a couple other residential houses, and ooh, that one over there looks kind of fancy. I think that's the same one as, uh, there's one over there that's the same POI as that one. I'm interested in seeing what's in there. Got a wall safe here that I can't pick. Damn it. You can't pick them, and they it takes forever with, with this thing, so, ah, oh man, these things suck. Whatever, just open it up. Great heist book, and, uh... Oh, geez, the power tier three vault hatch. I've seen that like six times. I might as well just read it this time. Oh, hello. Yikes. Ow. Jesus Christ, man. Main loot area here, I think. Just knock out these guys, a bunch of softies. Yes, right in here, and we got another tier one loot, okay? Probably should be wearing my lucky goggles for this. Oh, we got a soldier. Came in from outside. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love it when you take their legs off. All right, I'm going to go on to that, like, Bavarian-style German-looking POI right there. I'm going to grab the vehicle. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are. We made it. It's a very cool-looking place. Let's uh, see if we can find an entrance here. Locked door there. Oh, might as well wake him up. The zombies will open it for me. What do we got going on back here? Perhaps the intended entrance, I would say. Maybe? Can I just sneak in through here? Oh, a bunch of zombies in there. I didn't quite see there. Okay, I seem to be getting quite a bit of lag here. Lots of zombies. Oh, boy. Big Mama careening out of there. God, she's so strong. Damn it. A loot bag there. I believe I am still wearing the lucky goggles. I am. Good steel axe and food. And I guess we can head up in here. Oh boy, here we go again. Holes in the floor. Bodes poorly, although it's dirt underneath, so I don't think that there's a basement here. Okay, here we go. Yes, oh, there is a basement, and there are zombies kind of just stuck everywhere. And we are into the backyard area, it looks like. Get everyone gathered up. I hear a snake. Here we got zombies coming in from like way up there. Look at that guy. Got stuck in the wall there. We got here. Here's the snake. Give me that leather, buddy. Okay, we're all over the place here. I could go in this way, or I could go in that way. Not exactly sure what the intended way to go is. So we'll start over here, I think. Slurp down some of this charred meat here. And, uh, I don't know, drink a beer, I guess. We'll roll through here with a little bit of blurred vision for a second. Get back! Ow! Okay, so this, like, little apartment is nothing. That was a good, uh, find there. Vitamins for our fatigue. Where'd that go? Oh, I already have four of them. <laughs> yeah, great find. Lucky me. Alright, I'm about ready for this blurry vision to wear off. Ooh, look at that. B-class frying pan. Well, that's a bust there. I guess we could go up the balcony or in here. Jeez, <laughs> very non-linear. It's kind of nice. Just explore at your own leisure, I guess. Sniper rifle book. Go ahead and read that. And I'm just um, salvaging these um, electronics because it's not really worth it to me now to get the research data. So I guess, okay, robotic drone, open the storage. What can I just toss in here really quickly? Oh, that massive... 44 pound gasoline barrel that I brought with me to to fuel up the the buggy that I forgot all about here Yeah, take all that crap. Oh, are you all weighed down now? I see. Okay. Yeah, take all that stuff back out 
zombie. Ah! Hey, can I take this? We'll have like a pet lizard container. Also, I'm infected. Good thing I have that jar of honey there. Ooh, great heist book here. Ah, that's the motion detector one. Useless. Is there anything fun up here? Zombies? Here's that zombie that was awake, too. <laughs> you just uh, stay right there, construction man. I'll get to you in just a second. There we go. And this guy's stuck in the floor, just like his friend was stuck in the rooftop. It's like one of those places you gotta kind of search every nook and cranny. You never know what you're gonna find. Like, is there uh, something special in there? No, nope, just a, a wooden piece of concrete. Got a, ooh, guy dangling from a string there. And some more tools over here. Good scrap sledge. Toolbox. What do we got here? Uh, got a ladder going up. Careful, because we also got a uh, death trap going down, it seems like. Oh! Rad! Uh, what can I do? <laughs> I wish I could see his head. Oh, close enough, I guess. Here, why don't you come and show me what this trap is all about? No, 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 no. Fall down there. Fall down. Yikes. Over here. Over here. No. Ow. Well, I suppose I could probably... Oh, don't, 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 don't. Okay. Oh, there's water down there? I heard a water splash. Okay. We might go down there if there's water. But, um... I just want to see what's up here real quick. I feel like I've skipped over some portion of the POI. But then again, it's it's just like residential stuff, so maybe that's the intended way to go. Oh! Ah, uh, did you see that? The titanium katana schematic! Oh, I know what we're crafting when we get home tonight. Yeah, I don't know, it's just a bunch of junk around here. Here, let's go back up to the, um, the mysterious chute down into the water. And hope that this doesn't hurt me when I do this. Maybe just, um... Oh, I wish I had, like, an oh shits drop. Uh, okay. Here, get a gun out in case there's a trap down there. Make sure it's reloaded. And, yep, here we go. Oh, I hope this is deep. Oh, it is deep. Okay, we're good. Remember to uh, crouch down when you're trying to move through water. Because you move a lot faster. You can see I'm actually moving pretty fast. Is there any uh, air up here, maybe? We got no air. Okay, we gotta push on really quickly then so we don't suffocate. Zombie. Kill him. There we go. Steak. Alright, uh... There's probably a bear down here, knowing, uh, my recent luck. Garage storage box. A couple of lead car batteries. Just what I need to fucking weigh me down even more. It's pretty tight quarters here, so I'm confident that we could kind of run really quickly. Or we could just, like, probably face down a bear. I feel like we're doing enough damage per second now that we could just... Ooh, face down a bear with no big deal. Uh, okay, hang on a second. I woke up a dog somewhere. Was that the dog I was just looking at? I'm trying to set up like a fallback position here. No, I think that's an outside dog. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way over here. Just kill the dog first. Well, it's probably gonna wake up the cop, but I can at least guarantee his death. We got a cop. Okay, he's feral. So we're gonna run back here. Whoa, look out! Yikes! Bring it on, buddy! Got him. All right, I think we just had that rad, and then we're good. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Yikes. Okay, he's down. Got a uh, zombie trying to beat in here from somewhere. This suck. Oh, God damn it. Yikes. There we go. Also another cop somewhere. Is this the main loot? Certainly looks like it here. Anything back here? Ooh, yes. This is the main loot back here. Oh, there's a bunch of barrels and stuff back there. Okay, open up all this stuff. Go ahead and take an eye Lots of zombies upstairs. That could definitely be a horde. Lucky goggles on for this. Blow it up. Check this first. Ooh, good iron shovel. Then destroy this because there's another crate behind it that I saw. There we go. Car parts box with a scrap shovel, vehicle off-road headlights, and some oil shale. Just scrapping those. Don't need them. Another Jennifer's treasure map. I think I already pulled one of those out today and some, I think that was 10 mil ammo. Motor tool parts, don't need those. Iron breaker already read that. And I think with that, we're probably done. I'll take the mushrooms with me. Yep, so I guess uh, we're heading up the ladder now. There should be an exit here somehow. Right there, it appears. Hello? There's a whole bunch of zombies around me somewhere. Let's just run out here and see where they are. 
Ah, oh, just a bunch of zombies up there. Mm, yeah, I'm kind of on the clock now because I have the eye candy active, so I'm just gonna leave. That was a pretty cool place. I love the whole, like, dropping down and then... Ah, there's my horde right there. Hey, everyone. Just, uh, you know, hang out there for a minute for me and I'll be right there. I even brought skull crushers just for this occasion. Take a hobo stew, goldenrod tea to wash it down, and let's kill this fucking horde. Anyway, we've got the eye candy active and we have this little rinky dink farm place right here. Although I have like vague memories of this place being somewhat dangerous. Is anybody in here? We got one rad, crawler, Arlene. What's the threat here? I feel like there's a threat here that I'm not seeing. Pigs in there. Pretty sure the loot's just up here somewhere. Oh, there, nope, Thomas, hello. Let's get a gun. Oh, I see. There's a way for them to get up here. Oh, here we go. A little bit of loot up here. Oh, there's the, the chest right there. Tier 2 loot chest, and we got 25 seconds left. We just made it there. Iron combat knife and another treasure map. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him to blow up. Why not? Give me that first. Yikes. Nice. Get out of there just in time. Aha, uh -huh. I was like thinking, is there anything sneaky in this water tower here? What do we got here anyway? Construction site box, well, I was kind of hoping for hidden stashes, but that would be a little bit OP. Maybe one of these at least is a hidden stash. That's one. Otherwise, they're just construction site boxes. Lucky goggles on for this. Hidden stash has the pumpkin pie recipe. That's pretty cool. Otherwise, just junk. Okay, we are moving right along here. I don't know if this is um, anything special here or not. Looks like just kind of, um, I don't know. What is this, like a vineyard or something? What's this supposed to be? Whoa, oh boy. Uh, we're suddenly very surrounded. There's a lot of doors in this place. Here we go, some open spaces here. Whoa, look at all the zombies in here. Yikes, I think we're all clear though. I feel like there's uh, something sneaky here that I'm missing. Maybe there's like an underground, um, you know, like a storm shelter or something around here. Uh, something that would have some loot in it. No, I've had a look around and nothing seems out of place to me. Nothing suspicious here. So, you know, perhaps it'll just remain a mystery. There could be, there could be a basement portion, I suppose. If I, if I just get in here and I like open up one of these floorboards. Ah, uh, oh. Yes, in fact, there is. How do I get down there? I I must have missed the staircase or something. But I see I see no way to get down in there. I think that was just kind of chance. Unless there's like um some sort of an entrance on the exterior here. I don't know. Perhaps what's that? Uh, suspicious a little bit. Perhaps once we get down there, it'll become more clear of how we were supposed to get down there. And now I'm really curious. So I'm just gonna dive right down in here. Hello. Little bit of loot here. Ooh, A-class steel shovel. That'll definitely be replacing the G-class that I've been using. Otherwise, lots and lots of boxes. And, uh, oh, there's the staircase right there. Am I just a complete idiot or, oh my God. Oh my God, I walked right freaking by it. <laughs> nice. Aha, ooh, look at this. Got a gun safe back here. I'm gonna have to probably take a uh, jailbreaker, the last one that I have. Easy. Let's check it out here. Great heist book again. Uh, less damage when you have 5,000 dukes or more, which is great because I have a bunch of dukes on me at all times anyway and a 4x scope there. Oh, here's the loot here. I suppose all the zombies that we fought upstairs were probably all hanging out down here where the free beer is. Ooh, good police baton there. Those sell pretty good too. So, oh, tech junkie here, robots and stun batons degrade slower. Very good. Ooh, a good AUC. Nice. Good spear there, S-class and a machine gun book, which I'll read. All right, well, not a fantastic day for looting, but we have lots of stuff for selling, and that should probably be on the agenda for tomorrow, including probably going north and seeing if we can get the treasure map there. And I think that's actually a drop that we haven't gotten yet, so we can also grab that. 
Maybe tomorrow we can do that tier five quest as well. And I'm basically in the middle of the wasteland though, and I have a bunch of treasure maps. So I think we can probably read these and just hope that we get at least one of them in the wasteland and we could actually maybe dig that up tonight. Oh yes, read that great heist book, scrap that tech junkie book. And where are the Jennifer's maps? Here they are. We'll start one of those as well and check the map. Okay, we got Stefan's down there and Jennifer's is over there, way over there. That's kind of way out of the way and it uh, appears to be in the burned biome in the middle of the street, of course. Okay, well, uh, let's fly down there and get the treasure map and then we'll probably head home after that. Where did I park my car? Aha, here we are. And look at this, it's in the middle of the lake. Oh boy, we got a lot of zombies here too. Whoa, yikes. Okay, that attracted a lot of attention to me. Yeah, we're, uh, we're starting the endless cycle here. We might need to abandon the area. Well, what do you say? I got nothing better to do tonight, so let's go for a little bit of a swim. All right, here we go. This is gonna take a while. I'll let you know when I find the thing. I found it, but I can't open it and I don't have uh, any time charges or a jailbreaker candy. So, oh geez, give me some air. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I suppose there's always the option here of going into my skills and taking a point into lock picking, which will give me plus 20% to my lock picking. Let's do that. Make life easy on us tonight. Yep, I just auto picked it and oh wow, actually not half bad. Lots of ammo, good amount of money. All right, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, geez, that was close. All right, I've had enough of the water for one lifetime. Well, let's get out of here. All right, welcome back and good morning, everyone. Let's see, first of all, what I wanna do is put our new little reptile cage right down there. It's a perfect spot for it, right? I wish there was actually a lizard in it. That would be great. It looks like it's open anyway, so yeah, probably the uh, the original inhabitant escaped. I have been spending my morning repairing all of the sellable, repairable sellable materials, and then I'm gonna grab up the rest of them in uh, just a second. I think the awesome sauce is right up here, but there's sugar butts down here. So let's grab up just one sugar butt would be fine. Grab up the remainder of the sellables and there is our awesome sauce. Lots and lots of stuff to go through and we'll bring all the money with us. And I think let's head to a different trader. Let's see, we've been recently to most of the traders. However, we have not been to Camp Ethan for a while. So I think let's swing through there, do the big sell off, and on the way back, maybe we'll hit that hospital tier five quest. All right, here we are. Shut this behind me. Oh, just check it over here. There's a working ATM, and uh, I was watching another playthrough. I was actually uh, tuned into an episode of Genosis's playthrough, and he hopped up on top of this, and there was a freaking ammo chest up there, so. <laughs> I'm really heavy right now, it's really difficult for me to jump, but I'm eventually gonna make it up there. All the way up here, and yes, we got a little munitions chest. Very good, let's just prop, put on the proper set of goggles there and check it out. Ah, ammo. As for this, let's see, are my newfound lockpicking skills good enough? They are. There we go. A Little bit of extra cash for selling today. How can I help? Speaking of selling, how you doing Private Ryan? Let's drink the awesome sauce, well, Usually I like to see if there's anything that they have to sell first, so I don't have to spend too much time looking afterward. I can just go get it, bing, bang, boom, like that. So, batter up books, spear hunter, don't need those. Got a lucky looter book. I will start collecting those now that we're not so desperate for research data. Otherwise, yeah, nothing particularly useful here. As for Trader Wrecked, he does have a pretty good magazine extender. I mean, not the best. Ooh, what is that? Saw blade, an E-class saw blade. This toothed blade resembles more a saw than a sword, which is pretty freaking cool. That's interesting. And compared to the Galloway blade, hmm, way worse still. I don't think we'll ever find anything that's better than the Ga the Inferno blade, the Galloway blade, uh, until at least we get that titanium katana crafted, which uh, reminds me, we need to go do that. Ooh, what is this? Exotic alloy 
kit. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds nice. There's a Valkyrie drill, which is a higher quality class than the one I have, although probably not worth investing a bunch of money into that. And a shotgun turret here, which uh, I think I do need to probably get... Uh, I would rather get an SMG turret, actually, because I want to set that up on the base before the Horde Knight. We can craft them. I think it's just uh, they require uh, SMG parts, and I'm kind of saving those to maybe upgrade the UMP. So yeah, maybe we'll swing by Captain Ellen's and see if she's selling one of those. But anyway, for now, let's go with the awesome sauce, sugar butts, get the nerdy glasses on for extra XP, and we'll see how much we can make. Boom, just like that, 41K and about 45,000 XP. Excellent. A couple more things we can sell off to Ryan here. What do you want? And that's it. So on this end, uh, I believe I will end up just taking that magazine extender just because it's pretty good quality. It's better than um, the ones that I have. And I would like to probably put it onto the Golconda, especially if I can get it upgraded. I want to see what that exotic alloy kit thing is in uh, volume six, volume three. Yes, make sure I'm not buying repeat books. I'll go ahead and take the gyrocopter accessories just so we, if we ever happen across the gyrocopter chassis, we could at least get that crafted. And I will take this one shotgun turret in case we cannot find find the um, SMG turret anywhere today. Otherwise, I think I'll just save my money. And there's lots of zombies out here. Is this like a horde lots of zombies or just like a regular lots of zombies? Oh, it's definitely a horde lots of zombies. Well, we'll defend the walls. Private Riot, I'll save you. I think let's go try and see if there's anything we can get out of the vending machine that's worthwhile. Hi, Candy. Nothing really good. Okay, a couple jailbreakers, that helps. Coffee, I'll take the coffee now and let's head outside. Right over here, my friends. Where's all the ferals anyway? There should be a bunch of ferals and we should be starting to get rads, but it's just like 100% regular zombies here. All in one line. swinging by Captain Ellen's here. We'll see if they have timed charges and also an SMG turret that I might have overlooked last time I was here. Still have the sugar butts active. Greetings, everyone. One timed charge. Lucky me. He does have some night vision goggles, which I'm gonna buy up real quick. And he's also just selling the shotgun turrets. Damn it. Well, poor luck today, I guess. Anyway, sure. it is time to do the hospital. Whoa, okay, rolling up on the hospital here. Lots of, whoa, look, watch out for the landmines and spikes. The hell are all those spikes doing there? This, I think this is a tier five apartment. I think I've seen the the quest for it before. Man, that looks like it would take forever to clear out. Um, yeah, I wish I could, oh, watch out for landmines. Oh, also, check out that loot down there. Oh, damn, that's the main loot right there. Uh, is there, can, what about this door right here? Can I just go in through that door? Very, very laggy. I'm imagining lots of, oops, lots of zombies down there. Maybe I could just uh, sneak a shot in on that there. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, that hurt me a little bit. One more though. Yep. All right, heal up. Uh, cop in there perhaps? Here, suck on that. Maybe set this up just for safety. How about, ooh, there's just uh, washers and dryers in the way. Just a lumberjack. Lots of zombies in there, though. Okay, yep, let them right out. So far, so good. Yikes. Ow. Jump. Run. Ah. They've just, they're running away. I don't know where they're going. Got one level up here. Oh my god, that guy's tough. Come on, man. Yeah, what we can do is maybe wait until we get the main loot off of this. 
run down here with the eye candy and get another tier five loot. This looks to be clear in here now as well. Holy cow. Yes, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll prep this room for looting later. And I presume we'll probably have to, to do the lock picking. Oh my God. Level 61, not high enough to lock pick this level 125 lock. Are you kidding me? I only have one time to charge and I don't even know what I did with it. I think I left it in the vehicle. <laughs> So, okay, we'll have to maybe save the time to charge for that one and hope that we can pick the one that's in here. All right, well, hopefully if I hit this quest, the lag will kind of go away a little bit. In fact, when the lag gets bad like this, sometimes I just log out of the game and log back in. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, that's much better actually, good. Hit that. Unfortunately, I have stopped carrying first aid kits. I think I ran out once and just forgot to restock, but uh, painkillers do just as well. We have plenty of bandages. Also, <laughs> James, sorry, I forgot to get the uh, first aid kit thingy for you, but that's okay. We'll get that eventually. Right, we probably find plenty of first aid in here, I would imagine. Okay, we'll wake a couple up here. We do have a rad over there, rad bow. I'll try to get a sneak attack on him. There we go, almost killed him too. Oh, I just nicked him with the Galloway blade and he fell to his knees. I think we just need to burn through this place. Uh, we don't really have enough time in the day to kind of like pick this place clean, I don't think. Right, get the acid out of those if we can. There's one. Could potentially get a lot of acid out of this place. Two already. Okay, presumably, probably don't need to go this way, do we? That's the lobby. This is... Oh, there's a key box in there. That might be the exit, so uh, we'll just avoid doing this place incorrectly. Out into the, uh, I don't know, little, like, um, main reception area, I guess. Oh, bunch of zombies in here. Holy cow! Watch my back, would you? There's a zombie on my left. Hazmat guy having a hard time back there. Okay, we've got elevator shaft, sealed off area. Oh, that's going to a ladder probably all the way up. Not a ladder, but stairs. More groups of zombies. So far a very nice place. Um, seems like very wide open spaces. You gotta love that. Plenty of room to move. Galloway blade is friggin' legendary. Jeez, another acid there? Another acid there? Wow. And another one there, my goodness. Well, we're gonna need the acid anyway, since it takes 10 acid just to get the first upgrade done on the friggin' Valkyrie drill, which is why we're never ever gonna do that. I just get so excited about acid. It's friggin', it's just lovely when you get all kinds of it. Okay, got a good opportunity to get her sneak on here a little bit. Although this crossbow, really terrible. Probably just time to put this thing away, honestly. Here, let's try a, a silenced, whoop, oh, hello. Oh, I just woke everyone up, damn it. Hey, pop the lucky goggles on for that and get it in just a second here. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. Keep the lucky goggles on for this. Rocket launcher parts and some bullets. Where are we going from here? We got a light up there, oh. I kinda like this, we're kinda gonna scale the rubble here up to this part. Very cool. Just, uh, oh, this is just, um, you know, multiple floors, nursing station. Yep, I see. Yeah, nice rooms here. I've never been in a hospital before that has this big of rooms, though. <laughs> Unrealistic. That, and there's only like two rooms per ward. This is like a luxury hospital. Hospitals these days, they generally have pretty small rooms, you know, big enough to get the job done. They're like over capacity, that and administration, of course, they want more money to pay all of themselves, pretty much. And so what you get is two people packed into a room that was originally designed for one person. <laughs> it makes for really nice hospital stays, especially if you're there long term. You'll just love it there. All the sounds and smells of sick people and tight quarters. Aha, we're heading up into the elevator shaft now, it seems. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four floors remaining and potentially the roof after that. Okay, don't wanna go PT, we're in the physical therapy department. Ooh, a lot of zombies here. And uh, including ferals, yikes. We can handle that. Aha, cool, yes, there's like exercise equipment up here. Gears, okay, gears are actually pretty valuable because they take steel to make. Okay, same deal here. Oh, here we go, another ladder going up. All right, let's get out here, get some space, jump over their heads. 
Yes, here we go. Ow. I've got to be close to maxing out my knives and blades skill, I would think, at this point. Loot stage is currently 126, quite terrible, actually. Knives and Swords is up to 91, which is awesome. <laughs> Otherwise, everything else is just pathetically low. I mean, this the, uh, Undead Legacy appears to be a, the type of mod that's intended for you to play for, I would say, like, on the order of hundreds of days. You certainly could probably play for hundreds of days and not completely max out your character. So from here, I think we are heading out here again to do some more scaling on this scaffolding here. Oh, jeez. The freaking torch almost pushed me off. X-ray ward. We're in radiology now. Hit that button. We're heading into the... I don't know. Pet scanner, CT scanner, MRI scanner, whichever. They all kind of look the same. Quiet place up here. Oh, not for long, though. Ooh, that... Ooh, that's full of rads in there. Okay. Set up a defensive field of fire here. Preemptively just get some fire on them. Let them burn for just a second. In fact, let's um point this this way and we'll kind of item down the, the the hallway there okay open her up wow that's a lot yes <laughs> melee not not a, not the best option here and i think we're out again oh my god i did <laughs> happen to buy an oh shits drops today uh how long does that last for i hope it's like oh it's five minutes Jeez. okay uh just just, just don't fall that's it oh look at over there help oh you know what <laughs> I wonder if we can jump off the roof here and land over there. That's prob- No, that's not the main loot there, is it? Because the main loot was in the basement. There still might be something up there, though. I might uh, consider jumping over there. Presumably- Oh, the way that we're going right now, the- uh, Ah, jeez. The main loot's- Oh, jeez, look at the landmines. The main loot is probably, I would say, on the rooftop of this place. You guys are the reason that healthcare is so friggin' expensive in this country. We're making some cuts. You're fired. You're fired. We've got here more businessmen. You know what? We're gonna have some fun with these guys. Come right this way. Whoa! I almost stepped on that myself. Come on over. No, 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 no. Not like that. Here we go. Goodbye. Nice. Alright, take a bit of a break here, because we're thirsty and we're hungry. Good thing we brought some fish tacos with us. It's not like they're gonna go bad or anything, just hanging out in our pocket. Also, wearing the wrong pair of shades all day long, what's new? Alright, let's proceed. Back into the elevator shaft. I thought there was nothing left up here, but I guess maybe it didn't quite render in when I was way down below. So, yes, we're up to this floor now. Sweet B, not sure what department we're in here now. Surgery, I see. And done. Got the OR here, lots of control panels and things like that, but I just want to know where we go next. Again, outside. What's new? Should have expected it, I guess. <gasps> okay. Oh, geez. Well, I don't know where to go now. We're just going right back in here? Yes. To the other OR suite. Not sure what the better gun for this would be. Probably this one is quieter, so yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Working good. <laughs> So yeah, I think I will probably put the crossbow away, just kind of simplify things. Are we going back outside? I don't want to go back outside. <laughs> this is scary. Oh, good, we're back in here. Nice, okay. Oh, and we're back out again! Okay, real quickly now, we're right back in here into the bathroom, okay. Not that way, presumably, though. Ooh, here we go. Aha! We got rooftop. And we've got birds, it sounds like. Okay, multiple soldiers here. Just gather them all up. Oh, big cluster of them right here. Up to the helipad. Anybody gonna be on here? Nope, this is a good bottleneck for us. Okay, set that down. Get a fire going. Robot's kinda helping out here. Not too bad. If anything, the cripple are probably helping out on it. Gives like a 30% reduction to speed or something like that. There we go. I think I could make that jump there. I could probably make the balcony or the staircase. Could do like a friggin' Jason Statham parkour move and land over there. Guess we're heading down down the stairs then. Aha, we're getting the uh, indicator now. We're at the end. Ah, uh, perhaps we're going all the way down to like the parking garage basement level or whatever. And that'll be where the loot is. Oh, and in fact, there was the, um... It was one of these places that we we passed by early on. There was like a locked door with a key box behind it. That's probably the exit coming up from where we're going right now. Aha, okay, we got a door. Oh, we got a dog as well. Reload. Here he is. Here he comes. There we go. 
What do we got here? We got spikes, washer. Oh, okay, the industrial area kind of in the guts of the base. Oh, jeez. Look out. Ow. Okay, so we're moving right along here. Maybe, let's maybe uh, get a coffee into us. I think we're getting towards the end here. Set up. Uh, we got 23 rounds left. It's not going to do much, but it might be just the thing we need to survive. And we hit that button there. Okay, we've got the main loot. We've got a radiated white. A couple of dogs. Maybe I'll just see if I can get a pop shot on the dog from way back here. Without waking the rest of them up. Oh, more dogs way in the back. Here we go. Lots of rads here. Okay, into the spikes. Up the stairs. Oh my god, they ran right through the spikes. Um... Just, uh, I don't know, hang out up here, I guess. Ah! Oh, shit! Can they get to me up here? Oh, my God. Pops. Okay, just throw fire everywhere. Yikes. Okay, run over here and throw some more fire at them. Okay, just keep running. Yikes. Whoa! Come into the spikes, please, you cheating motherfuckers. Ow! Bandage! Bandage! More bandages! Oh, man. Ah, uh, jeez. Just, ah, reload. Yikes. Okay, just keep running. I can kind of outrun them. We got a screamer here. Just hanging out here on the freaking washing machine. This is a good spot, I think. Running low on bullets. Get some more fire onto them. I don't know where they are, though. There we go. UMP's about to break. Here, hide on top of the generator. Ow! Ow! Holy shit! That's broken. Cop's gonna blow. There he goes. Okay, we made it. Take that first aid kit. Holy shit, man. That was close. And it's nightfall as well. Grab that up. Screamer outside. I think we probably should be safe here. If only I could close that door, we'd be probably fine. Hidden stash there. Wow. Okay, the question is, can I pick that? 125? What? I don't suspect if I take a jailbreaker, I could then pick it. Maybe I could. I'm not sure. I think that only increases it by 75, though. Oh, no, we can get into it. Nice. There we go. We're in. And otherwise, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and take the eye candy, pop the lucky goggles on, and see what we get here. Oh, Titanium Axe! That is badass! Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this place. It's all I'm willing to grab anyway. Let's see if there's an easy way to get out of here now. Got a button there we can press. Uh, we are really limited on weapon options right now. Everything is pretty much broken. Okay, we could go all the way to the rooftop, or is there another way out of here? Oh, I see. There's a ladder here now. And key box there opens this door. And then, okay, we're gonna run it. So, uh, the screamer's on the other side of the building. There's, in fact, two of them, I believe. Uh, we've still got time left on the looting candy. We're gonna see if we can pick this lock open over here. No, in fact, this one we're just gonna blow up. We don't have time for this. Yes. Open this up. Oh, wow. Okay, good scrap machete. Scrap that. Take the rest. Read that. Take the rest. Damn. Good stuff. Ooh, just a pair of military gloves chilling out in that little pile there. All right, I've pushed my luck enough for one day, so let's get the hell out of here, go home, and sort through all this loot. Have to run down these two screamers here. Come on, what do you guys got? Show me what you got. Spawn in all your zombies. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Oh, my God. We haven't cleared the area. Oh, my God. This is insane. There are still fucking zombies left in here. Are you kidding me? Shit. Um, I can't believe I left. I went to a new friggin' loot, and I success- I didn't fail the friggin' quest. Yet, anyway. Oh, jeez. And these zombies are all on me. Oh, boy. Here. We gotta park somewhere away from the friggin' screamer. And, uh, 
Oh boy, what are we gonna do here? Shit, okay, we gotta work our way inside. Jump over the spikes. Yes, there we go. Okay, one screamer's down. Downstairs. I can't remember how we got down here and where we came from. Ah, yes, we came down the stairs here. So we gotta go up the stairs and find the freaking zombies. Hopefully as we get up, the, the, the complexity of the freaking pathing will get the zombies thrown off a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I've gone way past wherever the zombies are now, though. I have an idea. If we can just get up here. Okay, we're out to the rooftop again. Uh, that's on. They're on this side here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get on the edge here, and we should be able to scale the side of the building. Let's just take the, uh, oh shit's drops. They're right here in the inventory. Put my frames back down, and I think we're probably good to just do this right here. Just drop down bit by bit until we find whatever floor the zombies are on, and then we'll enter and kill them, and then we'll be able to friggin' leave finally. Oh my, I just can't believe that I didn't fail the quest when we left to go to the other POI to get the main loot. It's just like that other time, the exact same thing happened. Okay, uh, 6.8 meters. It looks like down as well. Are they on the freaking first floor after all this? Here, jump over here. We're gonna have to just re-enter the POI and, and head down, maybe. There's just like barely any bullets left. Okay, here's the zombies. Really, the only question is, where are the ones that are important to me? Oh my god, look at the zombies here. I've got like nothing that can kill them either. Here we go! Is there just like one fucking zombie in here? Is it you? Die! Is there another? I- Oh fuck! Oh my god! Yes, there he is! Ah, uh, it's- it's uh, it's that guy! Okay, he's on me. I, I can pick him out in a crowd. I think I just need to kill him and we're good. All right, where did he go? I guess we're just gonna go fucking back and forth until we kill this guy. Is that you? I cleared the area. We're fucking good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Out the door, out the door, into the buggy. Where's the buggy? It's over here. All right, here we go. And we're in and we're out of here. Oh my god, what a stressful night. All right, we're back to the base, safe and sound. Just noticing here, I had a broken arm, so we can take that plaster cast, put the right pair of glasses back on, and the inventory is an absolute mess right now, so I'm gonna go through this for a minute and get everything organized. All right, that should do it right there. A couple of notable items here, though. We've got the titanium axe, which, uh, let's just compare those briefly. So the C-Class versus the B-Class. The C-Class doing um, just a little bit more. We're going from uh, 75 up to 83 on the block damage. So not the most dramatic thing there. Also, I could put one more mod onto it if I had one. Iron Breaker, that'll do. So we've got that. Let's have a look. Wow, that thing looks pretty freaking cool, doesn't it? Look at it shining in the light. Oh, so cool. Right, so we can sell that. And we've got this C-Class backpack, although I'm not sure where we left off when we were upgrading the one that we have. Looks like we had a C-Class, so we can go ahead and just put that into the cell chest and we'll put it onto some other piece of armor that we find in the future. And the advanced buffled connector is not too bad. Just toss those onto a little piece of armor there. And I think we're good. And oh my god, look at everything on the inventory is broken. The sword's broken, the Golconda's almost broken, the UMP is almost broken, the impact driver's almost broken, shovel not looking too great, and all of my armor needs to be repaired as well. I did get some barbed wire here, ammo casings and stuff like that, so I wanted to craft barbed wire fences, 24 of those. We're gonna start putting those in the pit to help slow the zombies down as they try to process their way out of it. And other than that, I think I'm just gonna work on maintaining my armor tonight, and uh, in the morning, we will We'll start probably doing some construction projects because tomorrow will be the day before the horde and I want to get things nice and strong over here and I also want to complete the other side of the building where we did all the sort of decoration there on the side but anyway my friends and fellow survivors I think we can call it a night
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gun Nerds and Steel. And so far this morning, just been doing a bit of a mining montage over there in the clay pit and also clearing out some of the trees that were local. And um, I don't know if that's going to help the frame rate or just kind of clean up the area, but I'd like to kind of get a lot of this other junk kind of cleaned up eventually. I am rolling on the forges right now, and ooh, looks like there's a, a fair amount of zombies hanging out down here. I wonder if this was a horde. You know, one time I drove by the this pit right here, this iron mine, and there was a bear and a dog in it. <laughs> I just left them there, and luckily they, uh, they despawned after a while, it would seem. But all right, let's take care of these guys. Well, that's just about it, I would say. Yeah, we probably do need to get more and more iron. I do want to eventually get the the oil refinery and um, what's the other thing, like the resource drill crafted around here somewhere. Just gotta kind of think of like a safe place to put those things. Maybe like turn this into a, like a bit of a, like a mining shed, do like a little renovation here or something like that. That is a project for a different time though, because for now, let's just get this off of the elevator before it becomes an issue. But for now, yeah, I want to focus on clay mining and getting some clay shapes because I want to get um, basically construction done around here today. Just park that over there. So yeah, drop me off here and should be rolling on clay over here. Yeah, we got some clay bricks. Also, we need to get it rolling again because we just got a whole bunch more clay. So yeah, just one forge at a time is fine with me. We'll grab up the rest of this crap that we've made. Let's get the tool belt set up for the day. Gonna be rolling with grenades, I think, from now on instead of molotovs. We'll use the molotovs during horde night, but... Oh, got an airdrop. But for the most part, I don't think it's doing enough damage to, like, ferals or rads, for that matter. And that is definitely gonna be in the temperate biome, I would say. Yes, right in the parking lot of that building there. Shouldn't be a problem to go grab that in a little bit. Bigger fish to fry, though, today. Speaking of fried fish, fish tacos, baby. Who's beating on stuff over there? You better not be beating on the well. Oh, wow, that was a pretty far drop. What are you doing over here? Beating on the wall? Tell me you weren't beating on this, please. Oh, yeah, this is fine. It's kind of looking pretty rough, too. Maybe I should get some iron plates and top that off. It's like we know more than go mining for iron and then turn it all into plates and stuff and then we do one activity such as you know repairing oh man we're like low on concrete mix too yeah like repairing things to go sell we do one round of that and all of a sudden we're out of iron plates again and steel and everything else and this is gonna require a freaking fortune 23 plates right so yeah i can see concrete mix is gonna be an issue we need to make sure that we have some of that we have some of that right there what do we short on everything yeah okay stand over here we are, oh, short on cement. Oh, damn it. Uh, you know, that means that we just, at some point, you know, probably not for this horde here coming, but um, we need to go do the cement place over there and get all of that cement. Do I really not have any cement, though? Because I swear to God, we just cleaned out the Araxco and there was a whole ton of it there. But yeah, I did. I made that uh, 325 and I think I had like a thousand before that. So holy cow, man, that's just, uh, that, that, <laughs> that went away really fast. Could always focus on making more, but my goodness, it takes like clay and we need the clay for bricks and the stone powder. We're kind of running low on that and it uses a lot of stone powder. So, geez, okay. We'll hold off on that. We'll use what we have and then we'll head over to the cement factory in a bit. That is if we have enough time for it in the day. I think we're kind of cutting things close already. Just want to finish getting like some of this basic stuff repaired and, and finally upgraded. And yeah, that's that's probably fine. Yeah, we'll get this all set up here. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm down here, I am reminded that we made some barbed wire to put down here. So I'm gonna hop upstairs and grab that in just a second once I stop finding <laughs> blocks that need to be repaired. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. And there was another suggestion that I got. And that was to potentially knock these out here and put the spikes trap facing vertically in there. And that's an excellent idea. So let's go see if we can uh, craft those. Okay, those were crafted here in the carpenter's table. We'll grab them. I also want to grab the Valkyrie drill, and I think that needs to be repaired as well. Nope, not quite yet. And uh, do we have enough fuel for it in the tank? We have none. Grab some fuel, refuel. Might as well just repair it, I guess. I think it takes uh, scrap titanium, which we do have quite a bit of right now. 14, yeah, plenty enough anyway. So that'll be good to knock out the blocks. Yes, and the spikes traps. Oh, right, and we're making AP 9mm ammo to go in the pistol. At uh, seems like the best thing to put into it now that I know how to make it. Oh, spikes traps requiring iron darts. And I 
Can get three of them. We'll need more oil, it looks like. Yeah, and that's it. Darts and oil. Ooh, suddenly out of oil shale. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, cancel the fuel there until we absolutely need it. Get me a hundred oil. And then whatever's left over, make into gas. Yikes. Yeah, we, we're going to need that oil refinery, like, sooner than later. Oil extractor. We have enough to do it, uh, requiring an auger, which uh, we do have one of those, but it's my good one for clay mining. And a another generator. And using a ton of iron plates. Well, geez. Okay, one thing at a time. Maybe we'll focus on that later. We need the spikes traps right now. Okay, I've got the oil and the spikes. Or the darts, I should say. And we can craft those then into three powered spikes traps. All right, so here we go. We head down here, and I think I can put barbed wire just like this, I suppose. Just, you know, any orientation, I guess, is okay. And by doing this, I think these are going to get broken very, very quickly, so it might not be worth the resources to continue doing this in the future. And, oh, I'm... I'm oh, here we go. Just come up here. Uh, yes, just like that. And I'm, I'm hoping that that will kind of like stick the zombies down here a little bit longer so that we can um, at least early on in the horde we can get a little bit more bang for our buck with the molotovs and explosives although i don't know what the hit points are on these but probably pretty low but yeah that's okay I just give it a try and then up here so i think now we can uh, take these off break that break this one and then we'll break the the portions that are on the tops of the ladder so this one right here We'll knock this out. We're going to replace that with a spikes trap. Oh, I also have to remember to get the punch turret back down here. And we've got a zombie coming over here. Just take you out with the new AP ammo. Good. The other idea that was given to me by a comment, there was a suggestion that I put one in some sort of configuration so that it, it pokes the zombies that are over here. And I think in order to do that, we have to knock out... That piece there, gonna have a hard time here. Need to uh, set up a little bit of a box to jump on. There we go. Yes, this one right here, knock this out. And then basically I'm gonna put a um, spikes trap in front of this. Oh man, although, is that gonna interfere with the zombies kind of jumping down, do you think? Uh, very well, it could. Although, perhaps I put it, oh no, 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 no. That's gonna make the, oh no, the... okay. <laughs> Well, let's just do this. I was thinking that the uh, the hatch might fall down when I do this, but I don't think it will. Nope, we're all set. All right, so here we go. Spikes trap right there, I would say, would be good, right? We'll put it there anyway, and we'll see how it works. And that way, when the zombies stack up too high, some of them will get jabbed in the head, maybe, I guess? I was thinking maybe, like, put it in front of where this is, but then I think there's a risk that zombies would just jump on top of it, and then we don't want that. Uh, otherwise, I can't think of a good system of, like, where to set it up, at least on this particular base design. Uh, I also need to kind of double up on these blocks here. We'll put those uh, on the outside as well. Let me go grab some shapes there. Yep, here we go. Copy shape and just slide them in just like this. We'll copy shape here. Also, advanced rotation. One there. One there. Upgrade these. And I think it's probably time that we get some steel upgrades, at least like these four blocks that are right here and get that topped off. And other than that, I mean, I think this is the best we can do. So that should be costing me only five, I would say, because, you know, it's five resources to upgrade every other block. So I think it'll be five steel per upgrade here, but let's just check it. Oh, yeah. See how that takes a lot of damage. We need to keep these nice and strong. Just like that, and uh, potentially this as well. I mean, we're not going to see demos yet, but uh, they're coming. They're coming soon. Oh, and that's it. So, so, yeah, speaking of demo, let's just take a quick peek at the game stage. Game stage is 138. Oh, goodness. So, probably not this horde, but probably the next horde. <laughs> we're going to start getting demolition zombies. Yikes. Temcam here. He got killed this morning by accident. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Where is Temkim? I mean, he's down there somewhere. Oh, no, he's not. Temkim, he's he's right there. Well, we burned pretty much like half the day. Is there anything else that we need to do down here? Oh, yes. <laughs> Duh, gotta put these in. Yeah, so I still think we're gonna have issues with zombies breaking these, or me breaking them for that matter. But um, anyway, just put that in like this. Yeah, because the issue is gonna be 
Well, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, these blocks had taken a lot of damage. Like, I repaired them up quite a bit. Like, look at that one. That's taken quite a bit of damage there. So, yeah, I think these are going to eventually break. I do wish that they were stronger or that there was a better way to protect them. But, um, kind of is what it is, I guess. I'll, I'll maybe, like, be able to shield them on the back end here a little bit. Oh, and I can finally rip these off. And just put, put something in here that's a little bit nicer looking. And also, I was maybe thinking that if I put some sort of a block here... Because there's got if, if you put something there that, like give zombies something to step on or dogs for that matter to get just a little bit higher up toward you maybe they won't then want to stand on a block like that right because the elevation is higher if they stand on the top of this little gable block i'm gonna give that a try and see if that works and i think for now we'll just put okay just put a regular block there just get these rounded blocks on the back to kind of protect it We'll upgrade that, we'll leave those as brick for now, and we'll grab the punch turret. I don't know, just put something on there like that. I'm making things worse, I know, but <laughs> whatever it'll do for now. Just need to be able to set this down right about there to help punch the zombies when they hopefully come up and either stand here or they're getting stuck on the spikes here. I don't, I don't know if they um, get slowed down at all by the spike traps, but... Uh, oh, by the way, I gotta hook those up. Just grab lines directly off the generator, probably the best way to do this. Okay, that's all set up. Okay, so the lights are set up. The spotlight here is connecting down to this relay. Relay is going over to the fences. Blade trap is hooked up. Uh, we have lights on the rooftop. I have not wired those up yet because having thought about it, that, that you know, that's too far away. The, the lights will not cast all the way down here. And if they do, it'll be a very, very dim light so you know probably not even worth the electricity consumption way up here but then again i don't really know where else to put them let's uh just pick them up for now and we'll see if we can find something to set up down on the ground level all right so down here ideally we would have something set up like i don't know like over here maybe then we would set a spotlight on top of it like that to kind of shine up on the base and of course zombies are gonna love jumping on top of that so we're gonna kind of guard it a little bit with a little bit of a platform and gonna put a cage around it and there just needs to be something to kind of connect the hatch to or, or whatever we're gonna use on the top so maybe something a little bit skinnier than that let's try this pillar here yeah just like that could do a hatch or you could actually just connect a um a railing piece to that so then we can like wire through it let's try that brick railing here advanced rotation how about something like that and then should be able to is it gonna look bad if i just grab it off of this line here oh no i can't reach through gotta get a little creative here there we go turn on and let's see how that looks now Ooh, much brighter. Let's just try now to get these oriented in a way that lights up the base a little bit more. So we could just aim that up a little bit. Same thing with this one. Difficult to kind of see what I'm doing here, but uh, that that's fine. Hopefully those are decently well protected in there. And then once we get some more shapes, we'll just kind of like fill this in a little bit more, you know, like so, and we'll kind of make this one big pad. All right, my first try on the titanium axe, just to knock some of this stuff out here, because it's looking bad. All set. Close that up. We'll make sure this is all closed up over here. And we should be pretty much ready to go for the horde tonight. And by tonight, I mean tomorrow night. I'm wondering, would it be a cool idea if I did this and then I put hatches on this and then hatches on the floor here? So a total of six hatches that open up so that it could create another barrier here. So in case this ever failed uh, or the zombies were breaking through, I could just like open 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 and then i'd have six hatches kind of between me and the zombies maybe that's uh, something to consider for the future not necessary probably for tonight though anyway so we don't have much else to do tonight so let's try and get the turret situation figured out speaking of turret situation how is the shotgun ammo situation wow it's actually really good okay that's um it burns quickly though during a horde night so okay let's get uh, the turret just have the one, and it really needs to be primarily for birds. Okay, Mr. James, you gotta not do that, man. <laughs> Driving me crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, that's a horde. Okay, just quiet. Very, very quiet. Hopefully, they will run right straight through. They're taking a turn out into the ocean. 
<laughs> Great. Looks like they're 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 angling so that they're going straight out that way. I think they are literally all just going to go drown in the ocean. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Back to work. Okay, so if I put a turret here, it will definitely shoot through the security gates and it'll hit the zombies that are coming up the ladder, which um it's not not the worst thing. It's just I fear that it would burn through a lot of ammo that way. Uh, another thing we definitely do need to do is kind of seal the top in here. I have decided against uh, knocking this out for the uh, six floor elevator. We're just going to continue with this for now. I think this is fine. Uh, instead of doing an underground parking garage like I had considered, I'm just going to do the parking pier instead. Okay, so birds do occasionally fly down in here, but it's more so when I kind of run back. For the most part, the birds, they sometimes they fly... Oh, they fly in through the sides, don't they? So really, we need to find a block that kind of seals in the edge there. Oh, we got a one zombie down there. Take her out real quick, nice and quiet. Okay, so that's the one thing we have to do is seal in the sides, and then the number two thing we have to do is just set this up and set it up in such a way that it's not going to burn through 100% of its ammo per night. It's really just meant to focus on the birds. So potentially right there, I would say. Now it might get a couple of shots off here and there. We'll just give that a try and see how it goes. I will commit a thousand rounds to it for the night. I don't think, I hope it, it's not gonna go through that many because we'll have a hard time replacing it if it does. And yes, toss these in here. Uh, we gotta make sure that, um, no, do not target strangers because Temcam will just get killed. Uh, do, don't target self and don't target allies. Just target zombies. Turn on and uh, should be good there. We should be protected from birds from now on. And it probably, I'm, I'm foreseeing a situation where it does shoot zombies. Because you, you can just barely see it. And I'm okay with it kind of softening up a couple zombies here and there. I just don't want it to be going full bore all night long. Ah, uh, yes. And we don't want the birds to get in here anymore. Now, probably they will get in here through the sides, but okay, let me play around with some shapes to kind of seal this in a little bit, just make it so that birds can't fly through. Okay, we have the Z trussing, which I think would work, and also I like the angles of it, kind of. Just gonna upgrade to wood because if I end up not liking this or it doesn't work very well, I just wanna be able to replace it easily. Plus, when it's painted, it doesn't matter what it's made out of. All right, let's turn on the whole thing, and we're up to 149 watts out of a possible 250 just with the one car engine that we have there. All right, I'm, uh, I'm content to call that good right there. All right, check the artisan table here. We've got 238 shapes here, 36, I'm sorry, so we'll put those down. And I'm making some um, wooden shapes here so that we can uh, get a nice little step ladder going. All right, and we can finally get the exterior of the base done over here. Get this all dressed up. All right, well, that's it. That is all the shapes I had, and luckily almost enough to get the entire base finished once and for all. I'm imagining this being a big helipad up here eventually, or gyrocopter pad, whichever we get first. You know, the helicopter costing like on the order of 220,000, I think was the last I saw, but if we can get the uh, all the power-ups and buffs, then maybe we can force it down to like 150-ish. So where are we at right now in terms of money? I think like less than 50K, I think. Uh, 44, it's all in the inventory. So it is still pretty early, 8.51. I kind of was expecting these things to take a little bit longer into the day, but uh, maybe we can squeeze a little bit more action into this episode and head over to, well, let's check the map. We could do the cement place, but I kind of want to like dedicate some time to that. We do have two drops, drop there, 
drop there and treasure map there and we have to turn the quest in and I think that'll that'll take us into the mid afternoon I think so let's head out before we go though I am imagining a situation where we put a catwalk from that uh, spot right there over to this spot right here and then maybe run ladders up to the top so that we can kind of crawl up the ladder oh by the way someone had commented saying that this looks like a java sand crawler from star wars if you've ever seen that i'll put a picture up here if you in case you haven't but it definitely does and it's not exactly what i was going for like i it, it never occurred to me i'm not much of a star wars fan but anyway um really cool i think we should call this the sand crawler base because <laughs> it's just such a fitting name for it yeah, so Camp Fubar, the sand crawler base. We'll grab the buggy here and we'll head over to the airdrop. I'll meet you there. Here we are. That one was easy. Better than landing in the middle of the friggin' ocean. Okay, lucky goggles on. Let's see what we get here. Chrysanthemum seed recipe. Don't need that. 50 iron plates. I won't say no to it. Check the vending machines on the way through. Never know. Might get some eye candy. Hey, look at that. Nice. Also, you know, I'll take the skull crushers. I'm liking having those on me from now on so that if, you know, a horde pops up, we can just cut through them that little bit easier. Right, well, we'll see what Captain Ellen has for us for a reward. Oh my god. I just got the schematic for this fucking thing, and now you're offering it to me. Well, good thing I didn't already craft it, and it is upgraded one level, so yes, definitely take that. I'll be using that from now on, actually, just for a little while, just for a little bit of a change of pace. And we'll look at the other jobs here. Okay, we've got the snake house again, got apartments. That might be the okay. apartment that, uh, nope, that's not the apartment that we did in the last episode. Understood. Let's continue searching here. Ooh, quiet pines. We've got the strip club again and this lost arms. Okay. Yes, that's the one that we did. So I think probably we can skip over that okay. one. And um, I, I want to check out quiet pines. I want to see what's changed over there. Which quiet pines is this though? This is one to the northeast, which is less okay. than ideal, I think, because the quiet pines I want to do is the one that's in the wasteland right there. So we get that better bonus. But she said northeast, that's up here. Yeah, that's that one right there. That's quiet pines and that is in the temperate biome. So yeah, F that, I'm not doing it. I believe in you. You believe in me? Well, I'm not sure if I believe in myself because I know what's going on here before. I've landed a gyrocopter on the roof there once and uh, it was a real fun time. It's not a very difficult place to clear out, I don't think though. So I'll go ahead awesome. and take it and we'll take a look maybe in the next episode. I got what I was looking for anyway with the titanium katana. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay, let's compare stats then. Inferno Blade doing a lot more damage and more power attack damage, but it's not as dramatic as what we've seen in the past. The attack speed is actually quite a bit more, 1.1 versus 0.9 per second, and using more stamina for the Titanium Katana. I, I'm going to give it a fair try, though, and we're going to try to upgrade this all the way to S-Class. That way we can have our option of uh, two different weapons. Okay, so from here... We are just gonna go ahead to that drop. We'll check and see what's in this. Fucking bullshit. Damn it. Go ahead and eat it. Melee mods bundle. That is containing crappy bunker buster, structural brace, barbed wire mod schematic. Okay. Absolute trash. And from here, we're heading over to the treasure map. Jennifer's treasure. All right, here we are. Let's carve this stuff up. Aha, there it is. Can I unlock it with my natural skills? I can, nice. Oh, can I do it with the bobby pins? No, you need to have a higher level in order to do it with bobby pins, which is fine. Got it, it didn't take long at all either. You think eye candy for this? I mean, we got four of them. Might as well, I guess, right? Good iron breaker, some gems and stuff, and otherwise, really, that that's a that's a poor one. Not gonna lie, that sucked. Wow, this is uh, turning out to be very unfruitful. What is that over there anyway? I'm gonna run up here real quick and see what this is. Maybe there's some loot up here that we can gank real quick while we got the eye candy. Oh my, this is like an airport. Ooh, big fence that just spawned in in front of me. Okay, <laughs> do I have anything that increases my stamina regen? Yes, uh, titanium katana, maybe not the best area to be using that in. Mmm, skull crusher, I'm thinking just guns and let's just run through here and see if there's anything fun and interesting and um, profitable for us to get. Ah, yes, shoot him. Oh, lots of cops. Yeah, I kind of figured this is what was gonna happen here. Yikes, can I maybe make it up there? Ooh, I can make it up here. Okay, so we can get some safety, get some stamina back up here. 
One of these buildings has got to have some loot in it. Should have brought some dynamite. That would have helped. And now how do I just get into these things anyway? Could do that. That's probably a waste of time though. All right. Uh, do these doors open? Are these like regular doors? There we go. Yes. Okay. Open. Just open all the doors. Look out for that cop. Thanks. Probably gonna wake up a bear doing this. Cause that, that is locked going inside there. Oh, geez. Whoa, freaking cop spit coming from everywhere. Okay, I don't see any loot. Let's just make the lap around again and see if we missed it. Junk in there. Oh my God, so many zombies. Oh, we got the grenades, don't we? No loot in here either. Damn it, where's the loot here? This place sucks. It's gotta be in the control tower, I would think. Yeah, I got nothing here. I am definitely out of stamina. Yikes. Here we go, up here and hide. Get me some grenades. Watch the cop spit. Yikes. Oh, guys, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. We're gonna kill all of these zombies in one whack. Okay, grenade there. Grenade there. Watch that cop. And we'll just try and cluster them up right on top of this. Oh, ow. Oh, yep, thanks, Mr. James. Where are you all, anyway? Here we go. And one for the money. Nice! Wow, it's raining zombies. Alright, titanium katana time. Wow, that was fun. Yeah, I can't say that I'm noticing much of a difference between this katana and the Inferno Blade, so probably worth it to just keep rolling with this for a little while at least. Check the little bits of loot, just cardboard boxes, of course it is. Yep, junk. All right, last thing we'll have to do is check the control tower. Maybe there's some loot in there. Little ammo pile there. Aha, here's the loot, found it. Unfortunately, not enough time on the looting candy. We missed out a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. What do we get here? SMG parts, won't say no to that. We need those to upgrade the UMP eventually. We need like 24 parts. Bar brawling book, just read that. And otherwise, oh, hey, a pretty decent stun baton. Okay, so we'll save that and we'll start specking into that. Not specking, but like, you know, collecting the books and stuff. Very good, anything else hiding up here for me? Hey. SMG there. Yeah, I can't pick that and I, I'm not gonna bother with trying to beat it open. Just would take too long and I don't want to use a jailbreaker for it either. So, ooh, spotlight. Yoink. There might be something else on the rooftop here. How do I get up there anyway? Is there a ladder or staircase? I see nothing, so I'm gonna make my own. Oh boy. Yikes. Um, haha, <laughs> hello. Don't mind me just taking all the spotlights. Got to illuminate my base, especially when it's, once it's painted. That's probably the next big project is to get that thing painted. Yep, overall nothing special here. Let's go home. All right, made it home. Just getting some of the vehicles moved over here onto the parking pier. And look, one of the zombies that watered into the ocean died and left me a loot bag, which is kind of cool, but also kind of a pain in the ass because I'm pretty much done with water for like the rest of my life. I did mine up some surface nodes on the way over here, so I'm now encumbered with uh, how many little pieces of iron here? 456. All right, let me get everything organized. I'll get the kit all set up for the horde and then we will fight. Are you fucking kidding me? Is there a horde here? Son of a bitch, get ready. Oh, it always happens right before the regular friggin' horde. All right, turn the shit on. Close that. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, come over here, please. Yep, close that up. I guess we can test out some of the spike traps. Oh, no, 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 no. They're gonna mess up all my barbed wire. That was all nice and fresh. Ooh, shotgun turret went off. In the interest of time, we're just going to shoot them all. Ah, spikes are working. Punch trap is working. Barbed wire is working. Everything's working. A couple extra loot bags, too. I'm just gonna have, whoops. Uh-oh, hello. Yep, I think I'm just gonna leave the loot bags down there and continue preparing for the horde. I, that should probably be- Oh, Screamer! Uh-oh! 
Let her have it. Okay, this will be our little experiment over there. How long is that loot bag going to last there before it despawns? Because I have heard that in Undead Legacy, uh, there have been some comments that said that they didn't think that um, loot bags would despawn. So that will be how we determine that. All right, I have everything that I think I'll need. We've got mollies, grenades, the M60 tonight, the new Enforcer shotgun, Desert Mantis, and the UMP. And I've got this, but I'm gonna reserve this for hopefully not using it because it, it's gonna be burning through my really good AP 9mm ammo that I wanna use elsewhere. Right, I think we're as ready as we're gonna be, so let's get into position. Mr. James, if you could accompany me into the fighting room, that would be nice. There we go, let's seal him in here. Turn on the generator and seal that up. Take another peek down here, just make sure everything is buttoned up and ready to go for tonight. It does appear that way. We're gonna leave the loot bag there. We'll grab that at the end. Close that up, close that up, and it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Hey, look at this, we finally got some dogs for the horde. And uh, they're getting punched appropriately down into the pit. Well, kinda, not really. So we will look for them to eventually make their way back out. Ooh, it's getting crowded here already. Let's try a grenade down there for them. Uh, fell into the pit. Okay, not too bad. Got like uh, maybe four or five kills there. The question is, how is the new fighting position gonna handle tonight? Definitely a little bit more dangerous for me. It puts me closer to the zombies and I'm liable to not be paying attention much and <laughs> scoot up too close to the front. All right, having a look down here. Yes, they're clustering down there pretty nicely. Dog trap, definitely. I don't know if it's working, but dogs are getting punched all over the place, so I like it. Got cops blowing up or about to blow up at least. Let's give them a hand. All right, clustering up here real bad. Good. Let's um try to keep the blade trap topped off tonight. So every every once in a while, I'm just gonna walk over there and give it a little quick repair. No, 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 none of that. We do have a bird. Hopefully the turret saw it and killed it. I don't hear it anymore. Oh wow, yes, really very busy down there. Here, let's help him out. Thin him out a little bit, grenade. Oh my God, cops blowing up all over the place. I would imagine they probably taken out all of the barbed wire by now. Oh, jeez, a bird got in here. Yep, oh, come on, man, die. Yeah, they're still able to come in through the side, which I guess is okay, I can, I can defend that once in a while. Here, close these doors. Starting to get a little bit busy up here in the front. Play trap is still chopping, I can hear it. I'm trying to pay attention to that. Gun's not loaded. Let's work on that for a second. Okay, yes. Get out of here, fucking spider. All right, let's get a grenade down there in the pit. Oh, jeez, they're just bouncing off zombies here. Get a couple of them down there. Let's see how that turns out. Nice. See, this is nice. I'm able to get like really good bursts, or, like headshots now, because I have more visibility. I can just take him out right on the way up. Okay, M60 maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is the way right here.
Yep, they just come right up. They seem to have a preference for one side, but just lay into them with the headshots. Got plenty of bullets here. The very few that make it to the top can get shot once or twice by the shotgun and then dive on down and and have like a 1% chance to stick the landing. Doesn't give us a whole lot of opportunity here. Oh, geez, thanks. Thanks, Mr. James. Oh, geez, cops everywhere here. Might just take a break here. We got to heal up or else uh, this James is going to run out of bandages and stuff for us. No, sir, Mr. Cop. Nope, none of that. All right. Got to work on the fire system here. Oh, boy. <laughs> so many zombies here. And then while we're right here, quickly just repair that blade trap. There we go. It's spinning nicely now. Sounding better anyway. And can I close that door just for added protection? Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies up here now. I hear a bird. I see birds spitting at me. I do believe that the shotgun turret upstairs is working. I can't guarantee it. I hear it shooting. I'm not sure if it's shooting at birds or shooting at zombies, though. Either way, probably win-win. Yeah, the other thing is that I have such more reach. I can reach the zombies with the katana way out there at the front. Wow, this is actually working really well. Okay, Arlene, she's a little bit too small for me, but yeah, I can still get her. Ooh, this system's working good. I'm liking this. Maybe I should get a Skull Crusher into me. Let's do that. Skull Crusher in. I do that, and then immediately there's no more zombies up here. All right. Well, we'll work on them with the fire then. Get a couple of grenades. See how they like that. The spikes traps are still up. That is nice to see. I was a little bit worried that they might not last the night, that the zombies might feed on them or otherwise grenades and stuff going off would interfere with their ability to function long term. Oh my God, I've neglected the fighting position up here. Get me a machine gun. Wait a minute, we kind of want them to stack up here so we can get good bang for our buck on the skull crusher. Here, let them drop down for a second. Here we go. Okay, more fire. I'm using all my Molotovs tonight. Starting to see quite a few rads here. I don't know what to think of that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I want the extra XP, but I don't want all, too many of them that we can't do enough DPS to them. I think it'll be fine, though. Oh, man, the extra visibility here is just great. This is the best modification that I've made to this base in a long time. Yeah, we've got to get the Katana upgraded. I really am liking the extra reach, and... I mean, it takes a while to kill rads when you're hitting them in the knee, but overall, pretty good. Okay, add ammo for that. Let's get the fire on them again. Seems like if you hit the base of the tower, it seems to, like, light just about everybody on fire. We'll get another one up here for the top. Ooh, ooh, I'm on fire. Yikes. It's raining, though, luckily. I can just put myself out by standing in the rain. I'm on fire again. All right, I'm starting to hear the blade trap squeaking a little bit, so we'll oil her up with a little bit more steel. Spikes traps still going strong. Punch turret also still going strong, at least when he's paying attention. Electric fences, on the other hand, I haven't heard an electric fence go off in quite a while. They might have done something. Ah! Ah! No! Well, crap. While I'm down here, let's check and see why we think the electric fences are not working. I couldn't tell you. I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Back up the ladder. Real quick, though. Let's do something a little bit dramatic and fun and entertaining by gathering them all up there. And then up, up, up the ladder we go. Ah. And drop one grenade down for him. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Yeah, get out of here. Ah! Okay. Yes, that was fun, but we're heading back down into the base. Yeah, the hordes are starting to get really big. You can really feel it in the frame right now. Like, there's a lot of zombies alive right now. I'd, I'd be guessing somewhere on the order of, like, 40 to 50, maximum being 64. But we don't get that until, like, much later game stages. The sun is starting to creep up over the horizon there. It is almost morning. Oh crap, bird snuck in here and killing me. Where did he go? He's dead. I did get a concussion, so let's just cure that quickly with a painkiller. All right, we're out of 762. We're also out of 10 mil. We're down to shotgun. More fucking birds, yikes. Yeah, maybe we need to close this in a little bit more. Probably not a bad idea. Let's get a recog to close things out with. 
Getting a lot of rads here, but they're all mo. Just lots of mo rads. We're getting mo rads than ever before, you could say. Damn, birds. And it's morning. We made it. Now we just get to fight the Screamers, right? <laughs> They'll be here any minute, I'm sure. All right, we'll pick them off one by one if they come. Really excited to see what we get for loot this time because our loot stage should be really, really high. Like, higher than ever before, of course. I mean, it's how things work, linear progression. But, yeah, I'm hoping for some really good titanium gear, up armor upgrades. Of course, it'd be nice to get some ammo to replace all the, the ammo that we used. I used 500 7.62 rounds tonight. If I could just make sure that the rads are dead, I'd be comfortable heading down and doing this on foot. Yeah, I hear the screamer. She's here already. Let's load in the regular 10 mil just in case. And I think, yeah, probably time to head to ground level. Oh no, she's screaming. Crap, she snuck up on me. We ain't done yet. All right, patch that up. And then we probably just turn everything off. I think we're good. I don't hear any more screamers. Let's just get down here. Start taking these guys out one by one. Oh, look at that guy. He's all stuck over there. Just clean him out. Yep. Thank you, Mr. James. Appreciate that, man. Not done yet. Almost there. And come on. Done. Good. Anyone get stuck down in here? I don't hear anyone. We've got these two electric fences. They are... I Did I never connect them? Or did they knock out the spotlight? No, the spotlight is good. Oh, what? Something happened there. So this is good. This is connected over here. But, um... Oh, <laughs> I turned the generator off. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why those... I didn't see them working all night, though. But uh, we'll investigate that a little bit later. So... Lucky goggles on, get the inventory a little bit organized, eye candy in, and we'll see what we get. All right. Well, I think that was it. <laughs> Loot bag's still out there in the ocean, so confirmed that it, it stays there quite a while. It's been, uh, I don't know, more than 24 hours at this point. In terms of damage, yeah, again, it's just the, the electric fences all intact on this side. However, three have been knocked out on that side. I don't know if there's much we can do about that, though. Spikes traps made it, although in very poor condition. Can I just upgrade these? Ooh, that just requires a ton of iron plates. In fact, I'm out now. What's the condition on you? Not too bad. Probably you could survive another night, but I'm just going to leave. I'll take you with me because I'll get you repaired up for the next horde night. In terms of loot, well, we got this A-class icebreaker. Not too exciting there. Attack assault rifle. Already have one of those. Some steel chest armor, which might be worth considering wearing. Another A-class, my third that I found here on horde night. Uh, A-class uh, machine gun. We can sell that for a lot of dukes, though, especially if we mod it up. And a couple of things we can scrap, and perhaps a couple of things we can read as well. There was a handgun book right there. We'll read that. Scrap. Don't need the iron legs. And I suppose that'll do. So, I'm just gonna head back inside. I'll put everything away. Look at this. The whole tower is intact for the first time. And then I will meet you all over at the cement factory first thing in the morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And it is now a fresh week before the next horde. We have a full six days to get stuff done, and we're here this morning at Anderson Cement, which, um, <laughs> it seemed like it had more cement the first time I came across this, but, um, 
You know, it's like when you're um, when you're all grown up and you go back to the house you grew up in and you realize how friggin' small it was. Well, we're all grown up in this game now, and this is just not as much cement as I would have liked. We are quite strong now, so this shouldn't be too much of an ordeal, I would think. Maybe there's some birds here, but um, I did hear a zombie wake up. There is a dog thing over there, so where is the zombie? Oh, there you are. The other thing we have to do today is go mining for titanium. And I was having a look at the map this morning and there are a couple good titanium nodes around. So we'll have to go check those out. Try to get some more titanium so that we can get this katana upgraded a little bit more. Also need to start getting the Golconda upgraded a little bit more. And that's also going to require titanium. So we'll see how much progress we can make on that today. Oh crap, what is this? Oh, it's a freaking horde right on the doorstep. Great. Nope, nope, nope. Not on the cement, please. You motherfuckers. Here, run, get some space, and suck down a skull crusher. Oh, they're everywhere. They're all around us. Wow, that was quite a fight there. Oh, we got regular POI zombies now. Also, it, it sounds like there's a bird up in there somewhere. See if I can get eyes on him. Maybe I can jump on top of this. There we go. Here, just let me in here. What's going on anyway? Ah, there we go. Take care of these last few zombies. Ow, you sons of bitches. Right, we got that loot bag there, but might as well wait until we get to the end. Yeah, you know what? We're in the freaking temperate biome. We don't need a looting candy for all this. We'll just take what we can get. I feel like there's um not a high percentage of like ferals in the hordes now, in the wandering hordes. I don't know what um, influenced that to change so much, but they seem a little soft and easy. I might have to bump up the numbers on that. That's a great thing about Undead Legacy is you have full control over the size and frequency of wandering hordes. Maybe I'll crank it up to like, uh, you know, 50 zombies or something like that and see how that feels. Probably a good place for electrical parts. I'm seeing a lot of these, um, like, control panel things, but we're not really interested in that right now. Mostly just interested in getting to the main loot, if there is one, and then hopefully uh, getting all that cement and getting out of here this morning. Oh, jeez, there's a feral right there. Yeah, not a very busy place here. Uh, I'm hoping that there is a main loot, then we can just get that and get out of here. What's over here? Okay, it just wraps around. It's all interconnected. It's pretty cool. I'm imagining we're probably getting toward the end, though. Oh, got another feral here. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, another one. Yikes. I heard that whoosh behind my head. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. He's right there. Okay, anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. I guess we're going up maybe two or three zombies per level, it seems like. Yeah, here we go. Any ferals here? Oh, that's BS right there. Adhesive, yeah, I picked up that adhesive out of the trash there. That's something we're gonna need a lot of. Oh, geez, item need repairs, great. Yeah, there's like a lot of zombies up here. This actually doesn't have very bad knockdown, does it? It's, it feels really good. All right, check the loot up. Well, might as well put the looting goggles on. It looked like a tier two, was it tier two? Yes. Okay, police baton for selling, 154 dukes. And we got a Fireman's Almanac here. Fireman Helmets. I guess I'll just take that. Whatever. And some more 9 mil. And I think that's it. Let's hit the ground level and get to... Oh, thank you, Mr. James. Appreciate that. Why don't we just top off with some fish tacos, get the right pair of glasses back on, and get the shovel out and get to work here. Aha, just got a level up in four skill points. <laughs> you know, I have like a notebook of things that I try to remind myself to do during every episode. And every time on that list is spend your skill points. And for some reason, I still always forget to do it. So anyway, we got four. That's uh, probably left over from last night during the horde. And uh, what are we going to do here? Let me just take a look and then uh, we'll decide on what to do. Okay, so here's what I've decided. We're going to go... Let's see, two into Perception, one into Lucky Looter, and then one into Demolitions Expert to help a little bit with the explosives at Horde Knight. 
And that's it. Alright, that was a healthy amount. What is that, like 800, 723? That's not too bad. We'll get that turned into mix in a little bit. But for now, let's uh, take a look at the map quickly. And I suppose we could probably just take this off of the thing now, as well as basically everything else that we've done recently. There, I got that all cleaned up. And now, let's see, there's a couple of spots that I've passed by before that I know have a lot of titanium. One of them is down here by the school, and probably that's the the closest to us so let's head down here we'll hit that up i don't want to dig too too much or too deep because it could turn into like a bit of a screamer mess and we don't have a sword anymore oh see there's another good chunk way out there but uh there's another chunk right there so let's hit those up i'll meet you there oh my god thomas i'm so sorry okay here we are right here and i brought some extra fuel a whole bunch of junk in the inventory right now and the valkyrie drill with me so gas this baby up and we'll see. Actually, I got some um, rock busters as well. We'll see how much titanium we can get out of this. Probably a little bit of iron as well, I would imagine. Alright, I got a fair amount of titanium out of there, and I don't- this place is gonna get pretty hot if we keep mining here in terms of, like, generating heat for screamers and stuff like that. Plus, it's- we're down into, like, mostly iron, so let's head over now to the- the next one, which was right over there. See if we can have better luck over there. Oh, speaking of screamers, you son of a bitch, get out of here! Okay, she definitely screamed. There's a freaking rad- Oh, pizza, come on, man. Oh, this thing just does not go fast enough in reverse. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, no thanks. Here we go. Okay, nice fresh mining site. Okay, that's it. Need repairs, and just for the sake of it, this is a... Oh, it's a steel pickaxe. I was thinking it might be a titanium pickaxe, but yeah, the steel pickaxe is still terrible. I wonder, though, if I see, I think that, see this bonus right here, plus 100% more damage to ore and asphalt. I would bet that the titanium pickaxe has a bonus for titanium ore, and then maybe that would be, uh, oh, we got a screamer coming. Ah, and I'm stuck down here. Okay, just get ready. She's coming. I can hear her. I don't know where she is. There she is. Ah! Got her. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't see any green glowies anywhere. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at this. I'm not sure what percent damage we got uh, bonus versus trees with the steel axe, but uh, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe certain tools have certain bonuses for certain types of blocks. So, I don't know, something to pay attention to, I guess. Right, so I think we're probably good on titanium for now. Let's head home, get all this stuff into the forge, and see what upgrades we can do after that. All right, good evening, everyone. The forges are rolling. We've got all kinds of uh, titanium ingots going, and then we can have whatever the number that turns out to be, and that'll turn into plates, which should be enough for quite a few upgrades, although there was a screamer just down here a minute ago, and she screamed... She brought in a couple of friends, so I'm gonna take right care of them, but we're gonna get a different weapon to do it. I think we'll take... Oh, hopefully, like, opening these things is not going to trigger them onto me. That would be annoying. But there we go. We have so much 7.92 ammo. We gotta find a way to start using that. But, okay, um, whoops. And there we go. Oh, now she's screaming again. That's nice. Here, can you come on to ground level for me? There's her friends. Just get a cup like a pop shot into him and it turns on my super running capability oh boy she's screaming again yeah it's not what i really wanted to deal with today ah, another screamer over there take her out she's not dead another one oh she's getting chased from behind yep just keep running we'll draw him off to some other look we'll draw him into the freaking mining pit over here <laughs> everybody come in here
Yeah, this is just not the best weapon right now. It is not equipped to fight rads, really. This one here, not so bad though. All right, so I don't think everyone followed me over. We'll have to kind of crawl back and hunt him down. Whoa, look at them all. Good opportunity for a sniper rifle. Oh, they're, they can hear me so well. That's maybe not the best weapon to use. Why isn't there a silencer on this thing? Oh, come on. The point blank range shooting? Yeah. Pain resistance is improving. Oh, okay. We'll ride the lumberjack. Ah! Oh no, I'm stunned. Yeah. We're dying. Quickly. Hey, Keller. Yeah. Mr. James, get me a, hook me up with the bandage, man. And they're all dead. Well, at least we didn't break anything. That's a plus. Not sure if I ever killed that other screamer, though. So just kind of be weary of that. Although I think, isn't it in the screamer code that they can only scream and call in zombies twice? So that it, it can't get like two, two, two out of control. But, oh, there she is. But then I think um, screamer screams also generate heat, which can like put you into a, a screamer cycle. So yeah, you just want to avoid the screaming. I think we're good now though. Well, temporarily, because we got all the forges running and the cement mixer and probably other things as well that are generating heat up here. All right, let's check the status of that. Oh, this is not running in fact, but it needs to be running. We need to get that 765 concrete mix out of it. So in here, I crafted two augers and two generators so that we can get one ore extractor and one oil rig or or oil whatever it is we're gonna need more oil for that that's crafting and we just need steel and iron so i think i'm just gonna kind of sit around here and like tend to forges and try to get all these plates done and now we're out of coal powder yeah so it's it's looking like uh steel is gonna be a bit of an issue might have to wander out and get some more materials there oh 99 plates are you are you kidding me i can make one more can i one and two and that probably should do it here we can grab up the augers and the generators. We can make the ore extractor. So craft that four and a half minutes. And then there's this other one, this oil extractor, nuts and bolts. Oh, great. Always with the nuts and bolts. Last time I did this, I made like 300 and that did me over for a good long while. So I'm just basically going to do the same thing this time. All right, last couple nuts and bolts there. I just cured that infection that I had and ate some food and stuff. So, okay, oil extractor. Craft that, another four and a half minutes, so for the next ten minutes, that stuff's gonna be rolling in. We're now completely out, basically out of iron, we're out of bolts, we're... <laughs> we're gonna be out of mechanical parts here pretty soon. Luckily, we still have some oil, my goodness. I was hoping to also get some stuff upgraded, like maybe the pistol and things like that, but uh, I don't feel like we're gonna have enough of, like, the... the accessory materials to get very far, so, okay, re repair that. Repair... Oh, steel, are you shitting me, man? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, what an ordeal here. I guess for some people, this is like a really aggravating part of Undead Legacy, having to like, you know, you need this to get that, and there's so much like involved in it. But for me, this is like, I feel like this is the way that the game was originally intended, like back in the earlier alphas. Like in case you're a newer player, like I am, I started in Alpha 19, so by no means am I speaking from experience here, but from what I've done in research, um, of the, the history of Seven Days to Die. Uh, it used to be a lot more like difficult to craft things. Oh, and the reason I can't craft any more steel is because I don't have any more of the, um, what's it called? Uh, coal powder. Okay, so turn that off. I think we're good now. I can get this up uh, repaired at least. Yes, the last of the steel there. So I just want to see if I can upgrade these. Can I upgrade that? I sure can using almost all of the handgun parts that I have, but it would be worth it. I think if I get it upgraded one more, no, no, I don't think I can. I was thinking it might give me another mod slot, but I have to get it to S class to get the extra mod slot because I'd like to put a mag extender on there. Maybe instead of that crippler, can I just do that? Just at least like get it out and ready. That's going to be plus 35% to the magazine, which would be cool. Oh, and also a uh, great suggestion. Someone in the comments let me know that this backpack here that we got a couple of episodes ago is better than the one I have despite being the same quality class. And so I neglected to check that. So one that we're wearing plus 60.6. .6. New one plus 60.8. Nine or a 69.7 I'm sorry so yes put the new one on that gives us about a plus nine to our backpack space 
And we have to take mods off of things before we can upgrade them. So go ahead and do that and we can put away that crippler mod and then we can see if we can get these upgraded just a little bit. Remember, things have a percent chance to fail. It's only a 30% chance to fail, but still very much possible. So we're rolling the dice here. Let's see what we get. We got it on that run there. Now we have to collect handgun parts again to get up to S class. And how about now for the titanium katana? Let's see how far we can take this. And it's morning. Presumably though, we can do a couple of levels on this if we get lucky here. So going to E, success. Going to D, oh, unsuccessful. So, oh, all right, well, we rolled the dice and we, we succeeded twice and we failed once and that's okay with me. Get that loaded back up with the AP rounds. We're pretty good on ammo here. Everything else is pretty much repaired up. I don't need this sniper rifle with me for the day-to-day -day stuff. Just read that treasure map for Jennifer's treasure. Where is that going to send me? In the ocean again. God damn it. All right, the ore extractor is done. Just getting some extra bandages here. Don't quite need that many. Let's uh, let's go ahead and drop that down somewhere before we head out for the day. That way it can work on collecting. I think it takes a full day. Oh no, our well! The well was destroyed. Well, that's a bummer. That's okay. <laughs> that was kind of stupid of me to put it there. Uh, let's maybe put this stuff like much, much further away. I don't know if the, this is, it's, it's one of those things where it, like it has to be on your chunk. But I don't, I don't think it would be, right? So let's just, um, let's just put it out here. I th I'm pretty sure you can pick these up, though, if you have to. Although, I'm not sure quite how heavy they are. That is pretty cool. All right, just checking here. I can take it back up, which is nice. It has a really cool sound. And yes, um, one hour. It takes one hour, so one full in-game day in order to mine. I think it's a random resource. I probably should have read the description on it. Here's the description. Slowly extracts random ore from deep within the soil. Has a small chance to extract titanium ore. And um, do I recall correctly someone saying in the comments that it was 100 ore? It could be. Yeah, we'll have to find out. All right, so I think we're basically ready today to head out to our tier five quest, which is an apartment building. Oh my God, it's a horde. Let's fight. We got new weapons. Yay. All right, that's the first half. The other half are broken, so let's break them even more. Soften them up a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, the apartment. Let's see what this place is all about. Oh yes, that bus. I, I had harvested that bus at some point. Right, well there was a cop sleeping over there just a second ago. Is he still over here or is it just these guys? Oh, there he is. Nice, good kill there. Waking up a lot of zombies like somewhere. Oh, look at them. They're coming out of the freaking building. They think they can get to me here. But honestly, we could just do this. Ow! Who hit me? I got hit by someone and I... I Mr. James, was that you? Oh, no, it's that crawler there. <laughs> I see. Wow, this is a busy place. Oh, we've even got rads. Let him blow. Let him blow. We'll hide over here. There we go. Hello? I don't know why I woke so many people up. Whoa, the rad. Oh, God. Okay, it's raining. They're coming out of the, the, the window there. Yikes. Whoa, I got sniped. This spider just jumping back and forth and back and forth. Okay, they're still basically... Oh, look at the damage in here. Nice, I love it. Okay, we've got... um. They're breaking in through here. Let's just... Nope, nope, they did it themselves. We're good here. Oh, jeez, who was that? Oh, feral businessman. Yikes, man. This place is involved, isn't it? Here, just let them in. Sheesh. Okay, take this guy out. Ow! Who is that? 
What is going on? I feel like I'm getting hit like through walls and stuff like that. What is going on here? Go go gadget arms on that guy? Is that what's going on? Or is there someone under the floor or what? Zombie stuck in a block? Oh my god. Is it this guy over here? You fucking crawler. Wow, what an asshole. Oh my god, rad. Oh my, do you see the compass? Oh my god, I just noticed that. That was crazy. Okay, she bled out. What is going on here? Just zombies everywhere. It, these, it's like a one giant trigger room, it feels like. Oh man, what is going on here? That place is all caged off. What is that? Can I sneak back there and grab that? That was, oh, a jackhammer schematic. Interesting, that was a hidden stash. Right, so let's, um, this feels like a freaking horde. I know it's not, because we just had one, but anyway. Yes, back to the ground level and see what the hell is going on down here. About a couple months ago, I did a live stream where I announced that I would be going full-time on YouTube soon, this fall. And uh, that is still the plan. However, uh, when I gave notice at my job, they were they're a little bit desperate to keep me around. So they made me a really good offer that I could not refuse. And so I'm going to be staying on at my place of full-time employment for another six months. And uh, I'll be going to part-time though, so two days a week which is awesome. It's uh, it's gonna be a really good transition period for me, most likely. And so after six months after that, so in, in other words, around March or something like that, I'll be officially full-time on YouTube. But for now, you know, I, I guess you could say I'm technically full-time on YouTube and part-time at my regular job. Where'd you all come from? Whoa, geez, but I'm just, uh, you know, getting closer to my goal of doing this for a living. It still shocks me and I'm, I'm sure it's, um, a bit of a strange thought to a lot of you as well that uh, even a small small channel like this one very very small I mean I'm, I'm very grateful for how big I am oh my god for how big I am but uh, you know comparatively speaking this is a small channel but believe it or not the, the money that this channel makes for me both by like donations and patreon and ad revenue and, and everything all combined merch sales it's it's a good living it's honestly it's almost a better living than my day job and which is just insane because I went to school for what I do for a living for seven years <laughs> and, in, and in a year and a half uh, on YouTube I've generated uh, I've made a channel that makes me just as much money basically so I'm super grateful for that I'm not trying to brag or anything I hope you guys understand that you know I'm just very grateful I want you all to know that this channel is successful and that you know that's that's you guys that made this possible basically so really appreciate that. The other piece of news that is kind of related is that um, when we do, oh my, when we do the server reset for the GNS multiplayer server, in case you don't know, I have a multiplayer server and that is run by Bad Player Gaming. And um, we're going to be doing a reset here this fall. I think we're going to push the reset until um, Undead Legacy 2.6 comes out, which is the next big update that Subquake has been kind of teasing. If you don't follow Subquake on Twitter, you definitely should because there are some awesome updates that are coming. I think there's like new enemies. There's like a scorpion, mutated scorpion thing, which just looks awesome. There are, um, is there a new vehicle? Yes, there's the new dirt bike that's coming. I think I've showed you guys the picture of that before. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's some new workstations. He's kind of redoing the crafting thing a little bit. Uh, there's a new chemistry station specifically that I know about. And so, yeah, when I am officially kind of um, part-time at my regular job, and I'm more like full-time five days a week here at this job, I will be probably live streaming more. I don't want to commit to anything on live streaming because I personally, you know, being... Good, a self-described introvert, I guess I would describe myself as. Um, live streaming is a little bit of a, a to-do for me. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to commit to doing it weekly like I had previously because I know that I'll just I'll fall short. I might burn out. So let's stay flexible and we'll just say that I'll be live streaming more often and I'll be live streaming on that on the multiplayer server quite a bit because we're going to be doing Undead Legacy with the new update and it's gonna be really, really fun. And I, I don't wanna stop playing Undead Legacy once this series is over, because the, the series is certainly winding down. Whoa, hello. Now, I don't know how much further we're gonna go. It's it's remained a very popular series on the channel. So uh, usually I, I commit to like ending a series when it, when it starts to drag the channel down, but that is not the case here so far. So we might go, I want to basically like unlock everything, get everything done, get the base finalized and, and then fight like demolisher filled hordes. 
Once we can get to that point, that's basically like you're done with the game after that. Where are you all fucking coming from? Are you kidding me? He just woke up off the floor. I've already been through here. Why didn't you spawn in? Well, the compass is significantly less populated with red dots right now. So hopefully we're ready to go upstairs. Still zombies coming after me. Where are you? Hello. Oh, Thomas. All right, we've made a good ripe old mess in here. That's for sure. The good news is the bottom two floors appear to be all clear. Just trying to basically search everything. We're so hard up for like everything at this point. So might as well start collecting it again. Right, we're on to the third floor now of, what was it, maybe like five floors, I would say? Oh, geez, they're making messes here. Does that mean I've already cleared out this level as well? It does seem that way. Look, yeah, they've already carved through all this stuff. Yep, so the third floor is clear. Look, some zombie just dug right through the couch. <laughs> Looks like this place was basically just copy-paste, copy-paste, make it five floors. You know, these are the kind of boring POIs that you don't really like so much in the compo pack like there's a lot of skyscrapers but it, it's for the most part like someone made one floor and then just in the poi editor like copy paste and then stacked it you know 10 high and boom skyscraper but yeah the interesting stuff i do recall is on the rooftop so let's head up and see if the next floor is clear as well there is an airdrop coming in uh this floor is not clear and it's very highly populated with zombies here, while we're at it, take a skull crusher, take some water, and that should help us clear this floor out nice and quick. So far so good, I think we're just about there. Help these guys move this junk out of the way. Take your head off, open that, last one. And we're good. All right, same deal here, it would appear. Oh, here we go. Come on, Mr. James! Watch my back! Another bandage real quick. What do we got in here? Really not much. Up to 96 on the swords! You know, there was a comment, and I do agree with it, that uh, once we max out knives and swords, we should probably just start working on something different. We do have that titanium sledge we can start working on. And then we can just have a sword with us in case things get a little bit dicey and we need a better melee weapon. Ow! Oh, and the crawler leaves me a loot bag of all zombies. Okay, I think we're, uh, what are we on, the fourth or fifth floor right now? We're heading up yet again. This place is getting kind of boring. I definitely won't be doing this place again. Oh, and then this is the last floor before the rooftop, which is locked. Might need to just open that up. Of course, I woke up all the zombies that are up there. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just, um, oh, jeez. Oh, uh, shit. Let's, can we just bring them downstairs? Yeah, uh, all the way, perhaps? Got nice, better, wide open spaces down here to fight in. Oh boy, where'd you come from? Yes, this is the room right here. Let's get another Skull Crusher in. Copy, that helps. Whoa, not that stamina is too much of an issue for me these days with maxed out sexy T-Rex. Ooh, the sword is breaking though. It is almost broken. Do I have any other sword melee weapons? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, these guys just get the guns. Okay, oh, they're coming in now. Look at the grenades. Okay, grenade over there in the corner for them. There we go. Oh, cop blew up. It's just all rads now. Yes, take them outside. Yes, okay. No, 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 don't jump up there. Ow. Just get a couple grenades down here for them. See if we can cluster them up a little bit. That kind of worked, didn't it? Just a mild infection going on. A slight abrasion. Oh boy, yikes. Okay, yes, getting very busy over here. Can I get another effective grenade or are we basically boned? Here, they can have that, can't they? Yep, they broke the vehicle. Luckily, they don't explode anymore. Bro, ow, direct hit, running low on ammo. Whoa, ow, oh God, damn it. Ah, again. I'm bleeding. Oh, shit. Quickly, bandage. Hide back here. Painkiller. All right, I think we're good again. We are lacerated, though, so take a sewing kit. All right, was that it for zombies? There is one more zombie on the compass, but I think they're way back upstairs. 
Okay, here's the rooftop. Check this out. Maybe there's some birds up here. There are indeed. Take those out real quick. And we got one more rad. A couple crawlers up here as well. Whoa, hello. One crawler. There we go. And... That's not the main loot. I thought the main loot was up here. Did I miss something? Got a generator up here. Oh, here we go. Metal key rack. That... Is there a way down now somewhere? Or maybe that was, um... I don't know what that was. I guess we're searching garbage up here, though. Oh, we got a rad bow coming up here. Oh my god, he's fast. Easy. Was that the last one? No, there's probably some more downstairs in the, the floor that we kind of skipped over. Okay, yeah, I went through most of the garbage up here. Nothing special. Let's head back down here. Probably a couple more zombies. Although, yes, I'm getting the indicator. They're down there. Last room. That's probably the main loot room, actually, wherever all these zombies are. Everything down here appears to be clear. Same old boring stuff. Oh, finally, a freaking bookshelf. Auto shotgun schematic. I'll read that. Bows and crossbows, I'll also read that. Aha, here we go. And that's the button right there. There are zombies in there, I think, though. No, it's not. It, that doesn't do anything, in fact. So, uh, I don't know. Is maybe there another way in here? Okay, I can't figure out how to get in there. So I'm just going to make a way in there. Oh, I see some bikers. Ooh, I see some loot, too. Nice. And some dogs. Oh, my. Yes, many of them. I suppose this is a good situation to just do the, like, blow them all up with a couple grenades trick that I'd like to do once in a while here. Make sure you got plenty. Probably takes uh, two grenades or so to kill a <laughs> biker. And one for the middle. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, it, it killed some of them, that's for sure. All right, just rinse the rest of them. In fact, they're all going to the door, so let's get one more grenade over there for them. Eat that! All right, we're good. Look at the bikers. What? That's crazy. And uh, yes, the quest is over. Yes, we finally completed a quest without being dumb about it. And that's only a tier 4 loot chest. I'm disappointed by that. I suppose we will have to take the jailbreaker candy for this. So we'll suck that in and get the lucky goggles on. Okay, we're in. And uh, sniper rifle books of money and a steel combat knife. That's it for this whole place? My goodness, that was not worth it at all. This place, uh, well, that was a hidden stash there, so that's not too bad. A little bit of ammo. Not gonna lie, this place, uh, sucked. Unfortunate. Give me this leather, though. Right, well, it is what it is. It's all done and over with now, so let's get the fuck out of here. So we're just rolling back through here, and this is one of my working vending machines. However, always full of zombies. So what I can do, interestingly is just sneak over here and they never they never hear me going in here to get my skull crushers and <laughs> jailbreakers and things like that. But I figure while we're here, might as well have some fun with them, right? How about that? I love it. Also, we can uh, take this now that we have the acid book and get our free acid out of it. Is that it for here? Yep, we're good. Let's go to the trader. All right, good evening, everyone. How you doing, Ellen? She's got a rocket launcher for me. I already have one, a triple mod. I already have that as well, and that is only an H class. So I guess I'm taking the recog today. Give me that. New jobs, what do you got? She's got the tier five where we took the loot out of the Very bottom nice. and otherwise basically just stuff that we've already done. Let's check her inventory. I think, uh, has she restocked? Uh, what Understood. day is it today? Day 58, I do believe she has restocks. This should be all new stuff. Night Stalker book here. Ooh, 10% more sneak damage at night. We'll definitely take that. A bar brawling book here. Not as important in my opinion. So motorcycle repair kit. Don't think I need that. Although it would be nice to get like the regular motorcycle just because it handles so much better than the, the Renegade that we have. 
Uh, spikes trap, I can make those. It's more convenient to buy them, honestly. But yeah, I think we're all set here for today. Let's head back home. All right, we're back home, and I'm finally curious enough to find out what's in that damn loot bag over there. So <laughs> let's get ready. Maximum speed and launch. Nice. All right, we made it. All right. <laughs> Red T, are you kidding me? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. Get in the Dune Runner. We're going to be hurting here. We're running out of air. Oh, shit. Come on. We're almost free. Ah. All right. With that, we are all done for the day. Okay. I got everything put away. And in here is the ore extractor. Oil extractor, I should say. So let's hop down on ground level. So we'll run over here to where the ore extractor is. And we'll lay this down right close by. I don't think this is at too much risk way out here. And hopefully it has fairly good hit points anyway yep that'll do i think Ooh, oh fancy i like that very cool so this will just be working on passive resources for us out here i would imagine if you made a, a good investment and made like you know five of each of these you wouldn't have to do any mining after that we'll have to consider that we'll see what the return is on them and see kind of if that feels like it's going to be worth it we have eight minutes left on that before it's done so we'll probably just wait until morning to check on it all right, well, so for the rest of the night, I'm gonna make some preparations. Now let's look at the map, because on this map, you don't see very much snow. They're just in the mountains, but there is a dedicated snow biome way, way up in the Northeast that I do know about. That is a confirmed location. I've discussed it with the Order of Steel. And so I think it's time for an expedition. We have a couple of days free before we need to come back here and prepare for the Horde. So I'm thinking that we make a nice long trip out there to the snow biome to see if we can get some good loot before the next horde. So I'm gonna spend the remainder of the night uh, harvesting corn, I guess, <laughs> and then probably should plant some pumpkins, actually. Can I just get these up and get some pumpkin seeds? Yes, I'm gonna do that, and I'm also going to make uh, more grenades, more bullets, and uh, we'll get everything that we'll need together for the big adventure tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Get some pumpkins planted, get some stuff repaired, pack up some tasty snacks. Definitely gonna get some grenades crafted. Get my nice winter jacket on. It's gonna be cold where we're going. Perfect. Pack, 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 good. Grab up all the sellables and repair everything that I can. And with that, we are ready to roll out of here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. We're on the move this morning, just making a quick pit stop here at Camp Ethan to sell all of our junk. I brought everything with me. I did not repair everything, because you guys know, uh, our steel and iron situation is woefully bad right now, so I was unable to get everything fully repaired, but we'll make do with what we got. So let's go ahead and eat that sugar butt that I brought with me, and we'll just do our dealings with Private Ryan this morning. All right, that's it. We made a really healthy amount of money there. We are sitting pretty on like 79,000, which means I think we're maybe approximately halfway towards getting a helicopter. I'll have to keep my eye out, see if I can find one and sort of estimate what the price is going to be on that. In terms of buying, I think I will just take this uh, gasoline here. I didn't bring very much with me, just the one barrel here. Not sure how much we're going to need for our expedition. Ooh, Magnum Enforcer book right there. I'll definitely take and... An SMG auto turret, uh, I suppose we can get those later. I'd like to get some of those. Taskmaster, uh, increases your missions action skill by one. I'm not sure the utility in that. I think I'll just pass on that. This we'll go great. check on Wrecked. Whole bunch of eye candy in there. That's nice to see. All right, let's see here. Um, There was one more thing. Yes, sell that paintbrush. Ah, there's the, well, DH-800. Not exactly the helicopter that I'm looking for. That's more of like a multiplayer thing with the seven seats there, 450,000. Otherwise, we got a Wasteland Treasures and a Shotgun Messiah book. We'll take both of those. And I think, oh, the Wanderer. I should have gotten the Wanderer, not the Renegade. Wanderer is such a better vehicle. You live and you learn. All right, we're out of here. We'll probably find some more traders along the way. In fact, I think I have an opening trade routes around here somewhere, don't I? It's um actually kind of on the other side of the world, but uh, I know that there is more to see up here. So this is where we're going. We're going like right there. 
see what interesting things we can find along the way. It is like a massive fortress. That is so cool. Okay, yes, we are making a pit stop here and here's the snow city it looks like up ahead. Let's just do a lap around here and see what we can see. Okay, definitely some craters between us and the city, but that is our final destination for today. Although, I think it's definitely worth stopping off here and taking a look around. This looks like it could be an entrance right here. Just watch out for cats and lumberjacks. I did uh, go ahead and put the crossbow back in so that we can get a little bit of extra sneak damage. Come back here. Come back here. I really don't think that I need the meat. I do need the leather though, so we'll just do this. So read those books. That's for HP 44 Magnum, purifying water. <laughs> Finally, we can make the mineral water. Not that I'll ever do it, but uh, yes, we need animal fat. We do not need bone. Okay. Yes, we need to be very careful about what we're taking with us. In fact, I did bring repair kits because uh, we, I don't, you know, we don't have a maintenance station. Although I could have, I guess, brought the maintenance station with me. But anyway, yes, put that stuff away. Put the money away. We don't need that much money on us. And put the gasoline away. And uh, yes, the rest we can take with us. We're going in. And this place is already super cool. Oh my god, this is probably a tier five, I would say. What do you think? Okay, I guess we're heading through here. Got some spikes in the way. Ah, whoa, ow, watch out for that cop. He's gonna spit, nope, nope, nope. Nice, oh, we're getting really good with this katana, aren't we? Okay, I suppose it, it seems like there's a linear pathway through here because everything is kind of wired off. Okay, we've got a bow in there, just to probably take right care of him. I did have to, oh, did I not bring the ammo with me? Or no, I, uh, I have the AP in, but I have 500 with me. I also brought 500. 762 rounds. So yeah, yeah, make sure all that's loaded. That would be nice, please. Bullet tips, brass, copper. Do I really need this stuff? I'll take the bullet tips, I'll leave the rest. I'm just here to like make money and get good upgrades to gear. So on the way in here, it looked like about half of this POI was in the snow biome and then the, the half over there was in the temperate biome. But um, all I'm seeing is snow biome here, which is exactly what I want. Not sure where the main loot's gonna be here though. Why do I get the sense that this is a trap down here? Got a door here. I might just try to pick that open though. There we go, picked. Woke up a zombie outside. Out here maybe? Yeah, soldier over there. Oh, I just came down where I came in from. This is confusing. Right, I'm gonna leave them to it and then head back up here. Where did I come from? Where did I come from? Where did I go? I didn't go this way. Ah! I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going in here. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep wandering around until I find something that maybe makes sense. Not a lot of zombies here though, which is kind of interesting, kind of nice. Ooh, a repair kit. That's good to find. Some scrap steel there. Oh, look at these. Looks like we're over onto the temperate area side of things and we do have a weapons bag there. I'll check that. Nice, hang on parts and a rad remover. Good stuff. Hey, this over here looks to be, I don't know, like an inn or something. Take you out. There's gotta be some more zombies around here somewhere. Really awesome architecture style here. And yes, there's a weapons bag down there. I'm just gonna drop down. Seems quiet, I, I hear some footsteps, but shouldn't be too much to deal with here. Check that, ooh, that's a really good compound bow. Although, I don't have any arrows right now, so that's gonna hold me back. <laughs> Obviously, you can't use a bow without arrows. Aha, another weapons bag here. What do you think the chances are? The one time I want arrows, I don't get arrows. Hello? Ow! Oh, that's creepy as hell. Oh, nice, got some uh, like old outhouses back here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but I still don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning here. We've got, ooh, what is this? Uh, what if I drop down here? Where was this? This is over here. Oh, a well. A well that goes way down. You don't want to get stuck down there. Although, how do I get over here though? I guess I could build across. Here, just do this. And can I? I can't open. So this is not openable. 
I can't really break through it either. Okay. Perhaps there's an alternative, or, or perhaps we just have to, like, scale over there and... Uh, I don't know. Let's see, could I maybe jump over there? Let's just find out. He... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, we're good. We're, um, in the spikes. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's just dig into this. Ah! Whoa, no, I'm, I'm on the spikes now. Well, I guess this is one way to go about it. Did this work or what? I think it worked. Yep, we're behind the drawbridge door now. Yeah, again, seemingly very quiet here. Oh, hello. Primitive bow. My goodness, I'm still finding primitive tech stuff, even in the snow biome. Padded gloves, too. Jeez, get rid of that crap. That is not what I came here for. What is in here? Ooh, a shower, okay. You know, I really shouldn't take this. I guess I'll take the cement. This stuff is pretty hard to make. I, I pretty much resigned myself to not making it, to just like harvest it and whatever I get, I get, and that's it. Anything fishy back here? What is all this? Just, uh, whoa! Um, hello? Yikes, who's that? Okay, zombies stuck behind that plate there. Not, I guess not a plate, but, um, a, a wedge. A wedge 60 tip there. Okay, we'll, uh, go in there later. Still looking for, like, an intended pathway here. I don't think there really is one. Just kind of a free-for-all. Oh, hello! Whoa! Jeez, oh jeez, we got a whole bunch of zombies in here now. Okay, I found the zombies. Leave! All right, I think we're good now. Check that loot up. 762 golden rod teens and bobby pins. Looking for arrows. Nice little uh, munitions box here. I wonder... What is this? Is this like the main keep here? Iron door. There might be some good loot in there. Uh, I'm just gonna loot as I go, because I'll just forget if I don't do it. <gasps> Ooh, the saw blade. We saw that at the trader the other day, but it was a uh, worse quality. Let's uh, take that out. Oh my. That is um very rustic looking. Okay, so titanium katana just has higher attack speed, the and just more damage, basically. But I'm gonna use this anyway for a little bit. Oh. Hello there. Eat that. It looks like we got another mess of zombies here. Yep, here we go. Oh, got a feral here as well. Okay, yes. Not... <laughs> we're not using experimental weapons on friggin' ferals. Yes, I don't like it at all, but... <laughs> it's fun to use something new, right? And by fun, I mean dangerous. It, danger can be fun, though, right? Aha, recog, nice. Another weapons bag. Man, there's a lot of loot in this place. Whoa! Oh my! R90 submachine gun! What? Wow, okay, this trip is paying off dividends already. Wow. What does this take for ammo? That takes... Ooh, 5.56. Five, That's interesting. Do I have any on me? Um, I do. I have just a little tiny bit. Let's, uh, let's put that down here instead of the crossbow, maybe. Barrel extender, rad remover... That'll do for now. Nice, that gives us another ammo type we can use out here on our little adventure. Okay, I wanna know how to... Oh, yes, these are... Okay, in terms of like castle terminology, these are called machicolations, also known as murder holes, and these are the crenellations, and so... <laughs> I know it was like ages ago that I was uh, wondering what the name was for these things. I'd forgotten all about it. You know, machicolation, not exactly a frequently used word in my vocabulary. Am I saying it right? Machiolation or machicolation or something like that? Yeah. Machicolation. Okay, that door is open. I think otherwise we're all set around here. Wow, what a cool place to hold down on a horde night, right? I mean, okay, zombies down there would tunnel, but it'd still be fun to try, right? Holy crap, wow! Ah! Oh, this sounds wicked cool. Okay, we're out of ammo on that already. Ow! Check that loot, scrap, take the rest, and kill this guy. Oh, nice. Phew, that was a surprise. So what was down there? Oh, that's where you enter in from initially. Okay, and then you head up here. Aha, ooh, oh my goodness, the main loot. Right, we got locked, locked. We should, I don't, 
I only have one times charge, so let's do the jailbreaker instead. Can I use the bobby pins? I cannot. I can use the regular lockpick. Got it. I can use the bobby pins on this one. Whoops. Oh, I only took one. <laughs> nice. Uh, for this, though, yes, definitely the eye candy. We have the lucky goggles on, so we'll see what we get here. Okay, good stuff overall. Oh, nice, more stuff. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Anything else sneaky up here, maybe? Um, zombies? No. Some, wow, some really good food there. And there's some bookshelves here we can check. Red tea recipe, sure, I'll take that. And that's it, I think. What are we doing out here? Oh, the pooper, yep. <laughs> nice. Well, I would say that there's certainly more to this place that we've kind of skipped over. So I might just try to get back to the other part of the castle. Let's do, let's just do this. Yes! Oh, come on! Ah! Damn it. Oh, we got uh, animal pens here, which bodes poorly for me. Ah! Here we go. Take that leather. Okay, ooh. Spiky area. That means they don't want you to be over here for whatever reason. I don't play by the rules. Okay, nothing much up here. What is this over there, though? Okay, this is interesting. What's what's in here? Did I miss anything? I think the wall just wraps around for the most part. Oh, hello. Look out. Oh, he took out the sandbags. Yeah, it looks like just more of the same as we go across. Although, I want to see what this thing over here was all about. Nope, can't see that there's very much going on down here, so I think I'm ready to call it and get out of here. Very cool place, albeit a little bit disorganized, but overall, I mean, gotta be dozens of hours to build this thing, so very impressive there. Okay, we continue on into the main city. Maybe just see if we can find the trader first and foremost. And uh, I wanna kinda go around the wasteland and not bother going through it. All right, so I, I kind of did a loop through the city. I, I should have just done the outskirts and uh, I didn't see the trader, but I do see this. This is like house old mansard something something. It looks to be in the wasteland, which will net us even more loot. It's not often on this map that you find a tier four in the wasteland. So I think we should probably do this place here. Well, <laughs> it's not gonna be before dark. It's gonna be during dark, so let me get the regular, the good sword out, put that away, and we'll kind of poke through here. It's a pretty involved POI. I'm just gonna kind of run through. Why is there a wolf there? Leave me alone. Get out of here. It's up to the rooftop and then down to the basement. Uh oh, out of stamina. Whoops. Probably because I jumped my way up on the roof there. Okay, we've got the lucky goggles on already, so I think we'll just leave them on so we can get that little bit extra loot bonus while we're here. Quite laggy. I think there are a lot of zombies that are spawned in in various areas. Oh boy. Yes, might need to focus on my health a little bit before I die. Yes, <laughs> let's do that. First aid kit. Get some uh, food and water into me as well. All right, we'll be good as new in no time. Oh, hello. Ah. Wow, okay. <laughs> Knives and swords up to 97, nice. Whoa, there's a bear somewhere. Get the M60 ready. Okay, can I just jump out here and see where he is? There he is. Whoa, fucking bird's gonna knock me off the building. All right, we've got him weakened. Ride the bear. Come on, buddy, what do you got? He's very strong. He's not moving. He's a docile one. And one more, there we go. Give me that testosterone. All right, back on track here. Oh, good evening. Ooh, bubbles, what are you doing in there? Ah, whoa, watch yourself. Sword's starting to feel better and better by the day. Ooh, it's officially nightfall too, so we should probably start being a little bit sneakier. Oh, the front door is wide open. That's nice. Okay, if we just go slow and we go sneaky, we shouldn't have any significant issues. We'll be down in the basement shortly. Yep, shush. Might just take a covert cat. That's what we got him for anyway, right? Oh boy. No, 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 no. Be quiet. Ah, we got more up there, damn it. 
At the end of the day, sneaking skill is just not that good. Cop coming in. Oh, look at that, a jackhammer just sitting in that friggin' workbench. That's cool. Here we go, finally, get the drop on someone. Ooh, still not enough. Here, silenced. Nice and quiet. Okay, we do have, is it the feral white? Oh boy, yes it is. Okay, come on in here, buddy. More coming in too. Yes, oh, lots of them. Jeez, he, he takes a beating, doesn't he? Yikes, okay. Sneak down, we good here? Here, just plug that up a little bit. Ah, yes, down to the basement, close the door. Always a zombie in there, right? Yes. Ah, whoa, where did you come from? Oh, you were hiding behind there? Ah, I see. Eat that. Okay, so this next part here, I've made big mistakes here before, and this time I am not going to make that same mistake again. So, what I will do is I'll plant a grenade right there, and another one right there, and then I'm gonna walk over here and fire off a shot, get everyone's attention, okay? Come over here, get my grenades ready, and then, oh, that woke up a lot of zombies outside as well. Here, suck on that. Eat that. Couple survivors here. Loosened them up pretty well. Okay, we got zombies like everywhere awake now. Oh boy. Ooh, geez, yes, we gotta get a move on here. Yeah, uh, wait, what do I do here? Okay, this is the way out. I need to close this door, but it's locked. So, bobby pin it up. Yes, there we go. Uh, I can't lock that door. Unlock this. No, oh, lock picking skill not high enough. Just blow it up. Right. Uh, eye candy in. Break that. Break this. And break this. And uh, I'm going to need a recog to get out of here, so I'll suck that down. Okay, let's see if we can get some good stuff here. Mm, that's not very good. Take it, take it, take it all, take it all. We'll look at it later. Yes. And that's it. And they're right behind that door. How do I get out of here now? Up here, up the ladder, and out this way. Okay, the escape route is secure. Oh boy, here they are. We hold, hold the line. Okay, retreat. We got 30 more rounds to hold them off up here. I think we're looking pretty good though. Reload. Ah, fucking steak! Yeah! What do you want, fat boy? No, go away. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Well, we have looting candy active, and you know what that means. We're gonna be looking for loots to gank real quick. Oh, I know where the loot is on this place. Uh, the question is... Because isn't there... There's a weapons bag right there, and I think the main loot is up there as well. Let's just run it. Yes, right up there. Oh, boy. I can't quite get up here. Shit. I think the, the proper ladder is over here. There it is. Hello! Whoa! Just give me that loot. Yes. And then come over here and grab that loot. Yes. Okay, leaving. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I love this. Okay, what else we got around here anyway? Ah, uh, we got the church loot. I'm coming for it. Yes, right here. This is a really easy loot gank. You just crack that open. Crack him open. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got more coming, though. Look out. Whoa! Oh, fucking dire wolf. Yikes! Ah! Oh, a bear! Um, yes, we're not gonna fight the bear. Certainly not. We're going to ride the bear! Yeah! Haha! -ha. Eat that! Oh, I'm having too much fun tonight. We're gonna lose that looting candy if we don't hurry, though. Run down in here, locked. Ooh, that's taking a lot of lock picks. Oh, that is, that is not what I wanna hear right there. Come on now. I'm down to three lock picks. Here, I'll just take a jailbreaker. I did the bobby pin, took like three tries. Here, can I unlock this? Oh, geez, I didn't quite make it. Got a treasure map, though. Oh, that's the, uh, this is busy down here now. Eat that. Right, where are we off to next, anyway? All right, so we did get this treasure map. We can read that while we're out here, see if that's anywhere nearby. It is. So let's just head directly there, then. 
Oh, it looks like it's uh, right in this little field area here, which is not bad. But well, that was a tricky one to find, but I finally got to it. Jailbreaker's still active, just auto-pick. Oh, first try, jeez. Bobby pins are pretty good, I guess. Ooh, 12,000 dukes, nice. Good amount of ammo, got some 5.56 for that new gun, the P90 or whatever it was. Nice. And it's almost morning. Look at all these zombies around here, too. Can't wait to watch them all die off here in 12 minutes. Got the pebcac here. We know exactly where the loot is on that one. I'm gonna run in here real quick and get this pebcac loot. Also, see if I can unlock this ATM. First try, wow, and my lucky bobby pin. Locked, not for long, just auto-pick that, nice. Good morning, everyone, rise and shine. It's easy, you just go right through here, close the door behind you, open this one up. Wait, isn't there? Oh, uh, Mr. James, jeez, get out of here. I seem to recall there being a button. There we go, yeah, open that up for them. They're all awake anyway. Unstoppable. Whoa, and a level up with two skill points. No idea what I'm gonna do with that. Here, hide in here for just a minute. I'm kinda thinking like, you know, another point into better barter would be kinda nice because at that point we could probably afford the helicopter a little bit more easily. So let's do one into intellect, one into better barter. Open that up, any good first aid in here? Sure, take that. Open this up with my lucky bobby pins. Nice. And steel chest armor, iron machete, not very good, honestly. Oh, it helps if you have the right pair of goggles on, though. Okay. If I recall, if I just jump right up here, can I Can I do that? Yep, yeah, jump right up. Oh, hello, biker. Oh, boy. Oh, gah! <laughs> oh, not loaded. Yikes. Oh, there we go. And, oh, I'm hurting. First aid kit. Yeah, that's a hidden stash right there. We got everything oriented correctly. Oh, I should have taken an eye candy. Didn't think of that. Night Stalker book. 50% more sneak damage to sleeping victims at night and some silver. Ooh, and that was the last of the series there. I'll check on that in just a minute. Open this up. And uh, just sneak kill everyone here. In a second. Mr. James! Ah! Gonna get me killed! Oh yes, definitely going to get me killed here. Run! There we go. All I want was this damn weapons bag. There we go. I'll take the crack a book. Oh, that's a lot of zombies there. Run! Here, a wolf somewhere. Oh boy, there he is. Run! <laughs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yes! Wait, is this what I think it is? Come around the front, yes! This is a, I think this is a nag, not a gamer gaming POI. I believe it is, look, there's a four by four stuck in the ground there. Yes, this is a really, really nice bookstore or, you know, library. You could, some would call it the library. Right, we are hurting bad on first aid. Let's uh, fix ourselves up a little bit and then I'll put some bandages into Mr. James. Ah, ride the wolf! I figure we're on a roll. Ride the mountain lion! Oh, he's a fast one. Yikes. Oh boy. Oh my god. Risky. Oh boy. Okay, not working. We gotta work on that skill. Alright, I think we're relatively clear now. Oh my god, another mountain lion. Okay, let's head into the library and see what this place is all about. See how it's changed here in Alpha. Whoa! Oh boy, I fell. And there's a freaking rat there. Oh, yikes. Oh, we're going loud and proud, baby. Get the grenades. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just, um, hopefully they blow up. Yikes, run. Is this working? I can't tell if it's working. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Another one. Okay, get a gun. We'll finish the rest with the bullets. Oh, M60's a lifesaver. Okay, main loot is here, I think. Still got a lot of zombies trying to beat their way down here. Let's get a quick reload in. OK, 
Okay, we're thirsty. Armor is uh, getting worn down a lot. Oh shit! They're uh, oh they're coming down through the floor from the first floor it seems. Okay, not exactly sure what we're dealing with here now. Let's go ahead and take an eye candy and we'll take a jailbreaker. Okay, I hear pounding up there. I don't know if they can get to me or not. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just open this stuff up and we'll deal with that later. There we go. We're in. Damn it! Wrong pair of glasses on again. All right, they're falling down now. Here we go. All right, seems very quiet now. I think we're good. Knives and swords, baby, look at that. 98. Arrow rest, that'll be good for that new bow that we found. Oh, another bear. Up we go and out. And up on the van for safety. What do we got? Weaken the bear and then, oh boy. Come on, baby. Yes. Ow. All right. I think we're pretty good now. Take a first aid kit. Wow. Well, I didn't even notice that trap there. <laughs> Apparently that's a thing. I do know that there's a ton of bookshelves in here and I think there was uh, something up there as well. I don't know if that's a hidden stash or what it is. Another great, ooh, crafting timed charges. That's a good find. And I think back here is the way that you're supposed to go to get down here, right here, yes. Oh, and look, sneaky stuff back here. Oh, good A-class drum mag. Another wall safe. Open. All right, so we're done down here. We're just off to the second floor where there are more zombies and more books. Oh, hello. Interrupting my reading. This is a place of peace and quiet. And we're up here, safe and sound. Not much else going on here. Very cool place. Let's get out of here. Aha, yes, we know where the loot is on that place. Is it cheating if I just go in there and get the main loot? I mean, it is very tempting, but uh, there's this place over here, which looks pretty cool too. I want to kind of check this place out. We'll check this place out. If there's a good loot here, we'll eat an eye candy and we'll run over there and we'll get the main loot off of that place again. Hello? Ooh, big church. Here, let's just corral them all up. Hello. Good morning, everyone. How many of y'all are in here anyway? Ow. Here, eat that. Oh, I might have got a couple in there with that. My sword is also about to break. And that takes an advanced repair kit to fix. So I might have to get the saw thingy out. Yep, that's broken. Uh-oh. Okay, got some mods onto the saw blade. We'll just, we're forced to use it. We'll have to do it. And we'll put everything else away. This seems to be the direction the POI wants you to go in. So I guess we'll check it out. See what's going on down here in the basement. Ha! Oh, lots of zombies down here. Oh, thanks, Mr. James. Appreciate that, man. Yikes. Wow. Take that and move in here. We got somebody outside. Ah, lockpicking skill not high enough yet again. Just get a freaking jailbreaker into me. First try. Ooh, not too bad either. A lot of zombies coming in from outside, though. I think we need to head upstairs and deal with that. Oh, look at him there. Here we go. Good opportunity here. That got a couple of them at least. Aha, yes, main loot here. Oh, just a tier one, damn. Okay, well, let's juice up with the eye candy and we'll run over and we'll hit that other little, uh, or not little, but like major tier five loot that's in the apartments. Lucky goggles on this time. I think that's it for this place. There it is right there. That's the door. Oh, it's just the lag. It's so intense when you get close to this place. There must be so many zombies in there. Anyway, open this up. I can, we can leave the freaking landmines there because I can't actually set wow! Oh man. 
That uh, complicates things a little bit. All right, we have returned. The question is, what are we gonna do from here? I don't exactly know the answer to that just yet. I am gonna grab my stuff. There's Kamikaze Steve there. Take him out. I'm certainly not gonna give up that easily, but we do need to prepare for a quick egress. So we'll grab everything out of here, stash everything back into here. See if I can take up the Dune Runner. What's the weight on that? 75, right? Oh, 757, oh, okay. Open the storage, put that in the back if we can. Can we? No, get rid of the plant fibers, put that in. Okay, we're good. I think it was, um, it must have been 75 when I bought it because um, there's some sort of code that allows you to buy it and carry it out of the trading compound, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. I do like that. So, okay, we got zombies in here still, I, I think, right? Can I, can I wake them up? Hello? There we go. Woke a few up. Here. Get ready. Mo, I don't have time for you. Are you all down here or what? Are you in here? Does that work at all? I do think that that worked. Yes, it worked. Now we should be safe to loot up, finally. Except uh, I lost all my buffs, so we'll have to now... Crap. Eat the last jailbreaker. Kill him, eat an eye candy, and open everything up. Okay, we're in. Lucky goggles on, see what we get. Oh, look at that compound crossbow, nice. I, did I just pull a, like a really nice steel helmet out of like some pile of clothing on the floor? <laughs> nice. With that, I think we are done. We have certainly pushed our luck far enough, so let's just get the hell out of here and go home. Oh boy, I never learned my lesson, do I? All right, everyone, I know you're up in the ceiling. Wake up. Oh boy. Grenade down the hatch. Zombie was hopping around on one leg. Let me down here. I know there's good loot. I'm in. Not terrible. Whoa, here we go. What can I say? I'm just a glutton for punishment. And with that, I think we are done. All right, finally made it back. Let's check on our ore extractor and stuff like that and see if these have produced anything good for us. So we just search it and we get eight zinc ore. I'm not exactly sure that um, I like that. That's uh, definitely not worth the investment. You better produce something better next time. The oil extractor produced uh, 52 oil shale, which is pretty much equally terrible, but at least we knew what we were getting out of that one. All right, we're all organized again at the base, and I thought I would just review some of the highlights for you. This is everything we got that we can sell, which is really nice because we just emptied the cell chest this uh, yesterday morning before we left. We did get the saw blade, the A-class compound bow, but that's overshadowed by the A-class compound crossbow, so we'll have to switch those over. Couple of good mods, a good steel helmet. We've got the R90, which fires the 5.56. We can start using that on Horde Knight. And that's a submachine gun too, so we're specced into that. We'll have to compare the UMP to the R90 and see which one we want to upgrade further, if if any. And uh, yes, yeah, just a mod or two. All right, so I'm gonna get the kit organized and I will get a plan going for tomorrow. Probably what we're gonna work on tomorrow is getting the parking pier built up and doing some work on the Horde base. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And wow, that was uh, quite an eventful morning, mostly just mining, but also fighting screamer hordes and getting my ass kicked a little bit. <laughs> In fact, we need to... Well, we got a sprained arm or leg or something, and uh, we have fatigue, so we gotta get some vitamins. Vitamins? Oh my god, I can hear zombies. This might be a horde. Let's just take steroids right now and suck down some water. Mineral water and some yucca juice. And let's just get on the ground level and see what this is. Oh yes, it's a horde and it's going right straight into the drink. No, 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 none of that. We're gonna play with the new titanium sledgehammer today. Oh, I'm getting, <laughs> getting beat up already. Yeah, I gotta get used to the timing on this. There we go, that's better. Where'd the rest of you go? Come out of the water. Did you all go into the water? Let's go check on things in here. Oh yes, 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 yes. Here they come. All right, we'll defend the beaches. Get the fuck out of here. Yep, oh, I broke something. <laughs> Great. Put a cast on it, whatever it is. We're working on our pain tolerance too. That's uh, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right, let's get back in here. We're gonna do some work here in just a little bit on the parking pier. Got a couple design things I, uh, in mind for that. So let's just get this parked back over. Ooh, tight quarters in here. <laughs> Maybe not the most well thought out design I've ever done in my life, but uh, it'll look nice in the end. Yeah, that actually might need to be tabled for a little while because we need to make... Well, we have like 200 and something shapes, I think. But uh, yeah, we definitely just need to get the forges rolling. So give me a minute to get all this stuff fired up. Okay, everything's cooking there. And I should have some shapes over here in the artisan table. I do. So we'll grab those down. We're not over encumbered. We're not really hungry or thirsty. Still recovering a little bit, but uh, that should be fine. Oh, I made some time charges. Those should be sitting right there. Thank you very much. I'll take those. And in terms of the nine mil, uh, what do I want to roll with? I like rolling with the AP. That helps if we're running into like armored zombies or, you know, soldiers, things like that. We are certainly going to need another well. Um, I need a bucket to craft that. I know that for sure. So maybe try to get that going. Can't do a bucket because I don't have the iron plates. Can't do the iron plates because I don't have the iron. So yeah, anyway, work on that. And then we'll have to work on steel and we'll have to continue working on shapes. But for now, we can get started on construction over here. So, okay, what I'm thinking here is that uh, we have to kind of dig this into the earth. We need to dig a support down, I don't know, maybe like right about there. I think that'll work here. Bring this up because I'm gonna make like, um, you know, we're gonna stick with like the architecture style here, the brutalism it's called. So I wanna make like a support going diagonally out like that, but at like a 60 degree angle. So I wanna start it right there because it's gonna be really, really long, I think, if I'm uh, doing the math right on that. Uh, and it, and the, I don't want the pier to go too, too far because then it wouldn't be structurally stable. So we have to strike that balance there. Okay, this is the spot right here, dig that. Another pillar of support here, and then I can knock this pillar out entirely. I got a screamer somewhere. Oh, I just got a glimpse of her too. Oh boy. Oh, she's going up the ladder. There she is. Oh, this thing is so inaccurate. I think she's dead though. I got the XP for the kill, so yeah. We're gonna be dealing with that for quite a while. The forges are gonna be running for like the next 40 minutes or something. This one over here, we gotta get our scuba on a little bit. That'll do. All right, Mr. James, I need you to come over here and park your ass for a little bit. Stay here, and I'll probably forget about you, so I'll be back probably in a couple days to find you. <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to need a couple of different shapes here, so we'll just kind of spread them out over the inventory, just like that. And so here's what I'm thinking here. We're going to need some of the wedge 60 shapes, and it looks like we'll start with the, the incline block like that, then one that way, one that way, and then we repeat all the way out and we'll pair the platform up with these supports eventually. So far so good. I'm gonna need a little bit of a ladder here though. Okay, and just when we're getting some structural stability issues is when I will start dragging this over from the side. And does that match up? Oh, it does perfectly, nice. Uh-oh. And the last little bit right 
there, right. And that's going to have to go all the way across to form like the lip, the edge of the platform. Yeah, looking real good. I like that a lot. I'm not sure exactly how structurally stable it is. Once I get it all built, I think I'll probably turn on the stability mode and check and find out. But for now, let's get the other side done. All right, I just pulled up the remaining frames. Should be all set over here now. Let's just check on it. Uh, looks pretty good. I got an airdrop over there. That should be in the wasteland. If we check the map, hopefully it's not in the ocean. Yes, it's in the wasteland, so that'll be nice. Pick that up later. There is a screamer over here being a bit of a nuisance. She wasn't bothering me too much, so I just left her to it. I don't know if she's in the pit or where she is, but we need to take care of this. I think she is in the pit. Are you stuck down in the pit? Oh, you're stuck. No, no. You're stuck in the freaking electric fence trap area? How did you even get in there? Oh, man. This is, um... This design, some, something about it is just not working out too well, but it's a, it's a little bit late. So what I've thought about doing to fix this is like digging out the underside of this uh, floor right here. So that if the zombies do teleport through the floor, there would be like an area underneath where they could crawl their way back out with like a crawl space underneath the, the floor there. And with an exit similar to this, but um, perhaps maybe over on this side or maybe link up some sort of an exit so that zombies can walk out of there i don't know if it's even worth it to do that but um or just you know just let them beat down there like whatever just continue throwing molotovs down there and that usually it seemingly takes care of the the zombies that do teleport down in there but anyway let's get back to work over here how are we doing on shapes um not the worst however running low so we're gonna need wedge 60s oh boy yes so this is how big the pier is going to be, eventually. Yep, so I'm not, not exactly sure here what the best move is at this point. Okay, we need to span that across. We also need to uh, do this. We need to like get the platform across, but we only have these two supports on bedrock. So let's get, let's get like a third one just for now. I don't wanna use up all my shapes, but I do wanna kind of get a sense of how this is going to feel in terms of stability. Yeah, that'll do for now. I know it's not even, but we'll, we'll fill all this in eventually. Not running into any stability issues so far, and we're almost done with the regular cube shapes. So that's it right there. Then we just copy shape and rotation on this, and drag this across. Then same thing with the wedge tips here. Starting to get a little bit of a yellow outline, so it's definitely not perfect, but it should be just fine. That, that, that should hold, no issues at all. Now, okay, let's mark this, and we'll mark it over here because I want a, a sort of overhang. I think what I will end up doing is turning the roof of this into a helipad. I don't know, this is kind of to be determined. I haven't really thought this all through yet. But yeah, we're gonna need to extend the pillar up here and connect it across from there. <laughs> Not looking too good on shapes, although I have like 1500 bricks crafting again. And so from here, what we could do is just um, rebuild that element right there. Uh, or wait, what are we gonna do here? Uh, oh, yes, night nightfall. So um, I'm I'm not sure. I think that's that's probably it for now. Let's maybe see if with the remaining shapes, if we can just get like a railing put in or at least started. Yeah. So from right here, I don't, I'm not really worried about any zombies being able to get up in here. So I'm gonna like wall this in on this side, and maybe put like a window in, and we'll probably do some trim work similar to what we did here to kind of give it more dimension, but certainly we want a fairly large helipad. So we'll have to figure out how far we want to like extend the roof over this way, maybe using like the same style of support we used there on the bottom. To be determined when I have more shapes though. So for now, let's just get the railing put in as much as possible. That's it, that's the pier right there. Now we can pull forward. We should have plenty of parking space here I mean, what we could even do is like, kind of put them in diagonally like this so we can like pull out any vehicle at a time. Then the third vehicle right there. Yeah, I mean, we could squeak in quite a few vehicles in here. I like it. And we're gonna need to turn some of that iron into a seven by four door, which also, wait a minute. Screamer. So one, two, and then a pillar here. I'm just leaving these as plywood right here because I'm gonna pull those up eventually and we're gonna just make one solid like pad, kind of like that. We'll have to dig some of this stuff out, it looks like. But yeah, something like that straight across and then we'll put a ramp like 
right here, like a ramp going in and then left or right and uh, a bridge going across and maybe ladders going up. It's gonna be a pretty cool looking base eventually. But for now, let's head back upstairs and see what we can get started on for crafting. Uh, I have plans to, to make a lot of more of uh, these spikes traps and putting them in various locations like at the base of the ladders and uh, some here on the top. And I'm gonna knock that one out unless I can pick. Yeah, I've been trying to pick it up, but it's not letting me pick it up. So I'll have to break that one out. And I am actually going to orient one facing down because I don't actually think that was doing anything at all during the Horde Night. And I want to put one also at the very, very top of this tower pointed down. So uh, three blocks high up here pointing down so that the zombies get another stab when they're going up here. But in order to do that, we're going to need lots of gears. Gears need steel, also need forged iron. So let's get some of this stuff up and get started on all of that. I'm going to just run out here and check on the extractors. I heard them stop, so presumably they're, they're all filled up with something. Hopefully something good this time. I have read in some of y'all's comments that the ore extractor is not working very well for you either. Oh, see, it just gives you like this smattering of random garbage that you don't need. You should be able to... Uh, I wish you could set it somehow to like what you want to extract or I don't know. I mean that would uh, I don't know. It's just uh, it's, it's not not perfect and that's only producing like 50 a day. Uh, hang on. How much does gas take? One gas can takes 20. So this is producing on the order of two and a half like jerry cans of gas a day, which actually that ain't half bad. I mean if you're consistent about harvesting it up and stuff. All right, so for the remainder of the night, I'm just gonna tend the forges and get steel crafted and things like that, and we'll pick things up in the morning. All right, good morning, everyone. So I'd say we're just about ready to get started here for the day on construction. So let's just make sure, okay, we have fuel for the Valkyrie drill. We're gonna need that to grind out some blocks. Got the wire tool, got the nail gun, and I should probably get some repair and building material just in case we need it. Uh, also lots and lots of concrete mix now. Very, very heavy. <laughs> I love the weight system in this game. It, you really have to kind of plan it out, think it through. We're working on some iron here, we're working on some iron plates here. Yes, just give me those plates for now. And that way I can get these spike straps going up here. A couple more. What are we short on? We're short on iron plates. I should have enough uh, otherwise to do that. So let's just uh, wait and get one more going. All right, that should be enough right there. One more, grab that, get the grenades in the inventory. Just have one for now, we're rolling on three more, meaning we'll need another three after that. Hopefully we have another 60 or so plates rolling in there. Yes, it'll be a few minutes and we'll head back and we'll grab the rest of those. Jump up here, knock this out. Okay, those uh, interestingly and, and very nicely have uh, 5,000 hit points. So the same as the reinforced or this is the regular concrete block. In fact, I do need to get some shapes in order to replace the ones that I'm knocking out today. And uh, I guess I'll just grab a whole bunch, although that'll encumber me a lot. So not that many. There we go. Okay, plug that back in and out here with the other spike strap that I have. Bring that down. Right, we want to orient this in such a way that it points directly down on top of the zombies. So how about... I like the red facing out like that. So how about like that? And then on the top, whoa, that was close. On the top, we don't necessarily want the zombies to be able to like act, even accidentally jump over like that. So we need to think of something to prevent that. And I'm thinking, oh shoot, we got another block here to knock out. Oh, Valkyrie Jewel does much, much better on the concrete though. Look at that, nice. Okay, I'm thinking, I don't even want to put a ramp there because Zombies can land on ramps and that would just uh, that's exactly what we do not want to happen. So how about We just go straight to the top. I think Yeah, straight straight up. Yes <laughs> it, It's like it's gonna be like a rhinoceros horn coming off of here <laughs> uh, Anyway, that should be okay for now. We will dress that up and hopefully make that look better. But uh, in terms of functionality for tomorrow night, I think that will do just fine. Where was I pulling power off? Uh, probably off that right there to this. Oh, Screamer, hello. Yes, no, am I crazy? Oh, no. 
Oh, good. Got a headshot. This is actually going to be perfect because this is going to be how we end up having to kind of span across so that we can get the spikes trap that points down at the zombies over here. So it's just a matter of kind of sorting out exactly how that's going to work. I I'm imagining having to carve out some of these blocks to make like one big old kind of like horn, like a freaking rhinoceros beetle horn that goes <laughs> over the top of the ladder. Okay, I suppose though we'll just get the framework done for it now out of brick and then, you know, whatever. If we have to change it later, we got the Valkyrie drill. So we got to go one more there and then start spanning across and that's it. And then this is going to be a spot for a spike trap pointing straight down. I think a lot of the zombies anyway, when they come up, they just kind of do like a little bit of a diagonal. They don't actually like, for the most part, stand right here. And they could crouch, so if there's like a demo uh, or white uh, being kind of tall, they might get a little bit stuck there. I don't think that they will, but certainly a possibility. And then they should just crawl right down and hopefully get stabbed on the way. They'll get stabbed here. And we've got to put some more stabby things down here. So three spots I want to put in spike straps are right at the base of the ladders. And those will all be pointing up, so we're going to have to knock out the base of the ladders as well. Okay, how are we looking there? Yep, upgrade that. Uh, that does need to be upgraded, really. So yes, we'll have four or three pointing up here, and then I want to put... Um, what was I going to do? I was going to put two more down here at the base of this ladder. I'm pretty sure zombies, they can still climb up on a ladder, just like, you know, just like we can. They just crawl right up to it, right? They don't need the ladder to be connected to the ground. So we'll do that, and I, I suppose you could do it so that they're pointing outward, but uh, then there would be two faces that are exposed to zombies, so I'm just gonna put it on the ground here, pointing up, so that there is only one face that's uh, available to be hit by explosions or whatever. There is a screamer coming. Let's see if I can just grind this out before she gets to me. Okay, head up. Where are you? There she is. Oh, I shot the tree down with a 9 mil. Man, it is busy today with screamers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, we have we need six more traps. Okay, so we've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and just for the sake of it, go ahead and repair that up and strengthen all of the blocks that I can see from here. Then last one right there. Now we just got to figure out a way to hook these all up, and that should be pretty easy from that one to this one. A little bit of a wire protrusion there. Doesn't bother me too much. In fact, there are lots of wire protrusions everywhere. I'm not the best at wiring, I'll admit that. Uh, however, I'm not going to string wires over to this. So we'll have to figure something out over here. You wire that one up. Yeah, that's better. Don't need that anymore. Or these. There, that looks a little bit better. As for these ones, I guess we could string them right off of the lights. I think that works. Okay, everything's connected to power. I'm not sure if we have enough power to run everything, so let's do a dry run right now. Turn on. Oh, yeah. Still looking really good. Yeah, I and mean, these are powered. They're not, like, power on demand, really, so that's good. Okay, we need more electric fences because uh, something happened to that one over there. Presumably, zombie got stuck inside. It's quite unfortunate that this keeps happening, happening, and it's happening to, like, different fences each time. Luckily, not too much of a chore to get these fixed up. Not even 100% sure that this is working. So I'm, I'm working on the design for the horde base for the next series. And I did some testing where, you know, where zombies get electrocuted or even they take damage from blade traps and things like that. And it doesn't seem to actually shut off their, um, their destroy or destroy, what do they call it? Rage mode or destroy block mode, destroy area mode, where they just go into the mode where they start destroying blocks closest to them instead of targeting the player. So yeah, I mean, I, I did some testing a long time ago when I did the Bedrock video, and it, it did seem to work, but that was purely subjective. I wasn't actually looking at the zombie AI code, and um, I, this most recently, this morning, when I was doing some testing, I was looking at the zombie AI code, and zombies were taking shock damage, and then, like, you know, 
wandering off a little bit and then destroying blocks. So uh, this might not be working at all. It might be working. I'm not sure. At least it's doing a little bit of extra damage and that's all that really counts, I guess. I mean, at the end of the day, that is why we have the pit down here. This is meant to take damage. This has no structural integrity at all. So uh, it doesn't matter what breaks down here. Demos could go off. I suppose it would be kind of bad if like a lot of this stuff here got destroyed. Yeah, these are all reasonably important blocks. In fact, now that I'm uh, now that I mention it, probably a good idea to kind of put some shielding on this, don't you think? So there's some good blocks to do that with too. I just gotta find them. Yeah, these ones right here. Uh, what? No, which ones am I looking for? Um, plate ramp corner outside. So can I do that in like a plate? Oh yeah. So you can't put a block directly on that. So okay, that's one of the shapes that I want. What I want here, I just want a, a plate, I think, and then I want this one on the corner there. Yes, that's it. So plate, 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 and then I need a plate ramp. Plate ramps on the sides like this, and then the plate corner ramp outside, I think it was, just like that, just to kind of give it a nice sleek looking uh, shielding here on the outside. That way if demos do go off in here, they're not going to mess with the structural integrity too much of the, um, the ladder going up. So yes, upgrade these. Nice. And that also kind of shields in the, um, spike traps over there too. Right. So now to close things out, I think we need to kind of do the same thing where we put some shielding on the outside of this. Very, very thin shielding. You know what they need to do in the shapes menu? They need to like give you the option to set a favorite so that you can just have your own favorites tab. That would be a really nice addition. Sometimes I swear to God, these things move. Like <laughs> I think I know where I'm supposed to find it, but it's not there. Okay, so that's uh, basically all I got for you right now. Let's get a side view and see if that looks good from like a side profile. And... Uh, not bad. We got zombies over here. No, nope, we just got Mr. James thrashing around. All right, I, f I remembered you. Come on with me again. Oh, we do have zombies. Hello. The zombies in the lake again. Oh yeah, they're coming up from the deep now. Ow. Increasing my sledgehammer skill, which does remind me I did have a skill point from earlier today when we were mining, so we do need to spend that. Let's do another into submachine guns. So we have, since we have such a um, such a good selection there of good, like a we got a 5.56 submachine gun with the R90. We've got a 10 mil submachine gun. Uh, this is basically a submachine gun, <laughs> even though it's a pistol. I mean, 29 rounds and it's fully automatic. Come on now. Yeah. So just need to replace that with brick, and I think we're all set. All right, so that all is good to go. Remains to be seen whether I want to do anything more with it, because what we could do is like make it into a long spiky thing coming outside, or we could go up and over and then back down for added support. I think I just would like to see how it functions on Horde Knight, and then we'll we'll kind of figure out the aesthetic of it, the permanent aesthetic later on. But yeah, I think we are finally good here. All the building projects that I wanted to get done today are done. Still a lot to do. We just have to stock up on some more materials to do it. Aha, look at that, 370 more shapes. So we could do some more building, but I'm itching to kind of get outside and see the world a little bit. So that is what we will do. What do we have going on right now anyway? Do we have any quests to turn in? Let's just check the journal. Couple of treasure maps, I believe. Aren't both of those in the ocean? Where are those? We have a tr uh, op opening trade routes way out there. Jennifer's treasure way down there. Also down there in the ocean. Let's uh, let's hop in the vehicle, grab up that airdrop, head over to the treasure map, go to the opening trade routes, and see if there's anything interesting to do in between. All right, coming up on the airdrop here. Got probably a dog chasing me, so let's just be quick about this. Uh, you know what? We could now nah, we only have two eye candies. I was supposed to say we could do this and we could go dig up that treasure very, very quickly, but nah. We'll just do the lucky goggles. Nothing ever good in these airdrops anyway. And today is no different. Even in the wasteland, I'm getting fucking baked potatoes. Ah, I do have a loot bag up here, and this is in the wasteland. Might get something good out of that. Generally just ammo though. Usually get ammo and then maybe a couple of other things. And today is no different. Ah, uh, you know what would be a good one to do today is the freaking Eiffel Tower. I've been itching to get up there and see what's going on and get the the view from up top, hopefully. So yeah, let, let's make that the plan. Oh, what is this place? 
Whoa, that is a big building. Power records. Move it. I'm gonna drag his face across the asphalt. Mm, there we go. Oh, interestingly, uh, oh, you son of a bitch. Let's just take this real quick. Yes, I want this flag. Take the flag. <laughs> we'll set that up at the base. Whoa, holy cow. I'm getting out of here. Yes, here we are right in the middle of the road, it looks like. Lovely. Aha, there it is. And not able to pick it with the bobby pins, but I can use the regular lock picks, of which I only have three because I used auto pick and I broke like 25 lock picks, I think yesterday. Oh boy, it's not looking good here either. No, I got it. And what do we get here? Some handgun parts, probably the most valuable thing in there. Nice. Yes, okay. Um, Opening trade routes. Should we do that? Or should we just head to the Eiffel Tower? It is getting kind of late, so let's do Eiffel Tower. Oh, yes, trader. Oh, that's we've been there before. We've seen that trader. Uh, I didn't step inside because I found him in the middle of the night. Uh, but in fact, actually, let's go check out that trader right there. That way we can just uh, check him off the list and see if there's anything interesting here for sale. And then we'll just hustle over to that uh, Eiffel Tower and see if we can catch the view. Hello, hello. We've got, uh, ooh, Ethan. Hello, Ethan. Master Armor here for the Order of Steel. He does have some books I'd like to buy as well yes. as that SMG auto turret. So go ahead and put the right glasses on and suck down that sugar butt I bought a minute ago. Give me the books, give me the SMG turret, and uh, the advanced repair kits, I suppose I could just do those myself. Oh, as for Trader Joel here, he's got some handgun parts, just talking about those. And it looks like that'll do it for these guys. Any goodies in here? Another sugar butt to top us off there. Couple of jailbreakers, they'll take a couple of those. Rockbuster, sure. And every trader compound has a muni or two munitions boxes, is what I've heard. So I have to hunt around here, see if I can find them. Aha, here's one. Oh, look at that. S-Class Bunker Buster mod. And sneak my way over to that bookcase there for one piece of paper. Oh, here's the other one. A little bit more ammo. Okay. And check that out. Sliding blast door, basic sensors, and some parts and stuff. Working forge there, and I believe with that, I think we're pretty much out of here. Is this working? No, it's destroyed. Take some charcoal out of it. Collapsed workbench. Ooh, six oil. Not bad there. And a little bit of concrete mix. Yep, I think we're good here. Oh, but look at that. I just pulled out ooh, an aviation engine. Do you think I really need that? And uh, some stuff there. Get out of here. Okay, so now we are off to the Eiffel Tower. Here we are, rolling up on the spot. Not sure how to get in here. It looks, oh, right over here, I think. Not sure what tier of a POI this is gonna turn into, but uh, I would imagine probably at least a four. Of course, you know, I'm kind of predicting that it's gonna be mostly tower and not so much like, uh, you know, dungeon crawl. Work on our sledgehammer skill here. Ow! Work on our pain tolerance skill as well. Always working on my skills. Oh, jeez. Okay, yes. Gotta work on my timing there, I think. Oh, indeed. Yeah, in fact... Oh, lots of... Uh, was, that, was that a rad that I just saw? Oh, several of them. Great. I guess we're just gonna wake everyone up. Wake up, everybody! Can I do, a, like, a sneaky trick where I jump up here? Oh, I can. I'm such a cheese mongrel. Would you all care to cluster up while I'm up here? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna run out of stamina doing this. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, run! Ah! Okay, get the guns out. Oh shit, this might be like a tier 5 with all these freaking ferals. Alright, we're getting there. Okay, <laughs> off to a great start so far. Hopefully there's some good loot here somewhere to kind of offset the risk. Good loot right there. Scrap shovel. <laughs> I take that back. All right, we do still have the katana, so I do have a decent melee weapon that we are specced into if we have to. Plus, we have a couple levels to go on knives and blades, so 
I would like to max that out eventually, you know, I'm not too worried about that. It'll probably be the only skill that we max out in this whole playthrough by the right things are going. All right, so did some of you, oh, I was thinking that maybe some people came from up here, but no, there's lots of zombies up here. And it is about to be nightfall. Did I bring any covert cats with me? I did, and skull crushers. Just take both of those. Ah, doing pretty good so far. Woke one guy up. You shush. Ah, another one. Ah, I woke everybody up now. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. James. Hooking me up. All right, back to sneaking. Damn, that skull crusher made a big difference there. Ooh, covert cat's not quite hooking me up there with the one-shot kill. All right, was there any good loot in here? Or are we just, oh my God, the chickens. They're everywhere, wow. Kentucky Fried Human? <laughs> Is that like the movie that's playing or something? Okay, officially nightfall. Couple zombies making their way in from outside, it looks like. Ooh, that was a contact grenade schematic there. Hold on. Definitely read that, and these are just the ones that we bought. Some batter up books and stuff like that. I figure I'm turning myself into a collector, try to max out all the series. I know you guys like it when we try to collect everything. Okay, that appears to be it for this place. Is there uh Oh, is there a continued shaft going up though? I hope that there is. I want to see what it's like on the top. Oh. Woke some zombies up from somewhere though. I'm just going to give them a minute. Oh, here we go. Now look at that, already up to level five, just in one day. Let's have a little bit of fun and go lights out. Full stealth mode. Yep, oh geez, I woke somebody up. Are you kidding me? I'm being super stealthy. Oh geez, they're having a hard time here. Let's just see if we can chop them down. Ow, ow! Yeah, this is not working. We need guns. Why are there so many bikers? Okay, we're gonna have to go loud. I got sneak damage on that guy, are you kidding me? Well, the rest appear to be sleeping, if there are any more. What do we got up here? Uh, ooh, got a uh, gun safe over there. Is that it? Are we good here? I freaking hate night vision. Let's take those off, put the lights back on. So the night vision goggles are actually an eyewear in this, which is pretty cool. Working vending machine here, skull crushers, eye candy, rock busters, all the good stuff. And that one's broken, so we'll dismantle it. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't really see a ladder or anything going up, or stairs at least. So, ooh, more vending machines. Wow. I suppose we're ready to loot up up here. Was there a main loot? Is there a chest anywhere here? Oh, there's one. Just a tier three, which, you know, now that we're done with it, I think it's appropriate. Oh, level 100. I guess we're blowing this one up. Shotgun book. Read that. Last little bit here. Ooh, the exotic alloy kit. Right. I got the schematic for that a while back, but I forgot all about it. Damage to the undead plus 17%. My goodness, that is a really good mod, and it's a, a class C, so I am glad that we found it instead of crafting it, because I would have probably wasted a bunch of resources trying to get it upgraded. Now, we don't have very far to go to get that up to S class. That must be probably the best mod in the game, I would say. Here, let's just modify this and take off the structural brace and slap on that exotic alloy. Oh no, oh, probably it does not stack with the rad remover, I would say, is that right? Yeah, there we go. That gives us a bunch more damage with the Warhammer here. In terms of the view, it, it sucks up here, quite honestly, because we have this stupid, greasy, bulletproof glass in our way, and seemingly no way to get outside without, you know, carving through stuff. So I guess we're all good here. All right, so the only thing left to do now is just to head home and get ready for tomorrow. We'll make some final preparations to the base and we will fight the Horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And tonight is Horde Night, and so to get ready, I think we're we're pretty much good to go. I just want to actually get some paint and start painting the base. See if we can get it dressed up a little bit for some of those cinematic shots. And just checking to see if I see any hordes around here. I don't see anything really going on. So let's see what this is going to take here. Paint. 
It's going to take uh, cans. Ooh, murky water. That's a problem. And resin. Also oil, which is a bummer. Oh, man. God, this is kind of hard to make, actually. Okay, so let's see if we can do the cans, and then we'll have to see if we can get the well crafted. So cans take uh, iron plates for 20 of them. And uh, how many cans are we going to need? Uh, well, we only had like 30 goldenrod flowers. Okay, so let's just get... Oh, but it took like five each. So let's just get like 25 of these crafting and a bucket after that. And we are also going to need an iron shovel. Right, had a couple of other things here. The American flagpole and the SMG turret. The flagpole. Flagpole can go... I, I don't know. I'm just going to put it down there for now. There we go. Yeah, in terms of this, I actually need to knock some of this stuff out because I I want to kind of make this look better eventually, but we need to decide if it's even worth it to have this monstrosity on the base tonight during the horde. So uh, just for now, let's, uh, let's just, oh geez, let's just leave it for now and we'll kind of decide what to do with it later. But I want to replace this and I can't pick that up. Are you kidding me? Is there... You know, I was wondering if um, if maybe what I have to do is disconnect it from power and then maybe I can pick it up. So disconnect. I still can't pick this up. That's that's bad. That's got to be some kind of a bug. Oh, geez. Uh, I've just, is there just something I'm doing wrong or? Yeah, there's no option here to pick up. Um, oh, boy. I don't really know what to do here. Well, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to break this down. And then I'm going to totally cheat myself in a new one. Because I feel like that's a bug. I feel like that is an unintended... Like, why couldn't you... I can pick up the American flagpole, but I can't pick up a freaking shotgun turret. Like, that's ridiculous. Come on now. So hopefully that gets patched out or... or <laughs> you know, there really is no justification there in my opinion. So yeah, that needs to get fixed. So... Anyway, we'll pretend that didn't even happen. We'll even turn creative mode back off. And uh, let's see here. So I want to put shotgun turrets like around here somewhere so that they can shoot at zombies coming up. Like I'm ready. I'm committed now. We're going to start shooting zombies with traps more. And so I'll put one there, I think. And then eventually another one over there. And then we'll just put the SMG turret up on the roof because uh, I think, what is the SMG turret going to use? Probably, probably nine mil is what I would guess, but maybe 10 mil. I'm not exactly sure. And one way I could do it is I could put it out here facing that way, but I feel like things out here are subject to explosions. And so I'd rather put it right back here. In fact, we'll put it way, way, way back over here. There we go. Just even tuck it in right there. And uh, what is that going to take? Uh, that looks like 10 mil, which is kind of unfortunate because I'd... Or was it going to take 44? I think it was 10 mil. Here, grab that. Slap in that 10 mil. Okay, turn that on and we'll get that connected. So what I'm going to do is just take it off of the timer relay. No, 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 no. I want to take it off the generator so that it's on all the time. Just in case there's ever a bird swooping by, it'll just get shot. We don't ever have to worry about it being off. Okay. That's all set up and just string off of this for the shotgun turret and replace those shotgun bullets. I figure most likely we're not going to be really be using the shotgun as much anymore and we have a ton of shotgun ammo. So might as well use it somehow and we'll use it in the turrets. Okay, should be ready to get the well crafted. Grab up all this stuff. There's the well. Craft that. And while the well is crafting, I think it's probably best to go out and do some tree chopping to get that resin that we were needing. So we'll swing over here, and the best way that I know of to do that is to chop with the axe a little bit. And then you get the sword out for the final bit. And that should give you a good pile of resin there at the end. There we go, 197 in that one. All right, that is a ton of resin. That should do us over for a good long while. And check out the condition on the Dune Runner, man. That thing is about to blow up. So before we lose that, we're gonna have to probably use one of the advanced repair kits on it. In fact, I think I only have one. Maybe worth checking and seeing. Well, it, it, it would be a pretty big chore, I think, to drag it over to the repair bench, but we'll try that out anyway and see if we can do it. Not exactly sure yet uh, what the cost is gonna be. So look, I can just uh, take it up here and then enter this, just drag and drop it in there, and I can move over here where the resources are. And okay, I can repair it, requiring uh, steel, you know, just regular stuff it looks like, versus advanced repair kit, which, um, 
requires some titanium, uh, but less of like the steel and the iron and stuff like that. But otherwise, seemingly like um, a similar cost, I guess I would say. Just uh, just different materials, for more or less. Okay, so repair that up. Place you back down out here, and I'm gonna have to do that again. Take and place. There we go. All right, there is the well right there. We need to find a safe spot to put that this time. Uh oh. Ah, uh, we're good. And I'm just gonna like just drag it way, way out here. This seems to be like very far away from where the zombies spawn in on Horde Night, and so I'm not too worried about anything happening to it as long as it's way out here. So pop that down. And that is going to take a while, two minutes per bottle, but it'll help us replenish our stock of murky water and that will be needed to make paint. So that means that the bottleneck is still the murky water and we're going to have to wait that one out a little bit. Oh, we got snow though. We can turn snow into murky water, I think. Just get some extra jars. There's some murky water right there. We'll need that. And I do believe that is it. I used all the plastic bottle murky water to make glue and all. I don't know where all the glass murky water went. Oh, I, we used the glass murky water to make bottle murky water. <laughs> all right. What are we doing here? We need to go to the fireplace, I think, to make the murky water in the from the snowballs. So, okay, let's try that out. I don't know if, how long that's going to take. I think it's quite a while, actually. Ooh, wow. 37 minutes. And that'll use up all the snow, but might as well get started on that then. That's... what is that going to be? That's 500, which I know is not going to be enough. That's not going to go very far at all. We could just briefly go on like a mini raid and see if we could just get into a house nearby and, you know, get the loot and also grab up all the murky water inside. So we'll hop in the buggy here and uh, what is the... <laughs> The most wet looking house around here. Obviously you want to do something in the wasteland, preferably anyway. There's that house right there. I don't think I've done that, but that's just burned biome there. So we'll head down this way. Oh, you know what we'll do? We're going to hop into the quiet pines right here. There should be plenty of places in here that have water. Here we go. Oh crap, I ran out of ammo for the nine mil. Oh boy, I didn't bring all the right ammo types. Oh well. Oh, I found some dogs. Ha <laughs> ha Oh boy, what have I done? All right, that takes care of that problem. Ah, snake. And we're good. I wonder if I just happened in here to the main loot house. This is the main loot house. Oh, hello there, Thomas. Just straight ferals in here. I don't like that. Oh, yes. Bad. Guess I will check that loot bag while I'm right here. Oh, look at that. Nice auger. Good stuff. Yeah, so this is the house here that has the main loot down inside here. Locked. Can I pick that by any chance? Not at the moment. It's okay. I'm really not interested in the main loot right this second. I'd rather get some water out of this house here. Yes, this is what I'm looking for right here. Except there's no freaking water in here anywhere. None at all, damn it. What about an upstairs bathroom? Any in here? None in there. Any in that toilet? Get out of the way here. Yes, there's three in this toilet. Grab that. Ah, jeez, got smacked. Oh, we got greenies. Uh-oh, yes, just downstairs, please. If we can max out our sword skill today. Ow. Another freaking rat in here. Yikes. Oh boy. Another one. Ah. Dead. Ah, can't pick that one either. Freaking lockpicking. I hate lockpicking. Yeah, I think that does it for this place. I do want to check out the main loot down there. Kind of spoiling the uh, the surprise if we're ever to like clear this out as a quest. But honestly, it's uh, it's not the most exciting place. Just like it's five houses and or uh, what is it? Maybe like nine houses. And they're all pretty much the same as this one. And this is where all the action is down here. So you pick that open. I'm not sure if there are zombies down here. I don't remember. That's locked as well. Oh dear. Come on now. There we go. Who's in here? Uh, lots of people. Oh, so I was hoping that was super corn. That's just regular corn. Here, close that. Get my grenades out. And if I just put a grenade there, is it going to stay there? Light it, open, run. Uh, not sure if that worked at all, but it was fun. Anybody else down there? Couple. All 
Are we good? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Here's some loot. Here, just blow that up. Tired of picking locks today. There we go. Now, is there a chest? I don't really remember if there is or where it was or even if I'm in the right spot. Ooh, there's a uh, gun safe there. Well, I don't actually think this is the main loot. It's a good loot, but I don't think it's like, uh, it's certainly not like a tier five chest. This is a tier five POI. Well, anyway, I'll just take an eye candy for the hell of it. Yep, nothing special here really at all. Nope. Oh my God, it's a solar array. Oh, I can't take it with me though, damn it. Yeah, otherwise, I know that there's just a ton, ton of zombies out here. Ooh, there's a munitions box there. I might just check that out. I know that there's a lot of zombies here, too. Hello, everyone. Ah! Give me my super running speed. There we go. Just get out of here. <laughs> just run. No need to bother with all those zombies. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a whole big-ass horde just hanging out right on the doorstep. Oh boy, that's uh, not where I want to park, really. Come on, come on. Oh, I just fixed this thing, guys. Leave me alone. I think that's it. You know, speaking of the hordes, I've mentioned it a couple times, but I think that there's something wrong with them right now because they're not, they're no longer containing any ferals. I haven't seen any cops, I haven't seen any um, uh, radiated zombies either, and so I don't know why they're just spawning in regular old zombies. I did increase the Wandering Horde size a little bit, so they should be a little bit larger. But uh, yeah, it's twofold. One, they, they seem to be bugging out a lot where they just kind of linger in one spot. And two, they're just, they're too soft and too easy. So on my own time, I have been sort of making a little bit of a mod. I want to make it so, number one, the wandering hordes are bigger. Okay, not too bad. I got some iron ore there. Uh, I, and I also want to make a mod where things like mutated zombies and zombie bears come in at, at Horde Night. Now, that's not going to be for this series, but for the next series, I do want to have that, that personal mod that I'm making finished. Uh, I've played multiple mods in the past that increase wandering horde size and difficulty and stuff like that. And, uh, of course, on Darkness Falls, they do have mutated zombies during Horde Night, and I thought that was really fun. So I'm going to make my own little mod, and I'll release that to y'all when it's finished. Uh, still doing a lot of testing with it, but um, I want to hopefully make it so that, it, that there are massive sort of scaling wandering hordes and then just more dangerous zombies at Horde Night, and that demos show up during Horde Night sooner than Game Stage 150, which is generally like day 60 or something in a playthrough. So, so yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, I was just taking a minute there to get the loadout set for tonight. Uh, I don't think we need a whole lot. We basically carry everything that we need on us on a daily basis now, so I'm not too concerned about it. We're going to be rolling with the R90 and the Golconda only, as well as the Titanium Sledge for the face-to-face -face stuff at the fighting position. But let's grab up the paintbrush now and uh, the paint that we've been crafting all morning. And uh, I should have some more paint over here, albeit probably not very much, 125, there we go. So we are up to a whopping, what, 2,225. I'm imagining that we're going to need something more on the order of like 10,000 to get everything crafted here. And um, I'm just going to basically slap a rough coat on it. We're not going to get everything painted tonight. This is going to take ages to paint this whole base. Should have been doing it as we went along, but um, yeah, I don't know, whatever. So anyway, let's get started. How about that? That's uh, basically what it's going to look like. I actually think that looks pretty sick. That's that's pretty nice. I like it a lot. And we'll um, probably think probably tomorrow we will finish construction here on the parking pier. And uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot, lot more paint. When I was doing the like paint all faces thing, paint all sides, it's consuming like eight to ten paint per block on that. So yikes. 
Uh, but it makes painting a lot easier when you use that, uh, even though you're wasting a little bit in the process. But anyway, yeah, we're not in any rush to get this all painted up. I think over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks, we'll spend time on it here and there. And we'll continue playing around with some of the colors to see if we can find some cool contrasting colors and styles. And anyway, so it's uh, getting close to the horde. So let's get geared up and uh, we'll get into position. All right, we should be just about ready. I've got a whole bunch of Molotovs I just made. I made a whole bunch of grenades and more are cooking in here. So grab those up. I've got some power-ups for us tonight. We are fed and hydrated and we're as ready as we're gonna be. So we'll head down into the fighting position. Quickly just check on the fuel situation here. Not looking great, honestly. Might as well get a little bit of fuel for that just so that we're sure that we're not gonna run out. Although fuel situation also not looking too great right now. I'm going to grab two barrels and that should fill this up for a good long while, I hope. Yeah, that's looking much better now. How about this generator here? That one's pretty good. That one is uh, only really providing coverage for the turret upstairs. So yeah, I think we're ready to go. Mr. James, if you could accompany me here into the fighting position, thank you very much. Close the door behind us. Well, the day 63 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, well, it's getting very busy here already. All of the turrets are going off pretty regularly. I would imagine they might run out of ammo relatively soon. That's fine. Oh, jeez, I fell off already. Yikes. Oh, just jump back on here. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Am I, I'm on fire. Ow. Bandages. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> okay, that never happened. Oh, my poor singeing body. Ah, yikes. Just close that freaking thing. I don't need that open. All right, I hear the birds and they do appear to be getting shot by the turrets. Okay, safely, the ah, no, no, no. Yes, safely this time. Just throw that down there. Apparently don't need to light them. That's fine, I guess. And no, we're good over there. Let's try to get one out there. That works. All right, getting really crowded up here at the front. I do feel like the turret is going off a lot upstairs. Uh, I don't exactly know why that is. Are you like shooting through the freaking window or the, the wall here? Oh boy, I think that's what's happening. Here, give me shapes. Take me to level four. And yeah, he's shooting right through here. So we need to just wall this off temporarily. This does not, no, no, this is not a shooting window for you. Stop that. We'll have to focus on getting a door for the, well, we need a couple more doors anyway. Oh boy, here we go. Get back, please. Yes, much better. We're not gonna run out of ammo now. I like that. So the question here really is how much damage are the spikes traps doing and probably those ones down there I would imagine those just break but just gonna break immediately here get a grenade down there just for fun well, I feel like probably you know molotovs just give us better coverage like look how many zombies are affected by the fire even though it doesn't do that much damage I do feel like they are still very effective at just softening everyone up. Oh yeah, the sledgehammer is just meant for base designs like this because it has such good knockdown. I don't know what that swing was all about. Here, let's just get the gun. Now, Just working on my pain tolerance, don't mind me. There we go, first level up of the night. Get some more fire. They definitely are taking a preference for that left side ladder tonight. Get back. Yeah, with the increased volume of zombies, they're they're able to stack up a lot better than they have previously. 
Just, you know, lighten them up with some fire. Yeah, that spikes trap there on the left side is not doing jack. So that one probably just immediately broke. Oh, jeez, we got cops spitting from everywhere. Nope, close the doors. Oh, jeez, Mr. James hooking me up a little bit. Yeah, lots of cops here now. It's time to seal this place up. Unfortunately, rads just, they resist the knockdown too much. You just gotta get the guns out when you got rads up front. Holy cow! Yes, our first demo! Get him! Oh, and this is a, uh, not doing any damage really to him at all. Not much. Okay, if he could uh, maybe fall down into the pit, that would be ideal, because then we could just get the grenades. Oh no, he didn't go all the way down. Great. Here, shoot him in the back. He's down in the pit now. Light him on fire. Get a couple grenades down there. That should do it. All right, what are you gonna do, buddy? Don't, just don't shoot him in the button. That is priority number one. It helps if you shoot him somewhere, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's down. Is he in the pit? There's a couple in the pit, I think. A couple grenades down there. I'm not sure if that helps. We'll just, um, you know, damage over time. You know, we don't have to focus on him too much. Just make sure they don't get hit in the button. And if they do get hit in the button, that they're not close to me. Oh my god, there's so many freaking demos here now. Oh shit. I didn't bring any AP rounds with me. Alright, like I was saying before, DPS. Focus on the fire a little bit. Grenade for the pit. Oh, geez, getting shot at. All right, really busy up here. I think I just saw the demo. Oh, my my doors are all messed up. Yep, couple of oh, There's like four demos here right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, my door's broken. <laughs> Something happened to my door. That demo's almost down. Take him out. Got him. Okay, I just saw a demo go flying into the pit. Get a couple grenades in there. Ow. I don't trust this door anymore. Here, come over to this door. That zombie squeaked through. None of that. No, no, no. What are you doing? Spit. Oh, they knocked out the steel door on the right. The steel door on the left has been caved in. Oh, direct hit. This is not going very well. Get some more fire for him. Oh, no. We hit the button. No, no, no. Shit. That sucked. Quickly. Stack repairs. Make sure everything is good, especially the tube that they crawl over here on. Yep, there we go. We're good. I think that demo just died. That's good. Oh, man. The door on the left is knocked out. Here, give me a preemptive sham chowder just to get a, a little bolus of health into me. Whoa, they're shooting me from all directions. This is not good. We need to seal this stuff off here so they can't see me as well. I don't know if this trick works, but it's the best I got right now. I think one modification to make is to knock out these railings and put something in that covers me up more because they are shooting me from like way down over there. Okay, I don't see any demos. That's, oh, cops though, yikes. Kill him. There's a demo right there. He's fresh too, kill him. Yeah, I'm definitely, I don't think this does much damage at all. This is not a great gun for a 5.56. I don't know if it's the fact that it's an SMG or the fact that it's, um, not like an S class, it's just a B class. But yeah, it, uh, it, it certainly doesn't do very much damage to the demos, and now it's broken. They might have to rely a little bit more on, oh boy, not good. Here, fire. Yeah, rely a little bit more on melee here. We have a zombie in here. Oh shit, two of them. Well, just one, I guess. I don't know, how did you get in here? Are, oh, is there someone up there? Jesus Christ, take him out. No, we gotta go upstairs. I feel like there's a zombie upstairs. How did you even get in here? What is going on over here? No, 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 no. I see. Yeah, they're they're able to jump over here, I think, somehow. Seal that up. Oh, this is getting sloppy, isn't it? We were not really prepared for this. We focused a lot on the spike straps. How did you get in here? But it turns out we need much more than just spike straps to defeat the hordes from now on. All right, how are we looking down there? Oh, there's so many zombies down in the pit there. There. Oh my god, did you see that? They're, they're, they've dug way down deep into the pit. Yeah, they're, they're really freaking me out down there with all the, the holes in the bottom of the pit. We might have to just do what I was talking about earlier and um, 
you know, dig out the bottom so that when they get down there, they can kind of work their own way out. All right, continue with the fire. They are all clustered up. Good opportunity right here. Another one for the pit, maybe. There we go. All right, the good news is it is it's getting relatively early in the morning. I'm going to head back here and get a real quick repair done on the R90. Toss that in. Costs only four steel. That's pretty good. While I'm here, just repair up the Golconda as well for two titanium. Yep. And reload. Seal that up. And get shooting. In fact, uh, we have a little bit of recog left. Let's take one more recog for the rest of the night. Hopefully help take out these couple of demos that have wandered in. All right, take this out. I got to see what's going on down here. Just um, the pit. The pit has been ruined. I think they've taken out the ladder. And that's why they just want to dig into the, the walls and dig underground. We got a demo going off somewhere. Down in the pit. Oh, boy. You know, I say it all the time. The pit is designed to take a beating like this. But it still hurts to see it. All right, we have just about made it. It's almost morning. Yep, keep the fire on them. We gotta burn them all out down there. Not sure how much damage that's doing to the rats. Here, just get a grenade to chase it. See how that does. And we got a screamer screaming. Yikes. No, 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 no. Demo went off down there. Oh, crap. Oh, the pit needs a complete redesign. And then I'm gonna get down on ground level now and just handle this hand-to-hand -hand combat style. There we go. No, sir. Not as big of a fan of this gun here as I thought I was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a really cool gun. Oh man, what a mess. I kinda like it. All right, what, oh my goodness. Look at this mess here. This is just awful. This is terrible. Why did you all do this? Yeah, it's cause they knocked out the ladder there. And uh, I'm not sure about that side there, why they weren't using that. Perhaps they knocked out the floor block. Oh, because the spike, the spike was pointing up, and once they knocked out the spike strap, that was it. Well, on the plus side, the whole renovation project's going to be a lot easier now that they've done half the work for me. Okay, that appeared to be the last zombie right there. Let's jump up here. Oh, yes, they knocked out the spike strap that was on the top. Oh, boy. They did quite a number here, but overall, this sustained the damage really well, that one demo blast that we had. Thank you, Mr. James. I don't know where I'm going. I'm supposed to go over here and turn this off so that we can go down into the pit and start looting up. We got eye candy. We've got lucky goggles. Put those on. Sort the inventory a little bit. Eye candy in. And uh, not that we're in any rush. I think we confirmed that the loot bags don't despawn, or at least they take a long time to despawn. But we'll see what we get here. I saved the best one here for last. This must be the new the new red bag or the new boss loot bag and a bunch of garbage in it anyway. Wow, yes, severe, catastrophic damage down here. Absolutely a mess. But just in case you don't remember, what we're gonna do next is we're going to put the floor back in and the floor, I don't, can't even tell where the floor was. Yes, the floor was here. And then we're gonna have two blocks underneath it. And then we're gonna have another floor under that. And so the zombies, if they glitch through, or even if they break through, there's gonna be an alternate egress route. So they'll be able to kind of like, once they once it, the, the pit starts to fail, they can just kind of walk their way out easily. That is the plan anyway. We'll get started on that maybe a little bit later today. But for now, let me get the inventory organized and when then we'll kind of plan out the rest of the day. All right, everything's put away now. I did scoop up a Sarah's treasure map, so we will accept that and take a look at the map. Where's that at? Ah, right down there. Ooh, in the wasteland as well. That's pretty cool. All right, we're all squared away again. Let's grab up some of these shapes because we're going to be doing some building today. The first thing I want to focus on is the parking pier. We'll finish that off. And then, oh, geez, <laughs> what a mess. What even happened over here? Just take that stuff up. Okay, they didn't destroy any crops, but yeah, they were able to jump in here. Unfortunately, we'll have to set up some um, hatches there or just put shotgun turrets in the way. How much ammo did you go through? Not that much. And unfortunately, that bug is still in the game. Uh, I think that's fixed in 20.6, alpha 20.6, where you um, <laughs> end up smacking it every time you go in and out if you have a melee weapon. And first things first here, parking pier.
Oh, crap. Before we get started, though, we got a freaking wandering horde coming in here. Oh, you sons of bitches. Trying to interrupt my work. All right, let's do this. And look at that, two skill points to spend. I think, what do you say? Why don't we put some into sledgehammers? I mean, I'm really enjoying the sledgehammer. Good change of pace off of the swords. And so let's have a look here. Two skill points, let's go, what is this? 10% uh, more damage and uh, more chance to knock down enemies. I do like that, skull crusher it is. Very nice, all right, now we'll get to work. Okay, so I think that will probably have to do it for now. There's still this side over here to do, but uh, I want to use the remaining shapes here to do a couple of things, and one of them is to get the fighting position over here. Uh, or, oh, got a couple extra loot bags I missed. Nothing good there, and nothing good there. Loot bags, not particularly exciting these days, are they? Anyway, yeah, let's, um, oh, we really gotta sit down here and figure out what the hell we're gonna do. So yeah, I think the best course of action is to just replace the floor as it was before, two block spaces below that, and another floor beneath that, so you have, like, a, a double floor system, so that if one breaks, they'll fall into the next one, and then they'll have another egress route back out. So, well, let's get to work on that. All right, so that's the, the gist of it right there. Now, so this is gonna be just like one room in here. And if I could find the center point, I could just carve my way out of here. Okay, that's out of there. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna work. So basically it's, it's difficult for me to show you because it's all closed in, but if they break through this part right here, oh geez, lots of repairs to do back there. If they break through that floor, They'll simply end up underneath it in a little box down here, and then they could safely egress out of here. So if this were to ever fail due to demos again, or if they're glitching through like they were on previous Horde Nights, then they'll just have a quick way to get back out. But I'm out of shapes completely now, so I suppose it's time to move on to a different task. Put everything away here, and let's get out of here. So I'm mostly keen on just heading back to see Captain Ellen and getting a new job from her. We'll get a nice tier five for tomorrow. Oh, there's an airdrop up there, so we'll grab that on the way. All right, here we are. Proper set of goggles on for what good it'll do me, which is really none at all. Pump shotgun bundle, though. Crack that open. Oh, look at that, a, a class H with 20 rounds. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Check for jobs here. We've got the old hospital we've done. House Tutor, that's the snake house. Lost Arms Apartment, we've done that. The Shang Tower, no thanks. And the Retail Park, we've already done that as well. Well, so much for that. Anything cool in your inventory? Gyrocopter chassis, which can I, can I, didn't I get a part of the gyrocopter? I think I got the chassis and it's sitting back home, uh, but we need the accessories. I mean, we could just like, Oh no, you can't even research it. You have to have the frame in order to research it. And you have to have the accessories to research the accessories. Wow. I wonder, it, it would be nice if there was like a <laughs> helicopter repair kit, right? And then you could just run out in the wild and repair it. Got a machine gunner book here, a hunter's journal there. And uh, I'll take the extra shotgun turret to set up at the base. I should have been doing this with a, uh, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm saving my money for the helicopter. Goodbye. No pressure. Right, well, that was a bust. Who's out here? Steve, get out of here. 
Well, we're on our own then. All right, well, I made my way down here to, I think it was Sarah's treasure, right basically under the road again. And after we do this, we could do, well, let's dig this up and we'll do that quest, or not the quest, but that building right there. It looks like a nice modern house. See if there's a main loot, take the eye candy, and then bounce around, see if we can get a couple loot stashes. Aha, I found it. Just blow it up. Don't have time for lock picking tonight. There we go. Okay, we can hop right back down here once we find another loot. Yeah, let's poke through this place. See a biker in there. I'm gonna take my own pathway here. Aha! Oh, just a tier one. Well, that's boring, kind of. But I suppose it is what it is. Not bad for a tier one. Got a little weapons bag and stuff there. So, yes. Oh, uh, eye candy in and lucky goggles are still on from earlier. See if we can get out of these couple chests. Ooh, good F.A.R. That's about it for this place. Hello there. Check that treasure. Ooh, not bad. Good amount of money in there. Cool. And what else is close by? What's in this building over here? Let me in here. Got a couple of good books there. Weightlifting and athletics. We'll take both of them. Ooh, <laughs> decapitation. Nice. Aha, main loot here, tier two. Nothing really for it though. Still a couple of minutes remaining and I, I, although I recognize this place, I don't know where the loot is. So I think uh, I might just poke right through really fast. Let's see if I can find it. Loot's usually upstairs, right? Check that. Outside, around here. Who's in there? Stripper. Oh, it's Nightfall now. Hello. Jumping down, moving around. Oh, I know where I am now. Here we go. And I'm stuck. Here we go. Not bad. Yeah, we woke up a lot of people outside. And that's it. Now it's just about getting out of here with our life. Potentially easier said than done. There we go. We're out. Getting lucky with some loot in the street here. Alright, check that loot. Grab it. Get out of here. Yeah, just gonna get a non-stop stream of zombies if we stick around here. Alright, nothing left to do but head home for the night. So just putting some stuff away here. We got a hunter's journal here in the machine gunner book. That'll be uh, fully automatic mode has an increased chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. I like that a lot, especially on Horde Night. And uh, as for the rest of it, just kind of, you know, junk basically. Good set of military leg armor, but uh, probably the same, in fact worse than the A-class military leg armor we have already. So I'm just going to get everything else put away. I will get things organized and we will start thinking about a plan for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. <laughs> that was a hell of a fight there, wasn't it? Uh, we do have a screamer here somewhere. Got to track her down. I think she went up. I heard the SMG turret go off, so she could be anywhere. She's probably she's in the base. Oh, shit. Okay. Yes. Oh, no. There she is right there. So got her. Now we got to take care of her friends. And I think that's it. All right, I'm all patched up and we'll put away these couple plates. That is it though. Looking at the iron, we have like three total pieces of iron and only a few pieces of steel as well. So, uh, and we're also running really low on oil shale. Now there is the oil refinery out there, but I don't think it's gonna be able to keep up with us. So I think for this morning, what we'll do is we'll grab up some fuel and we'll grab up the um, Valkyrie drill. 
and we need to head out to the um, desert biome to do some mining and we'll probably pick up some iron while we're out there so probably best vehicle for that would be the van we'll take mr james with us uh no not take him just uh, make him follow yeah because we're gonna need steel doors here we're gonna need new spikes traps at least one or two of them Gonna need a new blade trap, and uh, I'm gonna just knock this whole thing out here. I don't necessarily think that that was worth it, seeing how it just broke up there so quickly. And it looks terrible. Also need a new light there. I think we do have some extra lights here in storage, though. A little bit more steel there, gears. Yeah, okay, yep, we gotta head out. All right, I got everything moved over onto the van. Supercharger, off-road headlights, everything like that. And I'm gonna stop by here real quick, just grab these things so that they're working while we're gone. Jeez, only 37 that time. It's getting worse and worse. And uh, that's pretty terrible, too. Got the titanium ore, but that's only enough for, like, I think, <laughs> like, one and a half titanium plates or something like that. It's terrible. Yeah, you definitely have to have, like, ten of these going at once. And I just don't have the patience to mine all the iron for that. It's bad enough trying to mine the iron just for the traps that we have to replace during Horde Night. So, anyway, we'll head off to the desert biome. We'll do some oil shale mining and some iron mining while we're out there. And I'll meet you there. Well, looks like that's it. Item needs repairs, so we are out of here. I did bring the advanced repair kit, but the, the, the Rockbuster is about to wear off anyway, so, and I'm content to probably do the rest of my iron mining in titanium mines so that we can get, like, double bang for our buck there. Well, anyway, it's time to head home and get all this stuff into the forges so we can do something useful with it. So I'll just meet you back home. All right, welcome back. So we have everything put away and organized. We're just going to get this fired up and get a bunch of fuel crafted here. And yeah, we can just work on like cans of fuel after that. I don't want to do all of it, though, because I do want to make some oil as well. Oh, man, we can make so much oil now. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, just get like 250 of that, and that'll hold us over for a while. Should be doing pretty good on paint, although need more goldenrod flowers. So next time we're kind of out and about, we should probably focus on picking some of those flowers up. And last thing to get going here are the furnaces. So just put all the firewood in there for now. Okay, looking a lot better on the fuel situation now. And the next thing that's going to hold us back are the shapes, because we only have 39 of them and only enough clay to make one more. So... I suppose that means we need to go clay mining, but <laughs> I'm honestly all mined out right now. So what can we do instead? I suppose what we could do is just head over to Ellen's real quick and see if she has any decent tier five quests for us. And then we could knock that out here in the remaining hours of daylight and into the night, probably. I also last night I got all of the sellables repaired. That's where all the iron went. I was kind of trying to remember <laughs> what happened to all the iron. But yeah, it's definitely because I used probably like hundreds of plates uh, repairing everything because we need to get every bit of coin that we can in anticipation of perhaps buying the helicopter here in the near future. Right, so I got the dune buggy all set up again and we'll fly over to Ellen's. Oh, we got company over here. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Eat that. I definitely don't need that meat though. Get rid of that. All right, let's go check on Ellen. Hello, everyone. How's it going? What do you want from me? What do you got today? You've got the quiet pines to the south, and I think that would probably be... Oh, this is the ziggurat that we've done. Lost Arms Apartment, Hospital, and Snake House. Jeez, the, everything has... <laughs> always with the Snake House. Anyway, what's previous to here? What do you have over here? Nah, she really has nothing, really, that I want to do. So that's fair. Check her inventory. Yeah, and really nothing noteworthy in either of their inventories, except for this one book, the Great Heist book, where... Sneak sprinting uh, doesn't use stamina. Whoopee. I suppose what we could do is head back home and get some fuel and then go over to that opening trade routes and see if there's anything interesting out there and see like what trader that even is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of like that plan. It's uh, a little bit out of the way because we have to go get gas, but that's okay. I'll meet you over there. All right, so we're just on the road here. We've pushed north over the lake that we live at, and we're sort of heading into the northern stretches of town here. I think the trader is back over this way somewhere. So there must be another whole city way out there. So I guess we're gonna, just going to follow the road and see if we can find it, and hopefully maybe find a Bob's Boars along the way. That would be ideal. Well, and just like that, I hit a dead end. So... And I don't really want to go through the wasteland to get there. So I guess we'll skirt the, the outer edge over here in the temperate biome just for the ease of driving. Even the burn biome not so bad in this thing. Hey, hey, look at this. It's Captain Ellen number two. Ellen's sister and well Maxton's gone. brother. Well, good evening, everyone. Perfect. Oh, and um, we get some sort of a tier 5 completion reward, I suppose. It, this always seems to happen. Uh, it seems a little bit strange. It may be bugged. I don't think we need that so much. Solar bank bundle, though. I think I'll take that. You have some special jobs as well. Tier 5 opening trade routes that. to the south. To Trader Joel. We know where that is. Good. Right, and you might have some different jobs out here. Ooh, got a couple of these apartments. What, what does that, that look like? Boring as hell. I understand. Really? How about this multi-story thing? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Let's check our inventory while we're here, though. Oh, pipe bomb schematic. Hell yeah, I'll take that. And that one's to get brass out of doorknobs, which is pretty good. So let's take a sugar butt. We got a couple things to buy here, I think. Oh, spikes traps and blade traps. Just, it's so easy to just buy these things. So I'm just going to do it. Oh, I'm supposed to be saving money. Crap. Oh, good. <laughs> oh well. That seems to be just about it anyway. There are some solar cells and solar array. We got the bundle here, though. That is the solar array with a pretty decent power cell there. 39 power. We'll have to see if we can um, maybe start collecting uh, or maybe just upgrade this. I'm not sure which would be more efficient. They're friggin' expensive, though. I'll tell you that. Whatever you like. Right, I think there are like two munitions boxes here, so I'm gonna have to hunt those down. Aha, I found some stuff over here. Oh, nice. And a lucky looter book. Find more medical supplies and loot. That's nice. There's one. I believe the next one is up in the tower there. Here it is. It was not worth it at all. That's okay. I do want to come up here anyway, see if we can get a vantage point of the city that we're in here before dark. Ooh, weapons bag. Right. I wish we had some binoculars. Oh, that place. That's like... The Ostrich Hotel or something like that? That is definitely on my bucket list. We have got to clear that place out sometime soon. That looks like the Zedin Mall out there. Our quest is right over there, it looks like. Not exactly what I have in mind for a nighttime activity, though. So I think we could do tonight is just explore. Try not to break anything on the way out of here. There we go. Just hop right on down. Get my sword out. Get a couple burned guys down here, among others. Oh, boy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Whoops! Teleport. All right, so I've just been driving through the city here, picking up some schematics out of Mo Power vans and things like that, just having a look around. And I was suffering from some serious lag, so I did have to log out of the game. I even restarted my computer just to freshen things up a little bit, and things are moving just fine now, so I think we're good. So yeah, just gonna do a, a perimeter sweep of the city and see if there's anything interesting, and I'll let you guys know what I find. All right, nothing really turned up on the perimeter sweep, so what I'm gonna do now is push through the center of town, and then I'm gonna push north and see if I can find a road that links up to this town up here, and then maybe do the lap around that town. Today will just be a night of exploration. Oh yeah, this is the place. We definitely have to do this sometime, like in the very near future. This place is awesome. I've never been inside either, so I'm really excited to see what's going on in there. So we'll check this mo power truck and then we're kind of out of here from there. Just grab this stuff very quickly. Yep, and leave. No, Mr. James. Oh my God, look what I found. It's Grace's. Oh man. I was just about to head north and I found it. Yes, I think we can do this tonight, can't we? We've got to get that super corn. Oh man, yes, perfect. All right, we'll just go super stealthy through Grace's, get the super corn, get the main loot, kill Grace and get out of here. Don't need to worry about the pigs. Oh, geez, we should probably take the cement, shouldn't we? Bo boar. They leave you alone, don't they, if you just leave them alone? I think that's the case. Would be kind of nice to have the leather, but I don't think we're too hard up for it right now. So, yeah, we'll survive. That guy might be a different story, though. We'll use this opportunity to get a little bit better at knives and swords. Although we're pretty much almost maxed out now. 
I think there's just one or two levels to go on it. Whoa, we got rads in here? Crazy. Ah. Ooh, nice. Oh, of course, just got zombies right at the back door here. Open that up. Kill you guys. So we should be really good too. We can actually get the super corn and because in Undead Legacy you don't destroy the crop when you harvest it, we'll just be able to plant it and continue harvesting it indefinitely. Maybe even expand our garden more. Then we can make the awesome sauce. Then we can do the big sell off and then we can probably get the helicopter. That is assuming that I ever find a trader that has it again. This place is actually pretty easy when you're just kind of <laughs> zipping through not trying to harvest and kill everything and get all the boar meat. Yikes! Okay, we're just into the dead corn now. The super corn's downstairs. So I think it was in the last episode that I was talking about this mod that I'm making to make Horde Knight more challenging and to, uh, you know, just, just change some of the things, basically, with regard to zombies and zombies spawning. So I'll just give you a quick update on that. So it's going well. So far... Whoa! Hello. So far, what I have modded in is that you will see screamers... Well, there's a chance for screamers to show up in POIs. There's a chance for demos to show up in POIs. There's a chance for mutated zombies to show up in POIs. And there's a chance for mutated and demos to show up at Horde Night. With regard to the demos, they show up uh, quite a bit earlier than what they typically would. Harvest one ear of super corn. Perfect. I guess we have to get enough to make a seed, though. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, give me a silenced gun, please. Yes. Thank you, Mr. James. Uh-oh. Here we go. I just don't want to get the full auto M60 out because it'll wake a bunch of zombies up. Zombies at the door here. Get out of here. Right, so anyway, I was talking about the mod that I'm making. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm open to feedback. Uh, anything that you guys think would be nice to have in a mod with regard to, you know, simple modding stuff like, you know, uh, spawning and stuff like that. Uh-oh. So one of the other things that I have yet to test out so far is I'm wondering if screamers, if they show up during Horde Night, like if there's screamers in the Horde Night spawning and they scream, will they then summon more zombies? Because that, that might get out of hand pretty quickly, so I need to do some testing on that. But that's the kind of stuff I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make the game more challenging. Jeez, there's more zombies outside than there are inside. Ow! Guess we're just outside clearing the area now. I've also modded it so that there are more ambient zombies, so there should be- Oh, there's a horde out there! That's why there's so many zombies here. See, a lot of them are just running right on through. A lot of them have just stopped over there. You assholes. Yeah! That didn't work. Let's try, like, a, a, a lower throw. Well, I don't know if that reached him. No, I don't think so. My arm's not strong enough, and I'm not worried about them. They can just- I'll leave them to it. I just want my super corn. Yes, yes, this is what we came for right here. Now, it sounds to me like about half of that horde made their way over here, along with a wolf and others. And for some reason, a whole bunch of water made its way down here. I'm not sure why that is. All right, so we've got what we came for. We just need to fight Grace, and then we're out of here. Is she spawned in yet? I don't see her. Yeah, I can see a little hoof down there. Well, let's soften her up a little bit. <laughs> that was... A very little bit. All right, here we go. Ride the pig. Yeah. Oh, it worked. All right, main loot time. Might as well with the eye candy, right? Let's see what we get. Ooh, S-class military gloves. Oh, and an A-class Icebreaker Pickaxe, which I have heard is actually better than the Steel Pickaxe. So we will compare. The attack speed is slightly higher, about 10% higher on the Icebreaker, and yet damage is considerably lower. So no, in fact, I don't think that is the case. All right, let's get out of here. I think I heard a bear. I did hear a bear. Oh, can I run? Where's my vehicle? Where did I park? Here we are. Okay, just want relative safety here. Oh, bear just fighting people. That's nice. Oh, jeez, the bear got me from there. Okay, ride the bear. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, this is a good one right here. 
Got him. I think the wolf wants in on the action here. Here we go. I'm out of stamina, so I think my riding days are almost over. Yes, I think that will do it. My rodeo is over. Hey, hey, good piece of steel leg armor there. Take the leather and the testosterone extract off of this guy. And I think with that, the thing to do now would be that tier 5 quest that we ran by. Well, it seems like I have to find it, like, manually, because there's no quest marker on the map anymore. Oh, I think that's it right there. Yes, this is the place. Multi-story plaza by... I don't, I don't even try anymore on that name. <laughs> Come on, man. I am going to just log out, though, because I'm getting a lot of frame rate issues. Okay, we're back, and it looks as though, just like when we were at the asylum, the quest marker has spawned down in the ground somewhere. So I guess I'm going to have to dig down there and grab it, and then we'll do the whole thing where we have to, like, teleport back up, and yeah. Okay, it's going to be real fun. Perfect game with no bugs at all. Nothing wrong with this game at all. I literally can't even see the marker. There it is. Begin. And nope, I just stayed entombed this time, which is okay. But Mr. James, you are definitely in the way right there right now, man. All right, let me out of here. Holy crap, man. This is such an ordeal. All right, here we go. Right, I did this before a long time ago. So I know, I think I know what's going on here. I think there's a, an underground parking area as well as uh, probably... <laughs> Probably just a lot of zombies. This is not a very big area. So, nice and quietly now. What is this keybox doing here? Activate that. All right. Well, got a chance to do some stealth. Actually, do I have any skill points? I do not. Okay, so scratch that plan. Oh my, look at the compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be one of those places. Oh my God. Well, let's just run it. Hello, everybody. Oh, there's the freaking dog. Just kill him. He can run too fast. Yikes. Okay. We got greenies. We got cops. We can't do melee for another four minutes because my arm is sprained. Ah, uh, yes. Probably not a good idea to come up here. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, except I don't really know what that did. Ah, shit. Now I'm trapped. I guess we're going back outside. <laughs> oh, jeez. What am I doing here? What am I doing? All right, just jump up here. Give me some red tea. I really wish I had a mega crush right now. All right, just so many zombies. Really good opportunity, I think, right now to get a couple of grenades down. See what that does. Now oh, that did pretty good. There's just like innumerable no zombies here. Here, what if I did, whoops, something like this. What do you guys want to do now? Can you cluster up for me again? Perfect. Yes, lovely. Look at that, 8,000 XP just like that. Reload. Just gonna fucking John Rambo this thing. Ow. Okay. We're doing pretty good here. Okay, we're good here. Now, we could probably uh, think this through a little bit better this time. There's a cop spitting at me, but he's kind of behind the wall there. Well, I did have a recog here somewhere, didn't I? I have two of them. Nice. There we go. Take that immediately. Yikes. Okay, we'll save those loot bags for an eye candy here at the end, I think. All right, what's the trick here? Are we going downstairs? We got more zombies to round up down here, or was that pretty much it? Oh my! Okay. Take two. Very carefully this time. Oh, you gotta love that. Okay, otherwise, pretty quiet place down here. Oh, there's the main, or there's, um, part, maybe, of the main loot. I'm not sure. Oh, I think that opened up the door that was above us. I am gonna just go ahead and take the eye candy now. I think we can clear this place out within the next five minutes. Lucky goggles are on. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, good compound crossbow. Ooh, a grandpa's awesome sauce. Suddenly very encumbered. What's weighing me down here? Meat. Don't need that. Just uh, take steroids. Okay, we're in a position now where we can grab these couple of things here. Okay, and then we're heading to the rooftop. Well, we got one more box over here. Now it's off to the rooftop. I suppose probably just a similar fight up here. Including, oh my god, bubbles. Holy shit. Holy shit. 
Oh, what we got, birds? Shit, gotta reload this. Get under cover so the birds can't get me. They're all whites. Radiated whites. Okay, I can just switch lanes. They have a really difficult time following me when I do that. Got all the birds. Maybe just take two seconds and focus on them. Ah! Oh, lots of zombies just hiding in those doors. God, this place is crazy! Oh, there's still a whole bunch of freaking rads here. Okay, they're breaking through the door. How many zombies are in there? Quite a few. Probably not good. Okay, how can I cluster all these guys up and defeat them with like one fell swoop with a grenade? Um, here. Put this down here and jump up. Okay, just wait for them to kind of settle and uh, pick an area like this. And then we just blast them all at once. Nice. Might have blasted a couple of them outside the POI. This is what I was talking about. Having uh, mutated zombies, both in the hordes and in POIs, is just so much fun. I love it. Okay, I think we can pretty much handle the rest of them on foot. They are still working on that door over there, although it doesn't look like it's going to take them too long. Here, here, have that. Ow. See if that does anything. Uh, I don't think it did, actually. Is this going to do anything? If I leave that there for you guys? Ow. Nope, I don't think so. How are we looking on the power-ups? Yeah, we're definitely gonna run out of the eye candy. Misjudged that one. I think we're already out of the recog, so we'll take another one of those if I can find it. There's the one. Yes, we just gotta wait for them to open these things up. They're both locked. Oh, there we go. Here, if that's gonna be the case, you can eat that. Ow! Go! Oh, they broke out! All right, looking good here. Got a few more. All right, we're out of ammo for the freaking M60. We've gone through 500 bullets here so far. Second door is down. Only one zombie in there left over though. All right, Mr. James hooking me up with some healing. Overall looking pretty good. No big debuffs, nothing's broken. Plenty of ammo and we're good. You have a couple of stragglers downstairs perhaps? Where are you guys? I can hear him screeching around. Here's one stuck here. And here's another stuck in there. I don't know quite how to get you out of there. I'm just going to pound this block open and hope for the best. Are you free? Now close enough. Still have to clear the area. There may be some more zombies left over kind of in that other building. There were, there were three buildings up here. Well, I think there's five, but I think we've pretty much cleared most of them. Yeah, there's this one here that might be full of zombies still. It is. Oh crap. Oh, that item needs repairs. That's bad. Oh, jeez, I gotta find something I can jump on top of to cluster them up. Let's see, yes, no bullets and broken. Yep, we're fucked. And I'm out of stamina. Fuck! Alright, I guess we're forced to do this by melee, which is really bad. Here, I need, I need to drink something. There's gotta be something here I can drink. Red tea. Anything to give you a little bit of a stamina boost. Red tea, and then we gotta get kills to refill the stamina bar. There we go. Let's do this. Ah, I sprayed my arm again. Although we might be on the tail end of it now. Ah, stupid birds. What do we got left here? Big boy, come down here. And one more in here by the sound of it. And we're good, yes, mission complete. Okay, uh, I guess we're not gonna do a looting candy because we ate them all but that's okay. It looks like all three of these little rooms have at least a little bit of loot. Oh, here we go. Military chest armor schematic. Ah, sure, whatever. And I would say with that, I think that's just about it. One more little loot bag over here. Let's check that. Red tea, you'll take it. Take the rest. All right, I suppose we can turn our quest in and then head home after that. All right, good evening, Ellen. Fascinating. Oh, oh my goodness. ATRL-1 Stinger. Must be some kind of like an advanced rocket launcher. Wow, yes, please. Oh, and I'm gonna get another tier quest reward. I, do I just get one of these? I feel like I've gotten two, like, um, I don't know what you call them, like tier quest reward bundle whatevers. 
Uh, let's see, military armor, steel, gyrocopter, shotgun turret, steel armor. I'll take the gyrocopter just on the off chance I can get the accessories. And I think I do have the chassis, if I recall. But yeah, I think I, it seems like I get two of those big bundles each time I um, actually complete the tier. Anyway, let's try to get a... Ooh, spiral library. That one's tough. I know that place. Uh, let's see here. We've got a southeast. That's kind of toward home, I think. Southwest, northwest, strip club. Yeah, let's Go try... Ooh, CVS. Uh, that doesn't look terrible, but it probably is terrible. Anyway, we'll take Good. it. Where is that anyway? Yes, that's pretty close to home. Nice. Well, we got two Ellens. We can do tier five jobs for. That kind of spreads out the reach that we get. And we've got a dire wolf out here. However, um, I am unable to shoot. I don't have any bullets or I don't have any guns that work either way. So let's just run it. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. I'll meet you guys back home. All right, we're home and we've got another surprise waiting for us inside the resource collector here. <laughs> Yay, sulfur and zinc. What a great investment that was. And 37 oil shale. That almost covers half of our trip today. <laughs> Alright, all joking aside, let's get our stuff put away. Alright, welcome back. Now, this is a very basic look at what we've got. Have we got a wooden club today? Are you kidding me? That is still in the freaking loot table. <laughs> Jeez. Um, otherwise, just a bunch of stuff to sell. Military gloves, really nice. And significantly less armor still than the ones I'm wearing. So I'm content to just uh, maybe put that away. It's like a collector's edition kind of thing. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to just like have a backup set of military armor, especially if we like die and we need to put a set of armor on real quick to get back to where we were. So that'll just be for emergency use only. We did get this rocket launcher, which I just want to take a peek at. I mean, I'm just, whoa, that looks cool. Holy cow, man. Man, that is the thing about this mod. Everything looks so good. That is just such a crisp model. I love it. Yeah, we got to start looking into like how we can craft some rockets. Now, I'm assuming that that takes just regular rockets because I haven't seen any indication that there are other rockets, but I'll hang on to the old rocket launcher for now. Yeah, ammo, rocket, ammo, rocket. So in that case, um, yes, this new one doing much more damage and more block damage as well. So we'll take the old rocket launcher and just sell it. Lots of stuff to sell. We're gonna have a huge sell-off here pretty soon. That cell chest is full. We'll use the old cell chest and just dump the rest of it in here. New pair of muffled connectors onto the boots. And now the question to be answered is, what can we do here with the super corn? We do not have actually the super corn seed recipe, or do we? Wait a minute, artisan table, super corn seed. We could make one super corn seed with all of our effort there. Or alternatively, we could just flat out make like four awesome sauces and call it good from there. But there's no fun in that. You need a yucca smoothie to make that? Oh, looks like I need that recipe after all. Anyway, okay, so it does appear as though I have at some point researched the super corn seed and I just don't remember doing that. Well, anyway, uh, geez, did I get any skill points today? I got one skill point. Is that gonna be useful to me at all? No, because I haven't taken anything into fortitude. Wait a minute, farming is not in fortitude anymore. Farming is up here, which means you can harvest two items from wild or planted crops which would be nice in the case of super corn because otherwise it's just gonna take forever to kind of duplicate what we have. So yeah, we're gonna have to focus on living off the land for a little bit. However, that does not affect this right now. So we will craft the super corn seed, bring that over to the garden and we'll just get rid of that, put in the super corn and then we'll save the other four so that when we harvest that one, we'll have another seed. So just uh, park this stuff in the artisan table where I know where it is. Right, next up is the gyrocopter parts bundle, which gave me the accessories. Nice. Now, was I correct? Do I have the gyrocopter chassis or did I just imagine that? I just imagined it. Oh well. So we're still on the lookout for the chassis and ultimately, you know, I, I would love to just buy that small helicopter. Might as well get this set up. It's free power, so why not? So. Drop that down there. Go ahead and drop in 39 watts right there. And we gotta get that wired into our system. See, really at this point, we need a battery bank. Can I craft that? Just needing some more iron. How are we looking on the iron? Really, really good. God, oh, it's never enough though. That was only enough for like 200 plates. I made a little bit of steel as well. 
so that we can just stay topped off on that. But holy cow, man, that's a lot. Well, that should be enough anyway for the battery bank. Aha, I got that seven by four door finally. So we'll make that red and we'll just jump down here, pop it in. One step closer to, to being done over here then. So we did have some replacement materials over here. We can drop in our new blade trap. And in terms of the spikes traps, so we definitely do not want spikes down here anymore because when the spikes traps are hurting zombies, it's taking damage. And so it's like the floor is automatically taking damage at that point. And that is no good. So I think we'll just leave it down here. I don't want to weaken the, the pit at all any more than it already has been. So yeah, okay, we got one up here we can replace. I don't think these ones really make as much of a difference. Okay, there you go. Yep, so we'll just have two there. Uh, we'll have three there, and we'll have one there, which means we will have to do a little bit of destruction over here. And I actually think it won't be too difficult. Let's just knock this out. There we go. That's it. And we'll just have to figure something else out here, I think. Even that one right there, I don't feel like was um, really doing anything. So I might ultimately even just knock that out and we'll just go back to the way it was up here. Although we'll place some shotgun turrets down instead. Oh, is that a horde? Aha! Oh God, it's gonna be nightfall soon and the guns are broken. We gotta repair the guns. Repair the Golconda, put that away for now. And I guess, oh boy, what are we gonna take with us instead? We take the R90 and get a little bit of 5.56. Five, all right, let's get on the ground level. These guys are on super speed now. We'll just have to be on our toes. There we go, line them up. Perfect, yeah, that's where this gun shines is with the regular soft old zombies. Too easy. Well, with that out of the way, I think what we're gonna do is, yeah, we'll, we'll just roll with this R90 in the backpack for a little while, give the 762 a rest. Gotta try to switch up the ammo types a little bit here and there so that we don't run low. Although I wish I could find a fully automatic gun that fired the 792. Like maybe some sort of like really heavy machine gun. I think the minigun actually fires 5.56 five, if I remember correctly. But anyway, running low on grenades. So I guess we got to give that a break. And otherwise, yes, yeah, so I think we're pretty much good to go. I will grab a little bit of fuel. And I've got the auger here. Bring some lanterns with me for extra light. And I'm going to head over to the clay pit and just spend the whole rest of the night mining for some clay. And then I'll get the forges going. I'll get some bricks crafting and we'll get some shapes ready for... The next episode when we will continue construction here on the garage try to get this all finalized and then uh, yes more extensive work on the fighting position over there but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And just now, right in front of me, other than Mr. James, right in front of my face, as usual, I'm seeing uh, a nice, awesome POI over there. It's the art exhibit or something like that. There's some really cool sculpture work there, so we're going to have to check that out at some point. But we are here today at CVS, 24-Hour Pharmacy. And uh, whenever I look in this direction, I get, like, really low frame rate. So <laughs> I'm not sure if that's this POI or, like, Something's rendering in behind it that's kind of bogging my computer down, but we might have to call this one a wash and leave if the frame rate gets too bad. But I think what I'm going to do, since it looks like a nice open concept, is just, I'm just going to run through and <laughs> see if I can gather up all the zombies. I do have some Molotovs with me, and we'll see if we can take them out that way. All right. Good morning, everybody. Wake up. How many of you? Oh, ow. Getting hit already. Luckily, I can hide on top of these shelves. Just jump around like this, wake everybody up. Oh, this might be why it's lagging so bad. This place is right full of zombies. All right, wakey, wakey. I'm gonna keep running it. God, we got rads here, cops everywhere. Here we go, just wake everybody up. There's no one over on this corner, it looks like. So that might mean that they're like supposed to, oh my God, how did you jump up here? You asshole. Yeah, frame rate's not too bad. Let's just bring them all over here and see if we can uh, light them all on fire all at once. All right, one for you over there. 
Whoa, cop! Oop, hit right in the face. Oh, my bad. <laughs> this is not working as well as I thought it would. Mostly because there's so many zombies that they don't even, they can't even figure their shit out. They don't, they can't path properly. All right, how about if I stand on these little uh, open signs or windows or whatever? What is this gonna do? Can they jump up here? I don't think so. This seems to be giving me the intended effect of like clustering them all in one spot though. Ooh, ow. Oh yes, maybe a little bit too much. Ah, I'm on fire now. Not good. Quickly drink something. Okay, we're good. Right. Oh boy. <laughs> the lag has not gotten any better, I don't think. Whoa! Ow! Okay, everyone should be pretty well softened up right now. Oh, good chance right here. Good chance. There we go. I don't want the sledgehammer. No, get the Golconda! Oh, the cops are blowing up all over the place. Yeah, probably an R90 situation right now. Oh yeah, submachine gun skill going up. Nice! Okay, I have been receiving some feedback. Whoa, look out that uh, I should be using the AP ammo uh, for this instead of regular ammo. That's probably why it's, uh, it doesn't feel like it has the knockdown power that I would like. However, I don't know how to make um, AP 556 yet. Although you can research it and we have plenty of research data. So might be something we want to look into. Probably would help, especially on Horde Night when there's lots of rads and stuff. I think we're doing pretty good right now though. Probably finish these guys off with a melee. Nice. Oh, I didn't even activate the quest. We got to do that all over again. <laughs> well, that was a good practice run. Let's do it again. Oh man, having too much fun. Get out of here. Oh fuck. Of all the freaking zombies, I get hit with the crawlers at the end and they're the ones that almost kill me. Bad edge. Whoops, falling through the world a little bit. The game's having a hard time handling this place. The frame rate is better though, which is nice. Here, let's check this loot here. We did lose the crawlers through the floor though. Lovely. I think they're right in this area here, though, so just maybe light them on fire if we can. Oh! Ow. There's definitely more that I just either didn't wrangle up or hadn't really spawned in yet. Yep, that's it, and all the crawlers that fell through are all burned out now. Oh, man. Deep laceration. We'll have to look for a sewing kit. I think these are store shelves, which probably could be searched, and maybe you get one out of here. Although... They're kind of difficult to spot, and um, <laughs> I don't think it's very much worth it. Okay, I still hear zombie gurgling. There's definitely more in here that we just didn't quite get to spawn in, I guess. <laughs> I love that donk that you get on the soldier's helmet. All right, this is not actually a good weapon for ferals, though, especially these big ferals. Not sure if this is any better, honestly. Best I got, though. I want to check briefly and see if I ever did uh, max out, what's it called, knives and swords or whatever. All right, yeah, we're at 99, so we just have a little bit to go, and then we're completely maxed out, and that'll give us plus 50% total headshot damage and plus 25% total damage and dismemberment chance as well. Other than that, we're looking at uh, our best skill in, in combat being handguns, followed by probably submachine guns, followed by maybe machine guns. Sledgehammer skill, it's, yeah, we're working on it. And um, mining and digging not doing too, too bad either. Pain tolerance, pain resistance, 27, which I, you know, I would have figured that would be higher by now. But um, yeah, this, this game is like so much geared for the long haul, right? Like it would take us another, what day is it, 67? It would take us another 70 days to maybe max out our second skill. Whoa, here we go. Ow, damn it. Trying to get my sneak on here a little bit. Not working. Probably because I don't have any skill in sneaking. Oh, crap. <laughs> Not what I intended to do there. Here we go. Now, we're working on swords today. We gotta get this maxed out once and for all. 
Right, so it doesn't look like uh, a particularly exciting POI, if I had to say. It's, it looks, it, you know, you get kind of a sense for how a POI is going to be. This is just a boring POI, so I think I'm just going to run through here, kill the zombies, and we'll see if we can find the main loot at the end. Is this supposed to be like a diaper changing station? That's brilliant. I love it. Oh yeah, lots of zombies in there. Open her up. What's this, the pharmacy? Oh yeah, it looks like, oh my goodness, lots of uh, just regular zombies, which is kind of good. All right, what do we got next here? Kind of a, a very bare bones pharmacy. I guess I could search through here and see if I can find a sewing kit. Otherwise I could take just like a, you know what? I'll just take the first aid kit because we're like really low on health anyway. And we're infected pretty bad. So we can, well, we'll take the honey because that'll knock it down a little bit, but it's still going to be there. So also need vitamins. Wow. <laughs> Having a rough time. Okay, we got um the loading dock area looks like. Let's see if I can get some stealth on here. Ah! Crap! I got stuck in the chat window. <laughs> Trying to talk to my cameraman, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just not working. Okay, good. We had an airdrop coming while we were doing that, and that is uh, right on the way home. Perfect. Man, it's just a lot of zombies here. Like that's the that's the whole point of this place. The challenge, just lots and lots of zombies. Okay, we're good. Hey, we've got a generator here, which means it, it, it would be a restore power as well. Oh, red, uh, or not the red, but the yellow indicators are over there. That might be the, where the main loot is, but... Okay, some food and stuff. Anything else here? But I want to see what's going on upstairs here. Whoa, crap! Oh, you weren't on a yellow dot indicator thing? Yikes! Oh my god, look at the zombies upstairs! And they're all bikers? Oh shit, this is gonna suck. Ah, run! Fire at the bottleneck! Yep, we're gonna need guns for this, for sure. Holy shit, look at the bikers. Oh my god, that's crazy. Um... Wow, whoa! Um, yep, more fire, please. Not gonna do a whole lot, but we gotta do what we can. We're gonna run out of ammo at this rate. Bah! Ow! Another first aid kit, I think. I didn't bring any food with me. I got some skull crushers. That might help. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and take them out, at least with a little bit of melee. So let's just get some wide open spaces here. Ah! Oh, my fatigue. That's why I'm running out of stamina so easily. Yeah, that makes sense. Eat that! Damn, this katana. <laughs> what a nice investment, right? This thing is badass. Get out of here, Mo. Okay, what other dangers? Yeah, there's no another yellow dot over there now, so it's finally, like, registering that there's a lot more zombies in here. What were you guys to fit in? Ooh, vault door. Got more bikers up here, I can see. A lot more by the looks of it, too. Yeah, there's, like, seven over there and a couple over here as well. I think probably one at a time is the way to go. Having a hard time, the hitboxes are all messed up on that one there. Bunch of zombies in here, looks like bikers still. Here, soften them up a little bit if we can. Got more bikers in the back bathroom over there. Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of these guys first. Loosen them up a little bit, get the sword out. Yep, run a little bit. Also very thirsty. He's trying to help his friends get out, that's concerning. Zombies are getting intelligence. Wow, scared the shit out of me. All right, let's burn him out again. And we'll work on our health a little bit. One more Molotov. I'll save the last two for the boss fight. Reload. Let's do this. This should be nice and soft at this point. Got him. Oh, jeez. Tell me there's something good in this vending machine. No, damn it. Well, I'll take it apart. Open that up, I guess. That takes us out to the catwalk area. Whoa, that breaks. Okay. Uh, I hear a lot of activity over here. Pretty sure that's a freaking horde out here somewhere. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. I fell. Whoa, it looks like I'm good, though. All right. These should just be regular old soft zombies. So we'll take them out with the sledgehammer. Except completely out of stamina. Nice. Okay, 
Good to go. Just looting as I go. Nice set of steel leg armor there. All right, we're heading into the, I guess, the main boss fight area over here. Just one, okay, or two maybe. All right, where was that first aid stuff? Give me some vitamins, damn it. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely not the main boss fight, although there's four mineral waters just hanging out here, so I'll take those. Oh, look at that, learning elixir, haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, awesome sauce there as well. Very cool. Pretty soon we'll be able to make our own, and uh, that reminds me, probably need to do a trader run at some point soon. Ah! Okay, so the only way to get to where we need to go is to run all the way across here. Try not to fall through, I guess. A couple traps here and there. And by here and there, I mean basically everywhere. Oh, here we go. I woke him up. Oh, God. Yes, and we fell down. They should be able to work their way down. We got bubbles. We got whites and spiders. Take that skull crusher. Grab myself a mineral water too. Ah! Get out of here. Love it when Bubbles is around. It really brightens up your day, doesn't he? Ah! All right. Oh, mid-air collision there, nice. Yep, just don't bubble onto my loot, please. Ow. All right, I just heard the click. That is it for the quest. And we got the supplies already, so we don't have to worry about anything. Look at this. Nice. That is an excellent main loot. Kind of makes up for the fact that there was no loot elsewhere in this place, and I don't have any eye candy on me. So, we'll just have to make do with what we got here. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Is this it, finally? Interesting name here. I Elania, maybe? Elania's map. Uh, an old key with a small map wrapped around it that has a spot vaguely marked with a red X mark. Backside of the map says Elenia's stash. Okay, and a good baseball bat, some steel chest armor, some ammo, very good. So that must, it's some kind of a Undead Legacy specific quest. So we're gonna have to check that out. Got ourselves a nice saw blade there. Hidden stash here. Switches and info screens. Sure. Okay, what's behind the hidden stash, though? Toolbox. Probably that should have been the hidden stash, though, right? All right. I guess we're good here. Still dangerously low on lockpicks. I only have two. I guess I could craft them, probably. I haven't actually looked into that yet. And I searched that truck, I think. No, I have not searched that truck already, so check that. Got a dart trap. Nice. And a lead card battery. Oh, um, some people have been suggesting that I make dart traps. And the only thing that holds me back from doing that is that... Dart traps go through a lot of darts, and darts go through a lot of iron, and then you just have to go mining for the iron, and we're already, like, always mining for iron, so... You know, we might get to a point where there's, like, not much left to craft. That's a pretty cool-looking place there. Uh, and, and in that case, yes, maybe we'll uh, get into darts, but for now... Uh, I'm gonna just hold off on that. And so this was an Ellen quest from the new Ellen. Ellen's, oh, our Ellen's twin, you could say. So we're gonna have to roll over there and uh, give her the box and get our reward. So I'll just meet you there. Still got this spider, luckily. <laughs> Ow, the wolf that was here before. Oh my goodness, having a hard time. Yeah, the wolf's gone. All right, good morning, oh, Ellen. Or evening, or whatever I... the hell it is right now. Oh, that is lame. Super lame. What is wrong with you? I suppose rad remover, although I think I, I can probably just make the rad remover. So I'll take the rocket launcher because with an awesome sauce and all that, probably get a pretty good um, bonus to that. Maybe be able to sell it for like a thousand. But speaking of dukes, look at that. I'm getting like 6,000 dukes for this. So I guess that's it. I'll try to take another job here while we're at it. Pet shop. Oh, it's like a cat! Yes! Aha, I want to do that! Good. And with that, we are off home. All right, here we are. So I stopped by and I got that airdrop and I got this steel armor bundle, so we'll pop that open. Ooh, a repair kit. Steel legs and a steel helmet. Actually, it is, um, it's not giving me the F or H class or whatever that I thought it would, so that's kind of nice. But we will check on these, see what we get here. Actually, that's not a bad one right there. Everything is pretty much usable and good quantities. I like that. And this one, 39. So I think this is averaging something like 40 oil shale per round. 
I'm, so how much do these things cost? Ore extractor costing a hundred steel plates. Not to mention like the oil, the, the, the plates that are gonna have to go into crafting the auger and the generator. So a hundred steel plates, that's um, 200 steel ingots, which is 400 iron ingots to make those. And then that's uh, 800 ore. So it costs 800 ore to, uh, to get one of these. And let's say I'm averaging like 20 iron ore per day. Man, what's the math on that? <laughs> Outrageous is what it is. Uh, but Subquake has commented and um, just informed me and, and everyone else in the comment section that the, the low resource gain from extractors is intentional. It's not meant to replace mining. So uh, it, so that's, you know, the author's vision and we're just gonna have to deal with that. Even though I do think it is just a tad on the low end in terms of um, what you get per day and like the investment you have to put into it. Right, so we're back home. Let me just put everything away and get things organized here. And then we'll probably read uh, Elenia's treasure map. All right, we're all good again, except I, I left my frames back at the POI back there. I think they were destroyed anyway. Anyway, so um, yes, and we're out of nails. <laughs> it's kind of a problem here. All right, so crafting up some nails so we can craft up some more frames. Let's go ahead and read Elenia's treasure map here. And that is, check the map, over there. Oh, thank goodness it's not in the water. That's a really easy location just over on the edge of town. Uh, I think we'll head over there in the morning. Get that concrete mixed up, and I should have some bricks here sitting in this forge. In fact, a couple minutes left to finish those off. Yes, careful, we're gonna probably call in a screamer at this rate, and I'm encumbered. Right, so we've got some shapes in here, so we need to make more brick shapes, craft up all of those. In fact, though, um, I have been reminded and basically informed that the reason I can't pick up relays and my shotgun turret and stuff like that is because we don't have a land claim block. So we need to look into that. I believe you need to upgrade uh, the artisan table up to tier two, which is, uh, well, that's doable right there. How about uh, upgrading this though? With some extra iron rebar, we could do that. How do we make rebar? I don't think I've ever made iron rebar. That's uh, kind of, I, uh, Dan, I need those ingots to make nails. Okay, well, fair enough, do that. Okay, that sh should hopefully be the remainder of the rebar that we need. Let's see if we can upgrade this now. It is, we just need a little uh, wooden hammer and we can fix that right up. Get my S-class wooden hammer here. Workstation's not empty though. Okay, we'll just uh, clear all this stuff out here. Give me all that. Upgrade, done. Nice, and I think really the, uh, oh, there's two things I think. There was, uh, what was the other thing? Concrete shapes, we can now make those which will be helpful for repair purposes. Just kind of like save us from having to use bricks and then concrete after that just saves us a step there. So anyway, that's nice. Okay, I made some pipe bombs and some AP762, although I wanted to see, like I was saying earlier, if I can make maybe the, um, the 556 AP unlearned, unlocked at the ballistics table. Okay, so we gotta do it over here then. AP556, how do I research this? Oh, in fact, I don't, I'm not sure that I can research how to do this. Um, let's see here, five, five, six. Yeah, it just says unlearned and uh, I'm not seeing that I have an option to research it. So I might have to wait until I unlock that through perks or something else. Not exactly sure, but I did have some uh, AP nine mil, which I will I'll probably just save that for like horde night. Yeah, we don't really need that rolling day to day. Man, this 792 though, I think that's a pretty healthy amount of money there that we could get. I think we can just safely sell that. It says right here that it's used by sniper rifles. So <laughs> we're not really using sniper rifles. And when we do, we only burn through like a couple dozen rounds before we start having to go full auto again. So I think we can safely sell all that 792, which means we have an entirely full cell chest here and a half full cell chest here. I probably should um, spend the rest of the night trying to repair some of this stuff up for maximum sell value tomorrow. All right, good morning everyone. So just finishing up repairs here. We got one more bit of steel legs. I have everything either in the inventory. These actually, you don't really get any value for repairing them. They're just 105 flat. Uh, let's just uh, poke around though and see if there's any like extra resources or like hinges or any garbage that we can sell. 
Yeah, like these like truck engines. I don't think we really need truck engines, do we? And they're pretty valuable, actually. Just make sure we're not exceeding the capacity on the Dune Runner, because that thing cannot carry very much. Okay, I think I've gathered up everything and I can't move. Right, I think we're good now. I can, I can move a little bit, just barely. Is this thing gonna be able to go? Yes, if you look at the bottom right corner there, you can see that we're just under maximum capacity. Perfect. So off to Trader Ellen's we go. Might as well back her right in. Why not? All right, good morning, Ellen. I hope you brought your purse with you today. So I don't believe if I just check our inventory, day 69, yeah, I don't think there's anything in here that we haven't seen before. Certainly no helicopter that we want to buy. So we'll have to save another awesome sauce for when we want to buy. Hopefully we'll get enough money today that we uh, will be able to afford it when we see it. I, I'm gonna do a learning elixir as well. Cause I think we're gonna get a good, a fair amount of XP from this as well. So uh, let's do awesome sauce, sugar butts. Learn an elixir. Oh, I had two skill points as well. Do you think I should probably maybe try to spend one on better barter? What do we got here? Uh, we're gonna need intellect level seven. That would be too many skill points. Can't do it. Okay, let's sell. See you soon. Halfway there. Awesome. Gotta start selling to Maxon now. Okay. Don't mind me just lugging over two truck engines and two airplane engines to sell. Got 20 seconds left on that awesome sauce too, so we should be fine. And there we go. How much money did we make anyway? Oh, we're up to 188,000. That's gotta be enough for a helicopter, right? Yeah, the question is now, we just gotta find the helicopter. So Ellen, do you have any jobs that we haven't done yet? No, it's all stuff that we've done. How about the tier fours though? We got Big Sea Farm, we've done that. The nightclub, the drive-in. Downtown complex and the apartments. Uh, downtown Take complex, have we done that before? Yeah, yeah, we did that before. That was in a different town, uh, so that's not the same one that we did before, I don't think. But anyway, let's get out of here. Might be worth, um, let's see, day 69 is restock day. Jeez, do you think we should fly over and see if Rex might be selling a helicopter? Uh, well, I don't have the, the awesome sauce with me anyway, so, okay, here's the plan. We're gonna head south and we're gonna go pick up that treasure and see what that's all about. And then I just wanna head back to the base today and do some building and repair around the pit and everything else. So I'll meet you over here at the treasure. All right, here we are. Let's dig. Okay, looks like we're here. There it is, Elenia's stash, locked. Can I bobby pin it? Damn it. <laughs> we'll use one of our two regular lock picks. Uh, make that one. Yep, we're in. Should I maybe just make sure that we have the lucky goggles on? Uh, ooh, Elenia's Locket. This is a chest armor mod. It says, a silver locket inscribed with Jillian, forever my daughter. Gives fortitude plus one, loot bonus plus 5.5, made out of silver. Very cool, and it's uh, upgradable, so it's a C-class. We can see if we can upgrade that further and maybe get that loot bonus jacked up a little bit. Very cool. I had like 8,000 dukes in there as well. So I think from here, we're just heading back home. Um, but first we did, didn't we need golden rods so that we could make paint? So we gotta focus on this for a minute. Oh, geez. This is a really nice field. I'm gonna pick everything in this field. Right, that was fun. And I just recalled that I had taken that point into living off the land and so we actually got double of everything. Uh, so we should be good on at least <laughs> chrysanthemum, if not probably goldenrod and also cotton for a good long time. All right, we are back. And last night I did put the motorcycle down here so that we can kind of show that off a little bit. I think we have room for more vehicles though. So we'll, I, I wanna get the muscle car next, but uh, first things first, we gotta focus on building and fixing this base up. All right, so we just put away our massive stash of money now. I don't think we need that much money on us at all times. Okay, so we gotta open up our chest armor now and see if we can slap that uh, locket onto it. I think we're all filled up though. So let's take off the advanced armor fittings, slap this on. In fact, yeah, cause I think if we get this up to B class, then uh, at that point we get another slot in the, uh, for mods, which would be nice. So let's just check on that. So repair and in order to upgrade 
we are oh my god look how much cotton that's gonna require oh my god it's only a 75 percent chance to and it needs a ton of military fiber scratch that idea sure put it on the legs that works good to go speaking of like upgrades though i haven't checked on the titanium katana for a while let's see if maybe we can upgrade that more needing more adhesive uh otherwise we're pretty good on that what about the sledge needing way more titanium wow that's much more difficult to upgrade uh how about golconda needing military fiber to get to s class okay and uh, needing more smg parts for the r90 oh geez man this is um quite difficult as far as tools go i'm not really i'm worried about tools I'm much more focused on weapons so what i'm seeing here is that military fiber we need some of that and yeah definitely we need military fiber for anything that we're going to do except for the katana and adhesive so let's just check on that briefly all right get that gunpowder out of there turn this on what can we do for military fiber i can make a whole 30 of it limited by duct tape i could probably make some more duct tape though duct tape here we go, 81 of these, uh, limited by glue. Well, whatever. And what about that adhesive? Where do I even make that? Here it is. Uh, adhesive, gonna be limited by murky water in the plastic bottle. I might as well make some of it, I guess. Oh wait, no, limited by resin. Yeah. Resin's not really fun to make either, or fun to harvest, I should say. So yeah, go ahead and make that. And uh, I'm not going to worry about it. If I can't afford it, I'm not going to go out farming for days and days to get resin and honeycombs and whatever else. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't think that Undead Legacies, uh, I don't think that Subquake's intent is for you to max out like everything on your hotbar. It would be nice, but it would just take an inordinate amount of time and it would just not, not be exciting and not be fun for me to just farm and farm and farm just to like incrementally upgrade things. So... Uh, anyway, we should have some shapes over here, and by some I mean 500, and that's gonna weigh me down quite a bit. We also have the land claim block, so we can pop that in somewhere. Usually the place I like to put the land claim block is just like right in the floor, someplace just like this should be fine. So, that's out, put the land claim block down, pop it in, good to go. So now I should... Yes, I can actually pick those up, that's nice, okay. And I actually want to do that, pick this up. Excellent. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, I'm learning. <laughs> I want to put the battery bank in over your... Um, where do I want to put that? I'll just put that in right there, I guess. That's fine. And I'm going to load that up with my best uh, batteries, I suppose, right? I mean, that's... I don't know. The, the batteries have, like, condition on them, too, so I'm not sure. Uh, that's probably charge, right? No, it has condition and... I'm not sure if that means they need to be recharged or not. I, I'm just not entirely familiar with the uh, the system here. Like, is that charged? Do they need to be recharged or are they broken? Do they need to be repaired? So anyway, turn that on. 422 watts. Wow. That is far more than the generator. Albeit, I only have one car engine in the, uh, in the engine, uh, in the generator there. So anyway, let's grab the scrap wire and get all this stuff hooked up. So you want solar array to battery bank. And battery bank to these relays. Here, close this in. Some people did suggest that we put some sort of like a moon roof in here. Which actually, now that I think about it, that's a, that's a, that's a good idea. I like that. I do like it. It's just I'd have to knock out a lot of locks to do it. <laughs> which I don't like. I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Let's just get the Valkyrie drill and do it that way. Alright, so that's it for the demo work. Now we just need to find uh, some sort of a shape that's going to look nice in here. Like, you could just do the security gates, but I feel like we have an opportunity here to select um, something different, at least, uh, that might look nice. And so, I'm going to have to, like, brainstorm on that one and see if I can think of uh, any good block. Like, maybe you could use these um, trussing blocks or... You know, security gates are tried and true, but, um, you know, we maybe could find something a little bit nicer. I don't know. Uh, to be determined on that one. For now, though, I do want to get, uh, I want to get this knocked out. I want to get this just done once and for all down here. So let's head down and get to work over here. Get all this stuff cleaned up. And finally get some sort of a system here that's not going to fail every single Horde night. Okay, it'll start with making sure the ladders go all the way to the bottom. By putting the, um... What's it called? The spikes trap here. The spikes trap degrades whenever it, it hits a zombie. So like all by itself, that block is just damaging itself. And then it, when that's destroyed, the zombies no longer see this as a pathway to go up the ladder. So that that was a bust on that one. We're not going to do that again. Um, 
Yes, we want to patch this place up for sure. We don't want regular zombies working their way out of here. Just going to order Mr. James to stay there because he's just chronically in the way. And over here, what were we using? We were using half blocks, I think. No, no, we're not using half blocks. We're using three quarter blocks because zombies will duck under a half block. But dogs will go under the three quarter block where the zombies won't. So we were just putting that in just like so. Now, when the zombies teleport through the bottom, oh, by the way, all of the electric fences are up, which is nice. We'll check on those later just to make sure that they're fully repaired. So this is what we're working on down here. Got to get all of this filled in so that when zombies teleport down here, they'll uh, they'll have a way to get out. And also definitely going to have a problem here because um, the pillar we've dug out under the pillar. So the only thing that this tower is held up by currently is that pole there. And this pole here, I don't think these are structural stability blocks. The ladder is not providing any stability anymore, which is concerning. Uh, might see... Oh, I can repair... I can pick these up now. So probably I will have to pick these up and move them at some point after I repair them. All right, anyway, we got to freaking figure this out. It's a little bit more complicated than I originally anticipated. Oh, crap. We got a zombie here. Oh, crap. Tell me this is not a horde that's going to come down here and ambush me. Let me up. Let me up, please. Whoa, it definitely is a horde that's coming to ambush me. Get the fuck out of here. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Please come this way. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. There's a dog in the horde, which I have not seen for a while. Maybe we're about to get some more difficult zombies. And we're good. Just check that loot. Nothing good. All right, that's everything boxed in down here. Whoop, missed one right there. Um, wait a minute. We actually do want to put uh, the pillar back in, don't we? Yeah, so that would be, that would mean putting, um, basically, uh, maybe we'll just use the struts to make sure that we know what we're doing here. And not the struts, the trussing. So we want the trussing there. Alternatively though, there's gotta be another block we could use here, right? One that's like a, like a door frame block. I'm thinking like something that zombies can walk through. Okay, door trim one meter double centered. If I grab that and I put that in here, I mean, I I believe, well, I know for a fact that that would be providing structural stability to the tower above. Let's just copy shape and put that in. So that's definitely giving structural stability to the tower. And I think zombies have no problem going through that. So I think that works out just perfectly. Now the question really is, how do I get the freaking zombies back out of here? Maybe they, like, take a ladder up to here? Think that's gonna work? What would that look like? Okay, that would look like... That. So, zombie glitches down in here, or otherwise the, the pit fails. They're gonna walk through here. They'll have a nice ladder working their way back up and out of here. I really think that, that uh, that's our best bet right now. So, let's, uh, let's commit to it. Jeez, we have like extensive fill work to do here when that one cop blew up that other night. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, this destroyed stone is like 200 hit points. I think it's it's worse than clay. Just drop back down here. We're gonna have to clean up the edges and put a ladder in. Okay, that's it right there. So everything should have reasonable structural stability up there. The tower should be looking pretty good. The pit down here is good. I don't expect zombies to blow up or anything down here, although probably, you know, let's just do it. Let's just rip the floor out. Okay, that's it. The subfloor to the pit is in, so when zombies blow through this layer, we're gonna upgrade this to probably steel before the horde. So when they blow through this, they glitch down here, whatever the case may be, they'll have a way to get up out of here. They'll just come back up here and then they'll recycle back up the ladder. At least that's what I hope for. And we will just continue working on the pad here with whatever extra shapes we have. Okay, that's flushing up pretty nicely actually. I think I'll probably put a ramp or something here on the outside. There we go. That's the, the final dimension I would say probably. Okay, so here's where we do need to make a bit of a decision here because this is currently supported by these pole blocks here and the trussing block in the middle. 
the ladders are no longer providing any support to it. It does get a little bit of support because it's connected to the base right there. Yeah, so are the spike straps here actually doing enough for us to justify having them here and compromising the stability of the base? Or is it more worth it to maybe like put them... No, because like if you put them here and they're pointing this way, like toward the ladder, it still wouldn't work because the spike trap actually still occupies the space above it. Like I can't put anything on top of it. So that's not gonna work either, man. The risk that we're running here is that a demo is gonna blow up here somehow. I'm not sure if the spike trap can set off the, the charge or if we throw a Molotov down and we hit them or if they fall off of the pole up there or anywhere else and they fall down here and they blow up and they knock out all three of those. I don't think that that pole right there is gonna be enough to support everything. It's just a, gonna all come crashing down in one catastrophic collapse. But honestly, these are, this is a pretty good spot for these. So I think I'm content to just leave it as is for now. And we'll just continue to monitor how things go during the horde. I mean, we still have to see if this trick here is even going to work or if it's just gonna still be a, a huge issue. <laughs> you know, I, the, the original concept for this base came from all the bedrock bases that I've been building over the past six months or a year or so. And when you have zombies falling a great distance down to bedrock, it's not an issue because if they glitch through bedrock, they just teleport right back to bedrock, right? So it's not a big issue. But when you're above bedrock, a fall base gets very glitchy. And I think that some of the recent um, uh, point updates for Alpha 20 have resulted in some, you know, weird glitchy kind of behavior. Zombies glitching into blocks more often, things like that. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Just wanted to see if I can get some mix. I I made some mix. I don't really have a whole lot of it, though. This freaking stuff is difficult to make. So, we'll grab what we can. And I'll have to put the iron away because it's weighing me down. Oh, and then while I'm right at it, I have the second shotgun turret, which I can just pop in very quickly right there. Still got to figure out what the hell we're doing up here. <laughs> I don't have a plan, guys. My plan, we're well beyond my plan for this base. Yeah, this one here, it just really wasn't a great idea, I don't think. As much as I do like having something here, I'm just going to pick this up. There. We'll just be done with that monstrosity once and for all. Just wanted to see if I can get a few of these upgraded. Okay, good to go there. And how much steel do we have? Only 73. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna waste a whole bunch of steel doing this. Yep, that's it. Okay, we'll need more steel then. Oh boy, they knocked out all of these like shielding plates that we had. Jeez, get these replaced. I guess it's kind of a good thing we put those in there because they appear to be functioning as intended. Okay, I did just level up and I want to spend those before I forget again. I've just been thinking about what to use. I mean, we could do better barter again, just so we could make a little bit more money, save on the helicopter. But really, now that we are kind of getting started into fortitude because of that locket that we found, maybe we take a couple points into things like pain tolerance or iron gut or something like that. I think that's a decent plan. We'll take one into pain tolerance, one into iron gut, and then we'll just go one more flat into fortitude. Oh, hey, look at this. I was just um, making some of these new steel doors and there's our lockpick schematic right there. It's just like sitting right in front of my face. So I think we should probably get that. Seeing how we're kind of low on lockpicks. So yeah, why not? Just go ahead and research that. Grab up that second door. We can get those replaced. Oh, also get this wired in before I forget about it. There we go. Gonna need to look around and see if we can find another one of these lights because I don't have any in storage anymore. All right, let's see if we can pop these in the way they were before. Just like that. I I get the sense that um, even if these are closed, cops still, like, their, their spitting vision when they're kind of trying to, like, detect a target to spit at, I don't think it actually blocks that. Because when I put the... When they're just like this, they get destroyed. But when I put, like, regular wood cubes in here, like that trick I do to kind of seal it up, they don't get destroyed. So it leads me to believe that there's some sort of a, like a sight glitch or there's some sort of like way that cops can shoot at you despite these which means that uh, it's kind of more of a resource sink at this point this design it was fun it was a bit of an experiment but uh overall I, I don't think this is the most efficient way to build a fighting position and of course there is the issue of cops kind of spitting in from the side which is 
uh, a bummer, kind of unfortunate. We should probably try to think about what we can do to kind of seal off these edges over here. So for now, let's go ahead and just carve these out. And so tonight, I'm just going to kind of on my own see if I can sort out a shape system to put in here to kind of block off cops, but also give us some peripheral vision here at the fighting position and also figure out a block to put in for the ceiling up here that uh, both looks nice and functions well to keep zombies and birds out, uh, out, out outside, <laughs> not in the base, right? But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Been a busy morning here. I tried setting up this trap here, but initially I forgot to put the ammo in it, so that was an issue. And then when I finally did put the ammo in it, it didn't appear to basically be potent enough. I don't know if I have to like set it back more so it has more like area of effect. Oh, damn it, I gotta, <laughs> no. I gotta build a land claim block out here now to pick this stuff up. Oh, geez. Here I am, trying to be fancy with things and uh, end up shooting myself in the foot. Uh, speaking of shooting myself in the foot, the health is not looking too good. We suffered a couple of critical injuries there. So I'm just gonna pick these things up and we'll go lick our wounds back at the base. All right, so I suppose the first thing we're gonna need is, <laughs> is another land claim block. Oh my God, with the iron plates too. No, 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 this is bad. Oh geez, maybe. <laughs> I can't leave it there. It's it's like one of the shotgun turrets from over here, and I took the battery bank off the ceiling over here. So, oh geez, we've got to get it back. All right. Anyway, so let's back this up a little bit, and I should be able to take everything out of here. Whoops. And I'll show you how much we got. We got quite a bit. We've been mine. I went through two full. Well, not two full, but like I guess one and a half rockbusters. So that's gonna be good for 4,136 iron. And let's see if I can quickly. Ah, oh, damn it, it didn't work. Well, look, the iron can just go anywhere, literally, because it's going to be in the forge here in just a second. There we go. And then the rest of it can just pile on into here. Perfect. All right. And the purpose of all that was to get the forges running. I think, what do you think? Probably both of them get both of them running for now. I think that's probably a better idea. Whoops, because we got to get plates moving really, really soon here. 1100 in this one. That's for 23 minutes and then all the rest of them can just go into here. All right, just crafting up some new ammo here and spikes traps, yes. We're gonna need more spikes traps. So of all things, I actually want to <laughs> double down on the whole spikes trap part of the base. Also, I, I I think I have, someone had left a comment with a really good idea that we can set up a system where we have motion sensors that are hooked up here on the wall somewhere and we put dart traps down there instead because then we won't have the issue of structural stability because you can build on top of a dart trap and it'll be stable with the bedrock connection. So that might be just the trick here. So we'll replace, uh, well, what can we do here? I think maybe that one will stay a spike trap. That one will become a dart trap. That'll become a dart trap. And then I'm also going to put spikes traps in instead of these three ramp blocks right here so that when a zombie comes and they hook this corner, 
uh, if you review old Horde Knight footage, they always path right along the, this three block set right here. And maybe we could go one further in the future and go like spikes trap here, here, and here so that every time they loop back around, the spikes just like continuously stab them until they get back to the ladder. And then they get stabbed with darts as they're going up the ladder because we'll have a motion sensor like, oh, I would say like right there probably maybe or maybe down here more, so that there's one on this side and one on that side. So if there's zombies detected on this ladder, the dart trap will start firing. So that is why we did that massive mining montage this morning, because we're gonna have to get all of that stuff going. So yeah, start making darts, start making plates, uh, plates first, please. And then we'll need tons and tons of darts, and then we'll need uh, spike straps and freaking everything else. I don't know if we're gonna get this all done for tonight, but we're gonna try. And by tonight, I mean tomorrow night, because tomorrow is the day 70, our 10th horde. I don't think we have time to do any questing today. What are we gonna do in the meantime now? We've got both the forges running, so probably screamers are on their way. A little extra fuel here, military fiber that I crafted. Put that stuff away. I suppose we can use some of these shapes. I have sort of settled on a uh, block that I like that I should be able to put a Oh, wait, I should have crafted a sliding glass door here last night. That was using up a ton of friggin' iron. So, okay, bring this up. Probably should just put the van away before it glitches through the ground or something. But yeah, should be able to slap this right in here. This is our last door, I think. Is this, there's no like correct orientation here, is there? Yeah, that's fine right there. And then we can plug this up. I think this is where like a spider broke through a little bit. How's that super corn looking anyway? Mm, growing, almost there. So yeah, we need to do a little bit of remodeling here. This needs to come out. Okay. And uh, what else needs to come out? I think this needs to come out here because it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be on the wrong block plane. It's not gonna flush up properly. So I gotta knock this out too. So in the last episode, I switched over to this, um, what is this called? The ice pick or something? Icebreaker pickaxe? Because it is marginally better than the um, steel pickaxe. And uh, it's actually, it's not as good in terms of damage or block damage. It's like, f uh, I don't know, 5% worse in terms of block damage, but it's about 10% better in terms of attack speed. So overall, it should be better. I'm trying to remember why I, I, I had explained that in the last episode. I think I was having some audio issues and so... Oh, yes! <laughs> I remember what it was. Oh, my dog shit on the floor and my girlfriend was steam cleaning and so I... <laughs> the whole segment, like, there was steam cleaner noise in the background, so... Oh boy, yep, yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> so while I'm building this, I'll put a, a picture up of the culprit right here. This is Ginger. Ginger uh, doesn't like to poop in the morning, and if you don't pay attention to her, she will uh, she will not poop, and then she'll, uh, you know, the dog's still gotta poop, so, you know. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna do here? Uh, I'm gonna do the same system. Okay, security gate, tried and true, right? My, one of my favorite shapes, I love it. I love that you can craft this. I always wanted to craft it before. And I'm just gonna lay these in, I think all the way to the top. I think I'm tired of whatever I, I was, whatever else I was trying to do up here before that was not quite working. And then, yeah, just put that in there, grab one of these, copy the rotation, slide that in. And then for the exterior here, cause I think, uh, well, I was thinking that there might be like a harsh sort of transition here. So I had thought maybe of putting Ah, Screamer! Shit! Well, I'm just gonna get on the ground level and handle this. Where's my sword? Trying to level up in this thing. Die! Oh, three shot and rads now. What are you doing over there? You cannot jump on Mr. James? Ah, no, not again! We're in the Screamer loop now, damn it! Or was that it? It's funny, sometimes zombies spawn in and they, like, immediately fall into, like, a mine shaft. That's nice. Well, I'm gonna pick this up while I'm right here. Probably should have put my lucky goggles on, but yeah, whatever. There's only really one thing left that I want to find in loot, and it's the thermal katana, which I think it's like the inferno blade, but with the attack speed and like the the damage of the katana. So you know that would be really excellent find in the future. Right. Anyway, so what I was trying to do here is just put um, put some kind of a lip on here. I don't even know if I'm gonna do that though. Is that a waste of shapes if I 
if I try to dress this up a little bit. I pretty much think it is. I think I'm just going to put a door in here like we had before. Put a shotgun turret there. We have some room to expand the garden out a little bit. At least I think, because uh, the corn blocks, corn, corn stalks, <laughs> corn, corn blocks, yeah. Corn stalks are three blocks tall, but I think these are just two blocks tall. So I could put another garden plot in right here and grow uh, anything but corn, I guess. 81%, we're almost there. Ah, yes, and then there's this roof part. So I did think of uh, a cool shape I could put here. Uh, what was that? It was like an X-shaped shape. Crap, oh, shit. got another screamer here. Prepare for the ambush here. She's right there. Okay, back to my struggle to find the shape that I want here. Ah, this one right here. Is it the pole brick cross? Which one was it? It was centered, that one, I think. Yeah, I think this will look kind of nice. Worth a try, I guess. And, ooh, <laughs> I, I quite like how that turned out in the middle there, actually. Interesting. Should I have a little hole there to drop down through? Would that be useful, or would that just defeat the whole purpose of having a roof? I'm not really sure. I think I'll just put that in. That looks pretty cool. Um, is that casting a cool shadow? I can't, I think it is, but we can't really tell on this, uh, on, on the current uh, elevator at this time of day, anyway. All right, let's put the van away. Ah, which reminds me, we need to finish up the garage a little bit here just back this in and yeah it looks like I left off kind of over here there's just a couple of detail shapes to put in and then we have to kind of like put in all the the trim work on the other side as well okay I think that's it finally got that all taken care of and uh no we don't quite we just have to all we have to do left is uh just fill this in basically with shapes just like this just to make like a nice wall underneath it Okay, that is it. We're down to 38 shapes. It's not completely flushed up, but honestly, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you guys aren't going to see it. I'm not going to see it. Nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to care. Okay. Ah, Screamer. Just need to get it painted. Also need to get like the pad done because like, uh, like I said before, we're going to carve all of this stuff out here. We're going to bring the pad all the way out to here. And um, there's just going to be like a ramp on the edge of it so that we can easily drive up on it without bottoming out like, like we keep doing on these things here. Uh, that'll have to wait though because we're going to run out of shapes and I want to have those in place for further repairs and things like that. I suppose, okay, so we should be good down there. The fences are good. They're repaired. All the elect electrical seems to be good over here. Probably need to get our generator back and hook that up and hook the shotgun up and then we'll be all set for the horde. And then we just need to get some like more traps crafted. Gotta get a door for that right there. Yeah, so just some busy work left to do. Look at that, cranking on the ingots there, 870. So yeah, just work on this one here. We'll just work on plates for the next 13 minutes. Just crank on plates and take up the plates there and we'll get some more, well, <laughs> first things first, of course. Made a huge mistake and now I gotta pay for it. Land claim block. And otherwise, gonna need a couple more spikes traps. Okay, work on that one. Take up the ammo. All right, there's our land claim block. I do have it set, I believe, still, so that you can have three at a time here. So it shouldn't be much of an issue if I just take this over here, I place it down, and that way all of our mines will be covered kind of like once and for all, right? So we could set up a um, defensive turret anywhere we want to. So how about like right over here somewhere? Just dig it into the ground and place it there. And I that should be fine. Should be able to pick this stuff up now. Oh, I've got to repair it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay, let's just do that. Not sure what it's going to need to repair. So I'm just going to bring some electrical parts with me and some forged iron. Hopefully that'll do it. Oh, mechanical parts. That ought to do it. Finally. Well, what an adventure. All right, put you back here where you belong. Right there. Gonna put this back where it belongs and, uh, whoops, kind of floating there a little bit. Maybe find a new shape for it so it looks a little bit better. How about this scaffolding plank? Oh, geez, it mismatches, but it'll work, I guess. Sure, all right, get these hooked back in. Oh, of all times, I think there's a horde outside. Damn it. Just get that stuff finalized, and I think we could probably just bring them over here to the fighting... Well, they're already here, I guess. Hook everything up, and we'll head downstairs. Oh, hello, friends. Wow, lots of you. 
Get out of here. Not a very efficient way to kill, like, small amounts of soft zombies, so we might just have to, like, get down on the ground level and do this the easier way. Yeah, let's do that. Come on down here before you start breaking stuff. Oh boy! Yeah, these hordes are a little bit more exciting when zombies are on friggin' nightmare speed. Alright, yeah. Need something that moves a little bit quicker. Let's we'll take the sword out. There we go. Knives and swords went up to 100. We maxed out our first skill. Yeah, alright. Time for just guns, right? Work on our submachine gun skill now. There we go. Back to the sledgehammer. And that's it. It's a shame I don't get any loot bags out of all that. It's quite a bit of work. Right, I don't even know what I was doing. Let me get the shapes and we'll, we have to work on the fighting position out there. 38 shapes. I think that'll be just enough actually. So I just want to uh, set something up here that basically blocks cop spit. That's really the only intent here. Maybe give us a little bit of visibility here. I've done this before a few times. Just gonna pop in some wedge 60s and I'm gonna go back to my roots and get some of these tip corners and make some teeth. And to finish it off, some centered pyramid tips. And then these uh, cor corner ones, corner pyramids, for that one right there. That should center right up just perfectly. Now hopefully I can kind of get a viewpoint out of here if I need to. But for the most part, if I'm just hanging out right here in the middle, cops from down below over there will not be shooting at me like they were through the railings before. Down to eight shapes, which means we gotta do some more clay mining some other time perhaps. So while we're waiting on some of the iron stuff to pull through so that we can make some more spikes traps, let's get prepared to install them. In order to do that, we're going to need the Valkyrie drill. Make sure we got some fuel in it. We do, probably enough anyway. Going to head down here and carve out some of these blocks. So like we discussed, those just need to be laid in just like so, I would say. Same thing on this side. And, uh, ooh, in terms of, like, hooking them in, yes, they need to be all sort of hooked in. Oh, but that's... That's gonna be close to max connections. That has, what, five coming off of it? Yep, so we got five coming off for that, plus one onto the light. Yeah, we're gonna need another system here to get these powered. All right, I'm all kitted up to get this electrical stuff sorted out. All right, let's uh, get a safe distance back and we will carve in one right here. One more down. Relay in, connect these over, and then run the line off of this. Place this in for safety and we are all set there. Good to go. So as long as we don't lose anything in the daisy chain, we should be fine. Uh, the lights have held up so far, so I'm not too worried about those. Dart trap in here facing up. And as for this one, we could put a spikes trap in there, but for now, I'm gonna just give the zombies a free pass. Connect the ladder down to bedrock now for added support. Although that one there, we hollowed out this walkway here, so we're gonna have to repeat what we did here and hope that this is not an issue, but that will give structural stability to the east face of the ladder. I'm just gonna set up the punch turret now because I'm liable to forget if I don't. So set you up right there, right there. All right, it's uh, quite a contraption down here now, but I think it's uh, probably gonna work tonight. I mean, everything's hooked in, so we just gotta get some darts and should be good here. Oh, not quite though. We do have to get the motion sensors. I think I do have one or two of those in storage already. So let's check on that. Okay, so we need, I think right there will do. I don't envision that being like a dangerous spot to put them in terms of like them breaking, but maybe, maybe up a little bit higher because, oh geez, decisions, decisions. Cause if I put it too high, it's not going to register zombies for long enough. Well, it's not like it's that important. We'll put it here for now and we'll see how it goes. The question is, can, can this wire reach all the way down there? It can. I definitely don't like <laughs> stringing wires across like that, but I don't see, well, I mean, of course, there's another way to do it, but for now, I think until we gauge how this performs tonight, I think that will be just fine. Slap the door in real quick. And we don't have to worry about zombies coming in here anymore and wrecking our super corn. We've already made a mess of the wires. There's no sense in turning back now and trying to make it look nice. Yes, so those are, well, they're not officially powered. We gotta turn the generator on, so we'll just do that briefly. 
Turn on. How are we looking on power now? 211, and that's with nothing activated. So we are definitely going to need another engine. I did sell off the truck engines and stuff, and I, I probably shouldn't have sold off the aviation engines because we might need that to make a gyrocopter. Um, but I do have a couple car engines, and I think just probably two car engines is more than enough to power the generator for all the items that we're going to be using at Horde Night. So turn off, slap that in. Yeah, up to 500 watts now. So I think we're good. Let's have a look at the camera view. So that's pretty good. So if it sees someone coming up the ladder, I don't want to point it too far to the left. In fact, I might even point it more to the right. Uh, but what are you what are you going to be set to register? Target allies? Uh, no, we got to target zombies, right? That's what we want. We want zombies. Uh, but target self for a minute because I want to test it and see how, how well this works. Okay, it's it's activating on me. If I go to this side, ow, 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 yes, that one works too. Okay, so if I come up here, it's gonna start right about here, right about a third of the way up the ladder. Uh, that one over there doesn't appear to be activating. Let's just slowly go up. I can hear it rattling, it's still going off. I think we're good. I, I, I think that one is, it's too far away to be pointing at me. The question is how far up can I go before that shuts off? About right here. So for a good solid 50 to 60% of the ladder, that camera is going to register and be shooting darts. I do like that. And then down here, down here, it's not high enough. What about like way over here? Yeah, it can. It can see zombies that are, like, over here. Let's just point it up a little bit. Yeah, it still sees me, unfortunately. So it's just going to be shooting some random darts off basically all night long. Hopefully there's just going to be zombies on the ladder for those darts to hit, even if it's not, like, appropriately targeting. I don't know. We'll probably burn through every single dart tonight, and we'll have to go mining again, and it'll just be frustrating, and I'll give up, and we'll change it all over again. And with that, I think we are... Ready for the horde. Just need to do some repairs. Probably do that kind of closer to the horde once I get the whole kit situated. And I guess we can grab Mr. James over here. Go ahead and follow me, buddy, and check your storage. Down to nine bandages. All right, we got to get the kit organized as the fog rolls in. Whoops, sorry, Mr. James. <laughs> Find a new way in. Okay, I got the loadout all set up again. Make sure we got plenty of ammo here. Yeah, we're good there. I think I'm going to grab the money and an awesome sauce, and also a sugar butt. And for today, instead of doing any raiding, because it's, you know, a little bit late for that, we got to get back for the horde at a reasonable hour. Uh, also, we'll grab some fuel, because we might need that. We're going to go on a road trip, and we're going to see if we can track down a freaking helicopter, and if we can, if we can afford it. So, oh, if I had a if I had a pumpkin pie, that would make it even cheaper, though, wouldn't it? Can I make one of those? Oh, still making a bunch of murky water there. Uh, pumpkin cheesecake, right? That's 5% uh, better bartering when buying. So cook that immediately. Uh, we got the money. We got 196,000 dukes along with all of our buffs. I, I think we should be able to afford basically anything that we want. Uh, so yeah, gas up. Probably should bring some spare fuel, although I don't really know if I have any more. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Let's go. Just swinging through here, and there's a, a loot bag up on the rooftop here from ages ago. I mean, we, we cleared this POI out like weeks ago, so yeah, loot bags must just last forever here. I mean, I'm, in, I'm expecting there to be zombies here. It's been so long since we were here. In fact, there are. Just run up here. I just want to grab the loot bag and run. Yep. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> I don't know what that was. What was that? Uh, uh, extra point into digging tools. Nice. I thought that was my van for a second. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you over at Ellen's. All right, good morning, everyone. Greetings, Ellen, 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 you gotta have this helicopter, okay? I'm putting in a special request for it. It's called the MD. Whoa, what is this? Briggs's Fury. Whoa, okay. Uh, on second thought. We might splurge a little bit and get this thing. Uh, titanium sledge, in fact, you know, a lot better, really. Though I'm sure if you upgraded this further, that eventually it would be really, really nice, right? Otherwise, okay, no helicopter. 
Damn, yeah, man. Brings his fury. 39,000. Probably get that down to something on the order of like 30,000 with all the bonuses, um, which would leave us 160 or something like that. I'm not sure what the helicopter costs. I can't remember. I only saw it that one time. I don't know if Maxton even sells. Was that scrap katana? Yeah, does he even sell um, vehicles? Doesn't. Oh, yeah, I guess he does. Black and white sedan and the motor motorcycle right there. Okay, well, I'm going to keep that in mind. If I don't find the helicopter today, I'm going to swing back on the way back and I'm going to purchase these SMG parts Take and also time. Brinks's Fury. For now, though, we'll head up to... We'll, we're just going to hit all the traders today. The whole round. I feel bad for Private Ryan having to spend all of his time here with Trader Wrecked. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a helicopter, my friend. I don't suppose you have one. Now he's got the Dune Runner dashboard. I think that's his, like, designated vehicle part. What was that? Cricket bat. Oh, I remember that. We are getting an airdrop here. We'll something? check on that in just a second. That is... Uh, where is that? Over that way, which is good, because we're going to be heading that way anyway in just a second. To head over what to the new trader. Unless, of course, this guy has the helicopter, which... Uh, not looking good here. Motorcycle chassis. Yeah, so uh, generally, I don't, I'm not sure how it works in Undead Legacy, but in vanilla, like, traders have a chance to have, like, they have, like, one vehicle part slot. And that could be anything from, like, an engine to, um, like, a freaking bicycle chassis. That's what it is in this case. But, uh, yeah, no luck here. On to the next one. Ah, damn it. Here we are. Put the lucky goggles on for this. Check it out. What's this? A farming bundle? What's in that? Some farm plots, not too bad. Pumpkin seed, hop seed, super corn seed. Wow, that's a lucky one. Good deal. That's a good one. Oh, by the way, I just passed over this road here. There's two roads, in fact. One of those might lead to a quick town that's nearby. So I'm just gonna like poke up the road here and see if I can see anything. See if there's a new city up here or maybe there's a new trader. Could I just get lucky for once and get a little sneaky trader here on the outside? We'll follow the road in because the, the trader is going to be connected to the hub of the city. There he is right there. Is that trader Bob? Aha, it is trader Bob. Trader Bob is the vehicle expert too. Let's check this place out. Right, trader Bob's compound got a major makeover. Speaking of Major, who's this guy? Major Logan! Hey man! What are you selling, buddy? Oh wow, nine machine gun parts? Four handgun parts? Oh, I've, I've just gotta take these. I've gotta oh, have wow. them. Uh, I gotta have them and I'm gonna take a sugar See butt just to get that incremental discount on them. Yeah, we're gonna need that to further upgrade the Golconda. That's like my weapon of choice for this playthrough. Look at that! 40... This guy's got like a major inventory as well! Armor bandolier schematic. Awesome. Did, did I ever get a bandolier mod? I don't think that I did, did I? I don't I don't have a bandolier. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, this guy's hooking me up today. Armor bandolier mod. We'll take that schematic. So we'll have to, you know, read it and craft it ourselves. Shouldn't be any big deal there. And uh 556 AP. I'm gonna just buy one of Very those. Well. I, oh no, I was thinking it might be used in a recipe to unlock it so that I can craft it myself, but that was not the case. That's a bust. Oh well. All right, I don't I don't really want to pick through the compound right now. We'll have to come out. We'll we'll make a regular trip out here probably to see if uh Trader Bob is stalking the helicopter if he in fact does not have it today. Uh but it looks really cool here. Oh, there's the the ammo crate right there. One of them. There should be another one somewhere, I think. Crucible just hanging out in there as well. How about this military truck? Repair kit, some iron arrows. Pulling in some zombies from outside. Okay, so let's just check here. Check this and grab that. Check on Bob here. How's it going, Bob? Don't mind me. I'm just going to check and see what's in your gun safe back here. Ooh, not too bad either. Nice. Right. Tell me. Tell me. You got a helicopter for me. Two bicycles. No. <laughs> yeah, Trader Bob just has like... um. A more inventory slots for vehicle parts, both in the secret stash and his regular inventory, I believe. Aviation engine, that's what's occupying that slot right now. So, oh, and the mining cart. So, yeah, no luck. Oh, it's okay. God, On to the next one. We're in a bit of a hurry now. Right, from here... Ooh, we are kind of way off. Let's head down to Camp Raw Gage. Check on them, and then we'll probably have to loop south, maybe? Maybe we'll cut cross country, we'll go check on Ellen number two, and then we basically, we have to head back at that point. 
Oh boy, not good. Oh shit. I was trapped in the wasteland. I am still trapped in the wasteland. And I'm trying to drive out of here. And I went into the field of whites. Oh my god, that was scary. Getting swarmed by birds. All I'm trying to do is get out of the wasteland. I'm done. I'm done with this. Right, having some frame rate. Oh jeez, we, okay, we just gotta go around. Around the wasteland. There's no easy way to get through it. Okay, we made it. Okay, raid in here. Selling friggin' mini bike handlebars. Not what I'm looking for here, of course. And nothing else terribly exciting. Ah, more handgun parts, though. I will definitely take that. Spending money where I shouldn't be, but uh, I think the chances well, of getting a helicopter here from Q or from L in number two are very, very low. Magnum Enforcer. Last shot in the chamber does double damage. Yep, I'll take that. Uh, Wasteland Treasures. Crafting cloth requires 25% less cotton. Hooray! And he's still in a damn ambulance. Okay. No luck. Yep, so from here, I think it's not too, too big of a deal to... Oh boy, that I can see like this massive chunk of wasteland here. Ah, oh, jeez, this is gonna be rough. But um, yeah, and there's the freaking crag here that we can't get through. I'm gonna push to the west and then I'm gonna push to the south and see if we can do it. If not, we're just gonna have to call it quits and, and head back home. It'll kind of allow us to eyeball this. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that place. That is super cool. Like one building, it, that reminds me of, uh, what's that movie? Uh, crap. Cloverfield. Cloverfield was the movie where the, the building tips over on the other building and they have to kind of run across. Oh, I want to check that place out now. I'm seeing snowy mountains here to the west, which means we this is the western border of the map. Oh, ditch. Yeah, I'm just rolling through here and I can see that the wasteland like pushes all the way into the snowy mountains. So I think this is just like one continuous massive strip of cratered wasteland. Nice patch of grass here though I don't know how ah crap can we make it through here is there maybe a road what, what's the play here are we just gonna take our chances or is this like a nice strip of burn biome that we can just skirt through oh against my better judgment I'm just gonna push through here you know what we need is the friggin marauder <laughs> the undead legacy needs like some sort of like a wasteland dominating vehicle so they're just designed to get through all this crap oh but you know with that said I think I just pushed right through it without much incident at all. Okay, we're over here at Bob's Boars, so it's familiar territory. At least I think, yeah, that's definitely the one we've already done. We're at the Ostrich Shopping Center or Hotel, or I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, rolling up on LN number twos. I'm gonna have to log out of the game, having like major frame rate issues. I've loaded basically three quarters of the map on this one little road trip and then my computer's not liking it. Hello. Let's trade. I hope so. Two Renegades, that's not what we need. And a Phantom. Wow, Ellen's pretty good on the vehicles too, usually. Um, uh, lockpicking, animal harvesting, bunch of crap here, don't need that. Check on maxed in here, nothing. Car, engine, that's in. Dude runner frame, motorcycle handlebars. Okay, so just unlucky this week. We will have to try again on day 73, see if we can find the helicopter again then. For now though, it is of the utmost importance that we get back and start preparing for the horde immediately. All right, we're back home and the timing is impeccable. There's a friggin' horde here. I'm not even, oh, Jesus Christ, I hate hordes. Okay, harvest that up, pick that up, put the extra super corn seed that we got in there. Urgh, these stupid hordes. Uh, just, ew, okay, emergency, give me steel. Steal all the steel. Oh, jeez, the inventory is so messed up right now. It just irritates me. Okay, regular glasses on. Probably should have had those on all day. Okay, lagging. Yeah, so are you guys, you're not in the base, are you? I don't think I have closed the, the hatch off. Get out of the base, you sons of bitches! Yep, close. Ow! No, 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 no. Stop doing this! Like, why do you want to go out there? Zombies, these zombies are broken. Alright, in the interest of time, just go ahead and freaking activate everything. Dry run. I'm hearing the darts go off. I'm hearing the blade trap go off. I'm hearing the fence go off. I'm hearing spikes poking zombies. This is great. Yep, punch turret, punch him back in, please. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, Steve just got poked. Scramer coming. I can see her shadow, she's coming in. There she is, take her out. She's down. Okay, that's good. Excellent, very, very pleased with that. Can I refuel this a little bit with all that fuel that I had? Nice, close that off. And yep, just turn that off now, save the fuel. 
Good, good, good. I like that. Okay, I'm just gonna get the inventory finished up and we should be good to fight. Okay, the final thing to do is just to make some final repairs here. Just make sure that like this fence here is all fully upgraded. Yep. Yep, yep, perfect, and come out here. Oh yes, make sure this is fully upgraded as well. Definitely want that. Yep, good. How much steel are we looking at? 36, ah, do we have any more? Oh yes, we have like tons, tons more. Give me all of it, please. All of it, and then we're gonna lumber our ass down into the pit and fix the floor down there. Get this finally all set up. Okay, just get rid of that. Don't need that there. Yes, perfect, and repair, repair, repair. Also, very important that we repair the bottom of the ladder there. Oh, that's almost broken. It is panic mode right now. I saw some spike traps that were not looking too good. And now I'm like super duper encumbered. It's not how I wanted to be doing this stuff. Lol, last minute like this. Yes, you're good. You are definitely not good. How are you all looking? Just get everything fully repaired. Yep, looking good, looking good. All right, that's, uh, oh, jeez, hopefully everything I need. All right, get this place all sealed up. Mr. James, Mr. James, where are you? There you are. All right, close that up. Well, my friends, the Day 70 Horde is approaching our 10th Horde night. It is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. My goodness, we got a demo here, first thing. Oh boy, that bodes poorly. We got another one? What? Okay, he's in the pit. He just loaded up with fight bombs. Fight bombs for everybody. Oh, and he like jumped out of the pit. Oh no, 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 not, not this soon, please. Well, we gotta not have that happen again, hopefully. Uh, new plan, demos, we don't target them at all. Try to lean into the traps a little bit, see if the traps can do most of the work for us. Yes, that's the way we do it. In fact, with the 9 mil, we load in the AP 9 mil. For all the rest of the zombies, we can just, I think, safely use the, um, the R90. In fact, I didn't get any recog. I gotta get some recog. Hold down the fort, guys. I'll be right back. I'm back. What I miss? Hopefully nothing. Nothing special anyway. All right, a bunch of special zombies here. Holy cow, lots of rads. All right, stop wasting the bullets and suck down the recog. We just need recog all night. I have like 18 recog, so it's just, it should be fine. We'll just eat it all night long. I do hear spikes. I do hear darts going off. I would imagine we're gonna be running out like really, really soon though. So far, I have not seen any cops, which is kind of nice. I feel kind of like all buttoned up here in my new fighting position. I see the darts shooting up. Okay, yes, uh, get demos here. Just very, very carefully this time, try to get some headshots with the AP rounds. And that's fine if he falls down. If he falls down, just hopefully the traps will kill him. Not too worried about it. Uh, also, hopefully the punch turret. Oh no, crap, stop, no, don't let him. There goes a significant portion of the right side of the ladder. Okay, I'm not listening to my own rule of not shooting at the demos, and it's really coming back to bite me. It's okay, that's why we have redundancy on this base. We should be okay. We just need to not have that happen anymore. Demo, let him fall. Yep, let the demo go up. <laughs> Don't even target the demo. He's really, he's not doing anything. Oh, now he's right in front of me. Okay, then we, in this case, carefully then shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face very, very carefully until he falls down, and then goodbye. Ow. Okay, kind of 
myself wondering what the condition here is on the base. Probably with all these rads, not looking too good. Okay, I did have all these pipe bombs and I'm, I'm just not sure what I want to do with them. I guess I throw a few down in the pit there. See what that does. That's good, I like it. This place is not working out too bad, is it? Demo zombie almost dead, got him down. Ooh, I saw a nice boss loot bag fall off of him too. Okay, not looking too busy up here. Probably means the pit's full. Drop a few bombs in for him. Very nice. Got another demo here right in our face. Just careful, careful headshots. Yes, until he falls down and then shoot him in the nuts a little bit. That does no damage. Okay, and on second thought, no shooting in the nuts. Just shoot in the head until he falls and then forget all about him, right? Need repairs. Okay, hold down the fort. I will be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. We're good. Repaired all the guns. Oh, got another demo. Oh, how did you get in here? It's not allowed. Oh, not good. They're able to crawl through at this point. Um, yeah, that needs to be fixed. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Mr. James. Ow, ow, ow. Trying to close the door. Oh, boy. Lagging, chopping zombies' heads off. No, 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 no. Go away. And quickly now. Oh, shit. No. Bo, get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. Everybody, get the fuck out of here. Bo's not dead. I'm going to die here if I don't kill him. Oh, shit. Yep, this is this uh, might be the end here. This might be the end. I'm trying to copy shape and put that in. And then fucking build it up to concrete. Ah, thank goodness. I hear a demo going off somewhere, probably punched her, it's fault. No, no, no. Oh boy, okay. I'm so used to playing this um, style of play where, oh my God, I lost the steel door on the left side. I'm so used to playing with like no repairs. Like that's my rule sometimes, but uh, this is just like unsustainable. That is not a style of play that you could play right here, right now. Not on this base anyway. So I, anyway, I gotta get in the habit of like actually conducting repairs. It's kind of required right now. Also, birds are a huge issue because I don't think I ever properly connected the turret up there. Oh shit. It's just gonna have to do, in fact, probably with the new system that we have up here. If I just step back briefly, take a second to reload, I should be able to shoot these things through the new system here. I don't know what we're calling it, like a Trellis, maybe you call that? The the crosses up there? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's a cop right there with the, the volume of zombies that we have now on Horde Night. I, there's like no issue. We, we have plenty of zombies up here at the front. It's very concerning. All right, how are we even looking down here? We've got spikes traps still look intact, but no zombies currently pathing over them. Okay, zombies are pathing over them. They've all probably degraded at this point, I, I would say. Right. Now that I have some reprieve, give me the shapes back down here. Big Mama, your fat arm is in the way, damn it. Okay, she has despawned, now the demo's in the way. Uh, oh, I got it. Get back. Okay, he fell down, we're good to, to, to build this up. I don't have any bricks. Why am I so unprepared for this? I suppose that's one plus of having your horde base where your regular base is, is you can just run right back when you 
friggin' forget stuff like me and get your bricks. I probably could even briefly run back. Oh my god, I, I don't know why I'm risking this. Um, grab the wire tool down with some... Holy crap, scrap wire. Where is it? Right there. And just immediately get this line here hooked up to the SMG turret there. And I think we're golden on that front. Oh crap, bird killing me on the way down. Yes, we are good. Thank you, Mr. James, hooking me up. All right, back in business. Hopefully, sands the birds. Cop blew up. Oh my god, he blew up on the left side too. Which means he might have affected the ladder. No, the ladder looks to be intact, although they do not seem to be preferring the left side ladder. There may be another interruption in it somewhere. Okay, we're two-thirds of the way through the, the, the horde, and there's two boss loot bags that I can see so far. Uh, that didn't work. Yikes! Whoa, what is wrong with my door? My door is all messed up again. Trying to get some pipe bombs down there for these guys. That's working. <laughs> nice. I love it. Oh, getting roughed up here. That's doing nothing. Melee, just not a tactic on Horde Knight anymore. Nope. No, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah, the cops are here now. They're spitting at me. Oh, there we go. Spitting through the door. We saw that for sure. The door is just, like, completely fucked right now, though. Yeah, this wave that we're on here seems to be short on demos, but heavy on cops. I'm getting very familiar with, like, how zombies spawn during Horde Night because I'm working on that mod. Ah, oh, damn it. We need repairs on the freaking R90 again. Run! I think next Horde we'll, ha we'll have to use the, um... Where am I going? Next Horde we'll have to use, like, the, the M60 again. Try to ease up the, the ammo usage. There we go. Yeah, because we're uh, almost down to our last bit. Oh my god. Yeah, we're on the last of the 556 five, now. Next week, we'll have to roll with the, um, I don't know, the MP40 or whatever the hell that gun is. Oh man, cops blowing up. Okay, conduct some repairs. Yep. Not looking too bad right now. Survivable, at least. Uh, cop there. Oh, there's cops blowing up downstairs. Oh man, it's bad. I do kind of wonder, like, how the sub floor is doing right now. Oh, there's a demo right in my face. I haven't had a chance to look down in the pit. We had the one demo blow up there, but I, I, I am curious to know if like zombies are making their way in there or if they're able to even make their way out. All right, things are quieting down here. I've managed to stave off complete failure of the base. However, multiple demo blasts uh, have probably rendered much of the base useless, and our repair efforts will be extensive tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Speaking of catastrophic failure, can we just kill that demo, please? Yep, there we go. Get the fuck out of my base. All right, I'm leaving. Ow, how did that spike trap still get me? Whoa. Oh my god, it hurts so bad! Ah, run, run, run! I'm completely out of ammo! <laughs> what do I do? Take a painkiller! Okay, we just have a few left. I'm trying very hard not to call in screamers. I really want this to just be it right now. Ow! Come on! Don't let me down now, Katana! Oh shit! Bleeding! First aid bandage! Construction man! Are you the last one? Leave! Oh my god, what an effort, man. Let's just take a quick minute to survey the damage. Whoa, breaking into the wall here. How about the pit? Oh, extensive pit damage. Really, really bad. Oh, the pit was just such a bad idea in the end. Just not sustainable over long periods of time. The plate, the plate cladding that we put on the outside here uh, came in handy at shielding some of the demo blasts. Uh, yes, needs lots and lots of repairs. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Not looking good right here, are we? Wow, that's bad. That would be all the demo blast. Yeah, we just need to focus on like steel, steel upgrades everywhere. Basically, this game, uh, this uh, this playthrough has just become all about mining for iron. Basically, well, anyway, let's uh, not dwell on uh, the extensive work and repairs that we have to do, and let's just get these eye candy in, lucky goggles on, and we'll see what they left for us.
Yep, I think that's it. Uh, I don't. I didn't see anything special, but uh, looking at the damage here, it does appear that, um, let's see, they could have come out of the pit this way if they fell down into this portion of the pit. Oh, damn it, I did that again. I'm gonna freaking kill myself just trying to get the loot and get out of my freaking pit. Uh, yes, Demo Blast here did probably most of this damage. So yeah, steel upgrades, probably the way to go. I don't even think that I finished fixing the dog egress pit, but definitely blew through here. I think another demo blast went off down here at some point. I'm not sure if the punch turret set him off and knocked him down here, and this is where he blew up, because otherwise nothing should have been able to explode him down here unless there was a zombie that was hitting him in the chest. Uh, we did lose structural stability for the tower. However, uh, the redundancies seem to have worked well, so I think that we'll just... Basically, uh, all the work is done. We just need to do some fill work in here and some upgrades. Zombies do look like they were able to get up and out of there just fine. We didn't seem, it didn't seem like they were all stuck down there or anything like that. And I would imagine these are all broken on this side. Ooh, dart trap not looking too bad, actually. That, that held up pretty well. And these ones are still operational, but it does seem as though they have a preference to that side over there when they come up out of the pit. But anyway, I'm going to get everything basically put away, nurse my injuries a little bit, and we'll get a plan going for tomorrow. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Jeez, it was a hell of a night last night. I, I don't even want to go over there and look at the damage. I know it's horrific, and there's going to be a ton of work involved into repairing this and getting things upgraded to steel. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll focus on that another time. Let's go over here and check on the resource collectors just so that they're moving during the day today. And then we're going to do a bit of a shopping expedition. That's terrible. Because uh, Hugh had a cigar for sale, and I don't have one of those yet, and I want to get one. And uh, Ellen had that Brinks's Fury, I think it was called. It was uh, some sort of a legendary Warhammer. So, I definitely want that stuff. If uh, I'm not just going to sit on my money, okay? So, if I find stuff that I want, I'm going to spend it. We'll take an awesome sauce, and... Uh, oh, while I'm thinking about it, we should probably harvest up the super corn. And, well, or at least see if it's ready to be harvested. Oh yeah, look at that, two treasure maps too. That's something we could do today. Uh, Mr. James, you may follow me again. Uh, this is still on, so yes, turn this off. Not that <laughs> anything is really functioning anymore, my goodness. It's just terrible. Uh, we lost the hatch too. That probably needs to be replaced like immediately because uh, I don't want zombies jumping in here when I'm, you know, crafting and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, we were doing super corn. Right, you should be still growing. Oh, 31. This, does this take like three days or something like that? That's, um, it's taken a really long time. Yeah, damn it. Well, I can harvest up them, I guess, and harvest up the pumpkins. Um, oh well. So we'll be able to craft awesome sauce at some point. So in terms of the loadout today, we're going to be having to roll with the UMP because we are doing really good on 10 mil. I, that's pretty much all the 9 mil I have right there. But uh, we were rolling with the 5.56, five, and I pretty much used all of that last night, unless I got more. Yeah, I have like a whole stack of it, but really not that much. I think probably we'll focus on 7.62 for the next Horde night. We'll get the, um, the uh, what's it called, the M60 back out again. Oh, we gotta craft some rockets, too. Okay, lots to do this week. We're gonna be very, very busy. Let's read those treasure maps, or perhaps, is it... You know, we're in the wasteland, so hopefully the treasure kind of spawns down in here. Yeah, let's read these. Hopefully it's not in the friggin' lake right out in front of us. Read that one too while we're at it. And where are they? Okay, they both just spawned over here. Unfortunately, we just missed the wasteland on that one, but it is burned biome. And this one is directly underneath a POI. What the fuck, man? Oh boy. We get an opening trade routes down there too, and we ought to go check that out to see if... Um, I think that's, uh, what's his face? Trader Joel. Maybe he's selling a helicopter for us. 
But first things first, we're gonna zip up to Trader Ellen, get Brinks's Fury, and then we'll take make a mad dash over here to Camp Raw Gage to see if we can get that cigar off of Hugh while we got the awesome sauce activated. All right, here we are at Ellen's, and uh, so I did take that point into Iron Gut, which gives us like, I don't know, 10% more on this, and that's gonna be, so three minutes, so it's gonna be like three minutes and I don't know, 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it over to Hugh, because we gotta go like through the wasteland, up and around, and over to Hugh, so uh, it's okay though. I just wanna get the Brinks' Fury, let's just make sure I know where it is here, right there, Brinks' Fury. Class F, so that's gonna need to be upgraded. Oh boy, I wonder what the um, like the specialized specialization is on this. Well, we'll have okay. to figure that out in, in just a minute. So we've got the pumpkin cheesecake as well. That's gonna be for five minutes. So order of operations here: sugar butts, pumpkin cheesecake, Gramps' awesome sauce, and then immediately just make sure that buff is active. Yes, and uh, get Brinks' fury. Bye, and then run. Get in the car and friggin' drive. No, don't spin out and crash into the wall. Crap, we're losing precious time here. Hey, I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, we got a clean like 30 seconds Let left and we can get this cigar for a little extra discount. Only 825 anyway, but that's not, that's, not too bad, but I'll save, uh, wh wherever I can save, I will try to save. Uh, while we're at it, you know, spike straps, ugh, just so much easier to buy them versus, um, versus crafting them, because you need all the iron and stuff like that, so I will take that. Ooh, that's a pretty decent desert mantis there as well, and that's actually not even that expensive. Magazine capacity is still only six, though. We do need to find a way to use up all of, ooh, more spike straps. Yep, take those. <laughs> Uh, we do need to find a way to use the 44 Magnum. I wish there was a turret or something that would shoot it. How about that solar cell, though? Oh, geez. I've run out of the awesome sauce by now, so I'll, I'll hold off on that. We're good. On. That is right, Hugh. Time to move on. So I figured while we're out here today, this is a, a whole town that we have not really explored. Not significantly, anyway. Uh, but I, I want to get the Cloverfield Skyscraper POI knocked out. I want to see what this place is all about. See if it's a Tier 3, Tier 4. Who knows? But I want to see what's going on here. out the new Brinks' Fury and see what happens. Works good, I guess. And just lots of room. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Brad Soldier hanging out right there. Gonna loosen him up with a shot to the face, although regenerating it already. Oh yes, I did turn up the zombie run speed. So day speed is now sprint for all zombies. Uh, nighttime speed is nightmare for everyone. I think Rads are on nightmare as well. Whoa, this thing is like... Char oh my god, it's a stun baton sledgehammer! How fun is that? Wow, this is friggin' fun, man. I love it. Let's let him shock out. Nope, not quite enough. There we go. Well, we have definitely got to get this thing upgraded. That'll be our chore for tonight. I see a little ammo pile up here. I'm gonna grab that up. Let's go ahead and just pop lucky goggles on. Grab that. A very nice tempered blade. Do I need that on anything right now? Actually, just a marginal upgrade here from the B-Class that we had. Go ahead and put the B-Class on the shovel. Sure. Aha, wow, look, rads everywhere here. All right, let's give him some Brinks' fury. Eat that. I wonder, is there pro there's probably gotta be a front door here somewhere. What is this? This is like, is this the building that tipped over? This is the big building and it tipped over onto the little building over there. Wow, this thing wrecks. Hey, hey, Crawler giving me some loot. Grab that up real fast. Spear book, don't need that, whoa! 
Yeah, so we're still playing on survivalist difficulty. I figured, you know, one dramatic leap in difficulty at a time. Wow, this thing feels really good. A whole bunch of zombies that are awake inside there. And another one here. Whoop, missed first one. Yeah, can I get some headshots in here? Oh, that stun lock is just nice, especially with the zombies on higher speed now. Whoop, stamina a bit of an issue though. Oh, look at that, HP 762. Go ahead and read it. I'm looking more for the um, armor piercing 556. <laughs> I just blew his leg off, nice. Yeah, it doesn't work as well. We need to get it upgraded, that's all. It'll be fine. It's a breakfast for later. Speaking of that, thirsty right now. I think that awesome sauce kind of dehydrates you a little bit. Oh my god, more of you guys? We are going to be jacking up our sledgehammer skill here in no time. I think I'm just going to pop in here, right? Who cares? Just wander in. Whoa, getting some weird issues with the console there. That might be an issue, just warning you. Might have to leave here, or might crash. Whoa, hello. Ah, oh my god, another one. Crap. I think it's some sort of a sleeper volume issue. Oh, damn it. It's, um, it's kind of bad here. What is this? Uh, just a bunch of sleeper things, and then given key not present in the dictionary. Oh, jeez. That doesn't sound good. I think we can probably try to push on a little bit further, but if this continues to be an issue, probably just gonna have to call it quits. Oh, another awesome sauce. Lucky me. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Crawler. Not a crawler. Spider. Bit of a pickle here in the <laughs> in the stairway. We got in here. Nice open space. I like that. Desk save. Blow that up. Or can I just bobby pin it, actually? I don't even have... Uh, I have, like, one more regular lock pick. So I'm just gonna maybe save that for a rainy day. Whoa! Snuck up on me. Oh, these... Oh, barrels. This is a horde. This is a freaking horde. Well, let me out of here. Oh, boy. Maybe that was the uh, the console issue we had. Yeah, look at him come pouring out of the side of the building. Yep, yeah, okay. Need first aid. Mr. James not doing his job. Oh, God. They're, they're, they're very fast. Nightmare speed for the ferals. Here, hide up here and give me a painkiller or something. Maybe <laughs> hide up here. Oh, I can't get up there. Oh, man. Stamina, a big issue right now. Can I do anything for stamina? Gold rod T, that'll do. Okay, yep. Yeah. No more stamina. Well, I'd say things are certainly more exciting now that we've turned up the friggin' run speed. Die! You know, that, that couldn't have been a horde, because there were like ferals and rads in it. I think that was just like a bunch of random regular zombies that woke up somewhere. I don't know, this place is, um, this place is big, but I can't really tell where all the zombies are coming from. Yeah, just take a skull crusher preemptively. I've got like half a dozen of them. Some more stuff up here. Not great loot, but I'll take it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> One titanium ore, but a really nice improved armor plating mod. See if I can slap that on something. Yeah, I'm waking up more zombies somewhere. I don't know where. I just heard them like running in from outside. Probably not the place I want to be fighting from in here. There, oh, this will maybe work. There we go. All right, it's just cookie cutter. Every level's the same. I, I was expecting more out of this place. Looks like it's clear. I think probably all the zombies like wandered after me downstairs. That's why we had such high volumes. One of these places... Oh, still got to go a little bit higher to get to the other side. Aha, uh -huh, this is where things look like they're starting to get interesting here. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, waking people up. Let's see if they can make their way up to here. Oh, I see, like, zombies and rads just kind of, like, everywhere. Here, while they're working on that over there, I think they can jump up here. They want to jump up here, but I'm going to work on some of these guys. They don't come raining down on us later. I just shot Mr. James. I didn't think that I could even do that. Yep, here they come. Oh, 
just don't quite have the accuracy to get that zombie down there. There we go. Here, why don't you hold on to that for me? <laughs> Blow him off the side of the building. No, it didn't work. Here, maybe we need two. I just saw this pizza jump off the side of the building. There we go. Oh, I wonder if this thing could take a repulsor mod. That would be amazing. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that zombies are going to have a hard time following me. Whoops. I was thinking, why don't I just kind of like parkour my way through this try to get to like i don't know the main loot that's all i really care about here yeah zombie's gonna have a real hard time following me over here oh is that the main loot oh my goodness it is nice already too yep go ahead and just blow that up we'll take an eye candy for this one too pop that in we'll see what we get here lots of zombies over there though so we'll do this quickly Oh, there's my bandolier mod that I just learned how to make. I was going to make that this morning, too. A couple motion sensors there. Might have lost a motion sensor last night, so I have to check on that. Learn an elixir. Yeah, otherwise nothing too, too special here. Oh, yeah, zombies just kind of, like, spawning in periodically as I'm jumping through here. Yes. Hello, everyone. What's this? Garage box? Don't need that. Uh, where do I go? Just hidden loot everywhere, man. You could probably poke through here and find a whole bunch of ammo piles. Look, the food stash here. I kind of just want to, like bound through here. Oh, look at this. Munitions boxes. Aha, there's a ladder here. We can go to, like, the top top. It's up here. Any birds? I don't see birds. This uh, would have been the old, like, side of the building as it kind of fell over. And looking down, got a good bird's eye view here. I don't see anything terribly good. It's just Let's just jump our way down. Um, how good is my parkour? We're gonna find out here. Whoa, hello! Oh shit, <laughs> parkour is not doing too bad. Get out of the way, I really want that ammo pile. Grab it, and, <laughs> okay. Whoa, I guess we're gonna, oh, we didn't sprain a leg, thank goodness. I think it's because have... I'm have. i carrying so much money on me. All right, well, let's see if they followed me down here. Quite a few of them did, it looks like. It's lagging, so I know I spawned in a lot of zombies on the way down there. Oh yeah, they, they've, they've taken a break. They don't know where I am anymore. Well, I'll give them a little quick reminder. <laughs> I hate that. Oh yeah, having some frame rate issues here. I'm not gonna bother with the melee. Oh my, look at the zombies coming in here. Yeah, they're having that thing where they get confused because there's simply too many zo Look at the zombies rolling in here. Control burst with this. Reload. I'm gonna just kind of skirt back this way and see how many we've spawned in. Oh my god, just too many. Too many have spawned in. Ooh, really working on the SMG skill today, aren't we? Screamer's coming in. I can hear her somewhere. Okay, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Just continue lining them up like this. Yep, get all those headshots. Too bad I didn't have any AP on me. I could line them right up. Speaking of AP, we probably need to take some points into the penetrator perk. That's been suggested. I, I agree with that. That'd be a good idea. Maybe we'll check on our skill points here in just a second. I'm not sure if we got any or how many we have after the Horde Knight. Okay, I think we can maybe risk some melee now. Zombies all sorts of messed up still. Yikes. Oh, it's nice to have that stun lock for some of the stronger zombies. And that's it. Handguns improved. Let's check those skill points before I forget again. We do have two. Why don't we just go? Can we do two into Penetrator? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. And that's going to give us, let's see, firearms and archery and spears ignore 25% of armor. That's not bad. There's probably more loot in this building here. And I would imagine all the zombies are cleared out at this point. The way that we had to have that big fight out there. Oh, Screamer though. Where's she? There she is. Still spawning zombies. They're falling out of the building. Just going to quickly poke my head in here. I think it's, this is just the same old kind of generic POI as the other building was. Whoa! Hello! Yes, might need to uh, actually leave and focus on first aid for a second. Oh, hello, Mo. I keep calling this guy Bo, but this, this is Mo here. Get out of here. Wow! 
Oh, whatever. I'm done with this place. Cross that one off the bucket list. So, nothing else really to do tonight. Let's head down and get those treasure maps. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are rolling up on the first one. Not too bad. Might be underneath the road, but that's okay. Just take a moment to secure the area and should be safe to dig now. Yep, I found it. Well, unfortunately, I can't use the bobby pin. I think what I'll do is I'll take a jailbreaker because that'll work on the next one too. I don't want to use the time charge because there's a bunch of zombies right above me. And I think it's going to wake them all up and aggro them on me down here if I do that. So let's just go ahead and auto pick. Oh, first try as well. And um, I think we could probably get to the other one in time. And we have the extra eye candy, so might as well try that. And just get a gun ready because I know these zombies are going to hear this. Grab this. Not too bad. Oh, the zombies did not hear that, in fact. We are safe to roll out of here. Suddenly quite encumbered though. Oh, hello friends. Yeah, I'm like super duper encumbered. Uh, probably all the surface nodes that I mined up on the way here. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably do it. Uh, I think I might. I usually do a lot of mining and like I'll break down cars and I'll uh, chop up tree stumps and stuff. I just do that during my commutes so that we don't have to do as many like dedicated. What? Why is that guy on fire? Oh, he walked on the coals. <laughs> Jeez. All right, this place is dangerous. Let's get out of here. All right, number two is, of course, directly under this POI here, or is it possible that it actually spawned, like, up inside the POI? Oh my god, we got, like, wolves and freaking zombies on me. Jeez. Let's see if I can lose him by doing a lap around the neighborhood here. All right, Arlene's chasing the wolf off, it looks like. Or maybe the wolf's chasing her, I'm not sure which. I suppose I'll just leave him to it. I'm not too worried about that. Yes, definitely need to get rid of stuff in the inventory, though. What's the heaviest item I have? Yeah, all that iron, clay. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. There we go. Much better. Oh, Arlene, she took him out. So there's, uh, yet again... Oh, it's probably that skyscraper right there, maybe. Something, yet again, in this neighborhood just tanks the frame rate. Uh, something I see a lot with the compo pack. So I'm gonna struggle through this, find this treasure, and I'll kind of just pick things back up with you when I get to it. Aha, I found it. It took a lot of clay mining, but... <laughs> I did get to it. Should be able to just auto pick into that. First try, I'm on my lucky bobby pin these days. All right, let's see what we get here. Yeah, more of the same. That took quite a lot of digging. Look at this extensive tunnel network I've dug into here. Left, right, round the corner, <laughs> directly underneath that building of all places. Uh oh. Hello there. Just get the hell out of my way, please. Right, the terrible frame rate has returned, so let's just go home. Wait a minute, got a loot bag here. Give me that, and we're out of here. All right, welcome back, my friends, and good morning. Now, we have to take a look here at what we got today. We got the cigar, so we can wear that from now on, and we can go ahead and just sell the bandana. We gotta put that bandolier mod on. Don't really think I need the insulated liner that much, so we'll just replace it with that. In fact, also gotta put that uh, armor plating mod on, and there's a free spot on the boots for that. And otherwise, we are all filled up. Head to the workbench here, get uh, recharged on first aid bandages. We're going through those pretty quickly these days. What a surprise. Went through a ton of 10 mil today. Also, what a surprise. And so now we're left with the sledgehammer situation. So I suppose the first things first, let's see if we can get this thing first repaired and then uh, perhaps upgraded a little bit. And if not, I'm gonna focus on getting the things to upgrade it because I'm really excited about this hammer and I really want it to be nice and upgraded. Using only steel to repair, which is nice, and to upgrade... Oh my god, steel! <laughs> no. Steel and adhesive, oh wow. That's a lot of adhesive too. Man, we need so much steel because we need steel for the base. Okay, so for now, we're... I, 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 I'm gonna just edit out what I said before. <laughs> we'll just put, um... This exotic alloy kit. Any, what does that take to upgrade anyway? Diamonds. Oh my god, so many diamonds. I've only found 14 diamonds by whole playthrough. I haven't sold them at all, I don't think, anyway. Uh, so that is a, a huge investment there. And, if, and just, you could lose them all, too, in one one fell swoop. Yeah, so I'm glad that's upgraded as, as far as it is, anyway. So, um, yeah, Brixis Fury will have that and, and that alone for now. Well, actually, we've got one more mod slot there, so... Let's go with the ergonomic grip, probably the best bet for that. Yep, toss that on. Uh, we'll just modify this, take that off, and uh, we'll go ahead and just sell the titanium sledge after um, a few weeks of good use from it. How much are we gonna get from it? 1,200, not too bad. Okay, so um, 
So yeah, we do need to work on mining, of course, as always. Uh, but we do need to work on construction as well. How about some pipe bombs? Seems like a good thing to roll around with these days. Gotta get rolling on the forges here. Let's see, we need iron and steel both. Well, that'll be all the iron ore that I mined up in my travels today, just kind of hitting up surface nodes overnight. Uh, we also need cement. So I'm giving up on using bricks, basically. We're gonna use the clay instead to make concrete or cement, and then we'll make concrete shapes after that to help kind of fill in all of the damage on the pit and stuff like that. So 856, that is a substantial amount right there, I would say. So go ahead and start working on it. I can't even make titanium shapes in here or steel shapes for that matter, which saves us on resources if ultimately we're, we're going to be upgrading things to steel, which in fact we are because uh, the base of the pit here at least needs to be steel. And there are how many blocks missing here? Three, so we could just get three titanium or three steel shapes and then uh, probably a whole bunch of concrete shapes after that. I think we're good to go though. Let's go do some repairs. Okay, well, I would say that that's the gist of the repair work, um, at least just for this position here. Ooh, they <laughs> they do so much damage. Look, this is from like cops spitting up at me. Look how much damage they do. I don't know why they're able to see me through all these blocks. At least, I mean, that's what I'm imagining that's happening here. Look, they're even knocking out the um, little platforms that I put in. And in fact, they're they're almost entirely knocked out. Well, that should bolster the defenses there a little bit. I don't think that's exactly how I had it before, but yeah, it'll do for now. Okay, so let's take a look here and see what happened. Electric fences did pretty well. It looks like we lost one over there in that corner there. Probably because the demo exploded, like right here. <coughs> right. Clearing their stuff up. Sublevel, not looking terrible, quite honestly. I mean, I don't consider this to be terrible. This is all pretty easily fixable. Just like that. Yeah, not too bad. Oh no, 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 no. Run! Holy shit, that was close. I would be dead fucking meat if I was trapped down in there when this horde showed up. Holy shit, man, look at these dogs. Clear out the damn dogs. I can take the rest of probably with the sword, I think. They're still hopping over the fence over here. Get out of here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I want to get some safety here on this little pole that I've left here for some reason this entire time. Get a skull crusher into me. All right, let's do this. Yeah, okay, thinned them out a little bit. Let's get the hammer going. There we go. Zombies attacking the dog. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him to it. Oh, no, no. Maybe not. I should have hired him. Wow, okay, that gets the blood pumping. Ooh, we did get a loot bag off of this one, too. Take that up, and uh, should have some dog leather here. One more running her ass over here. There's uh, at least one more behind the fence back there, too. Here she comes. Get the fuck out of here. Let's check on the ore collectors and see what they got today. Salt, Peter, lead, and zinc. Damn. No good. Okay, back to work. So I got these three steel shapes specifically to do this and just seal this back off. I'm tempted to maybe like double layer the floor here, but honestly, huh, it's whatever at this point. We're just gonna have to accept the fact that there will have to be extensive repairs after every freaking horde. There's just no getting around it with this base design. I do regret <laughs> Kind of committing to this uh, way back originally, back before the series, in fact, when I actually drew the space up. Wanted to try something different, but uh, ultimately this is not a... I would not say that this is a very great late game base. When the demos start showing up, it just... Um, especially in Undead Legacy, because you just need such extensive repairs. What you really need 
uh, right now for, for Undead Legacy for late game is something that's easy to maintain so that you don't have to spend your entire week like making shapes and mining and making steel and all that stuff. I went uh, really all out on this base and I, I do regret it. Oops, sledgehammer's up to 25. Good stuff. All right, we're all patched up. It's really just a matter of throughout the week as we get more resources, come down here, upgrade things, continue repairing, things like that. But for all intents and purposes, uh, we're pretty much back to a functional base. One thing I am looking forward to after this series is over is we're going to go back to a vanilla, vanilla-ish playthrough. I'm going to play with a couple of mods, just some light mods though. I'm going to play with my personal mod that's going to change zombie spawns and hordes and things like that. Also going to play with a, uh, a new weapons mod that I found that adds like new weapon models for like the drum mag and the heavy barrel, things like that. Just changes the appearance of the vanilla weapons. In terms of when that new series is going to start, well, I'm working on that. Uh, I've, I've got the intro basically done. I've got the whole premise for the series done. It's going to be a very interesting style of playthrough. So despite the fact that we're going to be going back to vanilla, it's not going to be like just a plain Jane vanilla playthrough. I've come up with some what I consider to be unique twists on a vanilla playthrough, some things to keep it fresh and interesting and changing things up, but uh, you'll have to stay tuned for more information on that. But uh, I am going to wait until this series is over, and I just, I don't feel like we're quite done yet. I, I kind of wanted to wrap things up by now, by like day 70, but uh, there's still POIs out there that I want to explore, like the um, Ostrich Hotel or whatever it is over there, and. Uh, Maybe the spiral library show you guys that place uh there's another pyramid the pyramid that we that i showed off in episode one like the 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 initial teaser the the prologue i guess you could say uh i want to do that place and uh you know we'll probably fight i would say one or two more hordes but uh let me know what you have or what you would like to see for like series goals before we call it quits here and i will consider that but uh for now yeah we're, we're i'm content to just keep rolling for a little bit I might take a little bit of a break as well in terms of not doing like series content for maybe like a week or so and just kind of crank out some other videos that I've been wanting to do for a long time and uh, then we'll get right back into things. All right, let's get this stuff rolling again. Need the iron and I need the iron to make steel. We're all good on iron plates for now, but we just need more steel. Also, I need more firewood or fuel bricks. Can I make some fuel bricks? Yeah, give me... Um, all of those? No, we don't need that many. We need like 25. Got Mr. James all fixed up again. Stock him up with some bandages. Okay, now we're all reset. Let's uh, maybe just see if we can fix our weapon here. Titanium plates, too easy. Otherwise, I think we're good. Really like to see if we can get some more paint crafted. 3,800. Yes, all of that. Limited by Goldenrod again. That's going to take quite a while as well. Maybe we'll do a big painting montage tomorrow. But I think the big bottleneck now is steel, so it's probably time to do a little bit of mining. And I don't think we have very far to go. We're just going to grab up iron and maybe see if there's more titanium down here. I was thinking there might be some more here. There's plenty more iron. I can see that. This iron probably bleeds over into this iron here which may even bleed over into this coal over here, which by the way, we need some coal as well. Oh no, this is iron over here as well. Maybe I'll just uh, dig this direction and see if I can find anything special. All right, watch my back. Screamers will be a coming. Got her. Well, she pseudo screamed. I think that was just a fake scream. Death rattle, I guess. Ah, here we go. Broke into the other mine. All right, my friends, I've been mining my ass off and I'm just gonna continue doing it for the rest of the night. I'm gonna clear all of this place out eventually. <laughs> it's just one big mega mine down here. We've got uh, coal over here. We've got, uh, we still have some titanium. There's a bunch of iron and we need all of it. So I'm just gonna sit here, mine, fix the auger, run back, get more rock busters and hopefully stave off a massive endless screamer cycle. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. So let's address the elephant in the room here, and that's the, <laughs> the newly found massive crater here in the middle of our POI, basically. It's probably going to be a huge issue. I think probably Horde Knight zombies are going to spawn down there, so I did put a ladder in right there, so hopefully they can get out if they fall down there and they won't start tunneling and making things remarkably worse here. Yep. <laughs> so... Long story short, it, it just collapsed. I was mining, and uh, I, I stopped recording, in fact, when I was doing that. I was talking on the phone to some family, just doing some, you know, generic mining, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, everything came crashing down. And so, we've got to roll with it. We have no choice now. I've got the van filled up quite a bit. Look, the, the van actually, I didn't put it there. It actually collapsed right up until the back of the van. So, that was really actually perfect, because it would have been a pretty big problem if it fell down there. I think it is almost completely filled uh, not completely filled, but like probably two-thirds filled with iron ore and things like that. So I'm going to get these things put into the forges. And then I think, what's today? Day 73. Today's trader day. So we do need to run around and do the whole trader thing. Bring the money with us. See if we can find the helicopter. The Raven, it's called. I have learned. Can I squeeze through here? I can. Good stuff. All right. So I'll get everything organized, get the forges running, and then we'll hit the road. Before we do, I'll just show you what we got. This was requested in a comment a while back, and I think uh, if you guys want to see what we got there, about 3,156 iron, and uh, I can breach it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, here we are. I was just having a peek, too. We are... We don't have as much money as we once did. That's because we bought the Brinks' Fury, but hey. we still have 160,000. Not sure so. if that would be enough or not, so... All right, first stop here. Trader Ellen, do you have the helicopter? Doesn't look like it. I'm not going to waste money anymore on spike straps until I get it. Very well. Maxton, how about you? He does have the gyrocopter frame schematic, which I right. will buy, just in case, so that we have some type of flying vehicle, which means we'll have to be on the lookout for an aviation engine, and I think we can probably research the gyrocopter it's wheel done. schematic. Gyrocopter wheel schematic research station. Yeah, we have all that stuff. We could do that. So, as a consolation prize, we could have the gyrocopter by the end of the day today. Maybe, if I can find the engine. Alright, well, we got a long road ahead of us, so I'll meet you at the next trader. Well, we made it here. Alright, how about Private Ryan? What can I do for you? Well, nothing good here, it looks like. Good. Nope. What are the odds that Trader Wrecked is going to have the one thing I'm looking for here? Oh, he's selling Brinks' Fury too, although not as good as the one I have. 10% more damage for 44 Magnum guns, I guess I'll take that, and otherwise, Police Cruiser, that's kind of cool. That, that has a siren too, and like, uh, makes noise and light, flashing lights and things like that, so that's pretty nice, but not All what right, I'm looking for, we're, we're out of here. Alright, Trader Bob's turn. Come on, man, you're my best hope. Freaking mining cart. No! They say oh, whatever. See what Major Logan's selling hey. today, then. Not the helicopter. More damage to bears, though. That helps. See you later. All right. Next. All right, we made it. Also been picking flowers up along the way. Oh, look at all these flowers here. Although, these might be trader compound protected? Nope, not quite. I think the trader compound protection actually uh, doesn't affect those, it appears. Yeah, so we're up to... Ooh, 126 golden rods. That cannot be a problem anymore. Oh, look, more. I could steal. All right. Oh, look at that pile of bricks there. I'd love to take that. <laughs> this is simply too expensive, though. Ooh, the micro SMG, the Uzi. You know, I'd probably buy that if it was cheaper, but, um, or not cheaper, but higher quality, because it's just going to be a huge chore to upgrade that, and we already are saving the SMG parts for the UMP. Well, oh, no good there. How about you, Raiden? What do you need? I need a helicopter. I can see it now, though. I'm just going to have to settle for the friggin' gyrocopter. Hey, there's a gyrocopter wheel. I'll take that. Look at that, 1,800 research data? Oh, for 59,000 dukes? Good. Well, that's expensive, that's no good. Right, where are we off to next? Looks like we're off to Ellen number two, and then I'll pay a visit down here to Joel, and then, uh, whoa, what's this? Ah, a horde! I'm not gonna let you guys get away that easily, but then again, you are running very fast, so, mm, maybe I'll just, um, I'll let half of them go on by and I'll take the back half. Although this looks like more like the back three quarters. Ah, whatever, let's do this. Ooh, I got two skill points too. I forgot all about spending skill points again. Oh man, I wish Raiden could come out here and help me. He looks like the total badass, the kind of guy you'd want to have during a horde night. Yeah, the thing about this is that the swing speed is not very good for all the running zombies. Maybe let's just get the sword out. That <laughs> doesn't seem to be helping either.
All right, that's better. Where's the rest of you? Come back here, damn janitor. Come on, man. Gotta chase this guy down. Yeah, I'm loving the running speed. Like, I just need to play, basically play on running speed from now on. Maybe we'll do that on the next series. Just play, like, nightmare speed from day one. Like, not insane nightmare, because you just end up having to cheese the game too much early on. But, yeah, nightmare speed. Could be pretty fun. Oh, I wish I could get the, um, what's it called? The repulsor mod. I don't think the repulsor mod would work, though, so... Unless I find one, I'm not going to go through the, the hassle of trying to make it and stuff. Because this is still a sledgehammer, and the, the, the repulsor mod is a stun baton mod, so this would have to be a baton. Alright, just a handful more. Oh, two for one! Nice! What a way to close things out, except for that one way over there. Got her. Yeah, the reason the armor is so degraded right now is because of the collapse last night. I almost died in that freaking collapse. And uh, it seems like collapsing ore and falling blocks and stuff like that really damages the armor a lot more than, like, say, zombies. Well, anyway, we're off to Ella number two, so I'll meet you there. All right, here we go. Come on, Ellen, you're my next best chance. Also, I haven't found a sugar butts all day. I ate the one this morning. I only brought the one. And How can frame rate starting to lag a little bit. That sounds like a horde, but it definitely cannot be a horde just now. Uh, okay, what do you got here? Nothing that I need. Also, nothing that I need. Nada. Zilch. Man, these traitors are really killing okay. me today. That why, why the hell are there so many zombies out around here today? I've already killed a handful of you guys. Where'd you all come from? Whoa. Yep, frame rate's all bogged down because I drove all across the map again. It's okay, I'll log out in just a minute here and uh, get the frame rate back to, like, you know, 60-ish. That'd be nice. Where are we off to now? Yes, we're heading over to... Ah, no easy way to get there. How about we just hit that corner right there and we run right straight down the road to the opening trade routes? And then maybe we'll head back north and we'll do that cat POI. All right, last stop for the day. Yep, kill him. Seal this up this time with the volume of zombies I've been drawing in lately. All right, Joel, you're the last one on the list. Hang on, parts. Take those for sure. And nothing otherwise. Hey, Ethan. <laughs> Not looking too good, guys. Nope. Nope. Uh, looks like the gyrocopter it is. Really? Yeah, unless we want to head out to the desert and check on those traders. Look at the size of that city. That's just immense. Okay, let's head up to that tier five clear and see if we can maybe, maybe do that. Uh, before nightfall, but not that it really matters, you know, that, we shouldn't even worry about that because nightfall is basically just slightly faster zombies. All right, here we are in the shadow of the spiral library, which is... Very, very dangerous, although lots and lots of bookshelves. There's like four massive bookshelves over there. One over here. No, 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 no. Don't hit the vehicle. Get off of that thing. Just, just back it up, back it up. No, no, no. Come over here. <laughs> Jeez. Having such a hard time here. Okay, watch that bear down there fighting some zombies for me. We have a guard bear now. Yes, yeah, so cat place. Pets. Pet store? Pet vet? I'm not sure what this was. It says shopping center here, so maybe pet store. I would expect uh, lots of animals, so let's find out. We got an, a couple ATMs, a couple chickens here, a couple golden rods. I'll take those with coffee. Okay, yep. Just gonna blow things up as I go and loot as I go because we might get our ass run out of here. Mm, yep, yeah, maybe soon. Did I have pipe bombs? Where are those? There they are. Ah, okay. Oh, jeez. We're off to a lovely start. They want to go inside. Okay, so if I'm hanging out on the paw, there's a way that they think they can get up to me here. Presumably in through here, or maybe somewhere else? Up on the rooftop? Oh boy. I don't even want to fuck around with those guys. Nice, eat that. Yikes. There we go. Alright, we'll start- Oh crap, where did that bag go? There was a weapons bag here, I think I blew it up. Damn it! Okay, whatever. Careful with the pipe bombs from now on. For some reason they keep drinks on the rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure the logic behind that. Right, where did that whole massive host of zombies go anyway? Are they in here? 
there's many in there. Here, open this window up and just very quietly shatter all that glass. Should be no big deal, right? Well, that was fun. Oh, hello. Where did you guys come from? Yeah. Oh, they found me. Yikes. Oh God, radiated cops. I don't know what to do. Ah. Oh God, outside zombies now. Shit, look out. Ow. Here, we gotta kill the cops. Okay, get off this freaking paw. This is my paw. Oh geez. Oh God, oh God, run. Um, bandage. Okay. Come on. We're fine, we're fine. You're down, you're down. Thank you, Mr. James. Go ahead and take a painkiller while I'm at it. There we go, oh, run. Oh, they're coming back up again. Reload, reload, come on, bandolier mod. Jesus, faster, there we go. They're returning fire. Just kill that cop. Oh, fuck, he's gonna shoot. Don't let him do it. Yeah. There's another cop there. Take him out. Okay, whenever I jump up here, they just cycle back around. So they're probably coming from behind again. Ow. Just coming from behind. Okay, better choice of words next time. All right, take this opportunity to reload. They should be coming up from up here, right? There must be a ladder that they know of back here. Coming from like the, the back over here. Where was that? Ah, here it is. Yes, this is the spot. That worked well. We got the high ground. Ow, yikes. Come on. Yep, heal me up. We're doing good here. Hold. Oh my god. Wow, what an intense fight here on the ladder. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, look at the library. <laughs> when I did that POI, some people were making fun of me. And when I did it like long, long ago, a year ago or whatever, when I was with the Vanguard series, I called it the library as well. It's called the library, not the library, because the R fell off the sign. So it's a library now. <laughs> ah, that joke just went over someone's head the last time, but that's okay. Oh man, hello friends. Oh, they, they seem very content to just sleep here. Oh no, it didn't work. Yep, back to the ladder, come and get it. Oh man, look at the red dots on the compass. Oh shit, where are they anyways? They are above that block there. Although that looks like a plate or something because I can see their feet through it. Let me guess, more zombies in here? All right, I'm just gonna let them sort sort out their own exit. Yep, they'll figure something out eventually. Let's head around to the front. Ooh, condition on the weapon not looking too good. Do I have a repair kit by chance? I do not. Okay, we're still doing okay on the UMP, although kind of low on ammo for the UMP, so... Oh, geez, and it's almost nightfall. What are the chances I could just find, like, a, um... I don't know, a... a, a, a weapons ammo pile or something. Ah! Get out of here! Yeah, I'm just, uh, it's it's hard to kind of like do this. I gotta be squirrely about it, like swing and dodge and swing and dodge. Oh crap, having a hard time with it. In fact, out of stamina and bleeding. Ah! Okay, food and water, please. Uh, we'll take a skull crusher. I'll just read these three things here. The book for bears, the book for 10% more damage for 44 and the gyrocopter thing. And I don't need broken glass, don't need you. All right, a little bit more money there. All those zombies in the back, I think, went back to sleep, it sounds like. Oh, jeez. And I've got something sprained, which is just terrible. I need to use melee. Oh, boy. And the gun's broken. Just controlled burst the best we can. Fucking spider. Gotta say, this UMP is freaking deadly. I love it. Ooh, there's some recog there. That'll help. More bang for our buck on the... Uh, the, the remaining ammo that we have, which is two mags. Two more mags in this thing. 
Two more mags. Zombies are beating on things. Hopefully that's the last of them. That whatever uh, room that we kind of woke them all up in. We've got snakes here. I think I can manage snakes with just the sword. More snakes. Okay, what are we looking at here? We've got uh, just a bunch of weird stuff up here on the... I don't know what you'd call this. Like the, the cat playhouse or something like that. Yeah, I don't see that there's like um, any way to get to the back room. Oh, some more zombies back here though. Yes, more of that and less of just running into fucking massive groups of zombies, please. Okay, this is the... What is this? This is like... Oh, hello. Who's behind me? Snake! Run! You get pinned in here. No, they're still beating... Oh, I want that sign. Can I have that? Yes, give me. Haha, <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay. Zombies are... Not behind that. They are probably up here somewhere. Alright, get a weapon out. Get the recog into me as well. Just taking a minute to like work on my buffs and debuff situation. All right, I think we're good. And it's nightfall. Extra careful here. Oh my god, a bunch more just regular zombies that I haven't woken up yet. And dogs back there. Oh my god, it's so laggy right now. I think all the nighttime zombies just spawned in. What are all those zombies beating on? Like, how big is this place? Just gonna do the best I can here. Oh, of course, that was glass, luckily. Ah! No! Whoa! 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 Hello, where'd you come from? No, 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 no! Running out here! Uh, they broke free from wherever they were, somewhere. Okay, just gonna run out here. I, I'm gonna have to take steroids, I think, because I'm hurting myself when I'm swinging. I don't think that's gonna help with the swing speed very much, though. Okay. One more! Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's just so many left on the compass here. I wish I could just get them all in one room so I could take them out with pipe bombs or something like that. They're all freaking scattered around. Yo! Oh, I found a few! Yikes! Head back downstairs. Back downstairs to safety. Back outside! Oh, Mr. James is a lifesaver, isn't he? Except I can't really see when I got the swirly red things. Ow! Okay. Uh, out of stamina. Come on, up here. Yes, should be safe. Okay, yeah, just uh, R and R net time now. Just relax. Try to get some stamina back. I have nothing left to drink except for beer. Oh, oh, perfect. Here you go. Uh, don't don't spread out. Stay all right there. There we go. All right, that works. Oh, dire wolf though. Not fuck around with this guy. There we go. I have like one and a half mags to go on this thing. Hello. Eat that. Still... Oh, I'd say maybe like 10 zombies on the compass. And that's the ones that are spawned in. Oh, I see. There's like a mid-level area here. Oh, jeez! Alright, got a bird or two in here, it sounds like. Mm. Oh, this works. Okay, this is the back room, and we've luckily already cleared this out for the most part. A couple of cops over there. I'll take them out. Good deal. And just finish him off before he blows up. Good. Loot as we go. Nice. Anything else worthwhile in here? Crack a book box. Never know. Might be something in here we haven't read yet. 2x scope machine gunner book. We can scrap that. All right. Now we just have to find out how to get to the zombies that we're hearing down somewhere. Down below us right here. There's a room down underneath this level here. You'd think they would have been able to, like, bust through there by now, but I guess it is, like, 10,000 hit points. Ha! Whoa! There's one! Oh! Where are you guys coming from? Okay, you know, they're coming from... Where? Where are they coming from? They're coming from this way. I think they're coming from around over here. Ooh, bathrooms, maybe? Couple of construction zombies in there. Whoa! Oh, okay, they, they, I don't know where they're coming from. I, I, I give up. jeez. Oh, I can't wait to be done with this place. Where the fuck did you guys come from? Oh. There we go. Well, give me a ladder up there. What the fuck are you guys doing up here? You're supposed to break through, but that's, uh, well. <laughs> they were, they, I don't know why that didn't happen, but. Okay. Whoa, shit. Whoops. Yes, this must be where they were coming from. Get the gun. 
No! Ow! Okay, we're down to three quarters of a mag left on the UMP. Hopefully there aren't very many zombies left. Oh! Wolf! Yikes! Here. A good solution for this problem here, and that's pipe bombs. Three of them. How'd that do? That, not as good as I thought it would. Resorting to like single pop shots with that thing before we've run out of ammo. Ah, 35 shots. Okay, we're down to our last half mag now. I can just find some ammo here somewhere. Holy crap! This is. Gah! Crap! I okay, have the freaking rodeo here in the main loot. <laughs> I'm leaving. Here, get get some healing into me. Ow. Okay, get the freaking good thing out. There we go. Ah, wow. All right, give me some like sham chowder, something to heal me up. Okay, this is the again with the fucking massive amount of zombies up there. Why can't you fall through? Can you guys just fall through and get this over with? Yes, there we go. Oh my god, they're so fast. Nope, crap, snakes everywhere. Still having a hard time up there. Let's see if I can help them out a little bit, maybe. Come on down here. There we go. Okay, uh, I've got one more dot on the compass. I'm gonna just get the main loot, though, in case, like, you know, we have to run. Oh, maybe there's some ammo in here. Not the kind of ammo I'm looking for. Here, open this. And fuck it, I want the eye candy in me. See if we can get anything good here. Ah, again, not with the ammo that we need. However, Ranger Rifle could be helpful. Here, reload this thing. Do I have any mods I can throw on here? Not at the moment it would look like. Okay, suppose I can just poke my head up here. Yeah, this was just, just a spot for zombies to friggin' spawn in. Okay, and then they broke out the side here. That's why we're, we were getting that kind of slow trickle of zombies because they had kind of halfway worked a way out. I got one more zombie on the compass and I can hear just one more zombie, so I'm gonna track him down. Where are you anyway? Are you... I don't know where he is. Is he up there? Oh, look at that S-Class stun baton. Nice. Are you up here? Yes, he is. Whoop, that's broken. Here, eat this. Okay, have not cleared the area yet, which is a problem. I hear a screamer. I think she's stuck in a building though somewhere, so probably not much to worry about. Not yet, at least. Yeah, she's stuck in the uh, Channel 7 TV room thing, whatever it is. Still haven't found the the right zombie that I need. There must just be a room that I haven't seen yet. Oh, here it is. All right, line up for me. This might be it right here. No, damn it. Anyone else back here? Anyone in this? Oh. Maybe this is where they are. Yes, sir! And these five shots at a time is just great, isn't it? Oh, these are all tough zombies too. Yikes. It's about to be morning, which means they'll be on just marginally slower speeds. And I think we're basically done anyway. Still not done. Oh my goodness. This place is just very elaborate. Who else is up here? Nobody. Gun safe. See what's in here. Ooh, a good auto shotgun. It's first one of those I found. I wonder if it's like the rabbits. Like all the rabbits and chickens and stuff that we found in here, do they all need to die? Like these guys, do y'all need to die? Oh, that's not, not gonna work. I gotta chase them all over the place now. One down. That's two. Oh, there's a wandering horde coming in. I can feel it in the frame rate and I can hear them over there. And I can see them now, they're running right through. Oh, hopefully they just keep running. Hopefully they don't become a problem. Yep, there they go. They're 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 beating their way into the spiral library now. That's fine with me. I am hunting wabbits. Are you the one? Nope. Oh! Zombies are outside! I found them! This better be it right here. This better be it! Ow! Still not it. There might be more over here though. Yes, one more. Tell me. Tell me this is the guy right here. Hello there. Oh boy. Nope. Well, I'm about ready to call it. I think this place is just a, a failed mission. Uh, kind of probably the fault of whoever did the zombie spawns because uh, I'm not getting the indicator of where they are. And uh, yeah, you know, this is a vanilla bug anyway, so it could just be that I've killed them all, but that they've glitched out or that it, that it was one of the rabbits and they ran off. And now <laughs> the last, you know, 
thing to kill is just like on another is on another chunk right now. So whatever, I'm not gonna dwell any longer. Let's just get out of here and fail the mission. Is that it? No. What about that chicken? Not the chicken. Well, whatever. It was kind of a fun place anyway. I'm not, I don't regret coming in here and doing this, but uh, it's time to head back home. I want to get some painting done. That's the final objective for the day. So I'm going to make the long trip back home. We'll, we'll fail the mission inevitably, unfortunately. We've done the whole thing. We've done this whole POI and we haven't found the final zombie. So, oh well. Yep. Failed. Tier 5, clear the area. At least we got the loot though. See, look. Library. Library. There's no R in library. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll meet you back home. All right, my friends, we are back and we are on the mend, just working on debuffs. We're gonna get the armor repaired. We're gonna get fed and well hydrated. And then I'm gonna get some paint crafted. And then we are going to paint the base. Let's do this. All right, my friends, how about that? That was quite a painting endeavor there. I've gone through almost all of my paint, although surprisingly not all of it. And I think there's still a little bit more crafting. So yeah, still a couple thousand left, which I, I would say would probably be enough. I think tonight I'm going to paint the garage because the lighting is poor at this point and I don't think it would come out very well from, um, from a filming perspective, but um, yeah, looking pretty good. I might make some modifications here and there just based on uh, on flavor here as we kind of get used to things. But uh, yeah, very shiny out here in the front. Uh, went with a more metallic theme out here. And then sort of in here, just a more kind of generic scheme. Ooh, yes, gotta do the ceiling as well. That's gonna go through a lot of paint. There's a lot of blocks up there. Uh, so yes, I will do as much as I can on the garage and we will pick things up in the morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Uh, how do you think the base is looking? The base is looking real nice right now. It's pretty much 100% painted. I had enough paint last night to get it basically all finished up. We're gonna have to do more painting as we do upgrades around the base. And speaking of upgrades, let's go over here and check on the steel situation, because it should be looking pretty damn good at this point. Yes, lots of steel rolling in through here, and more steel ingots here, and iron ingots on the craft. Make sure I got enough time on that. I do. I'm making bricks over there. So let's just uh, continue with the steel all day long. And that should get us enough to do some upgrades here at the maintenance station. But we'll get into that a little bit later because I want to get the gyrocopter crafted this morning. That is priority number one. We've got the helicopter landing pad all set up. It'll work for a gyrocopter in the short term. So let's read this gyrocopter wheel schematic recipe thing that I found yesterday and... I think we have an aviation engine. If we look at the map, back at the starting 
little building, which is this one right here. There was another like mechanic shop right here and a dumpster right there. And I remember one night I found an aviation engine in that POI and I, I couldn't carry it all the way back and it was nighttime and I was scared. So I stashed it in a dumpster over there. So that should set us up very nicely on that front and we should be able to get the gyrocopter completely crafted. But we will also need the chassis, which will require more mechanical parts and we've got the steel, of course. So why don't we this morning go fetch all of these mechanical parts and there's a the perfect place to do it in the friggin' wasteland, which is full of broken down cars. So let's do that. All right, lots of cars and lots of trees to be chopped down as well. So let's get to it. All right, well, the area is relatively clear, and what I've learned is that mechanical parts don't, it's not a good uh, way to get mechanical parts by salvaging cars, so I only got a few. It appears that uh, you have to, I woke a zombie up. Yeah, you have to, um, oh, is this a freaking horde? And I'm totally encumbered right now. Get a gun out. Yeah, uh, mechanical parts, you have to have like the fully, full, whatever, <laughs> the cars that are not completely degraded, we'll put it that way. Yeah, um, I don't know. This is not a horde, is it? This is just zombies that woke up out of that POI. There's ferals in it, so that's what leads me to believe it's not. Yeah, our wandering hordes do not have ferals anymore. Very strange. I think, um, from what I understand about the wandering horde system, because I've been working on that mod, we've been talking about that before, is that, um, at least in vanilla seven days, it seems to go through 50 preset hordes of, like, varying difficulty commensurate to your game stage, but then it recycles. So it goes like one through 50 and then back to one. Not that that going back to one makes it any easier. It just kind of like, you know, cycles back so that you get a good variety. Where's the screamer anyway? There she is. Take her out, got her. Yeah, so my my horde mod, my zombie spawning mod that I've been working on is done. It is available on my Discord for beta testing. So if you wanna hop on my Discord, there's a link in the description and there should be an announcement in the in one of the tabs there. And you can download that and try it out for yourself. It is save game compatible. Not sure if it's Undead Legacy compatible or not. So you'd have to report back your findings there to me if you try it out. Okay, so with that, was that a, was that gonna be enough? That is enough by by exactly one. Let's get the steel out. I did pull out quite a bit of good loot as well. I mean, nothing like spectacular, but like the steel pickaxe, pulled that out, nice steel axe, just good stuff to sell. All right, should be good to go here. Gyrocopter chassis, craft that up. And then after that, oh no, I need two wheels, but I don't have the scrap rubber. Although I should have some regular wheels. I wonder if they would scrap into, um, into scrap rubber, right? That would make too much sense, I think, right? So scrap that, yes, yeah, scrap rubber. That should give us what we need. Basically just repurposing that one wheel there. And so we'll work on that for another minute and a half. We have the accessories already and we'll also need the aviation engine. Okay, so that's all we need. We have the batteries. We'll swing over to the dumpster that I put the other aviation engine into and then we'll be right back here. Let's see which vehicle has the most gas. <laughs> We're pretty good on gas in the Humvee and we haven't taken this out for a while, so we'll roll with this.
All right, rolling up on the spot here. Hopefully I was right. Yes, two engines, aviation engine and a car engine. And I've collected a couple of other engines, motorcycle engine, couple car wheels. Got that nice modified police baton, which is just awesome. It's a really good early game weapon. And who knows, if you upgrade that to S-Class, that might be a good baton weapon. I've also been trying to focus on getting scrap rubber because that's used to make, uh, what's it called? An adhesive, which is an ingredient for some of the um, lower tiered upgrades for weapons and such. So we don't want to run out of that. I think it's like adhesive and then you get to like E or D class and then it becomes uh, duct tape, it becomes like the, the supply that you need. So um, yes, you need honeycomb and murky water and like rubber, which is odd. I think I just saw one there. Yep. So we need to just grab these up whenever we see them. Look at that. This is like more scrap rubber than I've ever had <laughs> just in like this last 10 minutes. Might as well swing by and see Ellen as well and see if she's offering any good tier 5 quests or even relatively decent tier 4 quests that we haven't done before. She's not going to be selling the helicopter today. I think uh, restock day was 77. So, you know, we'll have to check back at some point. Yeah, so if I don't get the helicopter on the what next... Do you want from me? I want a helicopter. If if I don't get the helicopter though in the next uh, Trader Restock day, what I'm gonna do is oh, I'm just gonna like console it into myself, and uh, maybe we'll just make some kind of a sacrifice. Like I'll toss something into the ocean, and the gods will bestow upon me a helicopter. At least that's the plan. I don't want to go without it here in like the last couple of weeks of the series. So yeah. Anyway, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be checking that stuff. Uh, do you have any jobs? Right. Oh, a crack a book tower to the east. I have not done that one yet. Sure. I believe in you. Give me that. Awesome. All right. Yeah, we'll do that at some point. Um, I don't think uh, maybe maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Probably probably tomorrow at this point. Right. So let's take um let's take a different route back, and we'll try to collect up some more stuff on the way. We'll kind of take the long way back. I did eat a hacker's candy already, and I brought a couple more with me, so we might as well make the best of it. All right, we're back home. Man, that looks good. Oh my God, I love it. It's always nice when you get the base finally painted. Might have to work on stuff out here. That that, that kind of like grayish metallic color doesn't necessarily jive well with the rest of the base. Also not really liking that little black triangular segment there. Might have to change that up a little bit. But otherwise, man, that looks pretty good. Sulfur and gold. And in here, probably, what, like 38? We should start guessing. We'll take bets on how much we can pull out of there. It seems to be between like 35 and 45. All right, let's get all the stuff put away now. Look at that right there, 465 rubber. I wonder if that means I can get some more adhesive crafted. Let's check on that. Uh, yeah, I think we were short on rubber before. Right, because we had to scrap the tires. So we definitely had run out of that. And now, I think next we're gonna be Let's see, we got enough for 30 more in terms of scrap rubber. So, yeah, rubber is still the limiting factor. Ooh, resin as well. We can easily get the resin, though. And the murky water, I just drained the well this morning, so we'll have to give that some more time. A couple more things to sell. Grab up the gyrocopter parts. And we are done. Yes, that is everything. How much time? Two and a half minutes or so? Perfect. You know what? This candy weighs like so little i'm just gonna lock it into the inventory and be done with it i mean we can carry so much 440 well, i think we have steroids on right now but it's like 300 and something uh so <laughs> let's just carry all the candy with us from now on all right check on the forges here we have tons of steel plates look at that and we can make even more of them okay super encumbered what yes too encumbered in fact here put some of this stuff away and iron iron ingots turn yes we just want even more steel we're actually really good on iron plates right now so i'm not afraid to just use everything for steel for now all right let's check on the steel supply now 669 <laughs> okay no more steel ever again that's the perfect amount right uh yeah so we got all that steel basically for one so that we could upgrade brinks's fury maybe a little bit so we can check on that got to repair the impact driver so yeah let's check and see uh, if we can get any of our gear upgraded and then uh, probably save a good chunk of it for upgrades uh, for the horde base. Oh, right. The other thing was the, the rocket stuff, right? Yeah, rocket casings, which are unlearned. Uh, unlocked by the rocket launcher. So does that mean... Hang on. Right, so there is no schematic for the rocket rockets 
or the rocket fuse, the ro rocket casing. It, it does appear as though, if you look here, uh, unlocked by the rocket launcher schematic. So, in order to unlock the rocket launcher schematic, I need to have a rocket, one of each type it appears, a rocket fuse and a rocket casing. Holy cow, and a bunch of research data, but that's good. Uh, we have the rocket launcher parts already, and everything else is fine. So yeah, okay, so when we're at the traders next time, we do have to look for fuses, casings, and rockets, and buy one of each, the yellow rocket, the regular one, the the, the high explosive one, I guess it is. Okay, good to know. We have to uh, focus on that because we have the, uh, the AT-4 or whatever this is. It says Stinger, but it looks more like an AT-4 if you ask me. Anyway, uh, what are we doing here? We're getting the gyrocopter. There it is. Get some gas for it. And in fact, uh, looking kind of poor on gas right now. Let's try to craft some of that and see when we need to make another trip out into the uh, desert biome to get some more. Doing pretty good right now, though. I think we'll be all set for another week or two. I think my strategy lately has just been to craft the gasoline barrels instead of these little cans. It seems to just be, you know, easier. But before we check on the gyrocopter, let's uh, see if we... Oh, adhesive! Well, I did just make a bunch of it. 40 of it, which would be good for one upgrade. Uh, one or maybe two, and hopefully we don't fail, because in that case, uh, we're kind of ruined. So, upgrade... So not enough for two. Hopefully once we get to D-Class, it'll change over to duct tape because I think the duct tape is a little bit easier to make at least than the adhesive. Okay, so we're needing seven more adhesive to try this again. And all we're limited by is this murky water crap. So let's see if we can like switch it over from uh, bottles or jars to bottles. Nope, scratch that. We literally like have none of it. We have no murky water at all. The irony is palpable. We do have a bunch of snowballs. We could make, uh, we could do, we could do that or, you know, we could just basically suffer for a little bit. I think the snowballs, we need those to make, uh, you know, what the hell? There's the snow is freaking everywhere. Let's just make a few of these. Yeah, I need the snow to make, uh, yucca smoothies, but like, look, just barely any of it at all. Can craft a ton of food, though, which is really nice. We, we just have a bunch of it already, though, so no big deal. Uh, yes, we're making murky water. Can we just make it out of, uh, into the plastic? No, I guess we could, but I'd rather do it into the jars, uh, for now, so go ahead and just cook on that, and holy cow, it's gonna take forever. All right, I built this little catwalk here. I think I'm gonna put that in permanently. I do like having that there, so we'll, let's just... Drop the gyrocopter in here, and fuel it up, and, uh, yep, yeah, no fanfare here, we all know what the gyrocopter's all about. Uh, but let's see if we can get some, uh, more murky water out of this to get the adhesive and then hopefully get the hammer upgraded one more time and then we can kind of talk about heading out for the, for the night, I guess, could do some kind of a night raid. Or we could save the raid until morning. Uh, we've got the Kraken Book Tower and there's also the art gallery and there's the, that, that little spire right there, you can barely make it out. That's some kind of a power station I've never been to before. I want to knock that out at some point as well. So yeah, we could just do construction here and, and work on all this crap here. Get this all knocked out, put a nice flat pad in. We'll flush it up with this line right here. We'll bring the line all the way out to here and then run it straight across. Yeah, that could be the plan for tonight, I think. Let's see, so as far as I know, you can just go into... The workstation and or, or or the backpack i guess and just like pour the murky water from that into the bottles so get some more bottles for me i should have just brought the bottles with me but i figure this is probably not a very difficult way of doing it so murky yes and just do that and it should not take very long to just switch it over so get the rest of that adhesive going 16 16 of it i guess all right let's head down here we're a little bit hungry do we have a lucky blueberry pie we do lucky blueberry pie and a lucky beer <laughs> uh along with some juice so then hopefully when we do oh i'm not um i drank a beer but i'm not like all fuzzy and drunk which uh I don't know why. I think maybe it's one of my buffs is active. Yes, so that we can hopefully get this. Yeah, yes, upgrade successful. Oh my god, we can do it again. This time requiring duct tape. Yes, okay, finally. We're into the duct tape age, so we don't have to worry about adhesive quite so much. But we're getting into the really risky territory. How about another lucky blueberry pie? And this time, a lucky grandpa's moonshine. Yeah. Oh yeah, things are fuzzy now. Let's do this. <laughs> Luckily, I can see the menu. Oh, it, oh, no, it failed, didn't it? It Did it fail? It failed. I think it failed. I wasn't paying any attention. No, I think it did fail, because we went to D, and now we're going to C. 
Ah, that's unfortunate. So we lost out a little bit. Just needing more oil and duct tape, though. I wonder if we can do that. Uh, if I can find my way around here. Uh, oh, geez, I can't really see. I'm getting kind of nauseous. Glue. Oh, with the fucking murky water. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll work on that another time. All right, bring my brand new Brinks's Fury down here. D-class now, which means it's, it's pretty far better than the Titanium Katana, which, by the way, I think uh, maybe I'm all set on the Titanium Katana. It's hard enough to upgrade one thing at a time. Oh, here we go. Vision's going back into alignment. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, it's hard enough getting one thing upgraded to S-Class. I think we're, I'm going to go back to the um, Inferno Blade. Uh, that does more damage anyway, so I, I think I'm ready to just kind of settle into some of the weapons here. We'll save it, of course. We'll save it for a rainy day, but uh, for now... Back to the old Inferno Blade. Now just a matter of finding some mods for it. Aha, just in time too. There is a horde outside. So let's gulp down a skull crusher and meet them head on. Come on, motherfuckers, let's do this. Ah, the old Inferno Blade. Feels good to have you back. Oh crap, I fell in the pit. Okay, pit fight with a hammer. Let's do this. Oh, they're very herky-jerky with the elevation changes. Oh boy, bleeding. Get a bandage on the meat. I want to watch him crawl out of here, because we actually probably need to keep that ladder and actually uh, upgrade it, get it in the, get it solidified so that zombies that spawn down there during Horde Night or fall down there can get their way back up. Yep. We're good. No more down in the pit. I saw one guy jumping around over here. I don't know what he's up to. What are you doing? Yeah, just some scattered others here. Whoa, Steve. Kamikaze Steve. We had to get a t-shirt with Kamikaze Steve on it. Y'all interested in that? Okay. Uh, what were we doing anyway? I forgot. Yeah, I guess we're just switching, um, switching things over. We got the Inferno Blade out, so that's good. Slightly slower attack speed on this, but more damage overall. I think probably mostly because it's upgraded to S-Class. We sunk a lot of resources into this thing, if you don't remember. Oh man, now I'm infected, got an abrasion. Yikes. Ah, whoa, where'd you come from? You know, ever since I increased the difficulty, or the, the run speed, I should say, and the difficulty of the zombies, uh, we are running quite low on first aid, particularly um, infection curing first aid. So, um, I, I might need to get like a, an antibiotic recipe or use some of the honeycomb that we have to craft some more honey. Should be good for now that we got one in the inventory and, uh, or maybe just keep an eye out at the traders for like herbal antibiotics and things like that. Right, and it is officially nightfall. Look at all this, um, rotten flesh that I have. You know what? I don't know that I need that much rotten flesh, so... This is like clogging up this bin really badly. Let's just check on this before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Recipes, okay, used to make like fort bites and like farm plot blocks, which I wouldn't mind having six more of those. So artisan table, craft me up, not 43, oh boy, six will do. And then the rest of that freaking rotten flesh can just go to hell. We're not collecting this anymore. Undead Legacy does an, an uncanny job that I've, I've never witnessed before in a mod, and certainly not in vanilla, of making sure that there's no single resource that you have in abundance. Like, even after now 75 days, if you look through here, I don't, I haven't really gone through and sold anything. All of this stuff has just been perfectly balanced so that you get just enough for what you need, and then when you do need it, you run out and you have to go out and, like, target it in the world. But not to, like, such an extent that you're just constantly looking for one single resource and i think that uh that's part, one of the things i enjoy most about late game undead legacy is like i don't feel like i'm overpowered like i still feel fucking dirt broke i do suppose though it's time to get some of these let's uh turn broadcasting off for this for just a minute and uh let's get the good batteries out and these are blue c class let's just check on this real quick and see turn off what are these b class c class c class yeah, let's take these out. We'll put the good batteries in. So just have our best six batteries at all time. And I'll I'll keep like, um, oh, I don't know, like like three of them just 
on on us so that we like have them around i guess and i'm gonna just scrap the rest of these that'll give us 26 acid some lead some scrap plastic and some research data so go ahead and start working on that then we just turn broadcasting back on you know what guys i actually found a storage broadcasting mod for vanilla and so in the next series i will be playing with that and i will show you guys more on how to get that mod for yourselves if you're interested in it okay artisan table we've got some brick helper shapes here we got the farm plots i'll put those in in just a second but i want to get the bricks up at it oh i didn't put enough fuel in there crap speaking of that i'm like super low on firewood it seems nope there's a bunch there okay so we'll put the extra garden plots in here and we've recently harvested things i think it was last night that i harvested things we have now three super corns growing and i have three ears over here so that we can get one more craft those into to seeds again and then go from there also really good on raw meat but I, I don't think we're really hard up for any other particular resource so i'll just save the um garden plots for super corn oh and i guess i had extra i thought that there was room for oh there is there is a lot more room actually so um sure yeah i guess we can get two more then not that these are really doing anything right now but that's okay how are we looking on the shotgun rounds here uh that that wasn't even on probably that was off like all horde night this one's off as well just divvy up the rounds in here evenly and turn that back on okay yeah i don't think that was working at all last time but while we're waiting for stuff let's see if we can uh yes repair that and i want to see if i can upgrade it now which i can this is requiring uh fortunately not duct tape or adhesive but basically all of the oil that we have ump cannot upgrade don't have the smg parts just yet also, the, the chance of success on this is very, very low. It's only a 65% chance. That, that definitely is going to require the extra good luck from a blueberry pie. And suddenly don't have the titanium. Step Two steps back and we have plenty of it. Upgrade. Oh, it worked. Yes, we're up to S class. Nice. And we almost have enough handgun parts and to get it up to S3 star, which would be really, really nice. So go ahead and modify... We've got enough room for one more mod, so let's go check and see if we can find something. Um, rad remover probably would be nice. Where's my mod chest? Right here. We could do the crippler. We could probably do a flashlight on it. Yeah, I do think probably clip crippler is the, is the best bet for us right now, so see if I can put that on. Good, we're all set. Our second S-Class tool belt item. Up next probably will be the UMP or Brinks's Fury if we can just, you know get the resources for it I'm surprised we haven't found a better impact driver this late in the game i'm still working on this h class that i crafted i haven't even found an impact driver otherwise which is unfortunate I'm gonna craft 1200 shotgun shells to help out with the turrets we'll get some gunpowder going for the rest of the night and so now i think we're relatively safe enough we got everything crafting that we'll need for this next big project i'm just gonna start carving out this destroyed stone here and getting ready to lay in sort of a, a flat pad for us and a, a little ramp on each side so that we can get in and out without any more significant trouble and we can finally finally pull these things up so i'll probably just pick things back up with y'all in the morning so go ahead and get some rest and i'll get to work no oh, oh man i just ran out <laughs> I ran out and there's this like massive slit here with uh, no shapes in it. So I'll just drop that in there just temporarily. So we just have a little chunk right here to do. And this whole strip over here, I'd say something on the order of 80 blocks or so and we'll be done. Okay, let's have a look at the skill points. I think I probably have a handful of these. Uh, three of them, in fact. Let me just study this for a second and decide what to do. All right, I think what I would like to do here is give ourselves the ability to unlock the mining perks and so i will take oh that's gonna take two points uh so two there and then uh, i guess we'll take one into mother load or we could do one more into skull crusher because we're gonna need to do more mining but uh let's do skull crusher for now I i'd say and then after the horde night if we get a couple points we'll just pump minor 69er and mother load so that'll do. All right, let's test out our new sledgehammer skills. Kneecap him. Ooh, I couldn't have turned out much better. All right, let's get kitted up and we'll head into town over there. And um, I don't know, we'll do a flyover and see what we see. Before we go though, I'm gonna just see if I can sneakily slap a quick paint job down on this stuff. We'll go paint surface and just 
sling some paint down from up here. Just, you know, grab the bucket and throw it. All right, and with that, I would say we're pretty much good to go. We've got some food. We should get some drinks probably, and we can head out. So I'll meet you over there in town somewhere. So we got quite the view from up here. Over there, we've got the art gallery. That's on the to-do list, the spiral library there. Uh, there's the hotel, there's the apartment building there, there's the Higashi Tower. There's one power building right there, but I figured that one's in the downtown. Let's go over here and do this one. There's the Crackabuck Tower below us. We've got a big skyscraper here and the Space Needle thing over here. Another skyscraper there, I'm not sure what that is, haven't seen that one before. And anything else around here looking interesting? The Asylum, We've got the Cathedral. Parking garage, yeah, nothing else terribly exciting over here on this end of town. So we'll bring her down and uh, I wanna take this place on right here, this big, big power station. At least I think that's what it is. Uh, power, it says power something. Power records, oh, it's a record station, I see. So maybe like a radio place? All right, where can we bring this down? A nice little landing strip right here. Yep, just bring her in right there and we can get out of here lickety-split. All right, check on this working stiff tool truck. Oh, dog somewhere. Where's the dog? Yeah, the sledgehammer. No, oh, doesn't have the reach. Yikes. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Having some uh, frame rate issues. I'll blame it on that. <laughs> okay. This might be the building, actually, that's, like, causing all of the issues in the game right now. Maybe it'll get better if I just run inside. Uh, Hello? Indeed, it is better, although I'm drawing in attention from outside now. Oh, I just heard a feral white as well. Oh, <laughs> the frame rate is just killing me. Ah, there he is. Take him out. And what a, what the hell is going on here anyway? Holy cow. It's uh, difficult to fight when the frame rate's like 20, so I don't know, I'm gonna s s just clear like the bottom level out here and see if it feels any better. It does feel better when we're in here though. My healing skill after all this time, only level 17. Am I just like not healing myself enough? I feel like I, I heal myself all the time. You know, where the loot is like super duper balanced, I do feel like as though the skills are a little bit not so well balanced. Oh god, this just goes everywhere here. I see, so just like the uh, recording studios down here on the first level. It appears that we're proceeding upstairs. Ow! Oh jeez! Okay, looks like we've exited the building somewhat and we're gonna be kinda scaling the edge over here. Then we head back in maybe? Oh crap, you ducking son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, oh boy. This place is uh, not quite up to the standard I was expecting to see here. It looked pretty cool from the outside. Uh oh, ah. Oh boy, big boy. Ow. All right, we're doing fine. We can take a hit here and there. Sit down. Okay, and then we're back out here to head around the building. Oh, the cement place again. If we need some more cement, we know where to come for that. In fact, I might even just hit that up on the way out of here. Uh, although this uh, appears to be a dead end. Was there a ladder maybe that I missed? Aha. Oh boy. Now we're getting into the greenies now. Yikes. Oh, in fact, just get the gun. Oh, bleeding. Oh yeah, run deeper into the building because that's a great idea. Well, there's no turning back now. Wake up everybody. No, 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 he's gonna spit at me. Uh, where can I hide? Where can I hide here? Almost out of stamina. Here, just pile up some pipe bombs there. No idea if that worked. Uh-oh. Yes, just vault out of the building. Perfect. Yes, you're doing great. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is going perfectly. Just gonna launch a pipe bomb down there for him. Oh, 
Miss. I still got him. All right, they'll be back up eventually, so I guess we'll just have to wait. All right, more of the same here. I'm content to just move right along. Parkour up the side. I do like this. This is uh, kind of cool. I wonder where the loot is, though. We got a couple more levels to go, it would seem. Working vending machine. Very cool. Oh, boy. Ow. Scared me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Close that door and set up a trap for him. Open it and run. Eat that. That killed them all, didn't it? Whoa, almost. Uh-oh. Not a good time for reloading, honestly. All right, we're doing fine here. Maybe just take a painkiller. No. Also deeply lacerated. No way to repair that except for first aid kit, which I'm not going to burn just for that reason. Yeah, I can hear the zombies, but I cannot see the zombies. So we'll just take the lucky goggles on. Put the nerdy glasses back on after we loot that. Nothing good in there. Whoop, bit of a lag, lag spike there. Sledgehammer works pretty good on doors. What are we doing here? Are we going up the side? Or have, 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 have I missed the, the way to do this? Ah, Scraper somewhere. I heard her. Oh, there we go. Found him. Close that door. Fight bombing up for him. Oh, boy. Not exactly sure how well that worked. I think probably reasonably well. Ow. Ooh, did I just get two for one there? Not quite. Come on, Big Mama. Get her. Cop. Slow down, buddy. No way you can run that fast. Are you guys coming from above or below? I feel like they were kind of jumping up from the side here. I think we have to go up and there was kind of a way to, to do that over here what do we do just kind of like launch our way just like that that eh, that works a little bit of a bookstore area here yeah awful quiet here i think probably these zombies that were up here cleared out and came down after us oh wow look at that what is that that's a friggin oh savage country box i see yeah whatever heading up okay zombies oh ooh, hello close that open that Close it again. Oh, the, ooh, plants. Plants and spikes. Oh, and then, oh, this is like a storage area, I see. These have mechanical parts, don't they? Ah, uh, they do, gimme. Nice, I think a zombie just hit the vending machine. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's doing it, but I think it's funny. Take up some of this mineral water here so I can just immediately drink it. Okay, up to the next level. Whoa! Jesus, man, get out of here and close that freaking door. Yeah, we got a lot of zombies here. Just uh, greet them with a pipe bomb. And then breach. I don't know if that worked. Sometimes the pipe bombs can go through doors. Grenades and stuff can, I know that. But it doesn't look like it did a whole lot that time. Okay. Ow. Did y'all stop that? Just jump off the building, please. Good job. There we go. All right, they'll be coming around eventually. Let's keep on moving. Jackhammer schematic. Looking just really for the rocket launcher schematic. I think that's probably like the last thing, the last schematic that I need. Wouldn't mind having the 556 five, uh, unlocked. I, I guess someone told me that the 556, five, uh, you have to get to machine guns. I think it was level 40 in order to do that, which is a um, action skill. So if we pull that up real quick. Machine gun's only level 26, so I don't believe we'll be unlocking the AP-556 if, if, in fact, you do have to get it up to level 40. Hello! Whoa! Okay, um, I don't see... How do I get to the top now? Okay, there was stairs coming up to here. And this one also does not go upstairs. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun just breaking down the office chairs. Oh, elevator shaft. That, oh, here we go. Up, 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 up here. And, okay. Whoa, birds. Birds. Oh, in there, in here. Great. Oh, my. Ah. All right, that's it. All right, where's this damn bird? And is there a whole host of zombies waiting for me as well? There he is. Oh, looks like a pretty quiet... Not not quite the rooftop. One of the rooftops, anyway. Yeah, nothing going on here. I think we're heading up the stairs that were in this room. So break, whoop, break through this. Mr. James, get out of my way, please. And yeah, heading up here. And just heal me up, I'm expecting. Oh, there's the loot right there. What do you know? There might be more to it up there on the rooftop. But for now, I'm content to just uh, go ahead and take the eye candy. 
And lucky goggles on. We'll see what we get here. And a hidden stash to close things out. Nothing great there, though. I guess we're heading to the rooftop. Oh, is that a hidden stash there, too? I can uh, manage to parkour my way over here. That is a construction site box. Kind of weird. I'll take it, though. All right, onto the roof. When we flew over, I saw a dead body. I didn't see any zombies, though, and I, I believe... Oh, hello, friends. One more fight, it looks like. Whoa. He's gonna blow! Oh, crap! <laughs> Put bombs everywhere! Ah! Oh, something happened! I think we did it. I don't know, I might have blown a zombie off the edge here. I don't quite hear anyone. I do, in fact, hear someone. I think I did blow him off the roof. Just one little cardboard box here with one gunpowder. I feel like it would be super satisfying to see this collapse, so I'm gonna find out. There we go. Nice. Oh boy. Ah! Where did that guy come from? You son of a bitch. Maybe he jumped off the roof and came back up. Well, I think I'll have the scrap iron too. That'll do it. No doubt in my mind, there's a screamer downstairs. It, well, there was one. We, we barely started and there was one down there. So now I believe there's probably several more. So I'll have to be careful and make just a beeline to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I can hear her, in fact. She's on this side of the building somewhere. I'm not sure how far she's made it up after me. But uh, I'm, I think I can make this jump right here. Uh, I've got the impact bracing mod and I've got that book where if I have 15,000 dukes I can fall 15 meters and I'd say this is a good probably 20 meters off the ground So let's see what happens here. Yeah, we're good there. Just land on the railing for that little extra padding We can jump down to here and then we can jump down to whoop I was going for that lamp post, but I missed it. Yeah, Z I heard the screamer She's on like the midway level and my frame rate when I'm on the ground level is bad It was not so bad inside, but yeah, something about being around all these new compo pack POI is just, uh, not good! Ah! Okay, I'm not sure if she screamed. I don't think I'm gonna quite stick around to find out either. Let's get in the air. Ah, that's a missile silo. That's like the Conrado something something other. Uh, that's a pretty cool place. I've been there before. There's another one down there. Let's, uh, let's go swing out into the desert. We've got, uh, a couple of traders out there. Trader Jen is way out there. And there's another trader wrecked out there as well that we've been ignoring. But since we have not much else going on today, I think I will swing out there and just check on the traders before they restock tomorrow. And if they do have the, um, one of the helicopters, I think at this point I'd take either one. Then, uh, we can probably make a beeline back to the base, get the money, and then head back out there in time to purchase it. That is, if we have enough money. So I'll just meet you over there. Alright, we've made it here to trader wreck number two. Let's talk to... Whoa, we got a bird. Oh, of course he stuck up there. Come on, man. I don't have time for this. Oh, two of them. Yikes. Right, Private Ryan. Got any helicopters for sale? Doesn't look like it. He seems like the food guy. He's also got some books here, which I'll just go ahead and take. <gasps> the rocket launcher schematic. Hey, Whoop, suck down a sugar butt. That is incredibly helpful, Mr. Ryan. Okay, we'll take that at least. And otherwise, I think I'm all set with the skull caps and whatnot. Trader wrecked. What are the chances, man, that you would be my saving grace here? He does have some handgun parts. I'll take those. Oh, looks like he's got a renegade and like a sedan. Well, we'll check on Jen. At this point, I think it's too late in the day. We wouldn't be able to make it back anyway to get the money. So <laughs> hopefully, well, I mean, hopefully she does. I guess if she does, what we could do is like... You know, we we could role play a little bit. We could take out like a loan from Trader Jen. Trader Jen would give me a loan. Oh, what have I done? Yeah, we'll take out a loan and then we'll, you know, come back and give her the money later on. That was quite a swing there. I took out a snake and I took out Moe's legs off of him. All right, how are we gonna fix this? All right, Jen, let's see if she has it. Ooh, she so has some scrap rubber. Quite a bit of it, and it's relatively cheap. I think I'll take it. Oh, this damn bird. 
Got a Magnum Enforcer book. I will take that. And otherwise, I think we're good here. Don't need to learn how to craft shoes. And visit. where's this other guy? There's another guy in here somewhere. Greetings, friend. Yes, Hagen. Let's see what he's got. Ooh, SMG parts. Definitely taking those. Another handgun part. No vehicles, it looks like. And in the secret stash, he's got the... Ooh, the military 4x4, though. And no helicopter. Got a sniper book for reloading faster. Go ahead and take that. Very and well. And I otherwise think that we're good. So just time to head home now. Now that we're airborne, we can finally get a good look at the map here. So I, I did custom make the biomes. Editing the biomes is relatively simple in Seven Days to Die. But I did make a, a map full of craters. I edited the... the uh, rwgmixer.xml, it's the file that sort of determines how many towns and how dense the towns are and uh, how many POIs there are and stuff like that. So you can see that this is a like pockmarked cratered area with wasteland in the center with like a burned biome area on the border of it. And so far in this playthrough, I have really enjoyed having wasteland kind of close by, but also not just like massive swaths of wasteland that just don't necessarily make a whole lot of sense and that looks like a, a windmill right there i'm gonna swing down here there's a couple of interesting looking pois i always try to make a habit of uh informing people but there is a trick with the gyrocopter you can hear that the engine has idled down right now so engine up engine down if you just hold spacebar and c which are by default the controls for pitch up and pitch down it's sort of like it doesn't pitch you up or down it actually just uh doesn't burn fuel anymore <laughs> or very very little and this is, it looks like some sort of a military train, which uh, is on a track, elevated, but doesn't really fit in with the world, I would say, but does look pretty cool. And there's the trader over there. I was coming over to this, uh, whoop, trying to load up the map here. C coming over to this town we have not fully explored. We've driven through there, and I did mark an interesting POI, but uh, I want to check on this trader uh, one last time over here. Uh, Snake House, not something that we're going to be doing in this compo pack playthrough. Uh, there is... I will actually link the the original Snake House raid right here. I just feel like I can't I can't do the Snake House again because I've already done it once and it's an instant classic for the longtime fans of the channel. Um, I wish that I had done the Snake House for the first time like now so I could do the Snake House rap again. But uh, anyway, I just go check that out. I'll, I'll maybe I'll put a timestamp down in. Um, in the description or something like that so you can find the uh, the snake house wrap a little bit quicker Please. all right you guys uh any helicopters here How's anything at all anything that flies i'm not even picky these days nope nothing over here motorcycle repair kit don't need that industrial lighting uh, i think i'm all set See there quite soon. honestly i just pick those things up myself and over here we've got a wasteland treasures book i'll just take it don't even care what it is i'm just kind of min maxing at this point adhesive for 652 dukes uh, sure, take that, and otherwise, got the military 4x4, and nothing else that we need. I mean, there's plenty of stuff that we need, it's just, <laughs> we have to make a decision about what we can afford, and, uh, so anyway. Um, from here, there's one more trader on the map, and it's, um, up here on the northern edge of this town, I kind of, like, checked to see, and I don't think we can make it there in 45 minutes. I might give it a whirl, though. Not even 45 minutes, uh, we've got, like less than 30 at this point and two kilometers to go no i don't think we'll make it yeah definitely not that way yeah so i think we'll forego going back into the snow biome and oh there's the castle over there that place was super cool wasn't it yeah seeing the castle from way up here gives me a whole new appreciation of it man that place is huge i wonder how long it took to make that i mean it's it's intricate and from the comments on that video there are portions of that that we didn't even see there's like a whole underground uh, someone said like some kind of a military storage area and over here we've got a prison I think I've done this prison before in another playthrough or or something like that uh, Pretty cool place. I think there's like a is that the one where there's like an underground tunnel system like there's some environmental storytelling I don't know if it's this one or a different one, but um, yeah, the, like apparently the prisoners escaped and so you have to like enter the POI through the area that they escaped from, like a sewer tunnel. And then over here is a really nice pyramid. I've gone through this place extensively. This is like a Mayan or something like that, Aztec pyramid. And there's an extensive, elaborate, like, underground system. There's traps. It's really, really cool. This is where we did the, the prologue, the opener for the series. And I think uh, it, it would be fitting if we kind of closed things out there as well. Maybe we'll make that 
our goal to do one final raid there in that POI. Uh, but for now, let's see. I don't think there's much else to see or do. That That's all. Like We've been to all the traders on the map now, I think. Uh, except for the one in the snow biome. But at least we, I know pretty much where that trader is. So we'll have to make the full trader rounds again. And luckily, we've got the gyrocopter to do it with. But there's really not much left to do but just fly home and start getting a plan going for tomorrow. Tomorrow being the day 77 horde. Horde number 11. We do have some final preparations to make around the base. Upgrades to steel. Probably some touch-up painting. And uh, I think we have to figure out a, a new situation for like where those steel doors, the steel cellar doors are. Those things just are not working at all. So we'll have to sort something else out there. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And it's another day, another dollar here at the Horde base. I'm currently completely encumbered because last night I crafted some uh, lead. Lead was the big thing that we needed, and we also need to turn that titanium into plates. Uh, actually, let's work on the, the rocket stuff. So I need... I think I need buckshot, but I'm gonna have to check on that. I definitely need the rocket casings, though. We don't need the rocket fuse, that's for the high explosives. So, uh, oh, this is using steel as well. So, yes, go ahead and get 10 of those. Ah, damn it. That, oh, geez. So, we're not going to be able to make any more for now. I think that'll potentially do it for tonight. I was looking at the recipe, and the rockets are kind of hard to make, requiring a lot of fuel. Yeah, working on some AP 10 millimeter and some pipe bombs here. Also got some AP 9 mil. And uh, during the horde tonight, I was going to do the, um, I, I could make the AP 762. But I could only make like 500 of it before I was out of gunpowder. And then I was like, well, what if I make 10 mil? And I could make like so much more. And that'll just help us level up in submachine guns more anyway. So I feel like that's the, the better move there. Uh, but the rockets. Right. The frag rocket is what we want. So 25 buckshot, rocket casing, gunpowder, 10 fuel. Oh, and duct tape as well. Uh, so can I work on some more glue then? need more murky water although we should be fine on that front because we crafted a whole bunch out of the snowballs although i uh, was kind of stupid i used the glass jars so we'll just have to convert that over okay there's all the stuff that we should need we're actually we're gonna need more fuel so uh go ahead and start working on that except we're all oh, we're out of coal powder uh oh uh i think i've uh did i make it all yeah, I can't make any more. We're going to have to go mine some of that very quickly, like right now. Because we, we literally just need a handful of it. Because then we need to turn it into powder, and that takes a bunch of time. And then we have to take the powder and make it into the... Uh, uh, what are we crafting? I just <laughs> totally forgot. Anyway, there should be some uh, coal. Where's the... Yes, there's a little tunnel going this way into this mine where there is coal and nitrate powder. So juice me up. And just give me, like, a couple hundred of this stuff. Alright, that should do for tonight. That does also remind me, though, we have to upgrade that ladder. Because, uh, guaranteed, zombies are going to be down in here during Horde Night. And if they don't have a good way out, uh, they're going to try to make one. Which will make the hole even bigger. And they might even tunnel in over here. I don't really think that they would, but they could, so we want to avoid that. Also, we're going to um, seal... I'll actually just do this right now. Uh, we're going to seal this off completely. This is no longer going to be a window, no longer going to be an entry point. And that is because uh, it, if I put glass here or bars or anything at all that zombies could see through or that I could see through, then cops will spit up at me. And I just... I've presented such big windows, such big opportunities for cops to see me. And now that we're going to get the feral cops and potentially radiated cops, uh, <laughs> no bueno. They're doing a ton of damage to the base. Uh, the steel doors here, they don't seem to block, like, zombie uh, sight, line of sight. So uh, the cops just keep spitting anyway. So just knock these out and I'm just going to seal this up completely. Completely. 
that should probably do it. Okay, now it looks like we're low on resin. <laughs> it's always something. Oh boy. Uh, let's just make sure this is topped off. And I guess we're chopping trees now. There aren't very many trees around here though. <laughs> We've been working on the resin quite a bit and the burnt trees don't really offer much in terms of resin. So we'll just have to jet over to the forest biome real quick and get some resin. So the trick is usually try not to one shot these things. Just get it down to like low, low HP and then just work on it with a sword for a second and get all the resin out. So you got a huge boost there, over a hundred resin there in that last stroke. Oh, geez, I'm too powerful. All right, there's a few hundred resin there. It should hold us over. A couple more for good measure. 37. Ooh, some titanium out of that one. Huh, not too bad, and some gold. Although I still haven't really found a use for gold. Uh-oh, uh, we haven't put the ramp in here on the side yet. So, <laughs> uh, I guess we're parking over here. All right, how are we doing on ballistics? We got the pipe bombs ready. That's good. Let's just put all this stuff away here. And the resin, yes, that should allow us to get the rest of the glue that we need. Yeah, 86 glue there, that'll be good on the duct tape for a while. And uh, that'll be good to get the rockets crafted. Okay, so that everything seems to be cooking over here. So let's get some wood and some brick. And uh, that should probably be sufficient for upgrading that ladder out there. I might even like build it out a little bit wider so that there's uh, some redundancy there. And we'll head down. Oh, probably should uh, also get some like regular repair materials and just work on the base a little bit while we're at it. Okay, so just iron plates to repair this stuff. That's easy enough. <laughs> I say that until we run out because it's moving fast now. We're already down 53. I do recall seeing there's a lot of damage down here. So just uh, get a couple of these things repaired up. I don't know exactly why all this is so messed up, but anyway. Oh yeah, lots of damage down here still. All right, so this is the spot in question right here. So yes, upgrade this. Oh, I need large stone, which I suppose I can get that easily right here, right? Yeah, it should be enough. Yep, get that up to flagstone, then up to brick. And I should probably just put a backup one over here somewhere, just in case maybe. There we go. That should do just fine, I would think. Oh, I hear the pitter-patter of footsteps. It's time to fight a horde, it seems. Where are they, anyway? They're, uh, they're all over here, it seems like. Oh, boy. <laughs> they run fast. Yes, they do. Ah! Looks like we have a cop in the horde. Yikes, look out. I think it's the, uh, the swing speed. The swing speed, the wind-up on this, kind of like, um... I don't know, it takes some getting used to, I guess. I've been using knives for so long. I don't think I've even done a playthrough with sledgehammers before yet. Oh crap. <laughs> See, I just suck at this, so we'll just put it that way. Stop making excuses, I just suck. Ah. All right, that should be it, I think. Fix up that infection. Okay, I should have enough stuff now to start working on some of the rockets. Uh, just three. Oh, we need the tape. Okay, that's four to start with. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, the inventory is going to be so gummed up right now. Yikes. I did want to get another blade trap, even though it seems to just blow up immediately every time I put it in. But whatever. Okay, there it is. So pop that in. Pop that in. And hook it back up. And I think we're good. Let's just check the condition on these. Uh, uh, bad. Bad needing electrical parts. Okay, repair, repair, repair. Yep, running low on time now. Starting to feel the time crunch a little bit. The ones on this Z side seem pretty good. Some broken blocks here. I'm not sure how all these blocks get so broken. Probably just demolishers and <laughs> cops blowing up everywhere. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Uh, there's a ladder piece here we need to fix up, using tons and tons of steel, of course, and taking a while. Yeah, this part of the ladder is, like, the most important, so make sure this is all set up. Probably just going to, uh, pull up the sledge turret tonight, because it's... What it's doing is it's hitting demos in the button. It happened, like, three times last horde. Hits the demo button, knocks them down into the pit, they blow up down here, they cause lots of issues, so... Um, yeah, I just, I don't really want to spend my whole life working on steel and upgrading stuff down here. 
And if I upgrade this to titanium, then <laughs> we would just be spending all of our time mining steel and titanium. What I'd really like to do is put like, like shielding on top of this so that there's like a buffer so that there would be some like brick or concrete shapes on top of this. In fact, I, I have the shapes with me. I could do that really quickly. Let's just get uh, something simple for like a cladding on top. And you can do anything really, even something stupid like this, like these little rod shapes. Sure, I don't even care. Just put these in here for now. And of course we can't put any at the base of the ladder, which is probably the most important block. Probably should upgrade those two blocks to titanium. Like that would be the best. Oh, and then the, uh, the shielding for the wall that's supporting the tower is gonna block me from putting more shapes in, but that, that's not too bad. Uh, how are we looking on mix here? I could upgrade this to uh, concrete. This just gives us a little bit of a buffer down here. And I'll, you know, depending on how well this works, might kind of um, develop this idea further. And yeah, just gonna seal this up completely, just like that, and grab these shapes and copy rotation and just seal it up like that. And then this top piece here, just get some regular shapes like that, and that should do it. And just the ones that the zombies can see, we'll just upgrade those to concrete. Good. All right, same deal here. Just seal this up. We don't want any cops seeing us. Whoops, that's the wrong shape there. Okay, all set. Okay, everything should be wired up properly. How are we looking on darts? Didn't even check that. We're looking really good, actually. Didn't use very many darts at all, I don't think. Uh, plus, they were holding like a thousand per slot, so that's good to see. I think I've already upgraded pretty much everything here to my liking. Uh, let's get the blade trap hooked back up. Yep, connect him up and uh, there should probably be some sort of a way for us to still see outside, I would imagine. Let's just, um, yeah, let's break this open. We'll make like a little tiny um, grenade shoot right here. Yep, that's good and then knock this one out too. Oh, that's 10,000 hit points. Get me the Valkyrie drill. Good, just gonna drop a shape in like that. Upgrade that to steel, and then I just need a, oh, what are we gonna do here? Not 100% sure yet, just need the shutter, I think, to close that off. I don't think, like uh, like we found out before, I don't think the cops, it's gonna not, it's not gonna prevent the cops from spitting up at us, but at least it gives them a significantly reduced kind of window for them to spot us and then to launch a spitball at us. So go ahead and just uh, copy rotation on that and drop that in right there. And now we have a little window so that we can shoot rockets down into the pit. Uh oh, Mr. James. Yep, get that repaired up nice and strong. And I think we're good to go out here. How are we looking on gas in the generator? Looking fine there. All right, nothing left to do, but just get kitted up for the horde, I think. All right, my friends, I think that we're ready. Let's get Mr. James in here with us. Come on, buddy. Come on in here. Seal the door behind us. Uh, command him to stay here. Also, I will see your inventory, please, and just drop a couple of bandages in here. I've got the first aid kits on me, so we should be good there. I've got bullets. I've got guns. I've got bombs. Learn a Litzer recog and all this stuff up here. That's just the day-to-day -day stuff that should be helping us out. Ah, Molotovs. I do want the Molotovs with me. Here, put these away. Molotovs down. It is day 77, and our 11th horde is approaching. It is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Here we go, getting busy up here already. 
All right, I can hear all of the turrets going off. That is good news. Oh boy, top spitting. Yes, give me uh, some full auto mode going on here, please. Yeah, I got the recog into me, so this is gonna work real well tonight, I think. And we're much safer in here. I'm feeling much more secure. Uh oh, demo. Uh, whoop. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Just be very liberal on the ammo usage. I'm feeling like we're at the point where we can craft all the ammo that we need here for Horde Night. It just takes a while. We gotta start working on it earlier during the week. But yeah, look at this. Oh, just blowing them right off the pipe here. Okay, now let's just uh, do some repairs. Make sure everything is topped off here that we need. Uh, looking good here. Uh, someone's gonna blow up. I think it's that cop there. No, no blowing up here. No, none of that. Get out of here. All right, let's test out the rocket launcher. Inaugural test here. One for the middle right there. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. I'd say that worked pretty well. Oh, even the little Golconda with the AP rounds of just like blowing the zombies limb for limb. All right, how are we doing for a pipe bomb down there maybe? Maybe a couple, see what that does? I see a demo down there, so why don't we get a couple more? Yep, as was the strategy last time, not really gonna target the demos unless they stick the landing and they're up here. I don't wanna just like shoot all willy-nilly at the demos because I'll probably just end up hitting the button and fucking destroying the whole plan here. Yep, here's one, he stuck the landing. So we get the 10 mil, ooh, I blew a leg off. So he's just gonna be crawling around on the ground all night, I guess. Yeah, like I don't wanna shoot at that one there because I'll end up hitting the button there. Uh, I don't really actually want a demo to crawl because uh, I'm not sure where he would go in that scenario. Oh, here we go. Yep, careful with the button. Careful with the button. I'm actually confident that if I did shoot a demo in the button that I'd be able to kill him in time as long as I have the weapon reloaded uh, before he blew up, so... Kind of mildly concerning, I've lost that, uh, I've lost the crawler zombie. He's, uh, he's down there somewhere, I'm sure, making a mess of things. Well, I don't know, let's, uh, let's take a nerd tat. Nerd tat gives me shock AoE radius, that might work on the hammer. We're gonna test it out and see. Ah, it works, nice! Oh, eat that! Alright, it's kind of slow up here, so I'm gonna just get some bombs going downstairs. See if that does anything. Chase it with a rocket. See if that does anything. Oh yeah, that works good. Uh oh, we got a, a real mess of things up here in the front. Let's get some fire on everyone and then just rinse them. Uh, there is a demo standing there. Hopefully I don't hit the button. Try to shoot him in the legs a little bit. Yep, that's good. Oh boy, yep, Pop's still kind of laying into me. Oh, <laughs> the, nice, nice, that's just lovely, man. You gotta get out of the way. I can't see anything with your nutsack in my face. Okay, demo right there. He's, that's good, he's actually stun locked from the hammer. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Gosh, crap. Okay, that did not work out. And the, the blade trap is now gone. It, it might have been gone before and I just didn't notice. So yep, stat, stat repairs. Also, Get rid of that chunk of whatever that is there. Can I can I reach that? Here, just get a gun out and friggin' shoot it. No, no, this is not going the way I thought I wanted it to. Here, can I can we just destroy that little cube there? Yes. Perfect. Fix some of this stuff up. Fix, fix, fix. Uh we lost one of the um oh great. Yeah, of the the railing pieces there on the back side. Okay, you guys need to uh, get the hell out of here so I can fix that. Okay, we have a good opportunity here. Um, 
Put the bandages away, get the shapes down, grab this, copy shape, and slide it in. No, 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 get out of the way. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, uh, was that good? No, Steven! Okay, that probably wasn't gonna do it either. We gotta reload. We could just get fucking Kamikaze Steve out of here. We could probably get this set back up again. There we go. Back up to steel. Nice. We do have a bird situation. I don't hear... Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't hear the turrets going off up there. Or the, the turret. I guess I could kill him from here, though. Fortunately, the, the I left these bars in place this whole time. Is he dead? I think I got him. Okay, I think we're looking good here. We got eight rockets left. Um, oh, there are some messy things down there. I don't know quite what's going on, but we'll put a rocket right there. Man, that does so good. Look at the XP. 30,000 XP for that. Yeah, we got a real mess up here, though. These zombies are just too tough. Big Mama and her fat legs, her fat green legs, <laughs> too thick for me to hit with a sledgehammer. You know, I'm, it's irritating me that, um, that the bird situation is bad, so I'm gonna run upstairs and try to fix that. All right, what are you doing? Get up, get out of here. Just disintegrate. And uh, this, the situation here is that it's out of ammo, I think. So, uh, no, it's not even turned on, but there's no ammo in it anyway. So, uh, where's the 10 mil? Put the 10 mil in and turn you back on. Okay, try that. All right, we're back in business here. See uh, how much damage they did while I was away. Not, not significant. It's not too bad up here. Ooh, that, that pipe piece there. Ow, Big <laughs> Mama slapped me. She knows I'm talking shit about her. Eat that. I think the nerd tat wore off. Not, not getting the AOE, the shock AOE. Nope, <laughs> not getting much out of that at all. Here, put that away. I haven't seen a demo for a while. It might be that uh, we're on a wave in which demos will not spawn, but however, there are tons, tons of zombies here, so start wasting that 22,000 XP right there. I wonder if I can sneak some Molotovs through there. There's a demo right there, actually. Take that all back. I'm actually thirsty, so we'll drink that mineral water I brought with us. Probably a good time right now for Grandpa's learning elixir as well. Take two of those, and we'll chase it with a recog so that we get a solid... 10 minutes, 8 minutes or so of uh, increased damage capacity and uh, increased XP for all our kills. Like all of those kills right there. Oh crap, need repairs on the UMP. I'm still hearing birds. What are you doing out there? Stop spitting at the base. No. No, why are you all on the side over there? Ah, these stupid windows, man. Next time I try to put windows in a base, fucking comment and tell me that I'm a dumbass for doing that. You need to be nice and tucked in here in your friggin fighting position. Who cares about visibility? Oh jeez, the horde's actually like really lagging too. That means there's a lot of zombies here. I, uh, we're probably maxed out now. Where's the stupid bird? Okay, I can hear the turret going off, probably helping us out. All right, lots of zombies. Uh, thin them out a little bit with a rocket. Yep, 50,000 XP sitting on right now. Let's get another uh, Molotov down there, and how about some pipe bombs? We got a whole bunch of these, and these are cheap as hell to make. Yeah, ooh, we got a couple kills with that. Good. Oh, cop blew up somewhere. I'm not sure where that was, though. Oh, the fucking birds, man. Get out of here. All right, I'm gonna run back real quick, just do some stat repairs on the UMP. Hold down the fort for me. All right, we're good again. Seal this door up if I can. There we go. Oh, get back to work. Gotta kill some zombies, get some frames back. What better way than with a rocket launcher? Nice. Oh god, I could just sit here in the window all day. Look how many zombies- Oh! Did you see Arlene- or, uh, Darlene or Marlene, I guess it was, friggin' batted that pipe bomb <laughs> out of midair. She's like, having none of that shit. Past defensed. Oh boy, get out of here. Oh, we're getting close to morning! We're almost there! Hey, that might have been it right there. Now nah, a couple more. Had to fend off several screamers. In fact, I think I'm just gonna kind of move away from the base for a little bit and see what's going on here. Ooh, 
Ooh, damage. Damage. Oh, I forgot to close the freaking door, too. <laughs> Steve. Kamikaze Steve. Get the fuck out of here. How much damage did you do? Oh, just a little bit. That was um fully repaired before the night started. And we're only at like a quarter damage. Oh, yes, the crawlers. Where's the crawler demo? Oh, there's a there's a guy stuck over. Th oh, no, 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 Steve. Don't do that. Or Thomas or whoever the hell you are. I got to get my names straightened out. I get freaking name jumbo salad. Ow. Oh, boy. Okay, first things first, got to shut down the base. Turn that off. Seal that stuff back up. And we got a bird stuck in the garden, which is... <gasps> what did they do up there? I don't know. We'll get there in a minute. Got to take care of Thomas here. Take care of Big Mama here. Jeez. Okay. Now we got to see what that bird was doing up there. Oh, look at the damage out here. It's still pretty bad. Just tell me you didn't take out the super corn. That would really piss me off. First of all... Why did you- who broke the door and why? Freaking bird, how did you get in here? Probably flew in from the side. Uh, we're good. We did not lose any super corn, which is great. Although, probably a bad spot right here for these garden plots. So, I can't even grow super corn in those anyway. It's not tall enough. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that this held up remarkably well today. Much better, I would say, than last time. Uh, there was a last minute demo blast that went off. Uh, in this area over here. I think it was on this side. But uh, anyway, just some simple repairs here for the ladder system. Oh, let's check down here and see if, uh, if, first of all, anything happened. No, I don't think anyone even made it down here last night, which is excellent. Maybe someone did. I'm not sure. So everything, everything held up so well. Were these even working? No, because we lost the... Uh, <laughs> The motion sensors. There are no more motion sensors, and so therefore these were not working at all. Uh, maybe we'll think about another way to um, set that up for the next horde. A little bit of minor damage here on the, the exterior, but overall very, very pleased with how things went today. So, only one thing left to do. Let's uh, sort the inventory just a little bit. We'll pop the lucky goggles on and some eye candy into us, and we'll see what we get here. Oh boy! Quick! Fucking hide! Wandering horde coming through here! I'm super duper encumbered! Like, really bad! Oh boy, oh boy, just, just let them run right through! A few of them have peeled off and they're coming after me. I'm just gonna continue back pedaling and seeing if I can get the fuck out of here. Okay, yep, the rest, they're just kind of running on through. They're heading over towards the well, and then eventually down into the lake. A few have stopped. Here, let's just pop a steroid. One last loot bag here. We can move again. Oof, a good pair of military uh, vest, a good military vest there. Otherwise, I didn't get much for good loot other than an M60. Yep, they're just mostly heading down into the water there. Uh, AP rounds work so good. Hey, we got three skill points to spend now. Is that everyone? Nope, one more. Well, let's have a look there. I said in the last episode that I wanted to do Minor 69er and Mother Load, so we'll just do that really quickly. And we could do one more into Skull Crusher, but I think uh, at this point, maybe like Healing Factor, or no, we don't want Healing Factor. We want Physician if we take anything, right? Physician, where, where the hell is that? Is that a skill now, still, or? No, Field Medic, ooh. And that's gonna require what? Fortitude level three? Well, I guess we have to pump Fortitude just a little bit more then. Yeah, so I can't say that I'm uh, very impressed by zombie loot during Horde Night anymore. It, it used to be kind of nice, but uh, I seem to be pulling more or less the same things out. Like I've already pulled out an S-Class Badger 44. I've already pulled out this M60, this A-Class. This is like the third or fourth A-Class M60 that I pulled out. So it seems like there's a lack of diversity when it comes to um, the the loot that comes out of those. And, and in fact, I've pulled out A-Class Iron Boots before. I pulled out the Iron Leg Armor Schematic. It seems like I'm getting... And that shovel, the scrap uh, shovel. Like, I've pulled this exact same lineup of loot 
out of um out of the horde knight loot bags before the b-class steel pickaxe like uh correct me if i'm wrong but remind me if you if you've seen past horde knights i'm pulling out basically the same exact loot which um might be a bug although i think i have seen that before anyway yeah just mostly getting ammo out of the the loot bags there which is nice because it kind of helps top us back off again let's see how much ammo we got now so yeah we topped us back off on 762 got a bunch of extra 792 for selling and otherwise uh yep got some extra 10 mil as well so I'll get organized and we'll pick things up in just a little bit. All right, I think we're pretty much all reset. The inventory is squared away again. We are fed and hydrated, no critical injuries, full on health. Uh, last night, not last night, because last night was a horde night, but the night before that, in between episodes, I did get everything repaired up to maximum um, condition so that we can sell it for more. And an observation that I made was that Many of these mods, like Gravedigger mod, the, the the tiered mods, the the ones that have this quality class, are worth a ton of money. 717 dukes for that one, 795, 717. But the regular mods that don't have a quality class or tier are worth a flat 125. And those ones are the ones that you want to put onto your items for a little bit of extra sell value. So for example, sawn off shotgun mod, just put it on the scrap shotgun increased its value more than 125 so it was more valuable to put it on an item but you have to be careful which mods you do that with for example like four grip barrel extender four x scope all good but you don't want to put the ones that are like these drum mags worth way more to just sell them individually and i had so many left over i mean i, I still have a bunch of mods over here so don't worry we're not selling anything uh, that we might want later on. So anyway, let's uh, grab up all of this stuff. And how much is that going to weigh me down by? Oh, I can still move. Actually, I brought the vehicle up here just in case that was going to be an issue. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do any more building today. So <laughs> we're just going to leave this be. And uh, in fact, we don't even need. Uh, we don't want to bring the uh, the dune buggy. We want to take this off the elevator so that it doesn't get stuck when we leave. But yeah, I just want to. Uh, I want to take the gyrocopter. Kind of forgot that I had that there. So all right. Back this in over here. Yeah, close enough. And we'll head over here. We might <laughs> never need to use the vehicle again. And we might never need to use gas again. Because look at the fuel tank. That's after flying all over the map uh, in the last episode. Only used less than a quarter of a tank. The big issue here is turning around. Always a problem in the gyrocopter. It does not have good reverse controls. Or turning controls for that matter. Ah, damn it. All right, well, I think we made it. Okay, so now all we have to do is make the full sweep of traders and see if we can find the helicopter. First up, Trader Ellen. Greetings, everyone. Look so good. Well, I just fought the horde, Max, and Jesus Christ. Okay, no helicopter okay. here because of course not. And also no helicopter here. So why don't we just Very do the well. sell off then? Do we have more than one awesome sauce? Because uh, that would best be saved. I suppose if we find the helicopter, we could go back to the base, get an awesome sauce crafted and come back. I think uh, Trader Restock Day is what's going to be 70, 81. Right. So we have like uh, several days if we can find it today. So anyway, we'll do sugar butt followed by awesome sauce. See how much money we can make. Oh, we just made a cool 63,000 and then increased our trading skill a little bit as well. So we have the pumpkin cheesecake. I don't think we need that. How much money do we have total? 200,000 and a crucible, which no sell value. So whatever. Very well, well, let's see. Because uh, in Darkness Falls, if you scrap it, you get something important. But of course you don't. You get 20 clay. <laughs> so that's fine. And uh, did you just have anything I wanted to buy while we got the... Uh... Oh, look at that. A C-Class Micro SMG for only four grand. I want to try that out. Let's do it. Ranger's Guide to Archery, I'll take that. And there was a needle and thread here. I don't need that. Ooh, the mining cart schematic, though. Eh, nah. <laughs> Some people had suggested that I that I get the dump truck, which, uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll look into it a little bit, maybe. Oh, look at that. A D-Class Brinks' Fury. Damn it. I could have just bought it and saved all those resources. All right. Well, we've got like nine more traders to go. So let's just make this snappy. Oh, man, I suck at this.
Private Ryan. How's it ah, going? look at that, an awesome sauce. Nice. Ooh, replacement motion sensors. Definitely need those. Hey, hey, there's your dump truck right there for, oh my God. That's a million Dukes. Is it really worth a million Dukes? I mean, come on. Careful nope, we're all good there. here. All right, Jen and Hagen's turn. Another awesome sauce, we'll take that. I'm picking up odds and ends Greetings. here and there, but still no helicopter, of course. Of course. Nope, nothing good, on to the next one. Gratitude, nope. if you wish. Also, nope. Good nope, luck. nothing here, but he does have this Hellfire missile launcher, which is a like four shot rocket launcher. 45K, can't do it. Can't do it because we wouldn't be able to afford the helicopter if we found it. I think we got time for one more stop. Okay, last stop of the day. Trader Bob, you're the man. Except for today, you're not not quite the man today, unfortunately. Thanks, Wait, what was that you book? Hey, Pistol Pete book. Yep, we'll take that for sure. Check on this guy. Maybe he's got a helicopter squirreled away somewhere. Nope, just a mining card, it looks like. Listen, Bob, you and I need to have a little bit of a chat. Because I've been looking for this Raptor helicopter here for weeks. And haven't been able to find it. I know you're about to close, so I'll make this quick. But, um... If you could just put in a special request for me, whatever contacts you have, let them know that I'm looking for a Raptor helicopter. So what I'll do for you is I will leave all of this money here. And if this is enough, then great. If you need more money, just let me know. Just leave the helicopter there on the helipad and I'll be back in a couple of days to check on it. <laughs> you the man, Trader Bob. All right, see you later, man. All right, well, hopefully that pays off for us. Let's get out of here. Time to head home. All right, coming in for a smooth, hopefully smooth landing here. Come on. Just gonna try to take it right on the right edge here. All right, good. And hopefully that'll maybe allow me to turn this around when, when the time's, oh, no, 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 no. Why are you doing this? Uh, I just made a mess of things. Here we go. Yes, park it right there. Perfect. Okay, so unfortunately we did burn through 100% of our money today, and I think that that's fair. We'll hope that Trader Bob can pull through for us and get us that helicopter here within the next day or two. We've got a Wasteland Treasure Book here, not the last one in the series, and uh, Leg Shots will uh, cripple targets, whatever. So Pistol Pete, not the last one in that series either. I also got, you know, motion sensors, we'll have to hook those up. Blade Trap, more powered spike traps. I'm gonna set some more of those up for the next horde. Got the work lights again, and I got this laser sight because I thought that um, maybe the laser sight would be better to have than the crippler because this uh, will increase accuracy when firing from the hip. And y'all know me, I love my hip firing. Plus it gives us the sweet laser look coming off of it. So yeah, I like that. Got some SMG parts, couple of awesome sauces and a learning elixir. So I'm gonna get all of this stuff put away and I'll probably just start working on repairs throughout the rest of the night. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. So I spent most of the night and well into this morning getting the base repaired and uh, getting a few things just put back together. Got the blade trap back down. Whoops, yeah, I sprayed my leg a, a little while back. Now, um, one thing that we need to do is get these hooked back up here, but I'm finding that where I put them, this is the issue I was having last night, is that I can't seem to get it to reach down to the dart trap. I think it's too far. So we're gonna have to pick those up and I think there's gonna be a little bit of a trick that we have to do here. I think I'm gonna actually um, push them out further away because I think that's too high for it. I want it to be down uh, more like maybe two blocks lower and I need to push it out away from this area here because I think what happened last night is that 
a demo went off like right here, literally right here, blew this all up, blew out the shotgun turrets and all that shotgun ammo. And they, at some point, either cops or whatever, blew up the cameras. So we need to move them. I okay, give myself a little bit of a platform here. And I think I do still have some shapes. That's good. Okay, hang on here. <laughs> gonna have to, <laughs> it's gonna get a little squirrely here. Right, that should probably do it. Uh, can I pick this up now? Good, and now I just need to uh, sort out uh, what kind of a shape I want to use here. I think these like half hole plates, is, are these gonna work? Cause the camera kind of doesn't really sit like center, does it? Uh, does it sit on the top or the bottom though? Like if I do, what do you think? Like this here? Let's try that. One, two, and then bring that camera back down and place the camera right there. Yep, that, that looks pretty good. That looks natural. And then I just, I uh, want to grab a line off of that, I think. Can I have one? Give me a line. There we go. And switch that over there. Now, let's see here. Let's just target self for now and then... Oh, it needs to be powered in order to function. Okay, right. Turn that on and just uh, show me. Can he see me? Cannot see me. However, I should be able to probably just move it over a little bit. Like, uh, well, move it over maybe and down a little bit like this. Let's see if that works. Yes, he's, he's looking at me now. But if I'm on this side, we definitely don't want him to be looking at us on this side. And it is not looking at me. Okay, it sees me up here, which, uh, it, it, which is fine, I think. Okay, how far down? Oh no, this stuff's in the way. Oh crap! Well, anyway, we'll sort out the the particulars here in just a minute. Let's uh get the shapes back. And whoops! All right, this one I aimed down a little bit more to see if we can get it to not target the zombie that's up here on the top. That seems to work. Let's try this side now. Nope, no good. It still sees me on this side. We definitely don't want it to do that. Ugh, it's gonna be a whole ordeal. I'll get this all sorted out and I'll pick things back up with you in just a minute. All right, I've got one dart in there and we're gonna test this out. So if I jump up here, yes, I got shot. So it should be good now. It shouldn't be, um, they shouldn't both be targeting the same side. They're all like oriented so that they're only detecting zombies on their respective side. It's going down to a relay, over to this relay, and over to this trap here. So we can uh, go ahead and just put these darts back inside and turn that back on. And um, we will now have to just set those to target zombies. Target zombies, and we're all set there. Just gonna snag up the Valkyrie drill. We need to make a couple of modifications here, and I wanna put in the remainder of these seven powered spike straps. Okay, I'm gonna knock out these three blocks here and there, and then that block there, and we're gonna turn those all into spike straps. Good, whoops. Well, we don't need that stuff anyway anymore. All right, I think that's all hooked up. Oh, one more there, which sort of reminds me, I did want to kind of knock some of this stuff out here so that it's uh, just, just so that it matches on both sides. That's better. And a direct line off the generator to that trap right there, please. Yep, I think we're all hooked up again. One last bit of renovation is gonna be this room here. Obviously, <laughs> things blowing up on the friggin' ladder is a hazard to everything that's in here. So I'm just gonna dig up these things here. We don't need these anymore. Uh, oh, harvest up that super corn. That's good to have. And then uh, just knock these, this whole front face off right here. That should do it. Whoa. Yeah, instead of that, let's go with, um, oh geez, I don't know. How about the pole plates? Pole plate wall. And that should prevent, uh, birds from spitting in here, cops from, oh, you know, things from blowing up. I don't know what it's gonna do. <laughs> this, this little, this, um, this experiment that we did in this uh, area here, total failure. <laughs> Note to self, you know, don't make these stupid rooms right next to, like, where the horde fights are gonna be. Uh, I will still put a door in there because I like just having an access route right right, right there. And then on this side here, I suppose we can just grab up these, um, the same shapes that we've been using and then we'll, we'll paint them up in a little bit. 
There, that'll look pretty cool anyway once we get that all dressed up. And uh, a lot more stable, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, what's next? We probably just need to get some... Uh, those things there crafted, the shutter doors. We'll get a regular door here crafted. And then we can probably just head out for the day somewhere. Okay, we need shutters. Not steel, I think iron probably does just fine for outside there. Uh, not, the ground's not taking much damage, especially on like the lateral aspects. And a door, we do want a, a metal door because of the blasts that seem to be happening on the ladder. So yeah, craft that up. And super corn, super corn, super corn. So that should get us uh, one more seed. Super corn seed. Nice, craft that, put the excess away, and we've got room for one more. There we go, we've almost got, we've, we've almost got like a full row. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We're never gonna get this thing filled with super corn. Uh, in fact, I don't need pumpkins anymore, just get rid of this stuff. Uh, airdrop though, that's probably wasteland over there. Indeed, I think we can probably swing by and get that. Uh, yeah, it should be fine, we can take the gyrocopter, in fact, we should probably take the gyrocopter up to Bob's and see if he's pulled through for us yet on the... I believe it's the Raven. I've been calling it the Raptor, because Raptors are way cooler than Ravens. But <laughs> anyway, let's see if he's pulled through for us on the helicopter. All right, so just putting the rad remover on the Golconda. And I think I've, I bought a whole bunch of SMG parts here in the last couple of days. So, and I got this uh, micro SMG. So I'm just going to put this in the inventory somewhere and we'll give it a test run today and see how it looks and feels. I'll put some mods on it in just a second here. But uh, first things first, let's see if I can upgrade this. Okay, oil and plates. Let's see if I can do that. Well, there's the titanium plates and oil. 323, just do it. So that's gonna take a while and that's fine. Let's just uh, roll with the micro SMG for today then. Oh my, look at the AP 10 mil rounds. They've all come through for us, nice. Uh, do you think we should just roll with that from now on? We'll save the regular 10 mil for um, the turret upstairs. Yep, I think that's a good idea. All right, let's go see Trader Bob. Hey, hey, we're coming up on the spot here and I can see it. Looks like Bob pulled through for us. Hey, Bob, man, you are the man. Here, let's just park it right here. Wow, look at this thing. This is sick. Oh, if only it had some guns on it. Bob, you are a true friend of mine, man. Well, I hope the money I gave you was enough. Here, I'm gonna do you a favor, Bob. Why don't you take the old gyrocopter there as collateral for the Raven? Open her up and we'll see. I brought some fuel with me so we can refuel it. No, it's already full of fuel. Oh man, Trader Bob hooking me up. So yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and put the fuel saver and the supercharger on there for some extra speed and gas efficiency. And we'll take it for our first test flight. Okay, controls definitely different. Uh-oh, uh, yes, probably should have taken some helicopter lessons. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, it's taken a little bit of getting used to, but it is wicked fun to use. And it has so much more stability, so you can just kind of like let go of the controls and not completely fly out of the sky and hit the ground. So I suppose while we're here, why don't we do a little bit of exploration? I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, what's, what's the elevation button? Here we go. Maybe there's a main loot up here on the roof that we can get. Although I also see no clear area to land in. And zombies, of course. Oh, I wish I could just toss a couple grenades out the side. Uh-oh. Uh, look out. <laughs> Don't mind the, uh, the clipping through the friggin' antenna there. I feel like this is worth a try. <laughs> Why have a helicopter if you're not gonna risk it trying to get some main loots on the rooftops? Here, just, um... Bail. That should do it. Ah! Oh, crap, birds. Yes, get the birds. Test out the new Uzi. I think it's got like pretty much the same exact sound as the UMP, which is fine. Ah, I don't think it has as many bullets though, it doesn't seem like. All right, I think we can, ow. Oh no, <laughs> crap. This guy hits hard. This guy hits hard too, ah. There we go. Wow, quite an ordeal. Take a first aid bandage. Now, I don't see a main loot up here, but I do see a couple of things that we can take as consolation prize, and these are one of them. Um, although that's just iron plates and stuff. For some reason I was thinking that was steel.
Okay, well, might as well take a peek and go downstairs or down wherever and see if we maybe just uh, missed the main loot by like one floor. Oh, I'm not liking the looks of this though. Look at this friggin' parkour mess here. I'm lagging really bad here. Oh, hello? Ah, is this it? Here, <laughs> let him come through here and potentially fall off. Oh shit. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to fall off. Did I get a no shit drop? I have any no shit drops, damn it. Here, quickly now, take one of those for me. All right, we're clear in here. I think I'm just gonna potentially clear out this one floor here. Super corn seed recipe, wow, look at that. And yeah, if I don't see the main loot, I think we'll just bail. Oh, crap, there we go. Here, just uh, nice and quietly now. What do you think? Probably like four? We'll, we'll try three and then we'll just rinse him with the Golconda after that. There we go. Ah, ah, yes, the main loot. I knew it would be up here somewhere. Here, blow this up. And uh, lucky goggles on, eye candy in. Although I've been told, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, that once you open the lock, that at that stage, the loot gets generated inside the container, so it might be worth getting in the habit of eating the eye candy and stuff and then opening up the chest. I'm not sure if that's true. I've never seen anything like that in the code myself, but um, it's been mentioned to me by multiple people, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and just trust them and try to get in the habit of that. That's a nice steel club there. And a scrap shovel, not quite what I'm looking for here. Ooh, some pipe bombs to replace the ones we used. A uh, good Golconda, a bunch of ammo, contact grenades, yes sir. Lucky blueberry pie, I'll take that. Go and just wash it down with that coffee, why not? And one more medical supply. Take the bandage, sure, and I'll take the rest. I'll take that mechanical part, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go out on a limb and say that that's probably it for this place. A lot of these skyscrapers, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. A lot of these skyscrapers here in the compo pack, it's, uh, it's just mostly the same thing all the way up. It's not like the Shang Tower where every floor is like thematic and different. I'm not speaking for all of the compo pack skyscrapers, but uh, pretty much all the ones I've been in. Okay, try not to fall off here. Head back to the helicopter and we are out of here. Hopefully. Yep, we're, we'll be out of here at some point. Give me a minute. I'm working on it. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Pitch down, pitch down. Oh, crap. Okay, regaining control. <laughs> okay, it is nightfall. On the way back, I just uh, stopped by the ostrich. I think it's shopping center, and uh, we're gonna do that tomorrow, I think. But for now, since it's late and, you know, nightmare speed and all that stuff, I'm gonna just head back and probably do some clay mining, maybe do some regular mining, and just uh, do some busy work for the night. And then we'll pick things back up over here in the morning. All right, good morning everyone. Just working on the forges here. Let's get some more cement, I guess. What are we held back by? Stone powder? Damn, man, it's always something. Yep, <laughs> screamer. Here, just dive down onto the raven and can I get eyes on her, please? She's over here somewhere. Get her, got her. Are we good? Nope, oh boy. That. Should have done it. All right, so before we go any further today, let's drop in that door right there. Perfect, and we'll grab the shutters. Whoa! Try not to sprain an ankle doing this. 
and just copy rotation slap that in slap that in and all we really have left to do out here now is some final upgrades paint touch-ups and a few repairs here and there it looks like oh and uh probably put that block in there and hopefully at some point remember to replace uh upgrade that because that is responsible for the structural integrity of the ladder which is the the sixth i think it's like the sixth point of contact here for this tower all right, let's grab some of this oil up here and see if we can finally do the upgrade for the UMP. Let's see here. That's going to be 65% chance using most, if not all of my, almost all of my SMG parts. Fortunately, we have some extra testosterone, lots of plates. Let's get a uh, some lucky stuff into us, if it makes any difference at all. My last pie. This has to be enough for good luck. Uh, <laughs> what else can we do? Uh, how about a, a lucky beer? Lucky coffee? I don't know. Just whatever. Lucky freaking cornmeal? <laughs> all right, sure. That's probably going to sap all of my luck, honestly. Uh, let's do this. Ah, <laughs> it worked. It must have been the cornmeal. Nice. We're up to S class. We can put the micro SMG away. I'm, I'm content to just stick with one SMG here, especially since it's so far upgraded. And uh, we'll get a couple extra mods for it. How about maybe like some uh, hip firing accuracy type of mods like the laser sight and a foregrip which means we're still using iron sights on it although we could take the silencer off quite honestly i don't i don't know that that's uh the most important thing there but then again i like it i like the sound of it let's do it let's see how it looks now can i get the uh the laser there we go load in the ap Good deal. 64 rounds. Not bad. Let's uh, top off on ammo again. In fact, just give me all of that. I'll put it away. Drop that out here. And how are we looking on regular 10 mil? Like 500 there. Give me all that and I'll drop that into the turret up here. But yeah, we're going to need a lot more. And I might get another shotgun turret to put up here as well just for like some extra bird coverage. Could maybe even put the... Put it like over here or something maybe get an another two turrets i don't know we'll, we'll work on that at some other point i'll just i'll probably just buy them because i don't have the parts to make them i might have the parts to make a shotgun turret i do i could do that i have an extra motion sensor as well just requiring a couple of other things yep chirp craft that we'll get an extra shotgun turret just so that we have some way to use the the regular shotgun ammo that we have left over but yeah i think when that demo blast or whatever blew up over here and knocked out everything I think we lost like, oh geez, probably over a thousand shotgun rounds. Quite a tragedy. Okay then, I think we're good to go. Just a couple last minute, just stuffing stuff away type of deal. And we'll head downstairs. And someday here, we'll just get this fixed up here and this will look all nice. I'll just bring the railing over to here. And that, yeah, we gotta wait until we can get all those bricks done then we can get the shapes crafted and then we can finish out the pad and put a ramp around the edge. I think we'll just do the the wedge 60s and then we'll put some 60 tips on the edge of that uh, all the way around and we'll put a nice railing here on the side so nobody goes flying over the edge. Uh, this railing will just go to here because it's nice to be able to not have a railing here to run into with the helicopter. But without further ado, let's head over to the Ostrich Shopping Center. I'm not sure if this is the safest spot to land in, but we're gonna have to roll with it. Oh, it's definitely not. Yikes. Holy crap, they're fucking everywhere. Ah! Uh, crap. Uh, just, I wanna jump up here for safety for just a second and see what the hell is going on. Fucking zombies everywhere. That's what's going on. Here, Adam Junkies. And Skull Crusher for good measure. Give me some pipe bombs. But there's so many zombies, they're like glitched out. They don't even know what to do. Well, I know what to do, and that's just blow them all to hell. I think it's working. Pipe bombs everywhere. Pipe bombs everywhere. Okay, I think we're we've sufficiently thinned them out. I could probably do some melee. Ah, not the street sign. Ow. 
Out of stamina. Up. Get the new S class UMP out. Wow. Should have just started with that. All right, we're good. Let's see if I can access this loot bag underneath this pile of zombies. Nope. Uh, almost. There we go. Nice. Okay, that was fun. Let's spend that skill point, though, before I forget about it. Yeah, we wanted to do one into field medic so that we get a little bit more out of our healing efforts. Speaking of that, I think we're good to go. Yeah, check this place out. Ostrich. Ostrich something. It looks like a hotel to me. Any more zombies on this end, or did I wake everybody up? Look at the military trucks. Okay, we're heading inside then. This is super ominous. Should I maybe, like, clear the perimeter first and see if there's anything creepy going on around the back. There is a way in in the back. So probably just take that way in. Who's that? Yep, let's just go in this way. I think this is like the way in. I actually think the front is all barred up. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna run through here and wake them all up. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody in here? Yes, wake the fuck up. Hide up here. Get the pipe bombs. Look at that! Oh, that! Ow! Oh, uh, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Whoa, they're crawling their way up here. That's a little scary. Here, oh, what a good chance. What a good chance. Just bounce that off the wall. That didn't work as well as I had hoped. Okay. Ah! Be nice if I could get some more knockdowns, like that group knockdown that you get when you kind of like max out the skill. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to spend more skill points and get Skull Crusher up. Yeah, because this is a plus 50% chance to knock down enemies and 30% chance to knock down the nearby enemies. Right now we're only sitting on 10 for the nearby foes, so that ain't good enough. Ooh, contact grenades. Ah, uh, yes, please, I'll take those down here. And, oh yes, bandage. Yeah, I've got to work on the first aid. I think probably uh, Mr. James here is out, although I think I'll take over manual control of that. All right, so what are you hiding here in the back room? Just lots of dead bodies everywhere. Lots of garbage to go through. Any loot back here? A little bit. Nothing spectacular, but I think that was an, <laughs> an aviation engine. I really don't think I need that. It weighing me down by 30 pounds. I guess I'll hang on to it. Aha, look at this place. This is gonna give us a lot of scrap rubber. No, nope, that gave me a car wheel. <laughs> I axed a wheel and it turned into a regular old car wheel. That's nice. Ooh, 99 rubber there and another 100 and something there. Good lord. Oh, geez. And now I have two, I have three car wheels. Three car wheels and an engine. I'm just like hauling around half a friggin' vehicle with me. And all the scrap rubber I will ever need. Is this just gonna be all wheels here as well? My goodness, it is. 100% chance to get a real wheel off of this, which makes sense because it's uh, it's, that's a complete wheel there. Gyrocopter chassis, oh my god. I've, I'm literally hauling around like all of the components to make a gyrocopter. Just give me the accessories and I'll slap it all together for us. We'll have another friggin' flying vehicle. Yeah, these will give you the an engine too, or just scrap steel, or both. Another engine. Okay, I'm just sitting on, like, ton- too much. It's too much. Can I- what do I do? I scrap this into scrap iron. Is that gonna weigh me down less, or... Yeah, presumably it'll weigh me down a lot less, so go ahead and start scrapping those. That's gonna take a little while. Oh, jeez. Until then, I guess uh, we'll just take a steroid. Okay, there we go. Moving right along here. Oh, another wheel. I'll take all that money there. All right, I think the downstairs is clear. Just cleaned out the bathroom. Now we have to find the way up. Okay, escalators over here. Okay, make sure we're locked and loaded for this. We'll just sneak down and carefully work our way up here. Aha, yes. Zombies. Who would have guessed? Although, doesn't seem like as many as there were on the first floor, but looks can be deceiving. They can be hiding around any corner here. Oh, yes, here they are. I would love to take that guy out in one shot. Not quite. E. Okay. Well, let's just run through here. Wake up, everyone. Let's do this all over again. Is that going to be a way out for me? Yep, I think that's a way out if I need it. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, yeah, they're just hiding around every corner. Yikes. Oh, oh. Th this is uh, not a way to go. Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> that was bad. Get this fucking contact grenade out. Eat that. Um, how about another one right there? Ooh, that was a little bit close to my face. 
Just keep running. Keep running. Oh man, just all rads. Oh, this is bad. Really, really bad. We need healing. Heal me up. Heal me up. Heal me up. Oh god, they're spitting at me. I'm infected too, and I'm out of stamina. Oh man, people ask me a lot why I hip fire so much, and it's because if you aim down the sights, it's gonna use stamina. And for the most part, I'm usually doing this so that I can save the stamina back up. Because then, when I get a little bit of stamina in me, I go over to the melee and completely whiff a friggin' power attack. There we go. Wow, that was a hell of a fight. We've got a screamer here as well. Guess I should have just bailed out of here. Oh, there she is. All right, before that infection gets out of control, we'll take a jar of honey and I'll take a painkiller as well. We'll also slurp down some water and we should be back to normal. I should be carrying around recog with me of all things. I like to use the recog on the horde knife, but more and more that would help us in our day to day efforts. Okay, I managed to take a jailbreaker and open up all four of these ATMs. Look at the money we're gonna pull out of here. Thousands. Very good. And some cash registers to boot. Hunter's journal for, oh, finally the vulture book and advanced armor plating, which I think might be the first advanced armor plating mod that I've found. Okay, last stop I think was the pharmacy over here. Just a little bit of loot here and there. Not not, not really like overpowering yet. Except for the ATMs, that's a little bit overpowering. And with that, I think, uh, oh, here we go. Back room going up to, what is this? Really nothing, a little security room maybe. Freaking leather poncho, no thanks. Yep, so we can head up here. Ah, I see. Yep, we gotta go in this way because, oh, I, I just felt all the zombies spawn in. Yep, lots of them, lots of rads too. Yeah, we can't use the escalator because it's all blocked off from downstairs. All right, maybe we can do a little bit of crossbow work here. Ah! Okay, nope, I missed and that woke everyone up. Okay, no, 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 no. We're not gonna do the big fight this time. Good, go, oh, jeez, big baba. Whoop, <laughs> stripper. I just saw her head peeking around the corner there. Can I get a knockdown, please? That'll do. Okay, everyone else still asleep, although I'm down to like my last crossbow bolts, so. Ooh, Thomas over there, and he's a greenie. Oh, I got him. I killed him too, nice. Okay, surely there's more, many more, I would say. Uh, ooh, oh yes, yes, here are more rads. We know we can take out Thomas with one shot. Oh, no, oh, jeez. Can I just take that? Stop! Ah! Run back over here. Oh, crap. Don't want to sprain an arm in this place. Oh, boy. Are you dead? He's dead. Okay, last two crossbow balls. I'd say we're doing remarkably better on this one, though. Okay, Thomas. Oh, just he just woke up. Can I just get that lumberjack there, though? Nope, missed. Come on, come on. There we go. I missed again, are you kidding me? You son of a bitch. There we go. Not seeing any more zombies down here. There might be some back there in the cinema though. Aha, ooh, vending machines. Oh, crossbow bolt, give me that. Both not working, so I'll take them both apart. All right, I think all we have left to do here is the cinema. Just checking these last couple things here. A couple of uh, yucca juices. And yep, here we go. Sneak down here. Okay, yep, a couple of regulars. And after this one crossbow bolt, we are down to just the silenced weapons for this, which is fine. Oh boy. Except uh, it's much louder, so yeah, this is not fine. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh boy. Very tight quarters here. I think that was it though. All right, I think we now have to, what do we do? We take the escalator back up to the next level. Oh, this place is huge and very much involved. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, yeah. Holy crap. Yep, lots of zombies here. Just 
just gonna lean heavily on the guns, I think. Yep, reload. Oh, gotta love that reload speed. Excellent. And the AP rounds just going through the targets. Get double bang for your buck there. Perfection. No. Okay, well, that's this half cleared, it would seem. Aha, there we go. Okay, more zombies on that end, it seems. Here. Just suck on that. <laughs> How do you like that? Oh no, I don't have any more money. Yeah, I, I gave it all to Bob and I spent everything that I found here. Ooh, I'm getting main loot vibes. I'm also seeing a landmine there, although I should be able to step on that now without setting it off. Uh, nope, not, not the main loot. I just gotta watch out for Steve coming up behind me. Okay, that looks like the way they want you to go right there. They want you to go up the stairs. Couple more areas to clear out over here though. And yes, again, just uh, some more food stuff over here, but we're good there. So up we go. Aha, okay, we got a vault door there. Ooh, big, big open spaces. Just sneak my head out here and see what's going on. Woke one zombie up. Let's just bring him back in here so I can continue scouting. More than one. Oh yes, many more than one it seems. A little bit of a trap here for him. Let him in! Eat that! I don't know what y'all are doing up there, but I'll take it. Go crap! Oh boy! Ah! Just keep jumping! Back pedal! Oh my god, almost got totally stuck there. Did that pipe bomb even work at all? Uh, like one kill off of it maybe? Phew! Wow. Okay, I think we're all clear up here. We got a shotgun messiah as well. Banco del Mac. Oh, okay, so we're, uh, a bank then, maybe. A bank and a shotgun messiah. That explains the vault door that we saw a second ago. I uh, just want to make sure this is all clear. Yes, escalator going down. Uh, not a good egress route. <laughs> Note to self, don't jump down there in um, haste. Okay, this is locked. Can I just pick into this? Oh, <laughs> And of course with the freaking lockpicks. When I auto-pick with a lockpick, I never get it. When I auto-pick with the bobby pins, almost instantaneous. Here, fucking kill these people. I'm not in the mood right now. Good. Screamer outside. I just heard her, um, you know, little whatever you call that. All right, so pretty good loot here. Don't, not taking the loot and candy just yet though. I'm not sure how much we got left to do here. Uh, but we are on the last level because that is the rooftop above us. Okay, the Banco, ooh, oh my God, mutated. And we got a screamer coming up after us. Yep, oh crap, I can't, can't get a shot off on her. Ah, crap, here, what if I uh, huck a pipe bomb down there for, well, that didn't work. It, um, that maybe kind of worked. Okay, she did scream, but I did get her. Her friends will be coming here soon. Okay, let's uh, let's get a move on then. UMP almost broken, not good. Uh, mutated zombies over there, two pipe bombs to go, no other explosives, not good, not good at all. Here, take an Atom Junkie so we get more bang for our buck on this and go ahead and just huck one down there for him and another behind it. Uh, oh, that one wasn't lit. I did that wrong, damn it. Here we go, bubbles. Oh, there's a lot of them. No, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I can see why they gave us nice open spaces here to work with. Oh, goodness. It's okay. The Golconda is going to bring us through this. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. We'll use the UMP. What's left of it? That, that's it. Oh, the game is just loving the, uh, the lighting particle effects and things like that. Yeah, this is about to break now. I do have some repair kits. Can I get a repair? Can I get a repair on this as well? Nope, I've only got the one repair kit. Quickly now, reload this. Oh goodness, the glass breaking, it's so cool. Okay, almost there. Stuck on something. Oh boy, now I'm out of ammo. We're gonna have to do it with melee. Skull Crusher in. Come on. 
One left, I think. Got him. A lot of zombies downstairs, though. Um, give me that loot bag. Not good at all. Yes, here they come. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. Okay, they're coming up from where we came from. They're coming up the escalator as well. I wonder if this is a wandering horde. Or if this is, um... That screamer horde or both. Okay, time for the blade. I need that attack speed. And it's almost nightfall as well. Got another screamer here. She's screaming. We're gonna have to do a tactical retreat out of here. I just wanna peek my head in here. Is there loot in here? No. No, and I might be trapped in here now. Ow, ow, ow. Yes, let me back out. No, no, no. Jump, jump, jump! Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna die here. This is it, my friends. Okay, jump my way out. No! No, no, no! Oh, God. How am I not dead yet? Now let me out! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, my God! I think I killed the Screamer. We might be able to fend him off now. Ah! Okay, um, bandages. Well, more zombies. Oh my god, a freaking radiated white. Yep, nightmare speed now. We are totally fucked. Cops gonna blow up. We're out of stamina. There we go, that helps. Whoa, look out. He's down. He's gonna blow. Nope, don't let him do it. Ow! Oh my fucking god. We survived all of that. There are still zombies beating around outside, so we'll just take this opportunity to quickly figure out if this is where the main loot is, and how do we get in there? What is this? Uh, the door just did, it fell down. It, I think that's what's going on there. The door was just knocked over. And what's in here? This is locked. Um, bobby pins? Nope. Here, just take that fucking jailbreaker. We don't have time for this. Auto pick, open it up. Another one, crap. Get the special bobby pin. Oh my goodness, no! Oh! How many cops are in here? How many cops? Ah! Um, ow! No! Oh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Ah! No, 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 no! Not after everything we have ah! Ah, well. <laughs> that place was everything that I expected and more. Yep, major loss to the action skills yet again. And so I'm completely naked. I have some backup armor here that we can toss on very quickly. And some backup weapons that we can take with us. Grab up some 556, some 762. And now we just have to think of a way to get back there and get the rest of our stuff. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. I managed to lick my wounds a little bit. We are armed and armored, although we're not looking too hot right now. Look like a complete hobo. We'll have to go up and get the rest of our stuff. I don't have a helmet flashlight or any way to light our way, so we'll just have to suck it up here for a little bit. There are zombies pretty much everywhere here. I just kind of parked it in the light here so I could kind of make final preparations, put the armor on, and... I think we're just about ready to roll in there. There were a bunch of loot bags over here. And I think what happened is that um, all of the zombies from that horde, some of them were probably still kind of lingering out here. And they probably died off pretty quickly once we passed, well, once we uh, sustained our injuries, we'll say. <laughs> all right, gotta clear out the riffraff here. 
Ow. There we go. Luckily, we had some good backup weapons. That was a pretty good call to kind of hang on to this thing. Whoa, ow. All right, let's scoop up these loot bags. I'm not really concerned about what's in them, and we need the first aid already. Ah! Not going well already. Nighttime is dangerous around here. Okay, here we go. Check this loot bag here. Hopefully first aid. Uh, I'll take that pick, though. It's a good one here. I've got an axe. That helps. Some food. We'll take that. Extra ammo. Vitamins. Sure. It really uses steroid. But anyway, it looks like it's pretty clear here. I think we're safe to kind of head inside, start making our way upstairs. Should be all clear all the way up, I would hope. However, I do hear zombies walking around everywhere, basically. Look, they're even breaking their way out. Oh, geez. Oh my God, there's zombies everywhere inside. Why are there so many zombies in there? Ow, crap. Okay, yep. I think, are we good here? No, we're not good. We got zombies coming around the side and coming out of the building. Oh, geez, this is bad. Yep, just watch my back here. There we go. All clear. I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than it's turning out to be. Here, can I take that and... Is that enough to make a bandage? Can I even make bandages? I can make bandages. Good, good, good. Make me a bandage just in case. Yes, put that down there. Okay, I'm just gonna sneak down. It's pitch black, so I'll work my way up and I'll catch up with you guys at the top. All right, we're back at the Banco. I'm still sneaking. I think we should be all set to go into this room here. <laughs> Jeez, what a disaster last time. With all these blackened walls, I really just had no sense of direction. And when I turned around to run away, I went right into this room here and of course could not get out. Oh crap, where's my loot bag? Oh geez, did it, 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 did it, where, oh, no, it's on the rooftop. What are you, are you kidding me? Well, damn, I don't know what to do about that. How do I get to the roof? Uh, potentially we gotta head back out here and there must be like a ladder to the rooftop or something. There is one door that I remember seeing that we had not checked yet. So we'll have to run over and see that it's right over I think it's in there. Okay, good deal. Officially morning, not that it makes much difference, but at least we can see now. Yeah, so this door here, locked. Oh crap, I can't unlock it. Oh, one of those key boxes back there must have controlled that. I think now I'm confident enough that we have enough bullets. I mean, we have like 225 or something bullets, 27 bullets that we can take these guys out with. So let's just rip into these guys. There should be only three or four cops in here. Oh, you know what I can do too? Here, take this and put that in the inventory and slap it down right here. There we go, we got a makeshift barricade. Eat that! That appears to have worked very well, nice. We did attract some attention from outside though, I think. Yep, here we go. Phew, okay, what is in here now? Aha, ooh. Oh, massive vault. Main loot as well, although I can't get into it just yet. We'll have to figure out how to get our stuff back. Get some lockpicks and things. Oh, a pair of pants. That's helpful. Some money. Oh, we were so close. We were just five feral cops away from getting to the main loot and finishing this place off. Okay, so no buttons in here. I'll check the mail, I guess. Nothing there. So there was a button back... Where was that? It's back over here. Uh, oh yes, one here which I don't know what that does. There's one here. Oh, that opened the gun store portion, I think. Yeah, we. I guess we just have to further investigate what we're supposed to do here. Well, it seems to me like this door over here is our best bet at finding a way to the top. Now, I could just go in through this way. I think I'm gonna have to. Otherwise, uh, I'd be walking around here all day looking for the right switch. Yep, here we go. We got a ladder or a staircase going up at least. All right, that'll do. Let's uh, get ready here. There might be more zombies. Oh, wow. Is this like the executive suite up here or what? Wow, very cool. Okay, no zombies just yet. That looks like it could be a staircase going up, so that might be the rooftop access. Oh, cool. Sculptures. I love these. These are actually really nice. Aha, uh -huh, some books. I'll take the... Oh, there we go. Rooftop access right there. Okay, uh, I would expect a fight here, given everything that we've experienced so far. No? At least birds, maybe? I don't see anything. I'm pleasantly surprised. Here, can I, uh, can I just get this real quick? Oh, boy. <laughs> that feels better. Okay, I'm super encumbered. We gotta sort all this stuff out. 
All right, I think we're good to go. We can move again. I took some steroids. The sprain in the leg is cured. We are right as rain right now. All right, now what the hell is going on up here? Okay, we can disassemble these if we need to, although I am like practically encumbered. Uh, my encumbrance is like 99.9% .9 filled up. How do I get up here though? Aha, here we go. Missed this. Staircase going up. See, in vanilla, this is where, or even in un any mod really, this is where I would expect to see a boss. Like you'd come around the corner, and there would just be some kind of a super zombie up here that you'd have to fight one-on-one. -on -one. That would be super cool, wouldn't it? It would be nice to have, like, super zombies. Not necessarily like the Behemoth. Like, I've played with the Behemoth before. Like, Kane, the guy that makes uh, Darkness Falls, has a, a Behemoth mod that puts the Behemoth back in the game. And it just, like, it hits hard and has a ton of hit points. But I think that there should be, like, special zombies. Like, there's a zombie that's bulletproof. And there's a zombie that, uh, oh, I don't know has a special attack or something like that, you know what I mean? Something to just make it more than just, you know, bullet sponge. And it looks like this is it. Um, I'm so frustrated with this place, <laughs> but also pleased. I'm just gonna knock this freaking sign down. Okay, my prediction is that this should do it. Let's see if it works. Yes, sir. Goodbye, ostrich shopping center. Okay, only thing left to do now is to see if I picked up, I thought that I picked up, yeah, oh shit, drops, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Nice. Eat that. Okay, so now we have the problem of having two vehicles out here. Not sure what the cargo capacity on this is, but it's not very much, because look, we're already ha at half capacity. I know one thing, we have to get off that tile there because uh, the heat is gonna be really high over there right now. <laughs> well, I think that the buggy will just have to remain here for a little while and we'll try to come up with some kind of a plan to come over here at some point with the van or something and just pick it up and put it in the van and haul it back home. But anyway, we have to get back home and drop all of our stuff off, get organized and fix the kit. We're out of grenades, we're low on bandages and every other friggin' thing. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're back and we're all organized. I've crafted up some more pipe bombs. Everything's put away and everything. I got the shotgun turret. I'm gonna grab up some resources now, and I think we'll just head out here to the front. I'll probably grab up some paint and uh, maybe see if I can even make some more. We'll do some touch-ups here. But yeah, we just need to get this thing spruced up a little bit, and I noticed uh, during editing that that thing there is not hooked up. So, yep, just little touch-ups like that, fixing that. And so, we'll get that finished, and we'll see how long that takes. And then I want to do a raid today, and specifically I want to do the art gallery, which is in the next town over. In fact, you could probably almost make it out from here. It's uh, right over there somewhere. So let me get this stuff together and we'll get started. One last shape here and we are done. I would say that's pretty much it for base construction. Right, that was quite an ordeal. What a process getting this friggin' base built. I definitely bit off way more than I should have on this one, but it looks nice and it functions relatively well. <laughs> Room for improvement, we'll say. Well, the night is surprisingly dark tonight and full of zombies. And so I'm just gonna put around the base, I think, and get some final painting touch-ups done. And I try to figure out if I can find a place for this shotgun turret. So anyway, you can get some rest and I will take first watch tonight. We'll pick things up first thing in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It's been a busy night just getting things painted up. I've got pretty much everything all set. Of course, I've missed <laughs> it's 
small spots here and there, but that's okay. We'll get to that eventually, hopefully, maybe. Need to get some more iron to upgrade these spikes traps and probably need to get some more darts eventually for the dart traps. And uh, I brought some steel with me. Wow, these are almost completely cooked and that would be bad because I think people could just fall down into the electric fence area. Not that they don't do that already anyway, but we'd like to prevent them from getting in there as much as we possibly can. Not much left to do here, but I did just bring some steel with me because things like this need to be upgraded. In fact, like of all the blocks in this whole base, the most important one to get to titanium would probably be that one there and that one there because that's what keeps them, the zombies, pathing up these ladders. But um, I don't have any titanium with me at the moment. Just wanted to upgrade these last couple things and I think... Whoops, there's a block right there. I think that's probably it though. Okay, so we can put our stuff away at this point and I think we're gonna head over and do the art gallery. That's a pretty cool place. Someone put a lot of time and effort into making some very interesting architectural structures and objects and things like that out of the shapes that are in the shapes menu. So I wanna hit that place up. Let's just get everything put away and organized and we'll hop in the helicopter and I'll see you there. All right, so we're rolling up on the spot here, and I've been testing out to see if the C, C spacebar, the pitch up, pitch down, no fuel consumption trick that the gyrocopter has. I've been trying to see if that works with the helicopter, and so far I think it does. So if you hold C and spacebar while you're flying, uh, that should idle down the RPMs. You see the RPM and the gear in the lower corner there, and that idles down, and you go just as fast, but I think you're gonna be using a lot less fuel that way. I think we'll just put it down here. There is a helipad on the roof, but damn, look at this hand. This is just crazy that someone could do this. I don't even know how you do this. Like, how does how do you even do this with, uh, with the shapes that we have? Because these shapes are like, not damaged, but they have the appearance of being damaged. But anyway, let's get to this place. I should have, uh, I don't know about plenty of ammo, but I have some ammo. We'll make sure we're locked and loaded. I did make some new crossbow, uh, crossbow bolts, steel crossbow bolts. And otherwise, yep, sure. Looks like we're good to go enough. Uh, oh, some candy. I missed uh, putting some of the candy back in the inventory, so. We'll have to suck that one up and uh, I'll probably just hydrate a little bit so we don't dehydrate while we're here and lose our stamina. All right, without further ado, let's get started on this place. So that reminds me when I just opened that box there, Subquake left me a comment on one of my recent videos saying that he can 100% confirm that when you open a loot container, that is when the loot is generated. So the theory that the loot was generated when you open or when you unlock the container or when you bust the box open, that is busted. I would trust Subquake's word over pretty much anyone else's seeing how he's made such a fantastic mod. He must have a very good understanding of the code and how everything works in the game and construction man, sorry, but I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, saved by the glass. Well, you're not gonna get away that easily. <laughs> right in the taint. Looks like somebody over there is gonna get one as well. Ooh, he took it like a champ though. Well, let's see if you can take this one. Oh, we got zombies spawning in as we're going through. So yeah, move cautiously. Yep, again with the arrows through the heads thing. Yeah, this place is gonna be a little bit laggy, I can tell, because look at all the glass and the shiny floors and all of like the intricate shapes and reflections and things like that. Yeah, that, that's kind of, that's the, whoa, oh crap. That is what is responsible for the frame rate drops that we see often in Seven Days to Die, are windows for one and um, lots and lots of shapes. At least I think. Sledgehammer's up to 37. In fact, I remember having a skill point from earlier when we were uh, doing some digging or something. Let's check on that. Yep, perk points, we got one. Let's go ahead and take Skull Crusher up one more. We got level four now, so that gives us 20% chance to knock down nearby foes with every strike. Damn, lots of beer, man. Subquake must be like a beer guy. Whoa, get out of here. 
Okay, uh, just close that for a second. Who's out here? Ah, uh, there he is. Cornmeal. <laughs> Lucky cornmeal, I guess. We'll eat it. Yeah, I do have the AP rounds. Unfortunately, AP rounds will not go through glass. It only goes through, like, weaker blocks. Like, wood blocks. Uh, oh, we got zombies just standing around here. Back! Whoa! No! Oh, damn it! He snuck his way in. Oh, I got him right in the neck. One shot kill, too. Ooh, I see a cop right there as well. Yep, see if I can get him. Nice. Okay, I, it looks like we're in, like, the reception area. Whoa! Yep, okay. Woke up a couple of rads here. Rad hazmat boys. Oh, I heard, um, a big boy. Pizza or maybe a cop? It's a, ooh, it's a rad cop! Okay, not gonna fuck around with this guy. Can I shoot you through the wall there? Ah! Who's that? A bear! Where did you come from? What the hell, man? Were you a POI bear or like a street bear? Oh, here we go. Just run, 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 and whoa, he's fast. Oh, come on, can I get the knockdown, please? There we go. Big mama, eat that out. All right, Mr. James got the bandages back, so he should be healing me up here and there. Couple of cops in there. I think it'd be funny if I got one of them to blow up and kill the other one. Let's try that. There we go, yep. Let him blow! Haha, <laughs> nice. How do you like that, buddy? Right, I'll take the testosterone off of this guy. Well, I probably should use the sword, I think, right? I only got one there. Don't need that stuff, I don't think. So, where do we go now? This over here was just like an exit, I think. And, oh, what's that say? Art gallery made by Top Minder and Pilly. Thank you for visiting. Well, thank you for making this. It's a pretty cool place. Never been here before, but having seen the hand out front, I'm expecting some really cool stuff. Ah. I remember there was an art gallery in the old compo pack that I did visit one time. I'm not sure if this is the same place. Whoop, dog. It doesn't look like the same place, but maybe it's the same people that made it. Or maybe they changed it to what it is now. But yeah, the, uh, the old one was awesome. Alright, what do we got going on here? A little bit of a security room. I love the security rooms. Good touch here. Oh, level 75 wall safe. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Well, I've got all kinds of uh, jailbreakers, and of course I didn't bring a single one of them with me, so <laughs> we'll go with the time charge. There we go. Great heist book as well. 10% more damage to safes in the powered sliding glass door that I've already read. Take that scrap rubber. Oh, we got zombies rolling in here. Hello. Get out of the way, buddy. Oh, look at the stairs. The stairs are even cool here. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh, what's back here? A little lounge area behind? Okay. Well, I don't have much choice, buddy. Sorry about this. Hope you understand. He's <laughs> just sticking out of his butt. Oh, ow. Karma. There we go. I'll pluck that arrow back out. <laughs> Wash it off before you put it back on the crossbow. Uh, I see, so this just came in from the courtyard, I think. So, yep. Yeah. I guess we're going this way? Yep, yeah, got zombie in there. Close that. What's in here? Oh, another kitchen arrow. Jeez, ow. Panic swing. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Can I get the group knockdown thing? 20% chance? No, oh, no, of course not. Oh, no, I did get it. Nice. Eat. Whoops. <laughs> Whiff. And out of stamina. There we go. Oh, jeez. You walk two feet and you get new zombies everywhere. Couple down there. I guess the silenced pistol's pretty much just as deadly. What's this? What's this box? A box of boxes. Must be an Amazon box. Ah! Ah, uh, the coat place where, like, the, they hang up all your coats, I guess? Uh, hello, Thomas. Good morning, sir. Take that in the knee. Ow, oh, man. Sorry about that. How about you? <laughs> One more right on the chin. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, fancy. I like that. So we go this way. I guess it's... I don't know if that's telling you where to go. Do we go over here? Is there an elevator here? Hello. More wall saves. Really wishing I had a jailbreaker with me, but we'll see what these... what level these are. Nope, close that door. They're both too high of a level for me to pick open. So I guess we're just gonna blow them both up. Might as well with the lucky goggles on these. Got a blacksmith forge schematic. We can, of course, scrap that. Some titanium ore and a good lever action rifle to sell. Okay, there must be 
a set of stairs here. Of course there is. It's right friggin' there. I think there's this whole wing here, though, that we didn't quite clear out. And this looks like an office. Ooh, vending machine. Ah, not working, though. Yeah, this is probably full of zombies as well. So we'll just carefully pick our way through here. Another wall safe. Can I pick this one open? Of course not. Gonna run out of time charges here. Ooh, contact grenades. That is a good, good find. Especially if we start getting pinned like we were in the last raid. Gonna check the bookshelves and kind of move on after that. We have a couple of series that we need to max out. Titanium machete, not too bad. Yeah, in fact, uh, let's see. We've only maxed out three. The Night Stalker, Urban Combat, and the Sniper books. Would be really nice to get, uh, like, the mining thing maxed out. 20% chance to one-shot the ore with that. And uh, maybe a couple of others. Not really sure. Oh, yeah, the Lucky Looter book. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. Not that uh, the loot has been particularly uh, scaled very well to our level. Even if we get it in the wasteland, I would say. But uh, according to Subquake, he did leave a comment on the video where I was kind of uh complaining about that uh not really complaining but just observing that um you know it wasn't they weren't very uh i don't know exciting to open anymore because you're, you're not really getting good stuff out of them so i think we're up to ooh, what do we want to do fish or upside down tank mounted to the wall <laughs> i'm gonna go this way let's try this way first got a, like it's like a mario flower over there like the the flame flower that mario has what is this guy doing Freaking dodging my arrow. Ooh, mushrooms. Mushroom wall. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. so what do we got here? We got a tank. Can I get up in that tank? Would it be worth it to get up in the tank? There's a snake in the tank! Ah! Ah, some tribal art. Ah, very cool. This is pretty cool too, man. See, it takes a lot of time to come up with some of this stuff right here. And the painting as well to make it look even cooler. And then like the window plane to... I don't know, reflect the light, I guess? Really cool. What are you doing here? Nice, uh, crime scene <laughs> exhibit, I guess? Oh, hello. Oh, one shot, eat that. Take him out. Got a cool geometric design here. It's like those things you get at the doctor's office when I was a kid, and you gotta like move the things around the wires. What the hell were those things called? I have no idea, but uh, <laughs> staple of my childhood, I guess. Man, the toys were just simpler back then, weren't they? Now you get, like, freaking iPads and crap like that. I never had that stuff when I was a kid. Whoa, hello. Oh, fucking mama. Yikes. Oh, she's, um, she's stunlocked. I guess we're good. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Let her shock out. There we go. Ooh, what's behind the staircase? Uh, ooh. Gun safe. Can I open that one? No, of course not. I think I'm down to five. Five more time charges. Not good. Right, the... Uh, mushroom or like pin pin wall kind of thing not really sure uh cool design there wow i want to build stuff like this for like parts of the base like when i did the darkness falls base and i did the big kind of skull i'm not like creative enough to kind of do that on my own though i have to like, copy someone else so i don't know maybe take a screenshot and try to build that later on are you a zombie that's an exhibit are you like stuck in there <laughs> he is Oh, lots of zombies here. Okay, time for guns. Nice. Oh, look at his head. Nice. Interesting slide here. Yep, very cool. Ooh, body bags, gun store box with an iron club. What about the bottom one? Hidden stash, lab equipment box with the first aid kit. Cool. Ooh, now I'm suspicious for stuff hiding. Dumb. Dumb going that way. Okay. Lame. Ooh. This is kind of weird looking. Wow. Still, I have no idea how they accomplish this. There's a horde outside. Well, shit. We're just going to get lag if we leave them there. So we got to head outside. Reload. All right, assholes. Come on over here. Wow, they run fast. And there's just actually a lot of them. And suddenly there are like cops and ferals in the um, wandering hordes now, which, you know, you get comfortable with not having any of those. And now they're like really, really dangerous. And then I turned up the freaking difficulty as well. Hello, everyone. Kind of come on over here. No, no, no. You're not allowed to run away. You come straight over here and die like a good zombie. Okay, you gotta use the sword. The sword is just better, I guess, for these massive fights like this. Let's swing it faster. 
Okay. <laughs> Still not great, though, with the fast zombies. Get the guns. Watch out for the cop spit. Yep, there's a feral right there. Whoa, watch your face. Okay. Whoa. Ah, no. Stop that. Boom. Ah. All right, let's get back inside. I think we're heading over to the fish end as well. Whoa, oh, geez, I overshot that one. Gotta slow down here. Out of stamina, not good. Ow, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm pinned, ow. Okay, eat this. Oh man, this gun's just too good. You need to go easy on the pistol ammo though, because we are running low. Ooh, that's the main loot, wow. That didn't take long. I feel like there's like a whole nother level upstairs too. What is this anyway? Whoa, hello. Who's here? Ah! Well, well, well. I'm not gonna pass it up. That way we can just get the hell out of here if things get a little bit dicey. Been wearing the uh, lucky goggles all day long. Okay, so we know that we can just blow these up and open them up, and then we should not... What the hell's going on here? Should not have any issues in terms of, like, not benefiting from the eye candy, which I'm not even sure if I brought any with me. Anybody else back here? What is this? Garage box? Yeah, did I bring any eye candy with me, or did I just completely forget all the candy? No, I, I did bring some of it. Crippler mod schematic and a bunch of junk, it looks like. I will take that sham chowder that we had and just kind of juice up a little bit. All right. Well, this is like really trippy Inception style, I guess. Might be some loot hidden up around here somewhere or else I'm just kind of content to explore around. And yes, okay, zombies. There is yet another whole level here. Gonna, uh, I am not a trap, I am a unicorn. Yeah, I'm suspicious about that. Ooh, look at this. Oh, is this like the steel exhibit room? Cold. Ah, uh, ooh. Wow, that is that is really interesting, actually. Ah, birds! Wow! Oh man, there's glass everywhere. Whoa, who's that? Brad! The bird's back. Got him. Whoa. There's a door there, which means presumably you can get up there and walk around, but. Holy cow, look at this. This is pretty cool, too. Ooh, it's like super thin. Nice, nice use of the shapes. I like it. Waterfall here, that's super cool. Can I get inside here? Very nice. Oh, yep, can't get out. There we go. Aqua, I see. And sand. Okay, interesting walls here. Surely more zombies around here somewhere. Ah, yes. Who's back here? Oh, lots of zombies waking them all up. Let's just run through here. Kind of the, the slow poking through, just kind of take all day. Here, wake up everybody. Wake up and give me the good gun. Ow. Okay, line up for me. That's what AP was built for right here. Oh, with a clutch group knockdown, nice. Take that. Okay, I guess we're, we're back in this end now. Might as well stay here. I want to check out the unicorn trap. Or not tra- it's definitely a trap, I can see the spikes there. <laughs> I'm gonna fall for the trap, aren't I? I'm suspecting like a trap floor. Yeah, that's gonna go all the way down into those spikes there. Yeah, okay, I know what's going on there. Don't need to fall down there and test it out. Ooh, more interesting geometric designs. Love. Another cool one right here, that's nice. I'm feeling like there should be, yeah, there should be a room inside. Ooh, whoa, geez. Very shiny in here. Geez, my eyes. <laughs> Trying to adjust to normal light conditions over here. Hey, look, it's a frog head. Oh, this in fact goes up even further. This is like a whole house on its side. Is this going to the rooftop? It appears to be. Yes. Hello? Go back to bed. Go away. Yes. What do we got here anyway? Subquake said he's gonna be putting uh, repairable helicopters into the game. Nice munitions box here. 
so that uh, you could go onto the rooftop like this of a POI and there's a helipad and you could bring a helicopter repair kit with you and just fix it up, put some gas in it, and fly it off the rooftop. I think that would be a great addition to the game and it would make getting a helicopter more feasible, I think. Jeez, in a 1v1 situation, the sledgehammer is just second to none. Not very good with the big groups, I don't think, but uh, yeah, going against like rads and stuff, one-on-one, -on -one, toe to toe, really, really nice. What do we got back here? Ah, uh, I see, okay, this is like, um, I don't know, like the backup generator area in the back. Ooh, what is this? Vehicle shock absorbers. Yeah, of course I'll take that, but I don't quite know what that would do for me. Vehicle improves suspension, allowing for transportation of more cargo, but cannot be installed on the bicycle. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I think I already have five mods for the vehicles, but, um, or maybe I don't. I'm not sure. We'll have to look into that, I guess. Yeah, because I think I'm splitting the vehicle. Ooh, big garden on that side. Okay, we're heading over there. Okay, so this is the door that goes to the glass area but I don't see any reason to use this, is there? Other than it's just really cool. Oh, this would be an elevator shaft, I see. Okay, interesting, very kind of creepy. You get that like prickly sensation in your hands and feet when you're in a situation like this. Hello? Get out of the way, please. Who's out here? Cop spitting, wow, you're messing up the foliage. None of that, whoa. Yeah, oh, uh oh, he's gonna blow up. No, he's gonna ruin everything. Damn it. Ah. Yep, yeah, there he goes. Oh, this place was so nice before I got here. I've ruined everything. Would you stop it? Hold still. There we go. What did you mess up? Oh, geez. I think that's pretty much it. Are there any more zombies over here in the pond? Or any loot hiding in the pond anywhere, maybe? Loot. What is this? Snakes? Yeah. They should make feral snakes. Ow! Right, I think uh, I think we're probably good here. Yep, one thing left to check and that would probably be the rooftop up there, although I don't know if there's anything up there, but worth a check, I think. Oh, and I, fuck, I fell down. Well, anyways, I'm content to just leave though. You'd think that would be where the main loot would be, not like right there, but it is what it is. Oh, here's the fish place. I kind of skipped right past this place. Oh, there are more zombies over here. We did kind of miss a spot. I see, okay, well, uh, what do we got here? It's like the robot wing with all the zeros and ones. It, they are robots, in fact, very cool. Ah, uh, whoa, somebody made these with the signs, that is sick, very cool. Very, very interesting, nice. I just can't believe how much time <laughs> it would take me to make just one of these things and someone's made a whole gallery of them. Okay, yeah, I'm lost. Where am I? Oh yes, okay, this way and then down and out of here. All right, where did I park? Over here, so there we are. All right, let's get up in the air and see what else is around here. CVS, yes, we know all about that place. Uh, that place right there is kind of interesting. It's just not very elaborate. Oh, of course we have the spiral library. It's a good place to die. <laughs> Um, what else we got? We got some vanilla stuff over there. Yes. Against my better judgment, I am going to just land this on the spiral library and see if I can just get a sense of what the hell's going on in there. Because the spiral library was always a bad time in the past, and I've heard it's gotten worse with the update to the compo pack. So, I'm gonna just see what this is all about here. See if I can just gently put this down in a way that we can get out of here if we have to. Okay, do I see any zombies? I don't see any. Do I see a way to get down? No, and I'm I'm really worried that there's a tr Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. They said that the spiral library had increased in difficulty, and I don't think that they were wrong. Those zombies are set to fall down through the floor and um, ruin your life <laughs> down there when you're in there. Uh, but look at the bookshelves. There are a lot of them. I don't think it's nearly worth the risk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Are are they going to wake up? Well, I can, it, presumably it's going to take them a while to get out. I wish I could just, like, make a hole, though, you know? And then uh, throw the pipe bombs in there and kill them all. I'm going to try to do that, actually. Yeah. Okay. And then one more up here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it's all, like, just the worst zombies. 
Mutated spiders and feral whites. It's a recipe for a really, really bad time. Let's see. Oh. Okay, 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 let's try this. Perfect. Okay, okay. Just need to make uh, four more. Okay, prediction here is that when I throw the pipe bombs in here, uh, it's gonna wake everybody else up and then they're gonna fall through because I think these are all trap floors. But uh, if we're lucky, that will not happen and we'll be able to kill all like 90 zombies that are up here. Okay, good probably opportunity for the Adam junkies. And the nerdy glasses back on, please. Also, we're hungry. Okay. Light it up for him. Oh, no, no, no. Jeez. Yes, there we go. I got a few kills there. All right. Well, they seem to be clustering pretty well there. Let's uh, see if we can just blow a few more up. Yes, nice. Just don't fall. Just don't fall down. Just don't fall down and we're good. All right. One more for the money. Not there. Not there either. Damn it. Wow. Nice. Oh, jeez. I almost fell down. Yeah, that's all the pipe bombs. I definitely... I do not have the courage to go down there. Do I? Do I have the courage to do this? I really don't want to die again. Our vehicles are scattered halfway across the map at this point. I barely have any pistol ammo left, and I only have like three mags left for the UMP. And I would just have to imagine that there's more zombies. Is that a trap floor? That is not. Oh, there's just so many left. We really did not kill that many at all. Okay, okay. With that, yes, I think we need to get out of here. Let's do the wise thing for once in my life and just go home. At least we know what we're getting into for the next time we encounter a spiral library. I'm gonna take a little quick peek here and see what's in this airdrop. Vegetable stew recipe in a 44 Magnum bundle. There is another airdrop and it's uh, right over here by that roundabout that I didn't fetch during the last episode. So I'm just gonna swing over there and grab it. Yep, there it is. Yep, I, ah! Yep, give me this very quickly. A beer recipe. I don't really think I need it. Oh, I'll take that though. Because I have like 90 beers back at the place, but yeah, whatever. All right, let's head home. Oh, of course there's that loot bag there that's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. So I guess we gotta go down there and get it right on the rim of this friggin' the, the caldera of this crater. Oh, jeez, and the zombie just blew up. You, you guys see that? Oh my God. And another loot bag. All right, bring her in nice and carefully here. Watch out, zombie bear over there. Nice, zombie bear and a dog. I'll take the zombie bear over here, please. Take him out. I want the testosterone extract in case we need it for more upgrades. Ride the bear! Ah! Ah, eat that. Oh, this one is well guarded here. Oh, yikes. Ow, 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 ow. Is that a dog chasing me as well? Oh, it's a big mama. Ooh, get wrecked. Nice. Ah, and a miss. Here, just grab this. And gears and some bullets. Okay, not bothering with that guy. Where did you all come from? No. Get away, Steve. Damn, that base is looking beautiful now, isn't it, man? That really came out great. I really should not have built such a big elaborate base, but I am glad that I did because it just came out so nice. Uh, we probably should look into... Let's just drop it here. Getting some spotlights, right? To shine down here so that we can see. Well, what we should do maybe is get a spotlight and then shine it up on the base and then get some spotlights up there and shine them down on the helipad. That is something I think we can hook up tonight. So let's go one there, one there, and we'll see if that gives us some illumination on the side of the base here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's try that there. And then uh, how about, yeah, this. Uh, the scaffolding things, right? Or the or the brackets. The brackets could could no, that that's terrible. There is always like that option. It's not the best. The alternative is just to like set it back a little bit, like that, and then use the the proper brackets. Like you could use the brackets, or you could use these supported plank things like that. Uh, looks much more natural like that, I think. Yoink. And I suppose while we're at it, why not? Let's just do one more set right up here. And yep, get, gotta get rid of this. And just slap in another pair right there. Okay, just uh, nail these in and we'll just paint them up. Same color scheme we've been using. And that is it. We are good to go. Let's get a view of how it looks. 
Not too bad, actually. I really like that. We probably should try to get a garage light as well so that the vehicles are a little bit more illuminated there on the bottom. And it, although it would be nice to have some lights that are shining on the side aspects of the base, I don't know that that's entirely necessary. Of course, we do have the Horde Knight connection to these lights out here that shine up in the fighting position. But uh, yeah, I, th I pretty much think that that'll do it. <laughs> that way we don't have to like make new spotlights and things like that. It'll just take more time. But uh, so what I'll, I'll do for tonight is just come up with a plan for tomorrow. I think we are sort of getting to the end of our tenure here in the Order of Steel. Uh, we've done a lot of missions for the Order here. We've built them a brand new shiny base. I think we'll do one last big mission. We'll fight the last horde here, and then we will be honorably discharged from the Order once and for all. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And welcome to yet another pyramid made by Zbark. This is our final mission for the Order of Steel. We're going to clear this place out. It's uh, called something like the Temple of the Warriors. We're going to christen ourselves as the Alpha Warrior here on the planet. And after this and after the Horde tomorrow night, we will be honorably, hopefully, discharged from the Order of Steel alive and well but we'll have to see if we can even make it through this place first now the one thing you have to know about this place uh this is where we did the opener is that everything is a trap behind every wall like for example these walls there are zombies lots of zombies and i'm actually playing with my one of my mods but well, it's, it's part of my mod at least i didn't activate the entire part of the mod but like the horde knight spawning and the zombie spawning part of my mod, my zombie spawning mod to increase the difficulty. That is active here for this one. So we'll be seeing things like coal there, the burning zombie. And we're also gonna see things like demos, like that guy right there. Let's so just set him off. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, lovely. That helps. Any more demos around here to help me out? <laughs> nice. We're also gonna see mutated zombies, potentially screamers in hordes and, oh, ow. Yeah, here we go. It's about to kick off here. Oh man, even the mountains lion. Ah, mountain lion's after me. I've sprayed something already. The freaking cat's leaping after me. I've sprayed two things already. Fuck. Okay, birds are flying in from the POI itself. We must have triggered them. Oh, did I just hear a screamer as well? Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Right, uh, quickly now. Steroids into me so I can heal from these uh, sprained limbs that I have. Last couple here, I think. No, no, Cole, get away from me. It'd be cool if the, the feral burnt zombie could actually catch you on fire. Ah! And by cool, I mean annoying and potentially also deadly. Still have a mountain lion nearby. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there he is. All right, that's just phase one. <laughs> Hopefully we don't break anything along the way here because we've got a lot more zombies to kill. Kind of like one of those places, like, you want to build a base somewhere nearby. Whoa, look out! Build like a fighting position up. Ah, damn it. Oh, jeez, where'd y'all come from? Bailing over the side. Okay, oh shit, Mr. James, get away from me. Oh my god, this is getting critically bad already. Yeah! Okay. 
Can that cop just blow up and help me out? There we go. Kill that stupid spider. Phew. Okay, yes, Mr. James, stop it. You've got to stop it with bandages. You can only heal me so much because I have the friggin' debuffs from the sprained arm. Couple diggers down there. I would venture to say that there are still even more of them in here. Let's just poke through carefully. I, I made some more crossbow bolts, so we can probably get some stealth kills here. Oh, like this guy right here and that guy. Nope, oh, feral. Yep, oh, here we go. Damn, man. Here, oh, time for the auto shoddy. This works good. Ammo pile here. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, this is the new primary weapon for this place. Aha, what do we got here? That did not open that. I probably could pick it open, but I think um, we'll try to stick with the, the way the POI wants me to go, I think. Get a bear. Ah, whoa! No, 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 no. Get on top of the bear. Ride the bear. Yikes. Oh, boy. We got him. Oh, boy. Kind of ironic that the safest place from a bear is on, ah, on top of the bear. Okay, back to my stealth plan, maybe, hopefully. Couple of dogs over there. Cop right here, too. Let's sneak an arrow into him. Good. Oh, not dead yet. There we go. Oh, there we go. Get the Galloway blade out. Get a couple swings in with this. Yikes. Out of stamina. Not good. Yes, of course, way more zombies lurking in there. Ow. Ooh, okay. Yes, need first aid. Ah! Run faster! Run faster! Ow! Jump off the side! <laughs> oh shit! Big mama there chasing me down. She's still coming! Come on! Whew. Okay, we're good. While we're at it though, we need to rehydrate. Oh yes, take some recog as well, please. Ah! Okay, mm, that's enough hydration! Ow! No, 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 no. Biker! Yeah! Ow! Oh, there's a screamer down there. I see her. Oh, trying to kill the screamer and the... No, oh, I'm bleeding now. Bad. No, I'm just stunned. I'm good. I'm alive. Screamer is dead. Gonna die here. Definitely gonna die here. And I did not bring the Golconda today because uh, we're really just hurting on 9 mil. And uh, I'll save that for the Horde Knight. But yeah, if we could use the 44 Magnum and the shotgun, that would be ideal. Uh, what can we do here? There's zombies in all of these rooms. So I suppose we just have to... Kind of chance it, open these up and see if they spawn in. And yes, they're here. Okay. Bladed weapon gives you the best for sneak attack. Yikes. Oh boy. Yes, um, there's a demo in that room there. Here. Just a couple bombs for him. Open that door up for him. Did that work? It worked a little bit. Gotta set that demo off. I need your help, buddy. There we go. Nice. Oh, zombies coming from behind. Oh, lots of them. Wow, where'd y'all come from? Okay, I think that was all of them. Nope. Oh, here. So many. Is this the wandering horde of all freaking times? Yeah, I would say it definitely is. Nurse! Oh boy, okay. <laughs> we press on. Okay, many zombies just awake everywhere. We're gonna cautiously push forward here. There we go. Any first aid? Ooh, there's some beer for me. Yes, that'll be uh, stamina regen and stun resist. I'll hang on to that. Some extra 9 mil, which I didn't bring any 9 mil weapons with me. Probably a good idea would be to like, take some of these doors and unlock them with bobby pins. That way I can fall back and use it as cover. Let's try that. Let's try it on this one, because this one will close faster than the, um, the other one. There we go. Now we have a door that we can kind of run behind and close if we need to. Seems all quiet here. Open that up. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. Oh, luckily we got the M60. Yep, that helps a lot. What are you guys hiding back here? Anything good? What's this? Aha. Yep, just time charge this open for me. And yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the lucky goggles. Did get some 10 mil there. Nice, just leave the rest though. 
Oh, hello there. And just get the sneak attack 4.4 times. Day. Oh, I hear a demo. Another screamer outside as well. Here's that demo. Oh my god, buddy. Can you just go down? Ow. Take that. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that was bad. Okay, okay. Uh, first aid kit, please. Okay, zombies are behind this wall here, trying to beat their way through. I can hear blocks breaking as well. Like, zombies not happy pretty much everywhere. Okay, we've got a snake room here. And I hear snakes. Snakes in the ceiling. Ah! Yeah, probably gonna have multiple zombies surprising us because um, they're gonna beat through these walls eventually. Oh, no, 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 more snakes. And zombies, yikes. Oh, this thing has no knockdown power, even with the good pistol skills. Just, like, just ring around the freaking catacombs here. Ah! Oh, fucking dog! Okay, time for some guns. Oh, here's one. Kill you. Whoa, there's the streamer. Right, I think... I think we're done with the snake room. We can move on from here. Really cool architecture, though. Love it. Yes. What are we on to now? Anything sneaky? Oh, there is something sneaky back here, but I'm hearing zombies just like... and all around me. Okay, I see how it's gonna be. Eat that. Ow! Aha, wow. Okay, just freaking zombies everywhere then, huh? Is that how it's gonna be? Eat that! Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't kill them all though. Good deal. And there are zombies behind that door. I'm not gonna go backwards though. I think it might, that might be the exit. I'm not sure. Let's try just going directly this way though. Oh, Ella! Whoa, crap! Oh geez, more, I can hear like zombies. Oh, what have I done? Oh, here we go. Bubbles, is that you? Just cops. Okay, moving right along, I think, into this room here. Yep, clear here, not much going on, just like a little hot tub room, I think, with no water. Fair enough. And yes, I think this is where we're heading. This is like the main room in the middle. Like the Hall of the Warrior or something like that. And oh, jeez, no, oh, whoa! Okay, go! Good opportunity here for the AP ammunition. Oh my goodness. Okay, bear's coming after me. We don't have enough room to ride the bear. <laughs> We're gonna have to just shoot the bear in the face. Yikes. What are you all defending back here? Little bit of loot. Painkiller. <laughs> Give me those. I need more. What's that? Not sure what that did. We'll find out later. Herbal antibiotic recipe. Nice. And Taza's stone axe. Ooh, really nice steel helmet there. I'll just hang on to that, I guess. And, oh, this, this, yes, this door here. Whoa, where'd you come from? Yeah, that was the one that was behind the staircase here. So where do we exactly go from here? Is there, is there a way to get down here that I've missed? No, no, I'm, I'm unable to crack the mystery of where we're supposed to go, unless we have to go down the hatch that we saw when we were outside, like before the big staircase. So I'm just gonna... Maybe if I just open this up with my pickaxe, just jump on down there and kind of keep on moving. It's so concerning. There's just multiple screamers. There's one above me. There's one to the left of me. Um, ah! Oh, jeez, scared the crap out of me. Wow. <laughs> just panic button mash. Luckily, that one's connected. Yes, uh, do we just jump down here now? I feel like that's um, not a good idea, but I don't really see many other options for us. But if we just kind of gently work our way down with frame shapes, just make it a little ladder, that's all. We might just, um, I don't know, take like a fort bite and uh, let's just do like a mega crush, I guess. We'll just jump on down here and run around and see if we can stir up whatever the hell's waiting for us here. Oh boy, yo, whoa, yes, very many zombies. Holy shit, uh, oh, I don't have the pipe bombs out. We're gonna have to just do this with guns. I can move faster than the zombie AI can calculate, so we're just gonna use speed to our advantage. Screamers screaming! Oh, I think I'm pinned. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Jump and run! Hang out in the mouth of this zombie, or this, uh, <laughs> this statue here. There we go. Okay, and I just 
triggered a whole bunch more zombie spawns right inside. Okay, jumping over here. Let's just continue jumping. Ow! Okay, back out into the main room. Spawned more zombies in. Oh, goodness. Ow! Keep moving, keep moving. Mobility is key here. Don't get pinned, don't get pinned anywhere, please. That's, that'd be best. Okay, jump. Parkour saving my life. Oh, top blowing up, I'm out of 762. Okay, 10 mil is a good runner up. Oh my, oh my. Oh, oh no, Mr. James, he's down. Take him with me. Okay, I definitely think that we need to head topside and take care of this screamer mess that's up there. Oh, hello. They might even just come down to me, honestly. Oh, where, is there a demo up here? Here, they're coming down. Yeah, I think those are screamer zombies that broke in from outside. Yes, and there's definitely a demo zombie out there somewhere. Ha! Here he is. You and me, buddy. Toe to toe! Manawa Zombo! Come on, just hit the button. I can't hit the button when I want to hit the button, but when I don't want to hit the button, I don't hit, ah! Yep, there we go. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say. Oh boy, more zombies just falling out of the sky. There's that screamer. Yep, take her out immediately, please. Okay. Damn it. I just don't have the freaking power to kill all these zombies. Oh, and the screamer just screamed. No, shit. Okay, now I'm concussed. Great. Get out of here, man. There's a new fresh screamer somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna die. Ah, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Get, help me! Auto shotgun! I'm really, really low on ammo for all of my weapons right now, except for this. Slow trickle of zombies, just non-stop. Ah! It's a demo here somewhere. Here he is. Right in the button, please. Yep, got him. Whoa, just trying to run away as fast as I possibly could. What I wanted to do was get a ladder so I can go back up and take care of the screamer mess that's up here. There she is, okay. Oh, damn it. Why can't you just hush? Where are you coming from anyway? I don't even know, honestly. Where did she come from? Oh, up here maybe, potentially? Mm. Yeah, probably some convoluted way, yes. Going back down to the temple, I'll just let him come to me. Which, by the way, oh, look at this. A whole bunch more zombies that I found. Here, lay a pipe bomb in there for him. Ow! Pulling in the life, just barely. Whoa! This is getting bad again. Just jump on the ladder. No, <laughs> bow's on the ladder, damn it! I do still have some 10 mil here. Whoa, no, 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 no. Just reload, get the shotgun back out, run in circles here. Okay, Big Mama down, get him down. And things are remarkably quiet again. Here, just get the hell out of here. Okay, get the final rounds into my weapons. Hopefully we're getting toward the end of things, but um, something tells me, knowing Z-Bark, that we are not. And I heard something open over here. Is this a thing I can go into? Indeed. Uh oh going way down though, like, uh oh. You know what? Immediately start drinking recog. Where's my recog? One screamer, I can hear her topside. Wait, oh, hello? Ah! Like, got a bar? Oh, we're going around this way? Okay, and we're going, oh, no, 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 Ah, ah! Oh, going right here. I think I'm kind of safe here, though. I'll be all right. We're gonna do this. Uh, oh, here we go. Key bank, and that opened up this hatch. Is this door over here open? That one is still locked. I presumably I didn't hit the key box. I thought I hit the key box before I fell down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Recog working way better than <laughs> without it, that's for sure. Okay, keep on keeping on. Just open the key box, open the next door, proceed through. 
Oh, it's a trap behind us. Luckily, we didn't get sandwiched. We are very limited at our fully automatic capability, only down to two more mags or one and three quarters in the 10 mil, uh, the UMP, I should say. So, okay, we're proceeding even deeper into this maze. Lots of freaking stuff down here. Ah! Okay, very, very bad, and gonna die here. No, 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 down, down, down. First aid, lots more first aid. Just keep jumping and putting first aid on me. Oh shit, this could be the end. Run! Oh boy, oh boy. I'm just running it. Here, go ahead and sink a first aid kit into me. And that 10 mil, like I was saying, all we got now. Reload. Jeez, okay, uh, I think I lost a lot of them down something, down the uh, the hatch there that we crawled down into and saved our life. Okay, painkiller, right, um, is steroids, I guess. I don't freaking know at this point. Wherever they are, I'm leaving them to it. Let's see if we can just get the hell out of here. Yes, oh my god, it's the main loot. We're fucking here. Okay, just get me in here, blow this up. More zombies, where are they? Above me. Here, let him down. Let him out. Oh, they're blowing up all my loot, aren't they? You sons of bitches. That gun is broken. Ow. Oh, shit. I broke a leg. More zombies have made their way in. Gonna have to just risk it. Put the fucking cast on. Oh, the dogs. The dogs are the worst thing right now. Bleeding. I'm just gonna put pipe bombs everywhere. Pipe bombs in every corner and just let them chase me around until I'm out of pipe bombs. And hopefully they've all blown up. Not sure if it's working. Just kill the fucking dog. That's the only problem right now. Screamer. There she is. Oh, crap. And of course I have no fucking guns. There we go. Scream, might have been a pseudo scream, not sure. I just need to get the loot and get the hell out of here. Uh, just give me it all. Give me everything, give me everything, don't care what it is. Ooh, that was a good saw blade, nice to have. Ooh, a good fireman's axe, or fireman's blade freaking mod thing. Sorry, can't talk right now. <laughs> Please forgive me for my gibberish. Okay, that was it. Mega crush in, along with a fort bite, and we'll slurp down just like half a dozen coffees. And let's get the hell out of here. One mag left in the UMP. Ah! Oh, that gun's broken, that's right. I forgot about that part. Oh, this is gonna be an issue, even if I open this. There's a, a trap floor that I can't really get through. Yeah, I think it's gonna work here. And jump up and out, continue on. Be careful though, I hear zombies, they're chasing after me, I'm not sure. Where, where, where I am or where they are. I don't know anything right now. Okay, we should have a ladder to get up out of here. And from here, it's a straight shot out of here. Yes, through the snake room, through the labyrinth here. Many zombies, it looks like. Continue on. Oh, burnt zombie. Don't have time for you. We're at the top of the pyramid. I hear a feral white somewhere. Freaking heavy fog rolled in here. There's a screamer. Die! Okay. <laughs> To the helicopter! We're being chased by a burnt zombie. We got an extra loot bag here. Take that and move on. Get away from my helicopter. And with that, my friends, I wish we had a more cinematic outro scene to without the fog, but that is it. And it's just in time. It's almost nightfall. More zombies rolling in too that heard me on the way out of here. Well, it is done. Let's get the hell out of here and head home. Well, we finally made it back and we're safe and sound at home. I'm gonna take a few minutes here just to make sure I have all of the critical injuries sorted out, like getting this deep laceration sutured up. 
I'll get some of this stuff put away in the inventory and we'll get things straightened out to do a little bit of base repair and maybe hopefully get some things upgraded one final time before the horde. So the upcoming horde tonight will be a little bit of a special horde a la my mod that I'm making and so we'll give that a whirl. It's going to have three special hordes so one thing about my mod is that it will have some specialty thematic hordes so we'll have to wait and see what we get. Yeah we could probably make a whole day out of just conducting the the minor incremental repairs up and down the ladder and stuff like that but just for the most part want to make sure this is uh not seriously degraded want to make sure that all of these are fully upgraded yep here's where i left off oh yes yeah, someone was saying in a comment recently that this little lip right here is a bit of a liability because zombies can uh land on it well i don't know maybe they can maybe they can't wah no, not good timing for that. I guess it's okay. We'll have, we'll have it healed up by Horde Knight. Jeez, how many limbs can I break in one episode? <laughs> it's freaking crazy. Should have actually health bars in the inventory now, just rolling with all sorts of candy at all times. All right, we'll be on a helicopter here soon. Off to the sanctuary to live out the rest of our days in peace and quiet, not out here with all the riffraff trying to clear the world of zombies. Oh. Hello, Mr. James. I wish they could dispense painkillers. I mean, it doesn't really make sense that a robot would be able to stick a painkiller into your mouth, but at the same time, it really doesn't make sense that they could dispense a first aid kit onto you either. But uh, yeah, okay, go ahead and have that. You're up to eight. Wonderful. The lights are in, the lights are hooked up. Let's do a dry run on the electrical, just make sure that that's good to go. So yes, that needs to be titanium. And that, titanium, 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 tit Titanium. There we go. There was an excellent suggestion to use the drone morale booster because it will give me additional stamina regeneration. Um, I'd have to upgrade the robot in order to do that. So why don't we just take a peek at that? And we'll also take a peek and see if we can upgrade things like the hammer. See, you don't really need to go from S to S three star. It would give you some a, a little bit more damage, but it wouldn't give you an extra mod slot. Five is the maximum there. So Getting things from A up to S is much more important than getting th things from S to S3 star because you get that extra mod slot going from A to S. So, you know, getting the M60 or Brinks's Fury perhaps up to B would be nice. We get an ad additional mod slot there. And speaking of that, I don't even have the maximum number of mods on it to begin with. Okay, so to get the junk drone upgraded, that's going to take some drone parts and otherwise just stuff that we have in abundance so we can give that a whirl okay 100 percent chance to upgrade and if we go one more i believe we get the additional mod slot so let's try that and that did work and that gives us two mod slots i think i'm all set to stop there we'll save the titanium for other uses and i can grab the medic mod not the medic mod the morale booster mod to use in conjunction with the drone medic mod and we'll set you back down and pack those bandages back inside and call it good. Ah, it would be nice to get the stinger upgraded. I don't know if we can do that, but it's worth checking, I guess. Ah, looks like we could and uh, wouldn't be too difficult to do either. So let's reserve that, though, for when we've already done things like Brinks' Fury, things that are much more important to us. We can do Brinks' Fury getting towards the end of the duct tape though. We would need more military fiber for the M60 and we are out of SMG parts so we cannot do the R90. What about the shotgun? Also using military fiber. Let's check on that then. Military fiber, plant fiber. Are you kidding me? To make 10 of it. Um. Oh geez, that's, it's like not the hardest thing to get but I, I guess I can dedicate a couple of minutes to it. It's just tedious, right? Like, who wants to go around punching plant fiber? Yeah, I got a couple hundred there, but it just dawned on me that the place you want to get the plant fibers from is like a farm that has hay bales. So, oh crap, that's a wandering horde spawning in right there. Oh geez, come on, give me a skull crusher. Put that into me and they're, they're spawning in slowly. We'll see if we can just take them as they come. They're trickling in and they'll, we'll trickle them out as well. All right, buddies, let's do this.
Well, admittedly, that was probably the worst horde fight I've ever done in my life, but um, I can't really move because of the broken leg, and now I've got like a brained arm as well. Yeah, little bit <laughs> embarrassing. And then Mr. James used like half of his bandages, so yeah, we're just totally boned on regular first aid bandages for Mr. James. Right, I think I've learned my lesson to just not leave the base today. <laughs> We're not even close to fully healed. We're still infected. Oh, goodness. Okay. We got 10 to our wounds again. All right. So there's the last of the military fiber that I could possibly craft. Being short on plant fiber of all things, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What were we trying to upgrade? We're going to probably the M60, I would say, is the most, uh, the thing that's going to give us the most bang for our buck there, especially because we have so much 7.62 ammo. So, yep. Yeah, take all of that stuff off. And we're going to roll the dice here and see if we can get this done. That's all of our military fiber. So it's all or nothing here. And <laughs> nothing it is. Going out with a whimper here. Damn, that sucks. Well, we can go to the trader, I suppose, and see if they are selling any. Just flat, like, buy a whole handful of it. At least, well, it wouldn't be very much of it because we don't have very much to sell and we don't have very much money. So uh, what we could do, actually, is... Um, yeah, let's head over to the trader one last time. We're sitting on 1,600 dukes. What? What? <laughs> There's got to be something we can sell here, right? There's something in the sell chest, isn't there? There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, actually. Gimme. All right, I'll meet you over at Ellen's. We'll see if there's any last-minute things that we need to buy before the horde. Or... Yeah, that's about as smooth of a landing as I can manage, I guess, without very much more experience. All right, heading down now. All right, guys. Greetings. It's been a pleasure serving under your command, Captain Ellen, but uh, I'm just here to buy the remaining military fiber, get some final supplies, fight the horde, and then I am off to greener pastures. Take care. Thank you. So what we'll do then is just take this awesome sauce, and I just bought a sugar butt out of the vending machine, so we'll take that. And if there's anything good we want to buy after we sell, we'll take the pumpkin cheesecake. Man, we, we made out like a bandit there. 27 grand. Nice. Okay, so now we can take the cheesecake. And why not just buy up this military fiber here? That's pretty cool. Well, ooh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I saw something nice there, and we are going to be using it. The Cobra in H-Class. Might be able to upgrade it a little bit, but it's worth trying out, I Good. think. You watch, Maxon's gonna have a higher quality one. <laughs> that would be a disaster, but yeah, he's got some ammo that I'm probably gonna take up, and any books, any series? Nope, got the mining cart. Almost could afford it, too. <laughs> oh, yes, I can buy all of that. Juicy 10 mil, more HP 10 mil, more regular 10 mil, some 9 mil, some 7.62. Other than that, I think we're good. I guess we can take the contact grenade, why not? And we are good. Well, Sergeant Maxton and Captain Ellen, I salute you. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve under your command. I will see you on the other side. Ah, uh, who'd have thought that I'd spend my final hours here harvesting hay bales for plant fiber? I see a whole bunch in this area here, though. They're all in the street corners. There's a bunch over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, there we go. Just, just bail out. When in doubt, bail out. Yeah, it's good for another 40 military fiber. Because now we're held back by duct tape. Oh, geez, always something. Oh, let's check out that Cobra. Uh, let's see, yeah, put that in the pistol slot here. Yeah, it's like a 1911, I guess. Ooh, sounds nice. Very poor fire rate, though. Yeah, don't like that very much. Ah, okay. Duct tape. <laughs> that is the short factor, the limiting factor right now. So, tape. Make all the tape. And glue next. Make all the glue. Yeah, we're boned. <laughs> I would have resin now. Yeah, we're back in that cycle where we just, we need this to make that. We need that to make this. And we just never get to the bottom of it. All right, we're ready for our first upgrade here on the Cobra, I think. Um, item must be repaired first, repair it up, and upgrade. Jeez, more glue and duct tape. <laughs> it never ends. We could give the auto shotgun a try, or, or, and or, we could do, uh, Brinks' Fury, or Rocket Launcher. Honestly, I'm feeling Rocket Launcher more than anything, so, yeah, let's go with that. And we'll do it again, and limited by duct tape to get it up to C class. C would be good, we could get a couple mods on it. Oh, damn it, we need the duct tape to make more rockets. Crap, oh, I forgot about that. 
I've got a couple left here. Good enough for two more rockets. Yeah, I think <laughs> the rockets are more important than rocket launcher upgrades, most likely. Uh, we're going to be limited by gasoline here in a minute anyway. So I think we'll get uh, one more duct tape crafted here. Yep, two more duct tape and one more rocket. That puts us up to, I think, 13 in total. Ooh, just one final check here, and I'm seeing that we can actually get the Golconda upgraded one more. Let's do auto shotgun. Hailed again? Are you kidding me? Must be the lucky cornmeal. Eat the lucky cornmeal. One more try then on the shotgun. Yes on that one. Now we are definitely out of shotgun parts. How about the Golconda? We can still do the Golconda. We can have our first S3 star class item. Okay, repair it, and fingers crossed that this works. Yes. Oh man, it worked. My favorite gun in the mod, fully upgraded, S3 star class, the Golconda. And we'll just leave all of this equipment here for whoever succeeds us here at the at Camp Fubar. And with that, I would say we're pretty much ready to go. Let's just get all of our explosives and ammo that we need to carry for tonight, and we will meet up in the fighting position. All right, we are in the final position here. Everything is sealed up, buttoned up, and ready to roll. The electricity is running. Mr. James is ready there with a couple of bandages. And the 12th Horde, the Day 84 Horde, is fast approaching, and it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, here they come. Before they get any thicker, we're going to spend our last two skill points and we're going to go into Boomstick level two. We're going to get the shotgun out. And look at this. Lots of fat zombies in this horde. It's going to be all Mo, Big Mama, Pizza, and Cops. They might topple the base just by the sheer mass of them. Ow! Big Mama doesn't like it when I talk shit about her. Traps are in full swing. I want to save the rockets for when we get good area of effect there at the base of the ladder, so I don't think we're quite there yet. Get the hell out of here. Yep, forgot about the uh, nerd tats. I got the Atom Junkies and the rest of them into me, though. Yeah, okay, we don't want to use melee on these guys, though. They're just too damn strong. Look, the shotgun barely even pushing them back. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of fighting yet to go, so we got to make sure that we're staying on top of the repairs. Look, at the blade trap's almost done already. I think the blade trap is just unfortunately going to be an immediate casualty for us. Also got to keep an eye on that hatch. That was fully repaired a second ago, and that was uh, degraded pretty far. Oh my god. Well, we shouldn't have any trouble hitting the zombies. They're so big. All right, blade traps working. Going to get that repaired a little bit. Maybe. Big mama. Ah, get out of here. It sounds like at least the dart trap on the left is working. I cannot attest to if the dart trap on the right is working. Not sure, might have some sort of a malfunction, although it's okay. I don't think that uh, we're getting a lot of utility. All right, first rocket of the night. Here we go. Wow, 10K XP. Okay, we got to preserve those. We don't have very many of them. Oh, look at the knockdown there. Ooh, this is working good. We got that group knockdown now that we've kind of leveled up. Ooh, pops blowing up everywhere. Ah, that's bad. Okay, quickly get some repairs in. Whoa. Ah, just spit right through my face. Ah, repair everything. Yeah, nerd tats with the upgraded skill into the sledgehammers really working well now. Loving it. Unfortunately, it just means a lot of cops are going to blow up probably here. Rocket. 19,000. Let's try the pipe bombs a little bit. I got to get out of the habit of like lighting the first one and then throwing the second one. I either need to light them all or don't light the first one. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I still need some practice here, even 3,000 oh, hours into the game. 
Oh man, pops blowing up everywhere. That's the thing about traps, that it weakens them out so much all across every... Everywhere across the base that you don't even know, we can't predict when they're gonna blow up. Yeah, okay, so many cops are blowing up. It's actually kind of concerning at this point. Okay, pipe bombs for everybody. No, oh, someone's head just rolled through the trap. All right, we're getting close to midnight, which means we will be on to the second wave. I am honestly not sure what to expect for the last, for the next wave here. It's going to be a lot deadlier than this one, I'll tell you that much. This one here is just meant to, uh, you know, kind of warm us up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Wow. Top explosions getting bad. I think, yes, we've lost the blade trap, so... Ooh! Ah, yikes. I'm going to get top blood in my eyes. Okay, big stack of them right here. Get out of here. Okay, wow, they're having a really good time balancing there. Here, start, whoop, do this, and throw a few down. Okay, we're officially on to the next wave. I'm seeing the next wave zombies. We got construction zombies, bikers, feral whites, and soldiers. And if we're really lucky, we'll get some demos as well. Here, throw some pipe bombs down there. I can see a big cluster of zombies. Let's see if we can loosen them up a little bit. Yep, I hear our first demo. Close that door. This here is all armored zombies. Armored zombie wave. Get me the armor piercing ammo. First demo right there. Shoot him in the back. He's falling down now. Okay, so far, really not posing many problems. We'll get a, whoop, whoa, I almost just killed myself with that. Okay, Mr. James hooking me up there a little bit. Got beat up. Oh, got a demo. Try not to shoot the button. Try to shoot him in the head a little bit. Got another demo over here. Holy bikers. <laughs> There's so many bikers and demos. Yeah, hopefully not many of them are in rage mode because bikers and stuff like that, they're gonna carve right through the base if we, if we let them. Oh my god, look at all the zombies right there! Let them have it! 25,000 XP, nice! Okay, don't fall down the hole, close that up. Fairly quiet, I can hear the shotgun turret upstairs going off. The zombies look like they're having a, just a, a perfect time getting out of the pit. No trouble at all. Looks like maybe we could use another rocket there. Nice. Yeah, shotgun, probably the worst gun for this kind of a wave here. Yep, 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 back to the AP ammo, even the Golconda. Three-star Golconda here. Oh, that's our first demo going off in the pit somewhere. Let's see if I can get a look. Everything appears to be intact down there, I would say. Here, let's get a rocket to chase him. There's a whole cluster of zombies there. Very good. Okay, it's, wow, geez, 1.30 in the morning, which means we are approaching wave number three. Wave number three will be the worst of them all, I guarantee you that. All right, we got plenty of bullets still. We've got explosives still, and the base seems to be relatively intact still. Uh, we have lost some parts of the column holding up the ladder, but that should be fine. Plenty of redundancy there. I got some more pipe bombs for the pit down there. One, two, three, just light every single one of them, throw them all down. There we go. Oh, cluster of them up here right now. Not good, shoot that demo. Oh, uh, item needs repairs. We're just using the repair kits from now on. No big deal. Demo up front. Get this thing reloaded. Come on. Whoa, no, 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 no. Goodbye. 
There he goes. Okay, yep, we're losing components of the pit now. Okay, wave number three is here. I can see parts of it already. Go, cop spitting, lots of spit now. Bubbles is here. We've got a radiated white, we've got bubbles again. Oh man, this is gonna be a disastrous horde. It's already getting bad. Ow, I'm getting spit on, first aid kit. Hide behind the wall, jeez. Okay, go ahead and get a rocket down there. Loosen things up a little bit. Oh, that set a demo off. Yeah, my bad. Get back. Oh my goodness, look at them all up here. Not good. Hazmat zombies is just like a purely mutated, mutant, friggin' spitting, nasty ass horde right here. Oh, bubbles is friggin' spraying everywhere, <laughs> making a complete mess of the base. Get out of here, demo. Wow, look at the spit everywhere. All right, let's have a peek down there and see what's going on. Oh boy, I fell. Yes, yes, yes. There are bears here as well. Okay, we've got to try to get to the top of the ladder. Uh, of course, with the friggin' white there. Mm. Go away, go away, go away. And up to the top we go. And inside. Yes, let's just go all the way over here. And then we'll go down into here. And then over through into here. Open the door. Light them up. Okay, we're good. Close it up. And we're back in business. Okay, just close that permanently. Oh, wow. Pieces of the, the tower are falling down. Oh, my God. Getting spit on. Ow, ow, ow. It's bad. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm fatigued. Abraded. I've got a sprained arm. Infected. Dehydrated. I can fix at least one of those. All right, while all that stuff's trickling in, we'll, we'll lay into the horde a little bit more. I'm not sure how much of the tower is left. There's nothing left of the M60, so we gotta repair that up. And in the meantime, we'll get the UMP back out. Demo's going off somewhere for some reason. Oh man, that's my tower. Oh, another one's going off somewhere down there. Yikes, that was underneath the tower. There we go, level up, two skill points to spend, nice. Just keep shooting, keep using the rockets until they're gone. Nice, 11,000 XP. And we got two more rockets. Oh, I got spit on directly. There we go. All right, we got big problems. Cops are blowing up everywhere. I don't even know if they can actually get up here anymore. Oh, geez, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Oh, geez, stop that. Uh, they do appear to be wanting to climb at least. Maybe they want to climb and then beat straight through to us? Okay, this is getting out of hand here. Okay, just pop around the corner. Okay, no one's there. Just hide here. Hide here, it's almost morning, but I have a feeling we're gonna have a pretty big screamer battle on our hands as well. Yeah, they're not even wanting to really come up the ladder anymore. I don't think they see this as a viable pathway. We're gonna have to take them out kind of remotely from up here. And it's officially morning. One more rocket right at that bear. Good deal. Throw some grenades down there. Well, uh, uh, pipe bombs. There we go. I did something. Cops are still spitting at me. Yikes. Okay, should have some regular grenades we can use. Yep, drop one right down for them. They look like they're content to just hang out directly below me, which is interesting. One more grenade there, and I've got some contact grenades and some Molotovs as well. Oh, and in typical seven days to die fashion, there's a friggin' wandering horde running up on us now. That's lovely. Okay, slowly but surely, I'm thinning them out down there, but it's not looking too good. I've heard screamers screaming already. I, I haven't seen one yet, though, so keeping my eyes peeled. Trying to, oh my god, there's, yep, one more screaming. There is a bear down there stuck in the electric fences. Dang. Okay, wow, there's like zombies spawning in. That, those are screamer zombies way the hell out there by the oil rig. More zombies screaming, more screamers. Yeah, we're in the screamer cycle now. Great. Oh my goodness, look at that pile of them right there. Honestly, we need some recog. Where is the freaking recog again? Yes, juice me up on this. I think there's only one way to definitively beat this horde. It's to jump out here and, okay, quite a few zombies. Looks to be manageable. Let's go ahead and take the the Mega Crush and some Fort Bites and we'll see if we can finish this zombie horde off on foot. Oh my, look at the tower. It's not even being held up by anything. 
Bubbles, get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's feral. Oh my goodness, the lag. Let's uh, just go away from all of the zombies for a minute and get uh, some contact grenades out. Oh my, lots of them. Yep, that's gonna help the frame rate, I think. And how about another? There we go. I just need some frames. Just a few more frames and we're good. Oh, one more. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do, oh, bubbles. Let's do this. There we go. Come on. Group knockdown, baby. Brings his fury unleashed for the last time. Yikes. Getting some hits in on me. There we go. Ow! Never give up. Jeez. Ow. All right, what do we got left here? Oh, one more bear. Okay. And uh, pretty much dead for the most part. All right, that guy's running his ass out. Take care of him. Eat that. Come here, buddy. Come on out here. Nice. Okay, we got someone. Oh, of course, Karen. Closing things out with you. Oh, jeez, one more bear. Uh, hello. Uh, we're gonna let the bear ride us for once. Okay, ow! Oh, jeez. Come here, buddy. Anybody else around here? Come over here. You and me. Whoop, we'll test my theory that I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything with a sledgehammer. Come on. Ah! No! <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Get on the bear! Get back here! Ah! Come on! One more. Out of stamina! Out of stamina! Ah! Come on! Shit! Get him! Gah! Oh, jeez. Well, quite a fight here. I'd say um, I'm glad that this is the last horde. <laughs> that was a brutal ending there. To sustain this much damage would be pretty much beyond repair. This base needs complete renovation at this point. It would be an entire week's project, that's for sure. The only thing left to do now is to retire our trusted weapons into the sea. We are on our way to the sanctuary, where we will live out the rest of our days in safety and away from the zombie hordes. So goodbye to the Galloway Blade, goodbye to Brinks' Fury, goodbye to the Golconda, and goodbye to the UMP. All I need is my new Cobra pistol and my trusty sidearm here. We'll hop in the helicopter and we'll call it a day. Hey everyone, today I just wanted to say thank you to Subquake for making Undead Legacy and also thank you to the now more than 50,000 people who are subscribed to this channel. I hope you enjoyed this series and I can't wait to get started on the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.